When I was five years old, there was an old beggar at the door. He opened his mouth and said that I had a lifespan of only three days left. After hearing this, my father chased him with a stick for three blocks, but the old beggar was incredibly fast and disappeared in the blink of an eye. My father came back grumbling, saying, I was perfectly fine, how could I only have three days left? However, that night, I inexplicably developed a high fever and kept babbling and laughing foolishly. At that time, my father took me to the hospital, but there was no solution. The next day, my family invited my aunt Ai, who was said to be famous for her skills in divination and feng shui when she was young. She was known as the great immortal aunt and had traveled far and wide, observing feng shui and balancing yin and yang. When Aunt Tai arrived at my house, she only touched my pulse and her face immediately changed color. She remained silent for a while. The old man who came to the door doesn't have a tumor on his forehead or a few strands of braids on his chin. Is he talking crazy? Hearing what Taiga Nai said, my dad was shocked. That old beggar is indeed the one Taiga Nai was talking about. But he has never told Taiga Nai how she knew. After my dad confirmed it, Taigo Nai stomped her foot inside, saying, You've encountered a great master. That old man is the famous Chui Bancheng from our northeast. It's a stroke of luck that he came to your house. And he's here to save Xiao Fan. Xiao Fan is talking about me. I was born in the hour of the pig. And my Ba Zi is all in. Taigo Nai said that I am Chui Bancheng. To be honest, my dad doesn't know either. He's just a soldier and doesn't understand these mysterious things. Taigo Nai didn't have time to explain either. She touched my head and suddenly started speaking in a language that no one could understand, but it only lasted for three to five minutes. Then, Taigu Nai suddenly spewed out a golden statue from her mouth and almost collapsed. No, this child's destiny is too special. I can't save his life, nor can I see through his destiny, but I can tell you that there must be some problems with your ancestral grave. Just now, I saw a lonely grave on the hillside with several trees growing in a disorderly manner. In addition, there are extra large snakes and a nest of small snakes lurking in your ancestral grave. When she said this, my dad was also frightened. Please translate the text to English. Please Auntie Tai save me. Auntie Tai shook her head, pointed her finger, and after some calculations, she weakly said to my dad, Chui Ban Chang is such a skilled person. It's impossible to find him. You should seek help from someone else and not delay the child. After saying that, Auntie Tai left. My dad was dumbfounded this time. He and my mom have been married for three years, and naturally, they treat me as their precious child. After Auntie Tai left, my father began his journey to seek medical help and consult fortune tellers. In just one day, my dad found at least 20 folk experts, but no matter who it was, as soon as they saw me, they immediately said, you should prepare for the worst. We cannot see the fate of this child. Seeing that the three-day deadline was approaching, my dad couldn't bear it anymore. He grabbed the hand of a fortune teller and begged him for help while kneeling. Mr. Ming was depressed for a long time. Finally, my dad said a sentence. He said that this child is Zi Wei Lin Fan. How can we ordinary people determine his fate? Moreover, children with such precious destinies often pass away before the age of five. Upon hearing this, my dad became even more determined not to let him go. After a heated argument, the fortune teller reluctantly gave my dad an address, saying it was the home address of Chui Ban Chang a famous person in the northeast. However, Chui Ban Chang was elusive, so it was uncertain if we could find him. As soon as my dad heard that it was Chui Ban Chang's address, without saying a word, he picked me up and took the train to the city where Chui Ban Chang lived. According to my parents, I was already in a dazed and unconscious state, unable to eat anything and completely dependent on intravenous feeding. It was possible for me to pass away at any moment. Fortunately, perhaps it was not my destiny to die. My dad went to find Chui Ban Chang according to the address and actually found him, that old beggar. But when my dad arrived at Chui Ban Chang's home, he was dumbfounded. The entrance to Chui Ban Chang's house was packed with people, both inside and outside. It was said that they were all there to have their fortunes told by Chui Ban Chang, and some people had even been waiting at his house for half a month. Looking at the long queue and then at me, who was on the verge of death, my dad gritted his teeth and pushed his way in. Naturally, this caused an uproar and a group of people blocked my dad, protesting loudly. Just as my father was caught in a dilemma, the door of Chui Ban Cheng's house suddenly opened, and a seven or eight year old girl walked out. She looked at my father, then at me, and asked, Is he Chu Yi Fan? My father nodded and the little girl pointed at me and said to the people around, My grandfather instructed that from today onwards, Chu Yi Fan will officially inherit the last divination. With these words, everyone below was shocked and speechless. The little girl took my father's hand and led him inside. And so, 
My father and I entered the house together and saw Chui Ban Chang, who had been driven away by my father three days ago. Upon meeting, my father was about to say something nice, but Chui Ban Chang waved his hand to stop him from speaking. He walked over and glanced at me, saying, This child still has half a day's lifespan left. I ask you, do you want to live or die? Of course, as an immortal, I want to live. My father replied, tears streaming down his face. Chui Ban Chang chuckled and said, If you want to live, then listen to my arrangements. This child was originally a descendant of the Ziwei Immortal, and he has a celestial fate. He was supposed to have a bright future. However, now his fate is afflicted by the Nine Dragons Coffin Press, which has been resolved. Your family's ancestral grave also needs to be moved. After saying this, Chui Ban Chang explained in detail to my father and gave him a talisman. He also fed me a bowl of talisman water saying that it would help me survive for one more day. He urged my father to go back quickly and follow the path he suggested in order to save my life. At the same time, Chui Ban Chang also made a condition that once I recover from my illness, I must become his disciple and pay him 888 yuan in gold coins, not a penny less. Chui Ban Chang said that because my destiny is extremely special, after giving me this divination, he can never divine again in his lifetime, otherwise it will harm his lifespan. My father was extremely grateful and tearfully paid the money, then brought me back home. After returning home, he didn't dare to delay and immediately followed Chui Banching's instructions to go back to our ancestral home and move the graves. The time chosen for moving the graves was at noon. My father had someone perform a ritual first, and after paying respects, they finally started digging. Soon, the grave that hadn't been touched for decades was finally opened. However, the scene in front of them surprised the owner. They saw a nest snake perched on the decaying coffin, with a total of nine snakes continuously sticking out their heads. The owner was terrified, and my father bravely approached. He first burned the talisman, then recited a few words taught by Chui Ban Chang. As if understanding, the nine snakes slowly slithered away. Seeing this, my father immediately called for capable people to lift the coffin from the ancestral grave and move it to another chosen burial site. Afterwards, my father had people fill in the ancestral grave leaving a spacious deep hole inside and an entrance outside. After completing these tasks, my father knelt down and cowed out nine times, then left without looking back. That night, my dad had a strange dream. He dreamt of a stern-looking old man in black clothes, smiling and extending his hand towards him. From that day on, my illness completely disappeared, and I was back to being lively and energetic like before. My dad was overjoyed and, following Chui Ban Cheng's advice, he took me to pay respects to a master. On the day of the ceremony, I was completely clueless, only knowing that this old man had saved my life. So, my dad made me kneel down and bow whenever instructed. Chui Ban Cheng was also very happy. He solemnly said to my father, Although this child has survived, his affinity with immortals is too strong and his destiny is too dangerous. When you go back home, you should offer him a statue of the python immortal's true body to protect him completely. After saying these words, Chui Ban Cheng privately explained some things to my father. He said that when I come of age, there are three more things to do, but when they spoke these words, they were speaking behind my back, and I was very curious. However, no matter how I asked, my father remained silent. After becoming Chui Bancheng's disciple, my father asked him if I should follow him to learn things. Chui Bancheng smiled slightly and said, This child is naturally talented in everything. I don't need to teach him anything. I can't even teach him my meager skills. Then, he gave me a yellowed ancient painting and told me to keep it safe and look at it while meditating every night. However, there was one thing, no one except me was allowed to see this matter. My father looked puzzled, but Chui Bancheng had said everything he needed to say, so my father didn't dare to ask and could only take me home. Since that day, I have never seen Chui Bancheng again. Then, my father strictly followed what Chui Bancheng said and invited a real python immortal to our house. It was placed in the small room where I lived and every night I had to open the ancient painting and silently observe it, meditating, but to be honest, the ancient painting was just an ordinary landscape painting, vividly depicted but I didn't feel anything special about it, Chui Ban Cheng said that I was born with the ability to do anything, but I have always been confused and had no idea what he meant, however, since then, I have hardly ever been sick, and my body is no longer weak, in this way, I calmly passed my childhood, in the blink of an eye, my 18th birthday arrived. On this day, I was thinking about what gift my father would give me, but instead, he brought back some bad news from outside. The master whom I had only met once died three days ago. It was said that on the day of his funeral, just after he was buried, there were two large pythons, one black and one white, 
along with seven small snakes, circling around his grave and refusing to leave. The elders said that this was the nine dragons crying at the grave, something that only people with great virtue could encounter. Upon hearing the news of the master's passing, I felt a deep sadness in my heart, although I had only met him once. If it weren't for the master, I would have lost my life long ago. At that time, my father squatted on the ground, smoking a whole box of cigarettes, and then rubbed his swollen eyes before standing up and saying to me, Today, on your 18th birthday, it's time to tell you the three things your master entrusted to me 13 years ago. First of all, my father took me to a small cabin and looked at the true form of the python deity that I had worshipped for over 10 years. He sighed and said, My life has been too dangerous. In order to deal with calamities, tonight you must marry him in a ceremony. When I heard that I was going to marry a snake, I wasn't actually afraid, but rather curious and excited. The so-called true form of the snake is actually a bronze statue. Naively, I thought it was just a simple ritual with more symbolic meaning than practical significance. That day, my family sent my father away in advance, and then they placed two red lanterns in my cabin. They also put a piece of red cloth on the python deity mask and gave me new clothes to change into. They also prepared six dishes on the table, both meat and vegetables. As night fell, my father asked me to light three incense sticks in the incense burner and pour two cups of wine. I drank one cup and left the other in front of me. The final part of the ceremony was to uncover the red cloth on the python deity's true form, and then bow to it three times and count out nine times. That would mark the end of the ceremony. Afterwards, I felt a bit uneasy and asked my father, now that I have married it, can I still find a partner in the future? My father immediately kicked me and said, you brat, you're already thinking about finding another partner just five minutes after the ceremony? After the ceremony, everything was calm and nothing strange or bizarre happened. Feeling a bit disappointed, I lay in bed and went to sleep. However, that night I had a strange dream. In the dream, I seemed to have entered a dimly lit room with antique furniture sparsely decorated with carvings. On a bed draped with curtains, there was a woman dressed in red with a phoenix crown and a veil. Before I could say anything, the woman, who had just been sitting there like a noble lady, suddenly stood up and grabbed my ear. You want to find a partner? This was the first thing she said to me, with a calm tone that revealed a hint of resentment. Her grip was terrifyingly strong, almost tearing my ear off. At that moment, the door of the room creaked, pulling me back from the dream to reality. I will be with you for the next three years, ensuring your survival. But if you don't obey, I can divorce you at any time. In the hazy mist, this was the second sentence she said to me, and also the last one. When I woke up, my ears felt a burning pain. Everything in the dream seemed unreal, and I started to feel a bit guilty. I thought that getting married last night was just a symbolic ceremony, but it turned out to be real. Then my dad walked in, looking at me with an indescribable complex expression. He didn't speak for a long time, and then took out a bank card from his pocket. The three tasks that your master assigned to you. You have already completed the first task. But remember, from now on, this python immortal is not only your nominal wife, but also your protector. You just need to listen to her, respect her, and take care of her. This is your responsibility, and it is also the task your master has entrusted to you. Listening to his words, I nodded as if I understood. In addition, according to your master's instructions, when you turn 18, you must go and do the second task for him. Go to the ancient city of Luoyang and find a person named Shang Wanfu. Save his daughter. Go to Luoyang to save someone? Dad, my master really thinks highly of me. How can I save someone? I shook my head like a rattle drum and refused repeatedly. Your master said you can do it, and your newlywed wife will help you. My dad didn't care about anything and continued. Here is the address, and here is the travel expenses. Then he pushed a piece of paper and a bank card in front of me. At this point, I could only reluctantly accept this reality. My dad sighed. His expression softened, and he said to me, The third task is that after you go to Luoyang, you don't need to come back for three years. The next day, I took a train to Luoyang. When I arrived in Luoyang, I wasn't panicked. I directly called a taxi and asked him to go directly to the address on the piece of paper. After more than 20 minutes, I stood at the entrance of a large courtyard, looking up at the three-meter-high vermilion gate in front of me. Shang Wanfu, whom I was looking for, should live here. The note left by the master actually has a few more sentences behind it. The note says that the daughter of Shang Wanfu will have an incident on the 15th day of the 7th month. During the ghost festival, this illness will last for half a month, and I need to arrive at their house within that time, otherwise Shang Wanfu's daughter will meet an untimely death. I take a deep breath, step forward, 
and knock on the door. The door opens, and a guy with a gloomy expression on his face walks out, looking at me with displeasure and asking, Kid, who are you looking for? Hello, I am Chui Banqing's disciple. My master sent me to Luoyang to treat Shang Wanfu's daughter. I am very confident. I say with a smile, waiting for his reaction. But as soon as this person hears it, he first freezes for a moment, then adds an impatient expression. Where did this wild kid come from? Nonsense. Get away immediately, or I won't be polite to you. I am dumbfounded. This can't be possible. The note left by my master was very clear. How could it be wrong? Seeing that the person is about to close the door, I quickly shout. His daughter has been afflicted by an evil illness. Only I can save her. Otherwise, there is no doubt she will die within 15 days. At this moment, a man in his 30s walked out with a displeased expression on his face. What are you shouting about here? I heard it from a few yards away. Miss, so I came to protect the lady. I snorted and said, Your family name is Shang Wan AI. Just turned 17 this year. Two days ago, she suddenly started experiencing symptoms of intermittent unconsciousness and incoherent speech. Is that correct? Assistant whose face changed. He glanced at me and suddenly slapped the man. You bastard. Mrs. Behavior this time is extremely strange. Even Mr. Yang has been reluctant to come. If you delay Mrs. Condition, can you bear the responsibility? The man nodded obediently, not daring to reply. After scolding him, he waved at me and said, Since you know, come in and give it a try. I nodded repeatedly and followed him through the gate. Not long after, who assistant, who was leading the way, suddenly stopped and pointed to a house, saying, Young man, my young lady's illness is not to be taken lightly. People have been helpless these past few days, and it might not be possible later. Please don't try to be brave. I touched my stomach and suddenly felt hungry. So I smiled and said, If I can't cure her, I won't take a penny. Just treat me to a meal. Who assistant looked at my dusty appearance and the bag of buns I was carrying on my back, and reluctantly nodded. All right, come in. But the chairman's wife has been in a bad mood these past few days. So it's best if you don't say anything out of line. Upon entering the house, I saw a noble-looking woman sitting on the sofa with a worried expression on her face, who assistant cautiously approached and said, Madam, there's a gentleman outside who claims to be able to cure miss. Upon hearing who assistant's words, the woman glanced at me and seemed puzzled by my young age. I smiled and took a step forward, saying, Your daughter, Shangguan AI, has been experiencing attacks every year on the 15th day of the 7th month since she was 7 years old, but it used to be a mild condition whereas this time it's life-threatening. As soon as I said this, the woman's expression changed. How do you know that Xiao AI has been experiencing this every year since she was seven? With who assistant's confirmation? I finally met Shang Wan AI. I swear I wouldn't have guessed that the person in front of me, who looked like a ghost, was the girl I was here to save. Her face was swollen and deformed, covered in a thick black aura, her eyes tightly shut, and black blood oozing from the corners of her mouth. I couldn't help but gasp in shock. It was incredible that a doctor could predict such a bizarre condition over a decade ago. Just as I was observing intently, Shang Wan AI, who looked like a demon, suddenly opened her eyes. It was an extremely terrifying pair of eyes filled with hatred and spite. Almost at the same moment, I saw a bizarre scene in front of my eyes. Within the skin of her face, there were seven or eight small earthworm-like things lying on her face, thin and hairy. But the image was just a flash, and when I rubbed my eyes and looked again, everything was gone. A thought suddenly surfaced in my mind. Mrs. Shangwan, your daughter isn't sick, she's stained with something, in order to cure her, the root cause must be addressed, please open the door and let me cure her. I turned around and said firmly. This. She hesitated, seemingly having a hard time making up her mind for a while, but before she could answer, another voice suddenly came from outside the door. Mrs. Shangwan, if you listen to this brat's nonsense, I'm afraid your daughter won't live through this night. Along with this voice, a 27 or 18 year old youth walked in from outside the door, and behind him were two assistants and a few subordinates of the young family, who came to the outside of the room in front and behind. Mrs. Shang Wan's face showed joy, she busily stepped forward and said, Mr. Yang Lin, you're finally here, our family Xiao AI is safe this time. Between the words, she seemed to have completely forgotten about me. That young man looked arrogant, the corner of his mouth slightly upturned, said, Mrs. Shang Wan, my uncle learned that your love had another attack, he was very concerned, but he had something to be busy with in the past two days, so he asked me to come over to take a look, don't worry, with the young family around, your love will definitely be fine. 
He paused, his eyes glanced at me obliquely, and then said loudly on purpose, however, I heard that quite a number of charlatans have come to Madame's house in the past two days, what your AI has is obviously a strange disease, and they are saying that it's a medieval, and their purpose is nothing more than wanting to cheat a little bit of money. Now since the Yang family is making a move, I suggest that it would be best for Madame to get rid of all these loiterers so as not to delay the illness. Mrs. Shangguan didn't hesitate at all, she directly then said to assistant who, since Mr. Yang has arrived, let's invite everyone else out first, the Yang family's medical skills are famous in Lo Yang, outsiders have always been forbidden to watch. Yang Lin smiled and said, your wife is flattering, your love's condition is serious, let's not delay, let's start now. With those words, Mrs. Shangguan personally led the way in front, and those few bodyguards escorted on both sides as if they were on the verge of an enemy, slowly opening the door of Shangguan AI's room. As for me, I was already invited by assistant Hu to a corner, and watched Mrs. Shangguan and Yang Lin enter the room, without me in their eyes. Who assistant somewhat sorry to say, little brother, sorry, previously came a few gentlemen, also know some magic, said the lady in the evil, but the practice of exorcism also tried, simply does not work, so. What he said was already very polite, but the implication was that he was going to follow Mrs. Shangguan's order and dried me out the door. I smiled and said, at least I came all the way here for your lady, the disease didn't work, you have to let me have a drink, right? This should be, should be. Assistant who was sidetracked by me and went to bring over a pot of tea, taking advantage of this effort, I stole my eyes and glanced into the room. At this moment, Shangwan AI in the room had already been pressed to death by a few bodyguards, letting out heart-rending cries, the sound was creepy and incomparable, giving people a chilling feeling when they heard it. A few moments later, Yang Lin came out, he took a tissue to wipe his hands, and said to Mrs. Shangwan, it's a bit tricky, your love situation is very special, but it's not hard to cure, now I'll apply needles to release the poisonous blood in her body, and then supplement it with soups, she can be cured in 7 days. He was very calm in his words, as if he didn't take this disease seriously at all. When Mrs. Shangguan heard this, her eyes lit up and she asked, Mr. Yang, may I ask if the needle application you are talking about is the Yang family's three great divine needles? Yang Lin revealed a smug smile and beckoned to his men, one of them immediately stepped forward and took out an exquisite and compact box, opening it, inside it was clearly three silver needles of different lengths and glittering. The three extremely divine needles, is the Yang family's untold secret. When I came here, uncle explained to me that if your love's condition is too serious this time, you must use the three extremely divine needles in order to be cured. Yang Lin pointed at the three silver needles and spoke eloquently. Mrs. Shangguan's eyes glowed as she listened, but there were a few more worries in her expression, she couldn't stop nodding her head and said, in that case, then please ask Mr. Yang to apply the needles, don't worry, as long as my daughter is cured, millions of rewards will be paid, not a penny less. Yang Lin smiled, it is Yang's honor to serve the Shangguan family, as for the money, it doesn't matter. Yes, 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 old mister. Yang has been practicing medicine for decades and is famous all over the world, he has long been a great wealth in Luoyang, of course he won't care about this honorarium. Don't worry, as long as you can cure my daughter, the conditions are open. After Mrs. Shangguan said that, she quickly glanced to the left and right a few times, and the people understood and retreated. In the room, only Mrs. Shangguan, an assistant who, as well as Yang Lin and his two assistants remained. At this time, I had only just taken a sip of water, when Yang Lin swept his gaze and noticed me once again, and couldn't help but frown slightly as he looked towards Mrs. Shangguan. Madam, how come there are still unrelated people staying here? This time, not waiting for Mrs. Shangguan to open her mouth, assistant who busily stepped forward and whispered, little brother, it is said that when the Yang family's three absolute divine needles are casting spells, the side is absolutely not allowed to be watched by anyone, and even I have to avoid it, so you will come out with me first, and I will take you to have something to eat. It seems that this assistant who is already treating me as a mongrel, it's strange to say that when Yang Lin said that he used the three absolute divine needle to cure the disease, a thought directly popped into my mind, stop him. Mrs. Shangguan, assistant who, please also stay calm, I have two questions that I want to ask this mister. Yang, if he's right, I'll leave immediately and let him perform. After saying that, I also ignored the gazes of these two people who wanted to eat people, and came in front of Yang Lin in big strides. This guy was about the same size as me, but he had a completely condescending stance, and his face immediately sank. What are you, dare to talk nonsense in front of Lady Shangguan, do you know that Lady Shangguan can't make it through this night already, can you afford to be responsible for delaying her condition? I smiled faintly and said, even if I can't make it through tonight, it's not as bad as these three to five minutes, Mrs. Shangguan, you'd better let me finish these two questions, or else if he goes down with three needles and your precious daughter dies in the Yellow Springs, don't blame me for not telling you beforehand. How dare you, you dare to question the Yang family's three extreme divine needles? Yang Lin's face suddenly changed, and Mrs. 
Shang Wan's eyes flickered with suspicion. All along, her precious daughter's illness had always been dealt with by old Mr. Yang himself, and this time, her condition was serious, yet old Mr. Yang had only sent his nephew over, and to be honest, her heart was actually a little bit unsettled. Regarding his fierce look, I just treated it as invisible and opened my mouth to ask again, since you use acupuncture to treat illnesses, let me ask you, what kind of illness is this for Miss Shang Wan, and what is the principle of treating it with acupuncture? Yang Lin rolled his eyes and said, Miss Shang Wan this is evil chi entering the brain, the upper jaw is not accessible, the blood veins are blocked, and the evil chi is about to reach the heart and lungs, but this evil chi is the term used by Chinese medicine practitioners, it's not the kind of thing that Yu Jiang who cheats jumping on the big god say. As for the principle, it involves the secret of my young family's three great divine needles, and why should I tell you? After saying that, he turned to look at Mrs. Shang Wan, and said in a cold voice, Madam, if you delay any longer, by the time your love can't be cured, don't blame my young family for seeing death and saving her at that time. Ha ha ha, since you don't know what kind of disease Miss Shang Wan is suffering from, you dare to rashly place the needle, Mrs. Shang Wan, your daughter's attack this time is different from the past, if you believe in his words, then I'll turn around and leave, turn around and in case your daughter has a long or a short life, don't say that Chui Half City didn't send someone to help the Shang Wan family. My tone was tough as hell, and I wasn't willing to show any weakness at all, confronting him face to face. With four eyes facing each other, the atmosphere inside the hall was immediately tense. Chui Half City, what a familiar name. When Mrs. Shang Wan heard the three words Chui Half City, but she revealed a puzzled face, as if she was searching for where she had heard this name before. Yang Lin laughed loudly, I told you that he is a liar, that Chui Half City I have heard of, it is said to be a famous loose doctor, there are quite a few partial prescriptions, and his medical skills are even more mysterious. But these days, under the banner of others to solicit too many. Shang Wan Madam, the young family three absolute divine needles will never come out lightly, now you had better decide quickly, if you do not cure, Yang Mao will have to say goodbye. Yang Lin put away the three extreme divine needles and made a gesture to leave. The scene was frozen for a moment, Mrs. Shang Wan was even more in a dilemma, after thinking for a while, she stomped her foot and gritted her teeth, Mr. Yang please don't be angry, I trust the young family's medical skills, I also ask you to treat my daughter now. Assistant who, see off the guests. She said this sentence, it was clear that she was going to kick me out, assistant who came to me and helplessly waved his hand, that meant there was nothing he could do. I glanced at Yang Lin, laughed, turned around and left. Master asked me to come to Luoyang to save people, I've come, but his Shang Wan family can't trust me, then I'm not to blame. Well, at least, I've completed my master's mission. I was stepping towards the outside, just at this moment, outside suddenly someone hurriedly pushed the door in, a tall, majestic looking old man walked in first, behind him followed by a thin old man, his hair and beard were white, and his two longevity eyebrows were even more immortal. Assistant who hurriedly stood up and bowed, Chairman, you're back. It turned out that the majestic old man was Shang Wan Fu. Yang Lin shouted uncle at the immortal white-browed old man, but the old man ignored him and instead came to me with Shang Wan Fu, looking me up and down. I was uncomfortable being looked at by them and was about to speak when the white-browed old man suddenly spoke, are you the disciple of Chui Half City who came all the way to Shang Wan's family to save them? I nodded, that's right, I came all the way from my hometown, if you don't believe me, I have a train ticket here. He didn't look at the train ticket I took out, but pursued again, but as far as I know, Chui Half City hasn't accepted any disciples in the last 20 years or so. Little brother, do you have any proof? This white-browed old man, also known as Old Mr. Yang in the mouths of the people, was obviously highly respected, and when he spoke, the people next to him were silent, not to mention Yang Lin, even that Shang Wan Fu, did not dare to breathe. Listening to his tone, this old Mr. Yang seems to be familiar with the master, and there is clearly a hint of expectation in his gaze. It seems that I must come up with something today. However, there is nothing left for me by my master other than that painting. Moreover, Master had explained that this painting could not be looked at by anyone other than me. I was a bit embarrassed, and after thinking about it, I saw everyone around me looking at me with questioning gazes, so I just gave it a go. Ha ha ha, the credentials are there, it's up to you to recognize it. I took my backpack off, reached in, and right in front of everyone's eyes, took out the mountain and river map that had accompanied me for more than 10 years. With my back to the others, I opened the mountain and river diagram and slowly unfolded it in front of old Mr. Young. It was a horizontal scroll, about a meter long, and although it was already old and yellowed, it made people feel solemn when they looked at it. After opening it, old Mr. Yang suddenly trembled, full of surprise, followed by tears, and with a flutter, he fell to his knees in front of me. Unworthy disciple Yang Shoucheng, pay homage to Master Uncle. What? Worship. Master Uncle? This sudden turn of events made everyone instantly stunned, I was even more startled, thinking what's wrong with this old man, who is your senior uncle? Shifu, I knew that you would come to Luoyang in the past two days, 
but I didn't know the itinerary, Chairman Shang Wan and I, in fact, have been waiting for you at the station and the airport, but I didn't expect that you had already rushed here one step ahead of us, what do you mean, he knew I would come to Luoyang, I was already in a dilemma, completely confused, Yang Lin's face changed even more greatly, snatched a step forward and said, uncle, what are you talking about, when did he become your senior uncle, didn't you tell me that you just saw Chui half city once, not waiting for him to finish his words, Yang Shoucheng had already stood up, raised his hand and slapped him solidly, asshole, you don't know much, this is your master, you dare to offend, this slap was hard, Yang Lin covered his face and didn't dare to talk back, dumbfounded, he looked at Yang Shoucheng and then at me, for a moment he couldn't react, he was already confused, Yang Shoucheng once again said respectfully to me, master uncle, this matter is a long story, can't be explained in a moment, why don't you ask master uncle to diagnose Miss Shang Wan first, we also take this opportunity to open our eyes, not to hide from you, Miss Shang Wan from playing 7 years old onset, year after year, but I can only each time to suppress the relief of her disease, if you do not take action today, Miss Shang Wan is afraid that it will not be able to survive, at this moment, everyone's eyes were on me, I scratched my head, still not understanding, how did this famous Luoyang national doctor sage become my nephew, alright, in that case, you guys will watch from the side, but I'll warn you all first, no one is allowed to come forward without my words, otherwise if something goes wrong, don't blame me for not warning you, after saying that, I looked at the four bodyguards again and said, and you guys, no one is allowed to move either, the few of them couldn't wait for this, and they were busy nodding their heads in response, in full view of everyone, I took a deep breath and came to the inner bedroom, beside Miss Shang Wan, at this moment, the distance was closer, and in my eyes, the few bugs lurking on her face became even more obvious. I don't know if it's because I have a special physique, I'm naturally able to see some colors that others can't see, so I was able to see these bugs, even through my skin. Seeing me come in, she suddenly opened her eyes, that gaze was full of resentment, staring at me dead on, and her teeth were clenched to the point of creaking. Chairman Shang Wan, please bring over a pen, ink, paper, and inkstone. I looked at her and calmly ordered. The layout of this house was attached to elegance everywhere, pens, ink, paper and inkstones were naturally everywhere, so someone immediately sent them over, I picked up the brush, spread out the paper and without hesitation drew four consecutively. The thing on that paper, like a spider crawling, but in fact, that is the Shangwan AI skin within the movement track of the strange insects. As for whether this thing is good or not, I'm not sure, it's kind of a flash of insight, anyway, it's out of the question. Next, I pasted these four pieces of paper on Shangwan AI's face which led me to sit down and reach out to grab Shang Wan AI's wrist. She immediately hissed with an owl, and opened her mouth to bite into my hand. I didn't even pay attention to her, and with my other hand, I held her chin, and went up one end, directly removing her jaw. Taking advantage of this effort, I put three fingers on her wrist pulse, and immediately noticed that her pulse was weak to the extreme, but beating in a very weird way, not in a fixed place, but in between inches off and feet that couldn't stop running around. Ghost pulse. These two words popped up in my mind again. However, although I could tell that she was possessed by a strange insect, in reality, I didn't have much experience in actual combat, so I couldn't help but hesitate slightly, and the force on my hands relaxed. Shangguan AI seized this opportunity and broke free, probing out five fingers, nonchalantly running towards my face and grabbing it. Those five fingers are like black claws, if they were to be scratched, my handsome face would be broken. Just in the nick of time, not even waiting for me to react, my left hand as if someone is controlling, swift and incomparable raised, bang a moment and grabbed her wrist, followed by raising her hand and gave her a big mouth, hit her fall on her back on the bed, and then I pounced on her, and quickly with my body will be dead pressed. Shangguan AI couldn't move this time, constantly wailing and struggling, her strength was terrifying. The two of us were now in a somewhat exaggerated position, but I didn't feel the slightest bit of advantage, because this guy underneath me, at this point, couldn't even be judged by a human being. She kept resisting, her body desperately arching upwards, and her strength was getting stronger and stronger, I gradually couldn't control it a little bit, and was about to call out for help, when a familiar voice suddenly appeared in my heart. Idiot, don't panic. This voice. Is her, Python Fairy. I can't help but be stunned, in broad daylight, how can I dream again? Do it, how? I asked in my mind. Simple, just grab it out of this girl's body. She answered me. But I don't know how. Your master left you a scented pouch, have you forgotten? I then remembered this matter with a jolt, and with one hand pressing Shang Wan AI to death, I turned around and shouted, come someone, bring over that incense bag at the bottom of my bag. The others had long since looked dumbfounded, assistant who was the first to react, ran over in a few steps, grabbed my bag, and rummaged through it to retrieve the scented pouch left to me by my master. But this guy in the heat of the moment, the things in my bag are pouring out, even two changes of clothes and a little bit of that martial arts book are exposed to the public. At this time I also do not have time to care so much took the scented bag to Shangguan AI on the brain. 
but her hands and feet keep moving, simply cannot be fixed, in a hurry, just her jaw is now I removed, the mouth has been open, I am not polite, directly on the scented bag to her mouth, and then lift it up, her jaw to close. Shangguan AI suddenly changed face, like eating what poison, also do not bite me, desperately hand to the mouth, but that scented bag also do not know what to do, as if the entrance is melted, she keyed half a day is also not keyed out what things. At this time, that voice in my head appeared again. What a waste, the 6 ding 6 armor suppressor capsule is to be used externally. It seems that it is still necessary for me to take a shot. After this voice finished speaking, one of my hands went out of control, as if someone was controlling it, and probed directly in front of Shang Wan AI's body. I swear I didn't do this on purpose, at this time Shang Wan AI was panting violently, her body couldn't help but undulate, a pair of malicious eyes staring at me, watching my magic claws reach over, but she seemed to have been powerless to resist. Seeing this scene, Yang Lin suddenly shouted outside, what are you doing, stop, uncle, he, without waiting for him to finish, I only heard old mister, Yang rebuke in a low voice, shut up, I couldn't help but laugh, but my movements didn't stop in the slightest, just when my hand was still some distance away from Shang Wan AI's body, it suddenly stopped, and then an inexplicable force probed out from my hand, I then saw, with my eyes wide open, a white and good looking hand that wordlessly rushed into Shang Wan AI's body, in just an instant, it retracted back, it was also as if my body was out of control, and when I pulled back, I pulled out a few ebony things. This thing looked like a snake, not a snake, and was so strange that I was startled and slapped this thing with my backhand. To be honest, this action was completely unconscious, and I myself felt that it was purely a natural reaction when I was frightened. But these black lacquered sloppy things were actually slapped out more than two meters away from me, landing on the ground, shaking all over, and then slowly assuming the shape of a reptile. Nima, this is a bug becoming a spirit, ah? My little heart also began to thump, since childhood, although experienced a lot of strange things, but directly out to catch poisonous insects, I this is the first time. Although I was scared, but at this time there was a group of people watching behind me, I could only grit my teeth and carry on. What kind of thing are you and why are you harming people? I pointed at the thing on the ground and shouted. There was silence all around, the room was so quiet that almost the only sound left was my own breathing. The thing suddenly raised its head slowly, and where its eyes should have been, two spiteful gazes seemed to shoot out. What a heavy baleful aura. Just then, an even colder aura rushed out of my body, and in the blink of an eye, it took on human form and appeared in front of me. It was the image of a young woman, wearing a white dress, with a light veil covering her face, so she couldn't be seen, but her aura was icy cold and noble, like a queen. I instantly recognized that this was Python Immortal. Dare to be reckless even in front of me, kneel down. She opened her mouth softly and spat out these words. As soon as that thing saw her, it shivered even more and slowly lowered its head, actually really kneeling down in front of me, not daring to speak. You ask. The woman in white looked at me with contempt, then stood aside with her arms crossed, monitoring that thing. This was the first time I had seen her in broad daylight, and in a good mood, I bared my teeth and smiled at her, but she rolled her eyes and ignored me. Ahem. This time you can say it, you stinky bug, why do you want to harm people? I turned around awkwardly and asked the thing drilly. That thing snapped its head up, seemingly demonstrating to me, and then its small mouth opened, actually spitting out a few small worms but all of them were already dead. Seeing this, I couldn't help but freeze, and looked back at Shang Wan Fu. They also stared at me with wide eyes, like they had seen a ghost. In fact, I knew that at the moment, in their eyes, I was completely conversing with the bugs. Especially that Yang Lin's expression was even more disdainful, as if he was watching a mental patient's self-performance. I didn't bother with him and rushed Shang Wan Fu and asked, in the last few years, have you guys been eating wild game? Your daughter's strange disease is because of this. Shang Wan Fu was shaken, nodded and said, yes, there is such a thing, a few years ago, I went back to my hometown and went into the mountains to hunt. The thing's spiteful gaze stared at Shang Wan Fu, wagging its head and tail towards him, and I even heard a hissing sound coming from the little bug's mouth. That sound made it sound a little heartbreaking and creepy, I sighed darkly and turned back to Shang Wan Fu and said, you have offended something you shouldn't have offended, everything in the world has a spirit, when you ate that game, did you even take the pups in the nest with you? Shang Wan Fu did not speak, his tall body obviously shook a little, and the eyes of the others around him all showed a look of disbelief. Obviously, what I said was half true, or rather, this bug's performance made me realize that indeed Shang Wan Fu was the bane. The bug stopped at Shang Wan Fu's feet, and the sound coming out of its mouth became extremely unpleasant, like scraping glass with an iron, making one's heart extremely uncomfortable. Then, it suddenly shrieked strangely again. How I heard it was like the movement of a weasel barking. It felt like it was saying to me, don't think that just because you have a python immortal with disorganized kung fu backing you up, you can't do anything about me, I'm not a vegetarian either. Today, I am going to die with you even if I have to fight for my life. Suddenly, it turned in place and violently lunged at me. 
I felt bad, and I was busy holding my breath while slapping one hand towards the front, stop. Before I could do anything, the tiles on the floor let out a thunderous vibration, and several cracks flashed at the same time, surprisingly trapping the bug in the cracks. I secretly exclaimed, what, what is my ability to make the floor crack? After a miserable scream, the worm was paralyzed on the ground, its body squirming, seemingly no longer able to do so. Almost at the same time, the woman in white on the side dodged and blocked in front of me, seemingly to carry the blow for me. When I rushed her, she once again rolled her eyes and said to me, idiot, it doesn't matter if it's dead, but if you cure the disease and don't get rid of the root, it's bound to make a comeback in the future. Resolve, how? I asked. Depends on you, come to the martial arts will directly abolish it, the more ruthless will even abolish the whole family, either discuss with them how to resolve this feud, or send them to settle somewhere else. I looked down and thought about it, thinking that although I didn't formally set up a hall, I still know some of the rules, like this, the best way to deal with it is to reconcile it, otherwise even if I destroy them, it will still damage my virtue. After all, it was the Shangwan family that hurt them first, this is called karma. Everyone, now the situation has been basically understood, but this matter Shangwan family made a mistake first, this karma needs to be borne by oneself, so. In order to avoid people saying that I am a liar, Shangwan chairman, do you want to see with your own eyes, after you killed the yellow lipstick family, in the end, what did you dip into? Hearing me say this, Shangwan Fu's face turned white with a brush. After 30 years, in fact, he couldn't even remember what happened back then, if not for me suddenly mentioning it, I'm afraid that he himself had forgotten now suddenly heard me say, let him personally see the family of seven yellow skins that were killed by him back then, brought the dirty things, Shang Wan Fu not only pale, even his hands began to shiver up, little sir, could it really be that nest, well, it is that nest, anyway, if you want to save your daughter, you'd better deal with it personally and dissolve this feud, otherwise this matter is not over, if I were to take them in hard, that would be fine, but it would be detrimental to virtue, after all, it's your family that's in the wrong first, so the unringing of the bell must be tied to the person who tied the bell. After I finished speaking, Shang Wan Fu looked at Yang Shoucheng as if for help, seeing Yang Shoucheng's slight jaw, he lowered his head again and hesitated before he finally made up his mind, gritting his teeth and said, okay, little sir, I'll listen to you on all counts. Very well, since you listen to me, then I have two ways here that will allow you to see them immediately. The first way is the easiest, it only requires a bowl of golden juice, you drink it and see immediate results. Golden juice? Shang Wan Fu asked with a confused look on his face. Yang Shoqing whispered to him, this stuff has the heaviest yin and filth, it can quickly stimulate one's yang qi, so naturally you will be able to see those things. Shang Wan Fu's face turned from white to green and shook his head vigorously, little sir, is there any other cleaner way off? I smiled slightly and continued, the second method is cleaner than this one, since you don't agree to drink the golden juice, then I will directly open your eyes later, it may hurt a little, so bear with me. Once Shang Wan Fu heard that he didn't have to drink that filthy thing, he nodded his head and agreed, then I asked the others to dodge away and make an open space in the middle of the hall, Shang Wan Ai then sat on the floor, her body had already gone soft, but she still stared at me with evil eyes. I didn't bother to pay attention to her, and as that python immortal protector of mine had said, I once again reached out and grabbed her by the back of the neck, and then let out a loud shout. Shang Wan Ai's mouth let out a scream that didn't sound like a human voice, her body violently bent backward close to 90 degrees, her head and feet almost about to overlap together. Good guy, this girl is estimated to have practiced dance, body softness is very high, otherwise if it were an ordinary person, this instant will be directly wasted. Then I felt that it was like I had grabbed something slimy in my hand, and it was still moving around, it was very disgusting. Come out. I let out another loud shout, and lifted my hand upwards, then a string of bloody things let me pull it out of Shang Wan Ai's body, hard. Shang Wan Ai's eyes rolled over, and she directly fainted, falling to the ground unconscious. I swear, adding up all the evil things I've seen since I was a kid, it's not as scary as what I'm seeing now. In my hand constantly wriggling, it was a puddle of mucus, but I was able to see that there was a tiny worm inside, one biting the tail of the other, connected into a string, and when I threw it on the ground, it constantly scurried around on the ground. That originally paralyzed to the side of the bugs, desperately crawling forward, look at that posture, seems to want to take these bugs to take the road and escape. However, none of them could run away, because that python immortal protector of mine was standing right next to them, her gaze coldly staring at them, the cold aura emanating from her body made me feel a chill, and those yellow nymphs were deterred by her aura, and even more so, they hugged into a ball, shivering, and didn't dare to move around. I gave her a thumbs up, then turned back to Mrs. Shang Wan and said, go get me some incense ash from the Buddha hall, and bring a bowl and chopsticks, be quick. Big families basically all offer Buddha Hall, I saw it when I entered just now, Mrs. Shangguan didn't know what I was going to do, but didn't dare to be slow, and quickly went to fetch the incense ash over, as well as a porcelain bowl. I took the bowl and ran to the corner, clattered for a while, and then poured all those ashes in, 
take a chopstick and stir evenly, smiling in front of Shang Wan Fu. Shang Wan Fu's face turned green again, pointing to the bowl in my hand and said, Little mister, this is the clean way you said? Yeah, isn't this much cleaner than the gold juice? And also do not need to drink, just wipe on the eyelids, although the effective time is shorter, but it is enough. I said with a smile, Shang Wan Fu gritted his teeth, made a look like he was dying, and closed his eyes directly. I didn't talk nonsense with him either, I went up and smeared this incense ash mixed with children's urine on both of his eyelids, then swiftly recited true words under my breath. Heaven's law is clear and clear, earth's law is spiritual, through heaven and earth, yin and yang are manifested, urgent as the law. This paragraph was actually made up by myself, and the method of opening the heavenly eyes was also a flash of light in my mind, as to whether it was spiritual or not, that was unknown. At that moment, after I finished reciting, my whole body's essence was poured into the middle finger of my right hand, and I only felt a heat coming from the tip of my finger, and I disliked the center of Shang Wan Fu's eyebrow fiercely. Shang Wan Fu was disliked by me and took several steps back, when he opened his eyes again, his gaze stared straight into the middle of the hall, his entire body shook violently, and his eyes instantly became terrified. Obviously, he had seen those invisible tiny bugs. Little sir, these are. His voice was obscure and difficult, and he could barely speak anymore. That's right, these are the things on the nest of yellow skins that you killed, the bigger one next to it is probably their mom, you need to hurry. As soon as my words fell, Shang Wan Fu flopped down on his knees and kept kowtowing at the nest of bugs. Yellow immortals, it's all my fault that I was young and ignorant and made a big mistake, what hatred you have, feel free to charge at me, I can pay for your lives if you want me to, but my daughter is innocent, I still beg you to be magnanimous and let her go. Shang Wan Fu is a big businessman in Luoyang City, always being reckless and highly reputable, now even he is kneeling on the ground and begging, so it can be seen that the seriousness of this matter. Next to him, Yang Shouqing's eyes wandered, also staring at the empty space in front of Shang Wan Fu, but looking at his eyes, he shouldn't be able to see those little bugs. There was also Yang Lin, this returning medical doctor, at this time had been completely stunned by the scene in front of him, his face was cloudy, he looked at Shang Wan Fu, and then looked at me, pursed his lips tightly, and didn't say a word. As for Mrs. Shang Wan and other people, have long been scared silly, fortunately they cannot see, otherwise must be scared fainted a few. The bug lying on the ground, eyes staring at Shang Wan Fu, full of grief and indignation, teeth biting loudly, want to immediately rushed up, biting Shang Wan Fu. Unable to do so, that python immortal had one foot on her body, making her unable to move at all. However, she ignored Shang Wan Fu, but gradually turned her gaze to me, as if there were flames spewing out of her eyes. It seemed to be saying, kid, since you want to stand up for his family, you'd better cut us all down, if you leave one behind, they'll all be looking for revenge on you in the future. I frowned enchanted in my mind, you want to seek revenge on me? Big sister, there's a head for every grievance, the one who killed Huang Xian in the first place was Shang Wan Fu. What's it got to do with me, not to mention that I'm helping you guys out by doing this, even though you no longer have a home, you can still be alive, it's just a change of ground. If you really get his family killed, it will damage your virtue just the same, why bother? I persuaded bitterly, but the worm shook like crazy. Ha 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 ha, easy for you to say, do you know how painful it is to be skinned alive? For so many years, my children have had to endure the cries of pain from the yellow immortal day and night, as well as the torment of being displaced, can't it be dissolved by a single word from you? The voice was like it appeared out of thin air in my head, and I could hear it clearly. I still want to persuade, the white-clothed woman on the side was already impatient, and drank, you bug so much nonsense, who let you not cultivate merits and virtues in your previous life, and created too many sins before you got the body of an animal, whether it is being killed or destroying the nest, that's also the sins of your previous life, this is karma, and also the law of the heavenly way, no one can escape it. If you're not honest, later on, we'll directly release a fire thunderbolt and send you to refine and ascend to heaven. Her words seemed to have made this bug somewhat awakened, its gaze actually gradually became miserable, looking at those little bugs, its voice was grumbling, like a sob. In fact, I also know this truth, but they are just too cruel, let me ask you, if someone tears down your home in front of you, and eats all of your friends, can you still say such easy words? The woman in white didn't speak anymore, she silently looked at this bug and turned her head away, her originally unperturbed face seemed to have more than a few strangeness. This bug smiled miserably again, and said, since I have fallen into your hands, there is no point in talking more, whether to kill or die by death, just do as you please, anyway, I have died once, I don't care to die again. Being an animal, this is our life. These words, Shang Wan Fu heard clearly, but he had long been too scared to speak, kneeling on the ground with his head not even daring to raise, not moving a muscle. Looking at this bug who was bent on revenge, I was a little hesitant. Master told me to come to the rescue, but didn't say what to do with this bug. So, do I let her go now? Or do I do as the python immortal said, and directly send it to refine and ascend to heaven with a single fire thunderbolt? After hesitating for a moment, I finally decided to let it go. 
The reason why I didn't directly abolish it was because I couldn't bear it in my heart, and secondly, I didn't want to bear the karma. There is a saying that there is no love in this world without a cause, nor is there hate without a cause. But in all such cases, it can only be resolved by the two parties involved themselves, if I insist on interfering in this hatred between them, and even refine the bugs, then all the karma will have to fall on me. Such karmic consequences and karmic obstacles, turning around and all falling on me, then I will never do it. Anyway, the task given to me by my master has already been completed, so why be the bad guy? When that bug left with its pups, although there was still resentment in its gaze, it had a trace of gratitude towards me. Python Immortal also did not stop, perhaps because the words of the bug just now, it was also a touch for her. After all, animal cultivation of immortality is a thousand times more difficult, and we all empathize with the taste of it. After Huang Xian left, she went straight back to the backpack, belonging to her own real body. The whole time, Shang Wan Fu was witnessing it with his own eyes. Waiting for the bugs to leave for half a day, he dared to get up from the ground, look around, and rubbed his eyes, as if to confirm whether those are gone, or my child urine time limit has expired. I was amused, so I told them that they were fine, and that the bugs had been driven away by me, and would not come back. However, I suggested that he had better choose a day for those yellow immortals to do a supernatural puja, and then enshrine their real body in the temple so that the bugs are also considered to have a place to rest, and this period of grudges is also resolved. Shang Wan Fu's family thanked me profusely, and rushed to call out for people to carry Shang Wan AI into the house. Yang Shoucheng was also respectful, pulling my hand and calling me uncle, but I didn't have the time to pay attention to him, Shang Wan AI was still unconscious. I asked assistant who for a pen and paper, and I drew two pictures, asking him to put one on Shang Wan AI's head, and one at his feet, lest there be any residual bugs that didn't leave. When I drew, Yang Shouqing stared at the side, but when I finished, he was full of doubts, secretly asked me, Uncle, what is that you drew, how come I don't recognize any of them? In fact, not only did he not recognize it, I didn't recognize it either. When I was a teenager, I probably would have drawn these, but also had quietly used for classmates, every time it works, but to be honest, I drew no rules, and do not talk about what the beginning of the end, as long as the eyes of the view, the hands of the chaotic drawing on the line. If someone asks me to draw two identical ones, I don't think I could do it myself. In fact, everyone's bloodline is changing all the time, because the human body is flexible and cannot be fixed in one place. Yang Shoucheng asked me what those paintings were, and I couldn't directly say that I had drawn them randomly, so I made up two names. Those two paintings, one is the Taiyi suppressing the evil spirits to drive away the evil spirits to wake up the god's figure, one is the god's general to protect the life of the body with the figure. Don't look at the simple painting, the spirit of it, this is all an untold secret, said you don't understand. Yang Shouqing nodded his head repeatedly, his eyes were glowing, looking at that way, he had completely taken me as a god in general. After posting the painting, Shang Wan AI finally woke up leisurely, but her consciousness was still a little bit not quite awake, she only opened her eyes to look for a few moments, and then drifted off to sleep again. In order not to disturb her, we came to the courtyard to talk. Shang Wan Fu still had palpitations in his heart and couldn't stop saying words of thanks to me, and Mrs. Shang Wan also changed her arrogance from earlier, she directly took out a wallet and pulled out two piles of cash from it, placing it in front of me. Little sir, thank you so much, this is a little token of appreciation, please do accept it. Looking at the $20,000 in front of me, I was first happy for a moment, thinking that this trip to Luoyang was still relatively smooth, no wonder master let my dad get me $500 for the road. It seems that he predicted long ago that I would be able to make money completely with my skills once I came to Luoyang. But on second thought, my face sank again. I remember very clearly, just now Mrs. Shang Wan personally said, who can cure her daughter's disease, but there are millions of honorarium, this how to give 20,000. Seeing my expression was not right, Shang Wan Fu busy said, little sir don't misunderstand, this is just a little bit of our small intention, as for, as for. The following words he seems to be a bit difficult to speak, Half a day without saying anything, Yang Lin suddenly sneered and said in a conspiratorial manner, $20,000 is already quite a lot, previously Chairman Shang Wan was promised that whoever can completely cure him as Shang Wan will get a million honorarium. But that has a prerequisite, which is to completely cure, but now Miss Shang Wan hasn't even regained her consciousness, not to mention, who knows whether those things just now, will still come back again. He deliberately emphasized the word thoroughly, Shang Wan Fu smiled awkwardly, but didn't refute his statement. I understand, these rich people are really like what my dad said, the richer they are, the more stingy they are. But it is understandable, Shang Wan Fu is after all a businessman, think long term, if I take the million honorarium and then walk away, those who hate the immortals to come back, what will he do? So, what he means now is that he wants to use the honorarium to delay me for a while, and will only pay the rest of the money when his daughter is really fine. I didn't bother with him, and at that moment, I put away the $20,000 and put it into my bag. Feeling the bulging feeling in my bag, I was secretly happy in my heart. 
I have money. This is the first bucket of gold I earned in Luoyang. Ah. Yang Shoucheng but glared at Yan Lin a glance, accompanied by a smiling face to invite me to his home as a guest, but also said a lot of nonsense. What back then thanks to Chui Half City old mister. Otherwise there is no his achievements today, and now Chui Half City's successor, he must be good filial piety clouds. Anyway, blah 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 a whole lot. For Yang Shoucheng, I am skeptical, because I have also heard, master his old man never confiscated a disciple, hit which came out of such a grandson? So, while Shang Wan AI is not fully awake time, Yang Shoucheng told me once, about 20 years ago things. Originally, more than 20 years ago, Yang Shoucheng is still just a walking Jiang Hu wandering doctor, not much fame, not to mention what family business, he is an inadvertent acquaintance of a person named Li Hong, only to change his fate. That Li Hong at that time is already quite famous Chinese medicine doctor, every day to find him to see the patient is also a constant stream of people, Yang Shoucheng used all means to become Li Hong's disciple, followed by Li Hong to learn three years of medical skills. After that, he went south to Luoyang, and in just a few years, he made a great name for himself. And that Li Hong, is only the honorary disciple of Chui Half City. Later, the Shang Wan Fu family's daughter got a strange disease, every first day in 15th on the seizure, like epileptic convulsions, and all kinds of nonsense. Yang Shoucheng can't cure, really can't, then begged the master Li Hong, please Chui Semai Cheng out of the mountain. After a few times, Chui Half City was really invited to Luoyang, a look at the situation of Shang Wan Fu's family, told him that this is a false disease, ordinary medicine and stone cannot be cured. But as for how to cure, Chui Half City did not say, Yang Shoucheng only saw him sitting on the edge of the bed, buckle Shang Wan AI's wrists, mouth reciting half a day, and then long sigh, told Yang Shoucheng, the girl's disease has been mostly well. But after that every year on the 15th of July will also have a seizure. When Shui Half City left, gave Yang Shoucheng a prescription, let him every year Shang Wan AI onset of disease, according to the prescription medicine, served for 3 days, the child will be good. But this method can only work until Shang Wan AI 18 years old, wait until she is 18 years old this year again, this prescription may not work. Yang Shoucheng firmly remembered the words of Chui Half City, and asked him what to do at that time, Chui Half City will be hidden in the sleeve, half closed eyes, silently pinpointing half a day, and suddenly laughed, said that at that time, he will send his disciples to come, and end this period of hatred. Chattering listening to him say half a day, I realized, I this master uncle in the end how to come. I had just been thinking that Yang Shoucheng was also a Taoist expert, but it turned out that he was a Chinese medicine practitioner. Moreover, he had only been studying medicine with my master's registered disciple for three years, and he had actually achieved so much, becoming the national medical saint of Luoyang City. Then how high must my master's skill be? I suddenly felt a little pity, after worshipping my master when I was five years old, I have never seen my master again, if I could follow his old man all these years, wouldn't I have to be so bullish that my farts would bubble up now? Shang Wan AI finally woke up, but those vengeful immortals in her body for so many years, this time, and tossed so hard, she was greatly injured, estimated that at least to recuperate for more than a week, in order to slowly recover. I took the initiative to stay, on the one hand, I can always observe Shang Wan AI's situation, while guarding against any further situations. On the other hand, I am not willing to go to Yang Shoqing's house, because this old man always gives me the feeling that he is too cunning and calculating, especially that nephew of his, is even more annoying. And Yang Shoqing that a little mind I can guess, he just want me to go to his home to live, and then looking for an opportunity to let me teach him something, after all I am Chui half of the city's legitimate disciple, his grandson basically belongs to the kind of eight pole or not hit. However, I and Chui Half City only master and disciple name, in addition to the landscape picture, he did not teach me anything, this if you go to Yang Shoucheng home, not a minute to reveal? Of course, I chose to stay in Shang Wan Fu's house, there is another main reason, he promised that million honorarium has not yet given me. I've thought about it, and so this money into the account, I will give home a phone call, send all the money to my father back, let them buy a house, enjoy a good life. Although my master said that I am not allowed to go home for three years, but I can call and send my living expenses, right? Shang Wan Fu packed a guest room for me, and three meals a day were delivered to my door, so I stayed here with peace of mind. In these few days, I talked to that python fairy dream every night, of course the two of us communication is limited to chatting, don't look at her nominal relationship with me is unusual, but I look at her one more time, she looks like she is going to gouge my eyes out of the stance. However, she finally told me her name. She said that her name was Anaconda Skyflower, and that she was originally the sec leader of the law enforcement hall, among my master's immortal halls. I then suddenly realized, why she looked quite good looking, but always give a person a kind of cold as ice frost feeling, with skin that Huang Xian, even in front of her do not dare to raise their heads. But she also told me, when Chui Half City let me give her offerings of true body, on the one hand is to let her protect me, do my protection, on the other hand is to borrow my body of the most in gas, to help her cultivate true body. Because, she actually doesn't have a physical body either, in these 10 years or so, she has been cultivating on top of the true body that I offered her, plus she has been spending time with me, 
so her Tao progress has been even more rapid. If not for that, she would have had to deal with that yellow immortal today, and I'm afraid it would have taken a bit more effort. Shangguan AI rested at home for a week, there is nothing happening again, the body is almost recovered, so she went to school. After all, she only went to college this year, can't start absenteeism in freshman year to play crazy. See Shangguan love alright, I pondered that a million should always give me, did not expect this day, Shangguan Fu came to my room, said something to ask for help, also said as long as you help him to do this thing, a million honorariums or not less, in addition to send me a big gift. I was a little speechless, asked him what, Shangguan Fu sad face told me, although his daughter is fine, but he is still a little uneasy, especially his daughter on that school is closed private colleges and universities, he has to be a week to see his daughter once, so I want to go to the school, covertly protect his daughter. Of course, the time does not have to be too long, as long as after this semester, by the time his daughter is on vacation, I will be free. As soon as I heard that, my brain buzzed a bit, and I said that I am most afraid of the school, it is not easy to graduate, but as a result, you want to make me whole school again? Besides, my master let me out as to break into the world, not for your daughter as a bodyguard ah. I sipped my teeth and after pondering for half a day, I categorically told him, I have to add money. Shang Wan Fu slapped his thighs, on the spot to my bank card transferred 100,000, said this is also a deposit, wait until the time of vacation, together with the settlement. I am speechless, said you these business really monkey fine monkey fine, originally said that 1 million is the money for the cure, this fucking set me to school again. But look at a million for the sake of, I put up with, after all, a semester can earn a million things, hit the lantern is not good to find. Besides, I don't need to spend a penny, then go to see what the city's high grade private schools are like, it's worth it. Received that $100,000, my heart is finally a little bottom again, secretly think, or my father has foresight, the reason why is $500 into the bank card, I guess it is convenient for me to save money with the. Shang Wan Fu sent someone to the school to do the formalities for me to go, he said about as long as 3 days or so can be done. This point I do not doubt, with his financial strength, want to arrange a classroom student is very easy, I am worried about is not this point, but Shang Wan AI. This Shang Wan AI is full of princess disease, ignoring me as her savior because she gets sick once a year, so she thinks that this time it's just a coincidence that I'm there. Going to school with her, I really have a headache. Shang Guan Fu really is a great man, on the third day after he finished talking to me about this matter, I was already riding in one of his family's Rolls Royce, arriving at the Eagle Plus International School, which is located on the outskirts of Luoyang. Shang Guan Love and I sat in the same car, all the way she is taught face, a boss reluctant look, away from me sitting far away, seems to be afraid that I am close to her, will affect the quality of the air she breathes. But I didn't care, I'm on this is to play, and so this semester passed, a million to hand, who cares about you? After arriving at the school, just walked into the school gate, Shang Wan AI suddenly stopped in her tracks, with an unfavorable gaze turned back to me and said, hey, I'm telling you, although my dad arranged you into our class, you must pretend not to know me, and you're not allowed to talk to me when there's nothing else to do normally. Also, about me being sick, if you dare to say anything about it to anyone, I'll have my dad kick you out right away. This little girl was white and clean looking, with handsome features and a slim figure, looking quite appealing, but when she said these words, she was fierce and not friendly at all. I didn't even bother with her, bared my teeth at her and then twisted my head and left. Hey, how dare you ignore me? She yelled after me, furious like an angry little she-cat. I turned around and smiled at her, Missy, wasn't it you who said that I had to pretend I didn't recognize you? Oh yeah, I have something else to tell you. First, my name is Choi Yifun, not hello. Second, it's your dad who begged me to come into the school to protect you, if you don't need me, that's for the best, but if you have something to ask me for help someday, don't forget, I don't know you at all, yo. After saying that, I didn't even pay attention to her, carrying my bag, I went to find my own classroom to report to. Shang Guan Fu has long arranged everything, I quickly finished the relevant formalities, and then came to the school assigned me a single room dormitory. I have to say, this school and my home county school compared, simply one is paradise, one is a slum. This school has how luxurious upscale not to mention, alone this dormitory, inside the air conditioning computer refrigerator and so on everything, even the bathroom is independent. After putting down my backpack, I first went to the bathroom and took a shower, then I changed into my clothes and took out that python immortal's true body from my backpack and respectfully placed it on the table. Little flower, from today onwards, the two of us will be living in this school for a little over half a year. I just looked, there are quite a lot of pretty girls in the school, but don't worry, I definitely won't get involved with them. I was originally casually joking, but as soon as the words fell, I suddenly felt a pain in my eyes, like someone had suddenly given me a punch, and my eyes were on fire. Don't be poor with me, let me tell you, you can't touch a single girl in this school. Anaconda's voice suddenly appeared, but for some reason, there was no flirting in her tone, instead, she carried a serious warning. I couldn't help but stare, thinking that I am only nominal with you, how come this is still serious? 
Could it be that inside this school, there are still some untold secrets? No matter what, my special identity life, from now on began. Because of my special identity, so I am very low profile, try not to have too much with others. But two days down the line, I knew I was overthinking it. Not only do I not want to have any interactions with others, but others don't want to have any interactions with me either. All the people in here are rich, usually walk with their noses up to the sky, where can they see me as an outsider of unknown origin? I am also happy to be quiet, every day according to Shang Wan Fu's explanation, just keep an eye on Shang Wan AI in the dark. Shang Wan AI also very well carry out her attitude of ignoring me as the savior of her life, completely as if she did not know. Sometimes I unintentionally look at her more than a glance, she can stare at me for half a day. In this way, I spent the first week of boredom. These days, that python fairy also did not take care of me, I shouted at her also did not move, do not know what to do. In the blink of an eye, it was Monday again, this day I was walking on the road, yawning, along the way, I heard people talking, everyone looks nervous, seems to be talking about something big and important. One of the boys was the loudest, I squinted my eyes and listened to it, and then I realized what they were talking about. It turned out that there had been another incident in the girl's dormitory yesterday. The guy said that Aaron's girlfriend across the hall from him was staying alone for the weekend, only to find a man in her room during the night. Security is certainly good in this kind of aristocratic place, so the security guards and dormitory administrators immediately went to her room, only to find nothing out of the ordinary. They then checked the entire building and accessed the security cameras again, all entrances and corridors, but there was still no problem. The dormitory administrator then comforted her, saying that you might have been confused and hallucinating, or dreaming of being ghosted and having a nightmare, in short, it was impossible for a man to come in the dormitory. But when the dormitory manager turned back to leave after she finished speaking, the girl screamed in horror and pointed at her, saying, that man is lying on your back. The dormitory administrator was horrified, but the crowd came around to check the situation and found nothing. At this point, the girl again magically looked at the door and pointed with her finger and said, he's gone. This incident, in this morning has spread, everyone is on tenterhooks, all said that I am afraid that this time there will be another accident. This boy told the colorful, greatly aroused my curiosity, the boy just said that I'm afraid of another accident, is it often accidents in the past? I couldn't help but think of the words that Anaconda said to me with her face on the ceiling, you can't touch any of the girls here. After that I quietly found the storytelling boy, want to inquire about the specific things, but he was a bit indifferent, no way, I can only use a made-up identity to scare him. I asked him, Luoyang City, the famous national medicine sage Yang Shoucheng, have you heard of it? He said that must have heard of ah, my grandmother was seriously ill that year, it was relying on Mr. Yang's skills, three needles down, my milk hard to live for five more years. I smiled at him and said, to tell the truth, if we are talking about seniority, he has to call me uncle. He was shocked at first, then expressed his disbelief, he said that he was over 60 years old this year, and he called you uncle, this is a bit too big of a brag, right? I didn't talk nonsense with him, directly in front of him, I made a video call to Yang Shoucheng, and then put it on speakerphone. The next thing is logical, Yang Shoucheng respectfully a mouth a teacher uncle, and a look of enthusiasm, directly scared him. After hanging up the phone, he looked at my eyes have changed, how to describe it. Feels like a teacher in an island action movie, came alive in front of him, that eyes inside full of worship and surprise, and excitement, as well as, the urge to explore. Then, I realized his name, called Guo Ziming. Learning that I was interested in the dormitory, he excitedly brought me to the grove next to the square and told me something about Eagle Plus. He said, this place was built 10 years ago, due to all aspects of the conditions are very good, in the local very well known, especially in the first few years, red hot. But in the last one or two years, there have been some strange incidents frequently, causing everyone to talk about it privately, only that the top never refused to admit it. It started when a girl passed by the library and saw a person with only half a body, covered in blood, crawling around on the ground in front of the library. That girl was scared half to death, ran back to the dormitory, because she lived in a double room, told her dormitory roommate about it. The roommate did not take it seriously, thought she was blurred, or intentionally scared themselves, comforted her a few words and went to bed. As a result, in the middle of the night, she got up to go to the toilet and found that the girl had disappeared, and when she came to the toilet, the girl was fully dressed and applying makeup and lipstick in the mirror. At that time it was already more than 2 o'clock in the middle of the night, the roommate scared faces white, and did not dare to ask, quietly back to the quilt, covered with the quilt, and then heard the girl alone out of the door, along the corridor to go out. She listened to the footsteps coming from the corridor and stayed awake all night. The next morning, a lot of people gathered in front of the library door, the water is not enough, the roommate just happened to pass by, it felt very strange, squeezed into the crowd to see, the girl wearing last night's clothes, has died on the ground, and both legs are broken, bizarrely twisted, under the body of a puddle of blood has long since coagulated, shocking. Everyone said that she had jumped to her death. 
The roommate almost went crazy, she told the story of what happened last night, and it quickly caused a big uproar, but soon, the roommate inexplicably left, and the rumors of the girl hitting a ghost gradually subsided. Woi Ziming finally finished telling about these strange events that had happened with a start, but this level of ghost stories was basically immune to me. That's it? Is there anything else? I asked. Then, there was another really weird thing that happened, but I don't know, it counts as some kind of paranormal event. He scratched his head, seemingly unsure of his tone, and looked around again before lowering his voice and saying to me, a few months ago, over at the dormitory, there were about two dozen girls, who got pregnant en masse. I couldn't help but stare, my point of interest coming up all of a sudden. Two dozen girls getting pregnant at the same time, this was more than a paranormal event, this was simply too paranormal. Come, come, you tell me about this part, let's go out to eat at noon, I'll treat you. I moved closer to him, intending to listen to this part properly, but just at this time, someone outside the grove suddenly pointed and shouted this way. Those two, what are they doing, sneaking around? The one who shouted was a teacher around 30 years old with shiny hair, I had a vague impression of him, as if he was from the political science academy side, surnamed Zhang. Guo Ziming looked embarrassed, and was busy walking out from the grove, I was indifferent, anyway, I came to mix a semester, what am I afraid of? He actually squirmed a bit and said to me, the teachers have come to shout, I have to go to class first, it doesn't matter to you, you're an interloper, you won't usually be noticed, I'll see you in the next class. He said and waved at me, smiled cheekily and turned and ran off alone. I stood in place and touched my nose, thinking that what this guy said, how does it feel weird? Now it's already class time, the campus is quiet, today's weather is also good, sunny, but I don't know why, maybe it's because of listening to Gua Ziming's story, I stood under the sun, but I feel a burst of coldness, as if there is a trace of coldness, quietly climbed up from under the feet, drilling into the clothes at the back. I looked up, surrounded by a patch of aspen trees, growing quite luxuriantly, the sunlight from the gaps between the leaves of the trees projected to the ground, the shadow of the trees, green grass. But something strange, here in the middle of the green grass, interspersed with a large number of small white flowers, that small flowers I have never seen, the top like a mushroom head, in the breeze gently swaying. Only, I inexplicably had a strange feeling, looking at those small white flowers, as if I saw countless palms reaching out from the ground, beckoning to me continuously. And this feeling became stronger and stronger, my body bristled with countless goosebumps, and even my hair strands seemed to stand up. This grove, why would it give people this eerie and weird feeling? After leaving the grove, I wandered around the school, not realizing that as I walked, I came to the school's library building. I remembered Gua Ziming's story and purposely stopped and stood in front of the door of the library building and looked around. Here is a small square, open in front of the door, there is nothing weird in special place, and even less feel the presence of any Ying Chi. Believe me, if a place has a heavy Ying Chi, then even when the sun shines brightly during the day, you will feel eerie when you stand there. However, I couldn't feel it at all here. I raised my head again and looked at the terrain around me, and this time I could see something. To the left of the library, a separate row of buildings stretched out. Not only that, but on the opposite side of the library building, it happened to be the corner of another building, in the shape of a sharp knife, directly facing the library. The overall layout is strange, and at a glance let me see out the sense of ferocity. According to reason, this kind of aristocratic school, in the design and construction of the time is bound to look for some masters to lay out, it is impossible to make this kind of low-level mistakes ah. After seeing the library, I went around the school, in fact, mainly idle, on the other hand, is to feel more fun, because I also have no idea, why those feng shui layout and so on, will exist in my head. For example, when I saw the row of buildings on the left side of the library just now, the words white tiger probe, must see blood and light automatically appeared in my mind. Could it be that this is what my master said back then, that my destiny is extremely heavy with immortal karma, so I was born to be a fortune teller who set up a stall underneath an overpass? When I wandered to the school gates, almost also almost to the end of class time, but this school entrance has a huge stone monument, written above a long section of the school motto and so on, behind the stone monument is a straight road, both sides of the willow shade, stretching forward, seems to lead into the campus of the people, all the way forward from here. I was standing in front of the stone monument looking at those words, suddenly felt that someone behind me walked over, at the same time, a low voice came behind me. What are you doing? What are you doing walking around during class time? Something wrong? I turned around and looked, the one who spoke was the school's janitor Lao Wang, this old man was wearing a black security uniform and a hat, he looked serious, but his eyes, however, looked eerie, especially when looking at people, he was always staring at your eyes, which gave people a feeling of being very uncomfortable. I'm fine, I'm slipping. I bared my teeth at him, not telling him what class I was in of course, and turned around. He didn't say anything else either, but I kept walking out more than 10 meters away, feeling that he seemed to still be watching me from behind, turned around and glanced at him, and sure enough, he was standing in place, his gaze was straight, the brim of his hat was pressed down, and his hands were hanging down, motionless, and from a distance, it looked rather bizarre. 
What's even more bizarre is that in the moment I turned around, I saw behind him, standing two gloomy looking people, both about a meter away from him, standing there silently with him, watching me. But the sensation was only momentary, and when I fixed my eyes to look again, there was nothing behind him again. Strange. I shook my head and turned away. It seemed that this school was, indeed, unclean. But on the principle of more trouble than it's worth, I went straight back to the classroom, it just so happened that it was time for class to end, everyone had run out, the classroom was quiet, only four or five people were in it. I sat in my seat, yawned, and then lay down on the table, wanting to take a nap. Guo Ziming suddenly ran over and stabbed me with his hand, then mysteriously pointed towards a corner, signaling for me to look. I looked up and glanced over there, the one sitting in that seat, was the class flower of the class, called Gu Qixi, her name was very nice, and she was also very pretty, but right now she was frowning tightly, leaning against the corner of the wall, with one hand covering her stomach, and one hand clenching the corner of her coat, her face was pale, and she seemed to be in some pain. What are you asking me to look at? I opened my mouth and asked Guo Ziming. Look at Gu Qixi, it seems like she's sick, I want to go help her, do you think it's okay? Guo Ziming was obviously trying to get close to me, what does it have to do with me if you're compassionate? I glanced at Gu Qixi again, then smiled slightly and lowered my voice to Guo Ziming. She's not sick, she's pregnant. Ah, uh, she's pregnant? Guo Ziming lost his voice and exclaimed in shock, but it was a bit too loud, and Gu Qixi obviously heard him and immediately raised her head, glancing over to our side with the rest of her eyes. There was slightly some panic in those eyes, and at the same time, the corners of her mouth seemed to be inadvertently slightly upturned, revealing a hint of an evil smile. I couldn't help but be stunned. I originally thought that Gu Qixi was just letting loose too much, after all, this kind of thing, university pregnancy, is actually quite a lot. But when she revealed this hint of an evil smile, I instantly realized that something was wrong. The smile on her face flickered, and then she lowered her head again, one hand clenching the corner of her coat so that she couldn't see the expression on her face anymore. Guo Ziming and I glanced at each other, then asked him in a low voice, just now you told me about the collective pregnancy of two dozen girls a few months ago, what exactly is the situation? This. Guo Ziming looked around, by this time there were already some students returning one after another, he shook his head and said to me, it's not easy to say, you wait for the activity time, let's find a place, I'll tell you carefully. I nodded and once again glanced towards Gu Qixi's side, secretly wondering in my heart. My intuition told me that there was definitely something going on with this sister. Right at this moment, Shangwan AI also walked back, and when she saw me sizing up Gu Qixi, she immediately stared at me with icy eyes. She was Gu Qixi's ex-desk, and the two had always been on good terms, so I looked at her as well, while she gave me another warning look before sitting down. I couldn't help but laugh, thinking that you control the sky and the earth, but also control me looking at the girls? The day passed quickly, and by the time class ended in the evening, the people in the staircase classroom left one after another, but Gu Qixi, for some reason, sat in her seat and dawdled, seemingly unwilling to get up. I had gotten up to leave, when Guo Ziming suddenly winked at me, I didn't know what he meant, but I saw Guo Ziming walk over to Gu Qixi's side, and said to her, Gu Qixi, I see that you're a bit uncomfortable, I'll introduce you to a doctor. He reached out and pointed to me, and said to Gu Qixi with a smile, the new transfer from our class, Xu Yifun, his family's ancestral Chinese medicine, the old bull, sick or not sick reach out and take a pulse to know, how about it, try it, you're the one who's sick. Gu Qixi glared at him, said in a bad mood, then picked up her school bag from her seat, hugged it in front of her body, lowered her head and got up to leave. Shangguan AI, who was in front of her, was also full of displeasure and came over to pull Gu Qixi's hand, while giving Gu Ziming a blank stare, piggybacking on that, and glaring at me. That seemed to be a warning to me, mind your own business. I smiled faintly at her, then directly got up, reached out, and pulled Gu Qixi's wrist, and with my other hand, I smoothly pressed her into the seat next to me. Shangguan AI didn't expect me to make a sudden move, and first froze, then burst into a rage. Chu Yifun, you dare to disobey me? Without waiting for me to speak, Wu Ziming took over and said to Shangguan AI in a conspiratorial manner, strange, why should he listen to you? You're his daughter-in-law? I couldn't help but snort a laugh, this Gua Ziming bone is a chatterbox, and nosy kind of person, he didn't even know that Shangguan AI and I have known each other for a long time, and at this moment out of the mouth ridicule, even more so Shangguan AI angry red face. Gua Ziming. You less nosy, I mean, what is he pulling other people's little girl? Shangguan AI was actually just a little bit more temperamental and full of princess disease, when it came to quarreling, she was simply a slag. Seeing that she was about to lose her big lady temper again, I let go of Gu Qixi, then spread my hands out and innocently said, don't misunderstand, I'm just doing her a favor. At this time, the people in the classroom had pretty much left, so I pointed under Gu Qixi, and Shangguan AI looked down and couldn't help but freeze, only to see that Gu Qixi's underneath was clearly oozing blood, and had long since stained her pants red, which was why when she got up just now, she used her school bag to deliberately cover it up, but with her only blocking the front and not the back, 
it would be easy to be noticed, which is why I stopped her. After letting go of her, I took out a sunscreen garment from my school bag and handed it over. Here, wrap it around your waist. Gucci she had it in her heart to look at me gratefully, her face flushed red, her voice as thin as a mosquito fly said to me, thank you, I'll return the clothes to you tomorrow, I'll wash them for you. Then he put my clothes around his waist, got up and pulled Shang Wan AI, and hurriedly left. Shang Wan AI was dumbfounded and seemed to want to say something, but was pulled away by Gu Qixi quickly. There was no one else in the classroom anymore before Gui Ziming hurriedly chased after me, little fan, what's the situation, what did you feel out? When I pulled Gu Qixi just now, I had already taken her pulse in passing, but it was very strange, her pulse was clearly a slippery pulse, round and smooth and fluent, like a pearl rolling on a jade disc, so she should be pregnant, yes. However, she was having her menstrual period, which is not right. Although I don't know anything about women's pregnancies, I do know that menstruation should mean that she's not pregnant. I told Guo Ziming about my doubts, and he was even more confused than I was, scratching his head and saying, Really? I really haven't researched this. Why don't I go home and ask my mom? I looked at him sympathetically, saying that with your IQ, it's a miracle that your mom didn't beat you to death. You can pull back, if you really dare to ask, the consequences are waiting to be scolded, you'd better tell me a lot of girls collectively pregnant. Good, there are many people here, you come with me. Hua Ziming mysteriously took me out of the classroom, once again came next to the grove in the morning, and looked around to see that no one was there, before coming up to me and saying, at that time, the whole school was sensationalized by that incident, and it was not easy to calm it down, but several months have passed, and I thought that everything was fine, but now I see that this matter may not be over. He muttered and told me that it was spring, and several girls had developed symptoms of vomiting and diarrhea and were in a trance and had trouble concentrating, and some even had noticeably bulging stomachs. In less than a month's time, almost a dozen of them had this condition, but it was not taken seriously at that time, and it was not until a physical examination that I realized that many girls had symptoms suspected to be of menstruation. Moreover, one day suddenly a girl had an attack, her mouth was full of nonsense, as if she was bewitched. It was only then that the stewards realized something was wrong, and immediately conducted a checkup among the girls, only to find that there were more than 20 of them with the same symptoms. The stewards didn't dare to examine them directly, let alone test them, because these people's families all had backgrounds, and if people didn't get pregnant but had to do this test, it was clearly an insult to character. If the top of the organization knew about it and these people made a fuss, they couldn't stand it. So, the steward can only from the side of the first to understand the situation, but this investigation, all the people who know, almost from top to bottom, are scared half dead. The thing is so shire. These female students who were investigated, almost all are unified, said that this period of time, they sleep at night, for several consecutive days have seen a man in white, in their half asleep half awake, stretching out the claws of an Lushan. But these girls also balked at the idea that it was just a hallucination, because when they woke up, everywhere was still fine. However, if one person and two people had hallucinations, it would still be understandable. What could it mean if two dozen people all had such hallucinations? There was only one answer. This was not something that could be explained by normal scientific forces. Ah, stewardship of the general is a great enemy. Taking a weekend student vacation, they also do not know where to invite some know-how, and is scattered rice and soy, and is burning paper and chanting incantations, and finally to those girls to switch the dormitory, tossed a few days later, those who know how to say, has been resolved, no matter what unclean or driven away. Then, reorganized a physical examination of all, the results of this time, those people's symptoms are good, and pressed as normal, there is no strange happy pulse. In order to keep it a secret, the steward of the incident was suppressed, and most of those girls were transferred away after secret communication, so the people who know about this incident are actually not too many. Listening to Gua Ziming finished, I was a little surprised, so I asked him, since there are not many people know about this matter, then how do you know? Gua Ziming smiled and told me that his father is the school's director, so many things he knows more than others. I suddenly realized, no wonder the Shangwan love in front of him also dare not be too reckless, but I can be on the cross-eyed coal to the boss, dare this school have Gua Ziming their family's shares. I told Gua Ziming that this matter should not be publicized around, and the more he knows, the more unfavorable to him. He asked me why, I didn't tell him directly, just said to him lightly, don't you realize that there is indeed something unclean around us, maybe, that thing is now around us, listening to us talking about it. Gua Ziming was a bit hairy, immediately glancing to the left and right, making a look of fear, he said to me, Fan, don't scare me, where is that thing, how come I can't see it? Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Give me your sticky note. What do you need sticky notes for? Give it to you. I didn't explain, took his workbook and tore a page off of it directly, then took out another pen and drew a soul invoking charm on it. I intended to scare him, because this soul inviting charm can follow the outside world zine and yang chi changes and fluctuations, to put it bluntly, a little wind can be brushed and rattled, I grew up with this bluffing, a hundred tries. 
Watch, today let you open your eyes and grow some insight. I use two fingers to hold the soul-inviting talisman, pretending to stand in front of my body, gently shaking. Normally, the soul-summoning talisman would slowly begin to shake, and then under the influence of the two chi of yin and yang, it would begin to clatter. I could already imagine Gua Ziming's mouth wide open and his astonished gaze. But as soon as I put up the soul recruitment talisman and shook it gently, I felt a strong yin and fury chi surging from all directions, instantly surrounding Gua Ziming and me in the center. The talisman also began to clatter and clatter, but this level is far more than ten times stronger than what I have seen in the past, as if someone is holding a blower, blowing vigorously against the talisman. Gua Ziming was stunned, his face turned green, and he shrank his neck to my side, looking around, searching for the location of that thing. In fact, this sudden change made me a little hairy, this is not in my script ah. The talisman was shivering in the wind, as if there were countless ghosts surrounding us, emitting hideous laughter. Suddenly, a voice resounded in my head. You're really bold, you dare to use a soul-invoking talisman in a place like this, don't you want to live? It was Python smallpox. What's wrong with this place? What should I do now? I quickly asked in my mind. First, silently recite the golden light divine mantra in your heart, all evils will not be invaded, then throw the soul recruitment talisman, I'll help you with the rest. Good. Without the slightest hesitation, I immediately began to silently recite the golden light divine mantra in my heart, the heaven and earth Schwanzone, the root of all air. After hundreds of millions of years of extensive cultivation, I have proved my divine power. Inside and outside of the three realms, only the Tao reigns supreme. There is golden light in my body, reflecting my body. Not waiting for a golden light divine incantation recited, that invocation talisman is already about to be unable to withstand the surrounding yin chi, even vaguely about to be torn. I thought of a move, a forceful fling, the soul invocation talisman thrown out, but it did not land, in midair spinning a few, as if there are countless hands underneath the support, and then suddenly bang, the soul invocation talisman automatically burned up. Strange enough, once the talisman burned up, the surrounding yin chi immediately weakened, I watched the burning talisman slowly float down from midair, when the talisman fell to the ground, the surrounding yin chi has been dispersed almost. I stood still and combed my mind for a while before walking over to check it out. I only saw that the soul invoking talisman had already burned to ashes, but the weird thing was that at this moment, when I looked at it, the shape of the ashes actually seemed to be a twisted and hideous human face. So scary ah, Seofan, what's going on ah, just now that was. That was. Hua Ziming pulled my arm, his entire body leaning on me, shivering uncontrollably, his eyes were also still in a state of shock, it was obvious that he was completely terrified by what had just happened. I had to coax him and said, don't be afraid, don't be afraid, it's just that the yin chi is too heavy, there is no ghost, don't worry. It was fine if I didn't mention ghosts, once I mentioned the word, he was even more scared and spoke with a crying voice. You did not say that you are a family of traditional Chinese medicine, how do I look? At this you seem to be a ghost hunter family ah. I couldn't help but laugh, patted his shoulder and said, in fact, in some ways, Chinese medicine and metaphysics are connected, no need to make a fuss. But I have one thing for you to do, it's a big deal, is there a problem? As soon as he heard that it was a matter of great importance, he agreed without saying a word, and there was an excited gleam in his eyes. Obviously, for him, he already thought of me as a mysterious figure, and there must be something fun and exciting about following me. You help me inquire about the specifics of Ah Long's girlfriend, as well as, where Gu Qixi's dormitory is, who she's usually more familiar with, and what abnormal behavior she's been having lately, all the information about these two people, at the latest, before the sun sets tomorrow, you have to tell me all of it. Ah, uh, actually, it's one person. What, a person? That's right, Ah Long's girlfriend, is Gu Qixi. I couldn't help but freeze for a moment, and said that it's no wonder, it seems that the one who got hit this time, is her. Gua Ziming looked at me somewhat nervously, then lowered his voice and said to me, is there going to be another incident in the school? Yes, and the consequences are feared to be serious. My tone was serious, and when Gua Ziming heard this, his expression also became serious, and he nodded his head vigorously. Good, I'll go investigate now, it won't take until the sun sets tomorrow, I'll strive to give you news first thing in the morning. Well, then it's a deal. Saying this, the two of us patted each other's shoulders as a sign of encouragement. It was at this moment that a man suddenly walked head on, and seeing us from afar, he stopped in his tracks, turned his head and walked backwards. Hey, it's you two again. Okay okay, I didn't see anything. Gua Ziming and I looked at each other and spoke in unison. Mr. Zheng, it's not what you think. That night, I sat alone on the ground with my knees crossed, the landscape picture that my master had left me in front of me. A long time ago I had gotten into the habit of meditating. Because every time I look at this painting, I can visualize the realm in the painting, as if I am merged into it, and then when I close my eyes, all kinds of scenery will appear in my mind, and when I open my eyes again, I will be refreshed, and my body will be soothed. 
This time was no exception, when I came out from the realm of the painting, I let out a long breath of relief, then silently asked in my heart, Little flower, little flower, are you there? What's going on here, can you tell me about it? I asked several times, and the real body of the python immortal in front of me didn't respond much, and when I asked again, a loving voice suddenly surfaced in my mind. You have to ask me everything, so what do you do? Remember, this is your path of cultivation, not mine. But, aren't you my protector? I'm a little confused, thinking that you still don't let me think about girls, I have something not to ask you, who do I ask? But this sentence I did not say, afraid to provoke her again. This time she said, protecting the law is only to protect your safety, but the road you have to walk on your own. I think about it and asked, then let me make an analogy, if I mix poor, can't even eat, will you help me make money, let me get rich? When you're starving to death, maybe I'll let you pick up ten dollars, enough for you to eat a meal and not starve to death, but the road is still your own. I was speechless, and asked her again, in that case, if I'm in any danger, you won't come out until it's an emergency? Yes, within my ability, I can make sure you don't die, that's all. She said dryly. I didn't say a word. The room was silent, so quiet I could hear myself breathing. It seemed that she really didn't care about me, and that she would only come out when it mattered. Suddenly, she spoke to me again slowly. Trust your first instinct, all your inspiration comes from within this painting, so instead of asking me, you should ask this painting. Ask this painting? What's so special about this painting, and why does a painting inspire me? I asked in quick succession. Because what you are capable of is in this painting. This time, she only said this sentence and never said another word. I, however, was completely confused, staring wide-eyed at the landscape painting in front of me, thinking, my ability is in this painting? What exactly is my ability, ah? Uh? Nowadays, I can take a pulse and treat people, but does it really have anything to do with this painting? In this painting, there are only mountains, sky and rivers, the painting is very realistic and far away, but my ability can't be related to mountains and water, right? I meditated hard for half a day, but still came up empty-handed. She told me to ask about the painting, but paintings don't talk either, so how could they answer me? Just when I was completely confused, a sharp knock suddenly sounded outside the door. I had to get up and went to open the door, then I saw Gua Ziming standing there with a terrified look on his face, saying to me, something's wrong. After saying that, he pulled my arm and ran outside. Hey, what happened, I didn't even take my cell phone. Take what cell phone, if you're late, someone will die, Guchishi went crazy and is in a long dormitory. Look at his anxious look, I said you are afraid to go late to kill Ah, or afraid to go late to see the lively Ah. Tomorrow is the weekend, many people have already gone out to play, only some ready to hack in the dormitory, or lazy, because there are fewer people, so the management is much looser. Gua Ziming pulled me up to the fourth floor in one breath, and from afar I heard a girl yelling inside. There are many people standing in the corridor, and they don't dare to go over, Gua Ziming directly rushed through the crowd, yelling at the inside. Get out of the way get out of the way, the doctor is here. I followed him all the way to the door of a dormitory, the door was tightly closed, the shouts inside were clear as day, and there was a physically fit boy standing at the door, his face white with fear. Ah Long, this is the Chu Yifun I told you about, a family of traditional Chinese medicine practitioners, specializing in treating all kinds of difficult cases. I'm a bit amused, this Gua Ziming is already recognizing me as a family of Chinese medicine practitioners, he doesn't forget to blow a few words to me wherever he goes. But that's fine, it's better than telling people that I'm a ghost catcher. What's the situation, tell me first. I asked Aaron. I, I don't know what the situation is, just now she said that she was afraid of being alone in the dormitory, and felt that as soon as she closed her eyes, someone was standing in front of her bed and smiling at her, so I let her come to me, and the result was that just a few minutes after she entered the room, she was. She was. He seems to be a little difficult to speak, but still a bite, briefly told us the truth. Originally, after Gucci she came to a long dormitory, he was going to go downstairs to get some food back, the result went out not even 10 minutes, came back to find that something happened. Gucci she was originally sitting on his bed, but now she was lying on the ground, her body twisting and turning, her expression agonizing, as if she had gone crazy. Ah Long was terrified. Before he could ask what was wrong, Gucci she climbed up from the ground, rushed up and tore Ah Long. If this were usual, Ah Long would probably be overjoyed, but at this time he was so scared that he was about to pee his pants, and desperately pushed Gucci she away from him, ran out of the door himself, and then took the key and locked the door. Then, Guchishi shouted in the dormitory, banging her head everywhere like crazy, and this scene was just seen by Gua Ziming, who lives across the street from Along, so she rushed to find me. Listen to their story, the room Guchishi's shouting has been weakened a lot, I bowed my head for a moment to think, then asked the person next to me for a pen, and casually drew a simple version of the Five Thunders mantra on the palm of my left hand a large circle inside the Five Thunder type symbols. I estimate that if the authentic Taoist heir saw me this talisman, big teeth can laugh off but there is no way, my talisman although completely self-created, look ugly, the advantages of one, work. 
I don't know the principle of it, but when I finished drawing it for the first time, I saw it myself, and I froze for a while, because the pattern was really quite bluffing, and it was easy to make one's head cramp up after seeing it, not knowing what was going on. Next, I asked Along to open the door to the room, he was a bit afraid, and only after Guo Ziming's encouragement did he open the door with fear and trepidation. As soon as the door opened, Gu Qixi immediately rushed over, and when I took a look, both of her eyes didn't look like human beings anymore. Seeing Gu Qixi rushing over, Along took two steps back in fear, but I directly greeted her and directly slapped Gu Qixi's head. Lie down for me. I bellowed, Gu Qixi's forehead was struck by the five thunder curse, and immediately her eyes rolled over, and she fell on her back with a thud. This fall was solid, Gu Qixi immediately fainted, Along and the others came in cautiously, seeing Gu Qixi's appearance, Gu Ziming asked with a bit of fear, Xiao Fan, this won't kill anyone, right? It's hard to say, whether or not it can kill someone, it depends on her destiny. I walked over, and was about to check on Gu Qixi's condition, when I realized that Gu Qixi's belly, suddenly took on a bizarre change. Precisely, should be her belly position, actually with the naked eye visible speed, slowly bulging. And in my eyes, clearly see, her belly, but gradually showed a child's face. My brain buzzed, a thought rushed to my mind in a flash. She's really pregnant. Definitely not human. A long ran over and shouted Gu Qixi's name. Hua Ziming rolled up his arms and sleeves and walked up, about to give Gu Qixi artificial respiration, but A Long kicked him aside. After shouting for half a day, Gu Qixi finally woke up leisurely, her breath was weak, both eyes were lifeless, only opened her eyes to look around, then slightly opened her mouth and uttered a sentence with difficulty. He came again. Who, who's here? A Long's eyes were furtive, glancing around, but there were only a few of us in the house, and a bunch of them outside the door, all of them didn't dare to come in. Gu Qixi no longer speak, at this time she seems to even gasp for breath or strained, the belly cannot stop undulating, the above that ghost face is more and more clear, and with her movements undulating, as if to make all kinds of expression, bizarre to the extreme. To be honest, this is not only the first time I met, and I have never even heard of it before. But one thing is certain, this is definitely the legendary secret ghosts and the back of the two words represent things. But all encountered this kind of thing most of the women, of course, men also encountered, both men and women, will be greatly injured, essence leakage, trance, the serious will become crazy, or even suicide, or exhaustion of vitality and death. These first few months of the collective happy pulse incident, should belong to this kind of situation, according to Gua Ziming said, at that time, please know how to operate a little, and then get better for a period of time, and now, that ghost is coming again. Only this time, there are not so many people who have been hit, only Gu Qixi won, but it is more serious than any of the previous times. Directly with this result now ah. Some people may think, secretly harboring ghosts is not just an idiom, this can still be true, completely bullshit. To be honest, I also think it's bullshit, but the facts are right in front of me, so I can't believe it. Looking at Guchishi, I searched my mind for a solution, but I soon realized that I was severely inexperienced and only knew the cause, but didn't know how to solve it. I tried calling out to Little Flower a few times in my mind, but unfortunately, she simply ignored me. It seems that just as she said, this is my path of cultivation and I have to walk it on my own. But how do I walk it? I was scratching my head in disbelief when two more people ran over outside the door, one of the voices was none other than Shang Wan AI. What happened to Tanabata, where is she? She shouted and ran closer, looking at the room, she couldn't help but exclaim in shock, then glanced to the side and said angrily, who did this? I also don't know which one of the heartless ones thought that she was asking about Gu Qi she falling to the ground unconscious, and secretly reached out and pointed at me. Shangguan AI brushed her head back and glared at me angrily. Could you Chuyufen, it's you again. I was meditating, and as soon as I saw her come in, I was annoyed, so I didn't give her a good face and gave her a cold shoulder. Shut up. I guess she didn't expect me to treat her this way, probably in her heart, I'm in the same status as her family bodyguard, now I actually dare to speak out against her. Chu Yifun, you dare to yell at me, do you believe it or not? I'll let my dad. The words behind her didn't come out, and she promptly retracted, at the same time, another girl walked in, signaling Shang Wan AI not to make any noise for the time being, and then Shang Wan AI really shut her mouth. That girl is very calm, walked close to first squatted down and touched Gu Qixi's pulse, then her face slightly changed, then she said to A Long, let all the irrelevant people go out, leave two helpers, and, if you want to save her, what happens later, don't say anything to anyone, or else I won't care. This woman, actually has a way to save people? A Long was first stunned, Shang Wan AI interjected from the side, He Yu Chen is a northeastern exodus immortal, the regular kind, but no one in the school knows about it, you all have to keep it a secret for me. Said she also provocative look at me, the meaning seems to be calling me a liar. I couldn't help but feel a stir in my heart, and sized up this girl called He Yu Chen for a few moments. This girl looks clean and pretty, and speaks softly and slowly, the opposite of Shang Wan AI, I didn't expect, she is actually a horse fairy? Ah Long was delighted at her words and hurriedly got up and closed the door, driving out those who were watching, 
leaving just a few of us in the room. Then, He Yuchen instructed us to stand farther away, while she stood beside Gu Qixi and slowly rose. Just this instant, the aura on this girl's body changed, and while I was at least three meters away from her, I clearly felt that a lot of things instantly rushed out from her body. Immediately after that, those things fell to the ground and changed into human form. There were a total of four people, both male and female, all of them were in the shape of young people, the men were handsome and the women were beautiful, clear as day to my eyes. However, A Long and Shang Wan AI, a few of them, were all bewildered and couldn't see any of this at all. He Yuchen looked in all directions, his face was serious, and he opened his mouth to order. I'll trouble a few immortals to guard the doors and windows, don't let that thing escape, and don't let the external ghosts come in. And then, please ask who family palm sect master who Tian Gang to send soldiers to take the person. After she finished speaking, those few people immediately dispersed, and indeed guarded the doors and windows, while staring at Gu Qixi on the ground with unfavorable expressions. A few moments later, another good-looking man appeared in the room and laughed at He Yu Chen, the Big Dipper is not at home, just call out to me Hu Tianing for this kind of small matter, just a mere Qingfeng, can't make much of a fuss. He Yu Chen nodded to him and said, in that case, I'd like to thank our second platoon sect master. After saying that, He Yu Chen looked down at Gu Qixi and instructed us, come over here two of you and hold her down. There are only three of us men in this room, Along and Guo Ziming looked at each other, that means let him go over. Guo Ziming's face is white with fear, just now, when Yi Yuchen said those words, it was just me as if nothing had happened, the two of them have long since been terrified, especially Along, his legs and stomach are shivering, I guess if it wasn't for his pro-girlfriend, he would have run away in fear. Interesting, I pretended not to see those immortals, went over to press Gu Qixi's arm, and then shouted at them to go over, these two people hesitated, but also had to be tough went over to press the legs of one and hold the head of the other, it is to put Gu Qixi under control. I really didn't expect, there is actually a real horse fairy in the school, and to be honest, compared with this Yu Chen, I really don't count as a regular. At least people have so many immortal protectors, and godmothers, I'm just an unreliable protector, and I'm always ignoring me. Next, He Yu Chen reached out and dabbed some of his own saliva and used his index finger to point between Gu Qixi's eyebrows. Gu Qixi instantly shuddered and opened her eyes, but those eyes had completely changed and weren't human at all. He Yu Chen's feet were not Ding Dong, standing there and pointing at Gu Qixi, he began to lecture. Where do you come from Qingfeng? Why do you want to scourge other little girls? Don't you know that this is against the laws of heaven? Besides, her dusty fate is not yet finished, if you really give it to death, believe it or not, I'll make you have no good fruit to eat. After He Yu Chen finished speaking, Gu Qixi couldn't help but sneer, rolled her eyes, and opened her mouth to speak. I'm in love. Although her voice still sounded female, it wasn't Gu Qixi's voice at all anymore, the tone and emphasis was completely that of a man. You fell in love and you can just wreak havoc? You have to bear the karma for doing so, if you really get her killed, when you go underground, which of the 18 floors will you be able to get through? Don't you know how powerful this is? He Yu Chen's voice was getting harsher and harsher as she spoke, and I noticed it, this tone of hers now also seemed to have changed to someone else instead of herself. Even though she was standing there, one of her legs was trembling uncontrollably, and what came out of her eyes was not at all the ruthlessness that she should have at her age. This should be whichever of her immortal masters had taken over. I didn't say much and watched this with interest. Ah Long and Guo Ziming, however, were both scared silly long ago, but they didn't dare to move either, the two of them were looking at each other with big eyes, and their gazes were filled with trepidation. There was also Shang Wan AI, who had been standing behind He Yu Chen, and at this time didn't dare to say anything, looking at Gu Qixi without looking away, not knowing if she had also remembered the time when she was sick. In comparison, however, Shang Wan AI was much bolder than A Long and the two of them. Gu Qixi was silent for a while, and then said in a mute voice, I know what you said, but I don't have a method, you guys have a fairy hall to worship, you have food, drink and incense, I'm a lone soul and a ghost, I don't have anything, I'm a naked man, it's better if you can beat my soul, I'll save my mind too. He Yu Chen snorted coldly and said, if you were so nagging, then our Hu family can't help you, we originally wanted to find a place for you to cultivate, it seems, we can only escort you to Fengdu City, when you get there, naturally, someone will clean you up. Sure enough, right now He Yu Chen wasn't speaking in person, the one on top of her should be the same Hu family's second platoon sect leader Hu Tianing just now. Speaking of which, He Yu Chen found half a cup of water in the room, took a sip, and then violently sprayed it on Gu Qixi's face. Gu Qixi let out a wail and struggled violently as if she had been poured with sulfuric acid. Afterward, He Yu Chen waved her hand, telling us to hold Gu Qixi down while she stepped forward and cupped Gu Qixi's face with her hand, about to pour the rest of the water into her mouth. Gu Qixi swung like crazy, just not letting He Yu Chen succeed, although He Yu Chen was possessed by an immortal at this time, her body was still a little girl, and she couldn't control Gu Qixi for a while. In particular, A Long and Guo Ziming's hands went limp, they grew up in a pampered life, when did they ever experience this? Soon they couldn't hold Gu Qixi down, although I was still holding onto her arm, Gu Qixi stood up from the ground with an arch of her body, 
and even slammed her head hard into the wall. It seems that this guy is going to die together. I hurriedly pulled her, at the same time a foot flew out, directly kicked in Guchishi's leg bend. Guchishi fell to her knees with a thud, I took a step forward, reached out and strangled her neck to death, then called out to a long and the others, come over here, you two, pinch the divine gate point on her wrist, don't let him get away. These two people were at a loss for words, hurriedly ran over, Along looked tall and big, but at this time, he asked with a sobbing voice, big brother, where is the divine gate point? The depression in the center of the horizontal stripe of the wrist is, pinch it to death. I bellowed, these two panicked and grabbed Guchishi's hand, but Guchishi kept struggling, they couldn't find the location of the divine gate point at all. Shangguan AI also panicked, her feet couldn't stop backing up, I shouted at her, what are you standing there for, come here, help me hold him down. Shangguan AI gritted her teeth and rushed over as well, I let her press down on Guchishi's head and took the opportunity to withdraw my hand, my right hand clenched a fist and my middle finger protruded out, directly pointing on Guchishi's waist vital point. This place is a vital point of the human body, Guchishi directly on the ground, I used both hands to grab her head again, fixed, signaling Hiyuchen to quickly irrigation. Hiyuchen couldn't help but look at me twice more, nodded approvingly, then pinched Guchishi's chin and directly poured that half bowl of water in. Immediately afterward, I saw Gu Qixi's eyes immediately change, glaring like a dead fish, and his mouth issued a wild cry that didn't sound like a human's voice, and then with a wow sound, he spat out all the water that he had just drank. Only, this was clear water that was drunk, but what was spat out was stinky black water. Gu Qixi weakly opened her eyes and slowly closed them again, but in this instant, I could already see that her eyes were normal. Inside that puddle of black water, however, there was a humanoid thing constantly struggling, lying on the ground, seemingly saying something, but this time I couldn't hear it. Hiyuchen beckoned, next to the door guarding the few young immortal about to go forward to take the person, but the thing on the ground suddenly scurried up, toward the door to pounce. This change was so sudden that even I thought the thing had been restrained, but I didn't realize that it actually had the ability to escape. When it was too late, when that thing was about to escape out of the door, it seemed to have hit something and rebounded violently, falling heavily on the ground and landing right at my feet. With a quick eye in hand, I grabbed an iron basin from the side and buckled it directly underneath. The iron isolated the yin and yang, and that thing could no longer run away. At this point, I was relieved and spread my hands to Yu Chen, saying, the bottom belongs to you. This Yu Chen was also ruthless, directly asking how long for a lighter, and then letting me step on the iron basin, opening the rim of the basin slightly to a slit, and stuffing the lighter in. She waved her hand, and I chopped it down with a fierce kick, and the lighter exploded with a bang when it met the pressure. This thing is full of butane, extremely easy to explode, this blow in the iron basin bam, followed by nothing moves. Hiyu Chen went forward to take away the iron basin, and grab the side of the kettle, half a pot of boiling water or poured up. I can't help but shiver, thinking that this girl looks quite gentle, enough ruthless ah. Alright, that thing is stubborn, let's see if it's still honest this time. Hiyu Chen clapped his hands and his face relaxed. I couldn't help but ask, that thing is so powerful that a lighter blew up in smoke? That's not so bad, but his soul is scattered this time, it's hard to get back together again, from now on it's an unconscious state, it can't harm people anymore. If his soul is dispersed, will he not be able to be reincarnated? Not to mention reincarnation, he can't even go to hell, but this is also his own doing, no one else to blame. After he Yu Chen finished, she looked up at me and added, there was an immortal at the door just now, thanks to her blocking this clear wind, I didn't see it clearly, is it your protector? In fact, I didn't pay attention to this detail, sniffing, I quickly looked towards the doorway, but there was nothing there long ago. However, I estimated that the immortal she was talking about should be Python Smallflower. But since Little Flower wasn't willing to show herself, should I tell her the truth? After thinking about it, I felt that it was fine to tell her, this matter couldn't be hidden anyway, people with immortal halls could tell who had immortal karma at a glance, there was no need to hide it. So I didn't deny it, nodded and said, that's right, she's my protector. Hiyu Chen looked at me again meaningfully and grinned, you, not bad. After saying these words, Hiyu Chen's eyes went into a trance for a moment, then when she looked at me again, her gaze was different from earlier. I only saw her exhale a breath slowly and wipe her face twice with both hands from bottom to top before she said to me, just now, that sec master of my house said thank you to your family's protector. Hearing this, it's obvious that this is Hiyu Chen herself, I pointed to Gu Qixi on the ground and said to her, thank you or not, let's put it aside first, what about the one in Gu Qixi's stomach? Just now, He Yu Chen bullishly exterminated the Qing Feng who had done something bad, and even saved the procedure of escorting him to the underground, but Gu Qixi's stomach was still there. He Yu Chen looked at Gu Qixi's stomach, and this time she also scratched her head. My godmaster said, just now, I originally wanted to escort the offending Qing Feng to the underground, but he actually wanted to die with us, he was furious before he exterminated that Qing Feng, although it is not so bad as to lose anything, but they also have to bear the karma, so this matter, has to be dealt with by ourselves. We deal with it ourselves? How to deal with it? 
This kind of thing I am completely inexperienced, cannot according to the Guchishi stomach to a I drew a ghostly talisman right? In that case, the thing inside would be dead, and Guchishi would probably be finished. I thought Wai Yuchin would have a way, but I didn't expect that after I finished, she also spread her hands and said to me, I also have no experience. I couldn't help but be dumbfounded, looking at the weird little ghost face on Guchishi's slightly undulating belly, I thought, what should I do? But Guchishi's stomach is what everyone can see now, Aaron is already six gods, cannot help but say, I said. Does Sien guys, what to do about this ah? Uh? I gave him a smile and pointed at Hiyu Chen, I'm not a great immortal, the great immortal is here. Ah Long looked at Hiyu Chen again with a bitter face, at this time, Guchishi was once again bleeding dark black blood, although she was already awake, her body was so weak that she didn't even have the strength to speak. Hiyu Chen thought for a moment and said to us, this thing is still different from ordinary things, although it is not a human being, it was birthed from human essence, at the same time it has the yin chi of a ghost, it's not a fleshly fetus but has some of the characteristics of a fleshly fetus, at the same time it has extremely heavy grievances, since he was born as neither a human being nor a ghost, it is very difficult to deal with. To deal with this thing, you can't deal with it like you dealt with that Qingfeng just now, otherwise, the burden of karma is even greater. Hearing her say this, I realized why the masters in her family's immortal hall didn't care. To know, bear karma karma this kind of thing, no matter what is the same, as long as you are in the six paths of reincarnation, karma karma should try to touch as little as possible, just like just now Wu Tianing in a fit of rage, that the Qingfeng blew up, but this karma will be written down. Cause and effect of this thing indefinable, but after a number of reincarnation, today destroyed this breeze, always in another form, the cause of today's understanding, avenge his revenge, which is called the fruit. Many people in this world do not believe in cause and effect, but do not know, one day you unintentionally fall on a heel, maybe a long, long time ago, you hurt others retribution. Therefore, those novels written, Exorcism of the Magician, Ghost Hunting Taoist, Moving to Destroy the Demons and Ghosts, Souls Scattered, which in reality is simply unreasonable, and very few people will do so, because once done, the cause and effect will fall on their own body. As the saying goes, if there is a cause, there is a consequence, and your retribution is me. This is called the way of heaven. Then according to you, how is this going to be handled? I asked. This thing has harmed the heavenly harmony, before it becomes a climate, it absolutely can't be kept. He Yu Chen looked as if she was on the verge of an attack, and reached out to touch Gu Qixi's pulse again. A moment later, she said, it's not too good, it's already formed, and it's been there for at least two months. But this thing isn't like a human, it still has to be October, it's forming very quickly, it'll probably only take three months, if we can't stop it in time, it's going to be born. I thumped in my heart and said bad, in that case, Gu Qi she still has a month to go. Ah Long's goosebumps rose as he listened and hurriedly asked, what about after the birth, what will happen, how about that? Oh, the first thing it did after it was born was naturally to look for food, but what it ate wasn't any milk, it was blood. From then on, three meals a day it's going to eat blood food. He Yu Chen's words scared all the several people in the room. Ah Long was still supporting Gu Qi Shi, and this time, he was so scared that he directly put her down and left her alone. I couldn't help but sigh secretly, I guess that these two people were most likely finished, even if Along didn't dislike Gu Qixi, this hurdle in his heart would be hard to pass. Think about it, if anyone's girlfriend has ever had this, and even the stomach there is such a ghost thing, finished actually can be born, good guy, if there is still people do not break up, I can only say, this man either nerves and thighs is thick, or is too manly. Anyway, I could not accept. Gua Ziming also took two steps back, swallowed his saliva and said, why don't we notify her family, or tell the school? This is something we're afraid we can't make decisions for her, right? What he said also makes sense, after all, they encountered such a big thing, no matter how also have to talk to the family, at the very least, also have to tell the school authorities who can take the responsibility. Besides, just now the commotion was so big, it is expected that someone will soon come up to inquire. Shangguan AI, however, held an opposing view, she said, I don't agree to tell her family, much less the school authorities, think about it, if this kind of thing gets out, will she still want to be a human being in the future? Gua Ziming spread his hands, then what do you say? Turning back and what not to mention, just Gu Qixi is now like this, or in a long's dormitory, this spreads out, those who know is that we are treating her, those who don't know. Shangguan AI glared, get lost you, talk about serious things, anyway, I don't agree to tell the truth. She glanced over again, looked at me and said, and you, Chu Yifun, if you dare to say half a word about today's matter, I will. Let you have no money. I don't believe this big lady when she says something else, but when she says let me have no money, this is simple. I smiled faintly and ignored her, looking at Hiyu Chen, asking, don't sell yourself short, I know you definitely have a method, otherwise your master wouldn't have thrown it at you. Hiyu Chen lowers his head and thinks about it, and says in a somewhat uncertain tone, there is a way, but it's just not very good, and, it's going to take a long trip. 
Hiyuchen told us that the only way to solve Guchishi was to go to a place 30 kilometers from here, called Dewang Village, and go there to look for an old man named Gu Tianxing, only he, would have the method of dissolution. Tomorrow is the weekend, according to Yuchen, we must take advantage of the fact that there are not many people in these two days, and beg the method back as soon as possible, or else it will not be easy to hide it on Monday. But Gu Qixi's current condition, He Yuchen must accompany her in case of accidents, so the matter of going to Duwang village to find Gu Tianqing will have to find a man and a woman from amongst the few of us, and go together. When she said that, Shang Wan AI was grossed out. He Yuchen and Gu Qixi, she's the only female in this room. I asked why it had to be a man and a woman, and He Yuchen said that it was Gu Tianqing's rule, because only a man and a woman could enter his door. When she said that, a long and guazi ming simultaneously took two steps back and threw me out. The corner of He Yuchen's mouth glanced slightly, somewhat contemptuously sweeping them before his gaze landed on me. Shang Guan AI also took a step back and said, first things first, I'm not going with him, this guy is a liar, Xiao Chun, you shouldn't trust him either. A few days ago when I was sick, he was the one who ran to my house and somehow beat me up, and in the end, I still drank Chinese medicine for several days before I got well, but my dad insisted that he was the one who cured me. So you two know each other? He Yuchen said in surprise, Shang Wan AI couldn't help but stagnate in speech, knowing that he had told the truth without noticing, and rolled his eyes at me, saying, anyway, he's a liar. He Yuchen smiled, gave me a meaningful look, and said to her, whether he is a liar or not is unimportant, but this trip to the wine village, only you two can go, unless you intend to watch Qi Shi have an accident. Shang Wan AI glared fiercely at me, but she had no choice but to grunt and turn her head away. He Yuchen knew that this was considered to be an agreement on her part, and turned to me again, also, you must be careful when you meet Gu Tianxing, that person has a strange temper, don't offend him. I nodded and asked, then do I need to bring some gifts or something over there? He Yuchen said, gifts are not necessary, but he charges a lot and doesn't haggle, you'll have to bring more money with you. I spread my hands, it's useless for you to tell me this, I'm a pauper, if I want to pay for it, I have to find Miss Shangguan. Shangguan AI exasperatedly said, I'll pay for it, cheap bastard, didn't my dad just give you a sum of money? I smiled cheekily, sorry, I am a child of a poor family, 20 langdang years old only saved so much money, those money I have to keep to go home to marry a daughter-in-law it, my father said, give me three years time, if you can't earn to marry a daughter-in-law money, after that you don't have to go back to the, oily, not a good person at a glance, Shang Guan AI muttered under her breath, and then launched her temper at a long and guazi ming, hey, you two, you're just going to watch Qi Shi lying on the ground, why don't you quickly carry her to bed? I say Zhou Xiaolong, Shi Shi is at least your girlfriend, at this critical moment, if you dare to drop the ball, don't blame me for being rude to you. Yes yes yes, I don't drop the chain, how dare I drop the chain. With a bitter face, alone, together with Gui Ziming, lifted Gu Qi Shi onto the bed and covered her with the quilt. Then, Shang Wan AI stepped out of the doorway again, shouting out loud to the outside, all of you, keep your mouths shut, Gu Qi Shi is sick and is resting here for a while, no one is allowed to go outside, do you know that? Her power was well known in the school. As a result of this voice, all the boys went straight back to their rooms, none of them dared to answer. But at this time, the administrator finally came late, walked over from the stairway, and shouted at this side from a long distance, Shang Wan AI, is it you again? Just now on the first floor, I heard the noise upstairs, it's dark. What are you running here, big girl, why don't you quickly give me back? This administrator is a 50-something years old woman, surnamed Qin, usually windy and hot, full of boys or noble family children, but all were cleaned up by her honestly. It is said that the Qin AMA character tough, she cleaned up the dormitory, if there are lazy bed boys, she but dared to lift the hand quilt, and then a large broom directly to the thighs, thieves pain. But she is particularly good, six students she gave careful care, poor self-care ability, she also washed the clothes folded quilt, of course, washed the clothes also have to be scolded by her, but the next time something happens, she is still the first time to appear to help. For this reason, the boys are in love with her, scared to death. The girls were no exception. Seeing that it was Auntie Qin herself who came up, Shang Wan AI spat out her tongue and didn't dare to say anything else, directly pulling He Yu Chen obediently slipped away. I couldn't help but watch with amusement, this is really one thing leads to another, the so arrogant and domineering Shang Wan AI actually has someone she's afraid of. However, from this incident, we can also see that although Shang Wan AI has a bad temper, she is still quite righteous. That night, Gu Qi Shi spent the night in A Long's room, but I bet that A Long definitely didn't have any crooked thoughts, and even had to be scared to death. Back in the dormitory, I meditated for a while again, wanting to chat with Anaconda for a few moments, she still still ignored me. In fact, today's matter, I always feel that it's not that simple, that Qingfeng has no grudges with Gu Qixi, and no grudges with those twenty-some girls, if he just wants to wreak havoc, then after the last time he knew what to do and cleaned up the whole school, he could have completely switched to another place, so why would he still hang himself on this one tree? Also, since Yi Yu Chen is an immortal disciple, why didn't she make a move before and wait until now? 
The next morning, Guo Ziming and I, along with Shang Wan AI and He Yu Chen, gathered at the main entrance of the school. Guo Ziming told us that he didn't sleep much yesterday night, was dragged by Ao Long to sit in the dormitory all night, the two looked at Gu Qixi wide-eyed, frozen didn't dare to close their eyes. It's not that they care about Gu Qixi, but they are afraid that if Gu Qixi falls ill again in the middle of the night after they fall asleep, it's too late for them to escape. But fortunately, Gu Qixi was fine all night, only occasionally saying some unintelligible ravings, but everything else was normal. He Yu Chen told them not to be afraid, and said that the ghost fetus would not do any harm to others before it was born. Shangguan AI took out a few pieces of Gu Qixi's clothes and asked Along to change her into them, and threatened Along that if anything happened to Gu Qixi before she came back, she would want his head. Looking at her this pugnacious strength, I said to myself that if I let her be the administrator, I guess it will also be the kind that will lift the nest every day. Gu Tianqing's place is a bit far from here, I and Shangguan AI called a cab and went straight to the village of De Wang. The two of us basically belonged to who can not see who kind of, all the way did not speak, unintentionally eyes on, have to immediately turn the face away kind of, seems to look at each other, can make themselves sick for half a day. In fact, from her yesterday's words, I also heard out, she hated me, should be the reason that I give her cure, really is to beat her a meal, and slapped an unloaded jaw, but also to her father's eyes on the smeared dirty things, she was forced to swallow a scented pouch. This makes a princess disease Shang Wan AI, how can accept? I was just imagining things, when the driver started to slow down, and at the same time told us that Dewang village had arrived. Into the village, we began to inquire about where Gu Tianqing's home is, but the result is also do not know why, the village people seem to be hiding, the street is cold and quiet, we walked half a day before seeing three or two people, but they all stammered and were not willing to take care of us. Even a woman who was breastfeeding, as soon as she heard Gu Tianqing's name, picked up the child and left, refusing to say a word. I wondered, judging from their reactions, they must have known Gu Tianqing, but why this reaction? It was as if the Gu Tianqing that came out of our mouths was as terrifying as an evil spirit. Seeing me looking at the woman's hurriedly departing back in a puzzled manner, Shang Wan AI scornfully swept me a glance and said, with that look in your eyes, can people not leave? You didn't see her breastfeeding her child, and directly walked over to ask, to face? She can be at the head of the village, it is not so much as to hide when she sees people, besides, which I can you see that I have a problem with my eyes? It's you, you still don't admit it? Oh, colorful people see color. You. Shang Wan AI once again speechless, I'm too lazy to take care of her, it so happens that at this time two seven or eight year old little girl passed by, I walked over and asked with a smile, little children, do you want to eat candy ah? The two little girls immediately stood still, gripping their fingers and nodded, I asked, then you first you tell brother, your village Gu Tianqing home how to go? He doesn't live in the village, from here all the way, three miles out of the village, he lives there. One of the fleshy little girls answered me honestly, I nodded with satisfaction, then pointed at Shang Wan AI, go get candy from that pretty sister, she has lots and lots of candy, good boy. These two little girls eyes lit up at the same time, jumped and went to Shang Wan AI, hugging Shang Wan AI's thighs left and right without letting go, yelling for candy. You guys, I don't have any candy either. I secretly snickered and ignored her dilemma, so I walked forward in the direction the little girl pointed out. After walking for about 20 minutes or so, there was already a cornfield in front of me, and I glanced around and finally saw a house. This house is very strange, only the door, no windows, and is completely stone masonry, in front of the door on the open space also stood a seemingly flagpole things, the top there, nothing. I said to myself how this house looks like the monkey king changed that, that is, the flagpole's position is a bit wrong, and there is no window. Normal people, who lives in this place? Seeing such a strange house, I didn't act without authorization, anyway, He Yu Chen said. Gu Tianqing lived in a place where only a man and a woman can go in, so I waited for Shang Wan AI for a while. I waited for about 5 minutes before Shang Wan AI came up from behind, panting. From a long distance away, she cursed. Xu Yifun, do you have any humanity, leaving me alone in the village, do you believe me or not I'll call my dad right now and tell him to fire you immediately. I shrugged and said indifferently, go ahead and call, it's best to make him fire me right now, don't delay for a minute, and it's not like I took the initiative to want to come and protect you, if you're capable of it, go find that Gu Tianqing yourself. What did you say? It's all here and you're telling me to go on my own? Are you still not a male? Shang Wan AI was still like an angry little wildcat, completely not realizing that she was now in the middle of nowhere. Seeing that she didn't dare to say anything, I then smiled slightly, put away my expression, and said to her, cut the crap, if it wasn't for the fact that I want to protect you, I wouldn't have come to this kind of place with you, He Yu Chen said that the place where Gu Tianqing lives can only be entered by a man and a woman, and I guess that place should be extremely heavy in Ying Qi, a man belongs to the young category, so he'd be easy for Ying Qi to rush into the body, and a woman belongs to the Ying category, so she'd be easy to be possessed by Ying Qi, so later on, we better go in hand in hand, we'd better go in hand in hand. Who holds hands with you? Shangguan AI looked disgusted. 
Oh, whatever, anyway, I have immortal body protection, I don't care, if you are possessed by Yin Chi, when the time comes, don't blame me for not reminding you. I said and walked forward, ignoring her. Shang Guan AI was a bit hairy, hesitated but followed, but her mouth still refused to give in. Chu Yifun, you're the one my dad sent to protect me, if you dare to ignore me, I'll. I looked back at her, Shang Guan AI was finally honest, her mouth muttered, not daring to say anything out loud. Soon we came to the door of that house one after the other, but just when I took a step to go inside, violently, from above the door of the room hung down a bull-thick mottled python, spitting out dark red letters, that pair of lurid crimson eyes, only about a foot away from me. I was shocked and subconsciously took a step back, but when I fixed my eyes again, the door of the room was still the door of the room, where was there any strange python? It seems that this house really isn't something that anyone can just enter, no wonder, when the people in the village heard about Gutienching, every one of them looked like they had seen a ghost. I cleared my throat and said to the door, old mister. Go, my friend is in trouble, we have been instructed to come to you for help, as long as we can save our lives, how much money is fine. After I made my intentions known, a moment passed before a low voice came from inside. Come in. This feeling is really a little bit let a person's heart hairy, I reached out and gently pushed open the door, was about to go inside, behind Shang Guan AI suddenly walked a few steps faster, quietly pulled my hand. This small hand is quite soft, skin is very delicate, feel good, is the palm cold, nervous some sweat. I glanced at her, but she turned her head and did not look at me, I was amused in my heart, and reminded in a low voice, don't touch anything in the house, and don't talk too much, otherwise if something happens, I can't save you. Shang Guan AI pursed her lips tightly, she should also realize the weirdness of this place, no longer dare to say anything. There were two rooms in the house, front and back, after entering the door, the first thing you saw was a table covered with a large red cloth, enshrining a red tang list, which was densely filled with names, at a cursory glance, there had to be thousands at least. There was no doubt that this was also an Exodus Immortal Hall, but this was the first time I had ever seen a hall that enshrined so many immortals, and the room was gloomy and dimly lit due to the lack of windows. In addition to this immortal hall, the house is enshrined everywhere in the real body of various immortals, at least dozens of, this house is already poorly lit, in the dim light, as if everywhere around the Hu Huang Chang Python, staring at us. On the other side of the wall, there are some Tibetan tantric magic weapons and drawings hanging, and an unknown animal skin hanging there, making people feel very uncomfortable. But that Gu Tianqing's voice, obviously came from the back room. By the time I passed through those strange things around me, my body was already covered in layer after layer of goosebumps, and then, the two of us came to the back room. I originally thought that the ones I had just seen were weird enough, but I was still too young. The things in this back room were even creepier. In that small county of ours, there were quite a few that worshipped the immortal hall, but I had never seen any that actually worshipped a black hall sheet. Yes, inside the back room of this house, directly facing the front door, was a brightly colored black hall list with many names written on it, and as soon as I stepped through the door, I felt as if there was a pair of eyes in the darkness, staring at me. But all my attention was attracted by this black list, subconsciously wanted to take a closer look, but before I could see it clearly, there was a buzzing sound in my head, as if I had been smashed in the back of the head. In front of the eyes all of a sudden heavy silhouettes, as if in this not big house, actually densely stood hundreds of people. But this feeling is gone in a flash, I almost did not faint, shook my head, and recited the six words of truth in my heart, after a long time to slow down. Then I looked into the room, the corner of a ghost king statue was enshrined, more than half a person high, green fangs, feet stepped on a person with a painful expression, and in the hands of a person. But just opposite this ghost king statue, there was also a seated statue of a bodhisattva, eyes slightly closed, sitting on his knees, seemingly not wanting to look at this cruel scene either. Shang Guan AI's palms were already filled with cold sweat, and her whole body was slightly shivering, obviously also frightened by the scene in front of her. Because this room has no windows, at least there is a door in front, the back room is even more dim, I after so little effort, my eyes to adapt to, fixed eyes forward to see, only to find the original right in front of the two of us, the front of the black hall single, sitting cross-legged a person. It was an old man with a shadowy lordly face, sitting there motionless the whole time, and what gave me the creeps was that he had been staring at us the whole time, while we had only just realized him. I tried mentally calling out to Python smallpox a few times, with no response. At the same time, for the first time since I was a child, I felt that she was not by my side. The old man suddenly laughed, a slightly raspy, goosebump inducing sound as if he was rubbing glass with foam. Who sent you? He asked. He Yu Chen, my classmate, she said that only your old man under the sky can solve this matter. In order to give him a high hat, I cudgeled him in passing. Shangguan AI already didn't dare to open her mouth at this time, normally arrogant and domineering, she was like a kitten now. What for? The old man asked. Something to do with the dirt in my stomach. I said. The old man had originally sat there without moving a muscle, and his tone had been low, but as soon as he heard me mention the filth in his stomach, he suddenly raised his head, and his eyes unexpectedly flashed with a creepy green light, 
staring straight at me. I couldn't help but shiver, thinking that it was thanks to the daytime, if it was nighttime, I would have to think that the house was haunted. The old man was silent for a few moments and finally spoke slowly. Need to send a great general. After saying these words, he suddenly used a language that I didn't understand at all, and spoke wah 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 into the air in front of him for half a day. I was dumbfounded the entire time, and it was only after a few minutes that the old man stood up, put incense on the black tang sheet behind him, and took a talisman from underneath, folding it up and handing it to me. Then he took a small black bowl, bottom down, and handed it over as well. Fill the black bowl with rootless water, give it to someone to drink, and after you beat it down, refine it with this talisman, and leave the rest to you. Where can I get rootless water? I took the two items and asked again. The old acacia tree flower do after midnight, just catch half a bowl. If it's not enough, add young saliva blood. The old man's every sentence was short and direct, and after he finished, he didn't care if I understood him or not, so he turned around and sat down again. Shangguan AI couldn't help but ask, then this talisman, and this bowl, how much does it cost in total? After we're done, do we have to send the bowl back to you? The talisman is only 888, and the bowl is complimentary. The old man said. Ah, that's not expensive. Shangguan AI heard only to 888, reached out and pulled out a pile of money, swept a glance as probably about a thousand, counted without counting on the handover. The old man did not take, only Tone Gloomy said, my rules, a charm only charge 888. This rule of his, let me can't help but think of my master, Trey Half City, when he told my fortune, also only charged 888. I took the money and carefully counted out 888, then placed it under the incense burner behind the old man. After doing this, Shangguan AI and I were going to leave, when the old man suddenly said without a clue, after you collect it, mind less about other idle matters. I nodded, and for a moment I didn't understand what he meant by this sentence, but this house was cold and gloomy, and for a moment I didn't want to stay longer, so I walked out with Shangguan AI, re-arrived outside, I feel like I've made a trip to hell, looking at the big sun land around me, I can't help but let out a long sigh of relief. This old man, too evil. Shangguan AI also relaxed, at this time she realized that she was still pulling my hand, rushed to let go, face a little red, deliberately interrupting to ask, sure Yifun, this old man in the end what is doing, that house, how so scary it. As soon as I went in, I felt like so many people were looking at me, and the goosebumps all over my body didn't go down. I glanced at her and said, that old man enshrines the ghost hall, he is a pool collector. Ah, ghost church, pool collector, what's that? Shangguan AI didn't understand what I was saying at all, but I didn't intend to explain it to her in detail, and said indifferently, pool collectors are ghost collectors, and they enshrine all the ghosts they collect to the hall to help him out. In the past, I've only heard of those who do this, but I didn't realize that there were actually some in this place. By the way, you didn't touch anything inside just now, did you? No, absolutely not, I was too scared, how would I dare to touch anything? Shangguan AI shook her head repeatedly, I then put my heart down, then looked at the time, it wasn't even noon yet. If I go back now, I might even be able to catch the cafeteria opening. After what happened just now, Shangguan AI didn't seem to reject me so much, of course it could also be due to fear, all the way she honestly followed beside me, although she still didn't talk much to me, but I looked at her with eyes that were obviously full of curiosity, but I didn't dare to ask too many questions. Walking all the way back to Dewang village, the two of us didn't stop, directly through the village, and then a few hundred meters further on, is the highway to the city. But at this time, I walked and suddenly felt wrong, turned around and looked again, Shangwan AI actually stayed at the location of the village entrance, stood there and did not go. She lowered her head and seemed to be looking at something, but also seemed to be thinking. What are you doing? Go ah, in a while you won't be able to catch the noon meal. I saw her not moving, walked over and reached out to pull her, but as soon as my hand touched her arm, it was like an electric shock and immediately shrunk back. This broad daylight, Shangguan AI's arm for some reason, unexpectedly cold and icy, completely unlike the feeling of a living person. I secretly said in my heart is not good, only to see her slowly raised her head, her eyes obviously changed to person, she stared at me fiercely, gritted her teeth, that gaze seems to be full of aggression and deep hatred. Then, she suddenly sat down directly on the ground, constantly slapping the ground with her hands, pulling her neck and shouting. I'm not leaving, no one can make me leave, whoever dares to make me leave today, I'm not finished with you. This voice is not Shangguan AI at all, it sounds like an old lady. I couldn't help but cover my head, and said, oh no, this auntie has been possessed again, she said. Shangguan AI sitting on the ground, slap and slap the ground, crying and wiping tears, soon attracted a few people onlookers, but did not dare to get close, in a big tree under the cool, while pointing here. I patiently squatted down, looked at Shangguan AI, asked. Where did your old man come from, you get on this little girl's body, is something wrong, or do you want money? Shangguan AI crying snot a tear a hand wiping snot from the ground rubbing, said in a bad mood, the little girl into the door kicked me, do what ah, uh, I'm good bullying ah. Uh. 
I just breathed my last, and they're all coming at me, trying to blow me away like this, no way. Kicked her? I recalled vigorously, just now with Shang Wan AI into Gu Tianxing's home door, both of us are careful, should not have kicked in to touch something. Where did that come from? I thought briefly, suddenly remembered, just now I deliberately hold Shang Wan AI, let those two little girls with her to ask for sugar, and then Shang Wan AI after half a day to catch up, but I did not ask her what she did during that time, Murphy. I raised my head and asked the people not far away, big brother and big sisters, where in this village are the sugar sellers? A man in his thirties pointed toward one end of the village and said, Dong Shixing's house at the west end of the village, just that one kiosk has sugar. What's wrong with this girl? I glanced at Shang Wan AI, she sat there quite honestly, not moving, just crying non-stop, as if she had much aggression. So, I got up and said to the man, is there an old lady in that house who died, it should not be too long. A few people were surprised, looked at each other, looked at me, and looked at Shang Wan AI, the man said, you're right, that old lady passed away last night, is still at home in spirit. Where did you two kids come from, and who are you looking for here? Shang Wan AI and I are both seniors now, and are indeed children in their eyes. I looked back at Shang Wan AI and smiled bitterly, you better find that family, otherwise. With all due respect, his old lady will never go on the road, and I am afraid that it is even difficult to be buried. Said, I pointed to Shang Wan AI, his old lady, his honor, just now the words you have heard, she said she does not want to go. The man who was just here immediately got up and went over to take a good look at Shang Wan AI, then said to me, wait a while, I'll go to his house to report. The work is not much, the Han came back, followed by three or four people, all look anxious, one of the big brother in his forties is obviously what they said Dong Shixing, did not wait until close to the face of eagerly shouted, what is the situation what is the situation, where is the person? I calmly pointed at Shang Wan AI and said, it's on her, let me make sure, did she go to your house to buy something just now? Dong Shixing nodded, that's right, she bought two lollipops, but didn't say a few words before leaving, how did she get on her? As he spoke, he couldn't stop sizing up Shang Wan AI, his eyes filled with fear, but he didn't dare to come closer. Then it should be right, let me ask you again, your old lady, is there anything different now? People are gone, stop the spirit it, then what can be different? Do you know how to read feng shui? Feng shui yin and yang will be a little, if you do not believe me, you can also go to your village Gu Tianqing, he is a high person, just now, the two of us are going to find him to do things. That or forget it, that old man. No one in our village wants to deal with him, he is too evil. Dong Shixing shook his head repeatedly, at this time, Shang Wan AI suddenly jumped up, rushed up, and hit him. You heartless, unfilial son, I'll beat you. To death. Shang Wan AI is like crazy, even scratching and scratching, around a group of people rushed up to stop her, two strong young man dead holder, pressed on the side of the tree. Shang Wan AI while struggling, the nose of the breath to go out, the throat also issued a grunt grunt sound, two eyes hanging upward, it seems to be about to die. This is not good, I see the situation is not good rush forward. A hand on the back of Shang Wan AI, said, old lady, you're not right, your family matters, behind closed doors to solve their own, you catch an outsider for what? This little girl hasn't offended you either, if you don't stop, I can only kick you out. Saying that, I applied power to my palm, only to feel a heat coming from my palm, then I slapped Shang Wan AI's back heart. This time I used real power, Shang Wan AI was knocked down by me with an owl, but at the same time, the breath held in my throat was also smoothed over. I went up and rolled her eyelids, already normal, just a little weak breath, still need to slow down for a while. Those people were terrified, especially Dong Shixing was as colorful as earth, trembling, asked me, people, where are they? I pointed in the direction of the west end of the village, said to him, should be home, this old lady is not tall, slightly fat, said a mouthful of dentures, just glared at me for a few moments, walking while slapping, and cursing in the mouth. Dong Shixing look at my eyes have changed, nodded repeatedly, right right right, my mom is this way, she is particularly angry, she is angry, clapping vigorously, but also cursing, small master, you can really see ah? I said this is not nonsense, if I cannot see, I can say it? In fact, see ghosts this kind of thing, a lot of novels and movies inside the actor thieves horror, thieves real, thieves exaggerated, the appearance of the ghosts described in great detail, as if they have seen the same. In fact, ordinary people can't see ghosts at all. Even in the horse fairy inside, there are some cultivation of the eyes of the people, ghosts are just a kind of energy manifestation, very often what we say to see, not the physical eye to see, but the spiritual eye to see. What we see with our physical eyes appears in front of us, and what we see with our spiritual eyes appears in our minds. Often it is the physical sense that is the most common. Let's say for example, when you are walking alone at night, or alone at home, and you suddenly feel a chill on your body, a chill on your back, and your intuition seems to be that someone is approaching you, then congratulations, you are definitely not alone at home, and your house is probably very busy. Only in a few cases, such as people's fire is too low, the een is too heavy, or encountered nightmares, half asleep, half awake, this thinking consciousness are in a special critical point, you may be able to see ghosts with the naked eye. 
Most of the time, it's just a flash of light and you can see a vague image. However, I'm different from others, I can really see. But it was broad daylight, and the old lady had just passed away, just the most ordinary state of a spirit, so I could only see a shadow, I clearly saw an extremely faint shadow, which I knocked out of Shang Wan AI's body, and headed towards the west end of the village. Don't look at the old lady is not tall, two legs backwards quite fast, and then turned a corner, into a gate hanging a string of paper money home. If there is paper money hanging at the gate, it must be Dong Shixing's house. He is the only one who organizes funerals in this village. No good, the old lady has come home. Who's at home? I asked Dong Shisheng. My daughter-in-law is at home. By herself what happened? He asked with a bit of trepidation. Your old lady just now went home, but I look at her eyes, I'm afraid to be in mourning. The crowd heard me say this, are a little panicked, I said to Dong Shisheng, we have to hurry to your home. The old lady looked angry, must hurry to give her arrangements, or else something will happen. Dong Shisheng slapped his thighs, quickly, quickly, brothers, all go to lend a hand, my daughter-in-law at home by herself, Usually my mom and my daughter-in-law will always be at odds, but don't let anything happen ah. Uh. Or, who of you to go to the old man who invited to come? He was already a bit overwhelmed, his eyes flustered, looking around for help. I smiled at him, don't worry, the old lady just didn't, there is nothing Taoist, small fights only, just like her, Gu Tianqing are too lazy to accept, leave it to me. I think you only know Gu Tianqing evil, you really do not know how evil he is, you dare to ask him to come over, turn back to him to the old lady to accept, to his church on a pressure then what to go to hell to reincarnation cannot go. But it is also true that, as I said, the pool collector easily do not accept the ghosts just died, one is not much moral skill, except the useless, two as people have not done any sins, if he gave the acceptance, that also damage his virtue. I asked the two men to support Shang Wan AI, and then followed them to Dong Shixing's house at the west end of the village. As soon as I entered the door, I saw the hut built in the yard, with a red painted coffin resting in the center. But by this time, the lid of the coffin had already been opened, and a middle-aged woman was climbing upwards, seemingly wanting to get into the coffin. I thumped in my heart, thinking that I was still too late, the old woman in this house, is also too capable of making a demon, right? Quickly stop her, if we let her enter the coffin, we'll have to go with the old lady. I bellowed, Dong Shixing's legs and stomach went a little soft, but still gritted his teeth and led the people to rush upwards, and pulled his daughter-in-law out of the coffin with seven hands and eight feet. His daughter-in-law sat on the ground without a good voice howling. Several people cannot hold her, like crazy, while beating people, while tearing their hair. This scene is really more scary and scary, just slowed down Shang Wan eh, sitting next to a small zipper above, scared face is white, clutched my hand, said nothing will not let go. This time, this little girl finally knows fear. I comforted her for a moment, forcefully pulled out my hand, and then came to the coffin. But whenever you clean up something like this, you first have to find the root cause, or else this old lady won't stop. But Python smallpox wasn't here this time, so I could only rely on myself. I came to the side of the coffin to look inside, I saw an old lady body twisted, two feet also don't, posture is very strange, seems to struggle to want to climb out from the inside like. The face of the old lady was exactly the same as the one I saw just now, that is, her lips were purple and her face was green, looking a little creepy. Taking another look, the shoes on the old lady's feet fell off. Dong Shixing's face was white, couldn't stop muttering, this. What's going on? I clearly put on my mom's shoes, why did they fall off? She is also not so lying off. I asked him, the old lady did not, there is no explanation? Dong Shixing said with a bitter face, there is no explanation of what ah, she is a heart attack, sleep in the middle of the night suddenly gone, a word did not leave, we also found this morning, the family has long been prepared for the casket, as well as the birthday suit, are prepared by her own, so the time of the coffin did not have to work hard, I originally intended to stop at home for a day, tomorrow on the funeral, which thought that's suddenly out of the matter, that's definitely not right, you see your body screwed up, shoes have fallen off, this is a matter of the heart is not yet finished, not willing to go. I pointed at the old lady's body and said. In fact, I really have experience in this kind of thing. A few years ago we have an old lady at home, playing Mahjong who a big one, a moment of overexcitement and sudden death, the results of the funeral, how can not get up the spirit, and finally her poker friend said, is not we lost money did not give her, she was thinking about it, so do not go. So, the few lost money poker friends took out the money, put the old lady in front of the spirit, said our account is clear, this time you should go. Strangely enough, once the money was put down, the spirit was not hindered by anything, and was buried without any problems. So today, there must be a reason, otherwise the old lady cannot be so angry. Dong Shixing anxious feet, scratching his hair, suddenly remembered something, said, right, my mom's shoes are her own a few years ago, she has always said that the shoes are old, want to make a pair of new, the past few days she is making a new pair of embroidered shoes, but not yet finished, small master, do you think it can be so? It dawned on me, no wonder the old lady didn't want to wear these shoes, it's because she had new shoes that she hadn't given to others to wear. 
I hurriedly asked Dong Shixing to go and bring out the pair of shoes, he hurriedly ran to fetch them, and brought them out for everyone to see, it was really a brand new pair of embroidered shoes, it was just that there was one shoe, which hadn't been sold yet. Quick, who knows how to knit sauls? I shouted around, and soon a woman volunteered to take over the embroidered shoes, and the scene began to rush. At this time, Dong Shixing's daughter-in-law was still there, I went over to her and said, old lady, you quickly stop, immediately this will give you new shoes, do not make trouble for the family, you say you make so much trouble, do not give the family a memory? You wear new shoes on the road, the New Year's festival, the son of the grandson to send you more paper money to send clothes, if you so continue to make trouble, do you want to let the children and grandchildren heart hate you, and then do not send you money, to see how you live in the following? I said this, it really works, Dong Shixing's daughter-in-law slowly stopped, but still sitting on the ground, huffing and puffing breathing heavily, eyes rolled upwards, it seems that the breath is still not out. After a few more minutes, the other side of the shoe soles rushed to bring over, but no one dared to give the old lady to wear, and the old lady's body screwed up like that, also cannot wear. I told Dong Shixing to go over and kneel down and kowtow to the old lady, asking her to go on her way. Dong Shixing knelt down with the shoes and begged for a while, then the old lady's body in the coffin slowly turned around on its own. When Dong Shixing to the old lady put on the shoes, his daughter-in-law wailed, directly fainted. The crowd was shocked, I told them not to be afraid, the old lady this is already away from the body, she could not stand it for a moment, will be able to wake up. Dong Shixing thanked him profusely, saying that if he hadn't met the little master, this would have been a problem today. But the guys don't quite understand, saying it's just a pair of shoes, why is the old lady so angry? I told them that after death, People cannot be viewed from the perspective of people, ghosts are unreasonable, seven feelings and six desires have nothing to do with them, what remains in their souls, only the strongest obsession, so that the best way to deal with ghosts, is to eliminate their obsession, to satisfy them, otherwise they will not give up. Dong Shixing took out money to thank me, but I didn't ask for it, I just asked him for the pair of shoes that the old lady had dropped and put them into my backpack. Then, we stayed in Duwang village for a while, waiting for Dong Shixing's daughter-in-law to wake up, the old lady also completely stabilized, and only then went on the road to return. Dong Shixing did not let us go on our own, he found a car in the village, sent us all the way back to the school. Toss so a day, when we return to school, the sun has been west, the distant sky around of the remnants of the sun like blood, the sky does not know when the dark clouds, black pressure. The dark clouds are overpowering the red sun, which is not a good sign. Getting off the bus and walking into the school, Shang Wan AI, who didn't say much all the way, finally couldn't help but open her mouth. Chu Yifun, what do you want that old lady's shoes for? To ward off evil spirits, don't underestimate that pair of shoes, they can fight ghosts at critical moments. I explained carelessly, then patted my backpack. Gu Tianqing's piece of talisman, as well as the black bowl, the old lady's shoes, are all in there. You really, can see ghosts? Shang Wan AI asked again, perhaps after experiencing what happened during the day, when she talks to me now, she doesn't have that arrogance anymore. Well, I've been able to see since I was a kid, and let me tell you, in our school, there are a lot of those things. Between the words, the two of us just happened to walk through the security room at the main entrance, at this time, the sky has darkened, when I said this, I unintentionally turned my head to the side, suddenly saw, in the security room window glass above, close to a miserable white human face, a pair of empty and godless eyes, is looking straight at us. Seeing this pair of bizarre eyes, my mind drifted for a moment, but then fixed my eyes, but it was a person wearing a security uniform, just a little face. He stood inside the security room and smiled oddly at Shang Wan AI and I without saying a word. I smiled with him as well, then stepped into the school. Just now that security guard was very strange, giving people a gloomy feeling, and I remembered the image of seeing the old king of the janitor yesterday followed by two people, I could not help but mutter a little in my heart, and subconsciously turned back to take another look. But this time, there was actually no one in the security room. This before and after only 10 seconds of effort, where is the person? Seeing me dazed, Shang Wan AI turned around and called out to me, Xu Yifun, what are you doing, there's no one in the security room what's there to see? Didn't you just see a person in the security room, smiling at the two of us? You. Don't scare me, there's no one there at all, you didn't see a ghost again, did you? Shang Wan AI's face changed, and moved closer to me again. Seeing her like this, I suddenly felt that scaring her was actually quite fun. Forget it if you didn't see it, there was indeed a person inside just now, long square face, quite tall, gloomy face, and a mole next to his right nose. I deliberately described the appearance of that security guard in great detail and I didn't expect Shang Wan AI's face to instantly turn white after hearing it. This person you are talking about, I know. Us. We'd better leave quickly. Her voice shook a little, and her gaze was filled with panic, quickly sweeping in the direction of the security room, then pulling me to run. The two of us ran through the long tunnel in front of us, and in one breath, we came to the location of the plaza fountain, and only then did she stop and beat her chest in shock, running out of breath. I asked her what was going on, 
and she told me that the security guard I saw had died three years ago. At that time she just came here, there are two people had a little conflict, the result is more and more intense, two people's families are a little background, who also refused to give in to softness, so secretly gathered more than 30 people, the two sides fought. At that time, the fight was fierce, a few security guards to pull the fight, which this tall, long-faced, was stabbed, although it was accidentally injured, but a knife hiccups, did not wait for the ambulance arrived on the dead. Later, the man's family compensated some money, this matter will not be settled. I look back at the direction of the security room, at this time the sky is darker, the school's wide and tall school gate, the not so eye-catching security room, seems more small, the whole are hidden in the shadow of the gate, it doesn't matter, it's just a shadowy spirit that doesn't want to leave, let it be. However, Xiao AI student, you really need to pay attention in school in the future, your physique is naturally prone to attracting those things, just now if it wasn't for me being by your side, I'm afraid you'd have gotten hit again. I casually comforted her for a few sentences, Shang Wan AI also looked upset and said, I've told my dad a few times, simply change the place for me, he just won't listen, he insisted that this is the most expensive and the best school in Luoyang, I'm pissed off to death. The most expensive and best is not true, if it wasn't expensive, I'm afraid it wouldn't have fooled you rich people into coming. Let's not talk about this for now, Gu Qi Shi and Along and the others are still waiting for us, let's go and collect that thing first. The two of us once again returned to the boys dormitory and came to the fourth floor, Along and Guo Ziming were both in a hurry, scratching their ears in their rooms, once they saw us return, both of them were very excited. He Yu Chen spent the day with Gu Qi Shi, I told her roughly what happened when I went to Duang village, and then took out the black bowl and the talisman, and gave it to her. He Yu Chen was also very happy, holding that talisman and looking over and over, saying to me, with this pool collecting talisman, what kind of things are out of the question, but in the dormitory I'm afraid that the commotion will be too great, let's go and find a secluded place in a while, and we'll start after dark. After some discussion, we finally decided to place the location in the equipment room at the back of the sports building. There are usually very few people go there, especially now as the weekend, it is even more quiet. After making up our minds, we waited for a while, and when it was almost dark, with a long and Shangwan AI holding Guchishi, the few of us went out of the dormitory one after another and quietly came to the equipment room. In addition, I handed over another important task to Along, the black bowl given by Gu Tian Xing, clearly said to use rootless water, but at this time of the day there was no dew, I could only ask him to find a way to get some rainwater, because this afternoon it rained, which also belongs to the rootless water. Then there is young saliva blood, this is actually good to get, there is a small farm in the school, which raised a lot of chickens agoda and so on, as long as the courage to find a rooster to get some blood, it is not difficult. A dragon left, he Yu Chen took a flashlight, placed on the table, let Gu Qi Shi lie down, she and Shang Wan AI to stay inside, and Guo Ziming and I rushed to the door to stand guard. He Yu Chen told us that in a sense, this process is better if someone avoids it, so the boys can't watch. I do not care, Guo Ziming but with a cat's claw scratching like heart, from time to time turned his head, a very concerned look, probing the head to look inside. I was a bit amused, and said to him, other people's women's business, don't peek, be careful of rotten eyes. He smiled awkwardly, I'm not concerned about my classmates. I don't know if the two of them have enough manpower, if they can't make it later, do you think we can help? You think quite beautiful, you can help what help? I, I can also help to shout cheer. Then I will also shout. Inside the house he Yuchen heard our conversation and looked up and shouted, you two don't talk, be careful to let people hear, Chu Yifun, you come in and help, Was Ziming, you stand still. Ha, huh? I can go in? I'm a bit surprised, thinking, didn't you just say that boys can't look? You help me set up a formation around the area. There are still some preparations that only you can help me with. He Yuchen gave me a deep look, then without saying anything more, he took out some vermilion sand talisman paper or something like that from his bag, as well as a couple of small token flags. So I walked over, and according to her words, inserted those flags in each of the eight directions of the room, while she was on top of another table, spreading out the talisman paper, concentrating and lifting up her brush, and began to draw talismans. The talisman she drew was much more formal than mine, and it was elegant and good-looking, Shang Wan AI, and I watched her draw the talisman together, and we both felt that this was not drawing a talisman, but simply the art of calligraphy. What is the purpose of the talisman you drew? I couldn't help but ask. Eight-door recluse talisman, to collect the ghost fetus, you need to seal the eight doors, leaving only one life door for it, when it has nowhere to go, it can only come out from the life door. Wait for a long to retrieve the item, then we can begin. As soon as he Yu Chen's words fell, a sound suddenly came from far outside, it seemed like someone was running in front and someone was chasing behind. I ran to the door to see that it was actually Along, holding that black bowl in his hand, running faster than a rabbit, while a security guard, behind him, was in hot pursuit. Stop, someone, catch that chicken thief. I held my forehead with my hand, saying that it was too embarrassing, letting him get some rooster blood, but he was actually treated as a chicken thief. 
Seeing a long heading straight for the equipment room, Shang Wan AI scolded, is he lacking in heart, if he runs here, won't it all be exposed? It's okay, I'll take care of it. I drew a baseball bat from the side, confidently walked out, several of them were also afraid of being discovered, they have surrounded the door to see me. I had an idea in my heart, when I went out from the side door, around to the security guard near the front, and said to him, where is the chicken stealer, I'll help you catch him. The security guard didn't realize that I also came out of the equipment room, reached forward and pointed, not right there. Not wait for him to finish his words, I have been hands up stick down, a smash in the back of the head, the security guard did not even hum, directly fainted. Behind a few people looking at me, all dumbfounded. When I returned to the equipment room, Wazimin gave me a thumbs up, you're really cool, the security guard dared to hit, you're not afraid of getting into trouble ah? I gave him a laugh, what's there to be afraid of, anyway, he doesn't know who I am in the dark, let's just hurry up and get started. He Yu Chen took the black bowl in Ah Long's hand and was ready to start the practice of collecting ghost fetuses, but when we returned inside the equipment room, we were all taken aback in unison. Gu Qi Shi, who was lying here just a moment ago, had disappeared. Gu Qi Shi, where is she? Shang Wan AI exclaimed, and searched the surroundings, while the others also looked confused and looked around with flashlights. He Yu Chen and I glanced at each other, but we coincidentally looked at the side door of the equipment room. Just now, in order to deal with that security guard, I opened the tightly closed side door, and right now, that door was still shaking slightly. Obviously, Gu Qi Shi had already run away through this door and had just gone out. I rushed out with an arrow step, and when I looked around, I saw a silhouette flash, and it disappeared around the corner of the equipment room, out of sight. That direction was not the gym building, but where the old gym building used to be. It was said that this new sports building now was built a year ago, and that old building was originally going to be remodeled, but it never got off the ground, so it stayed idle there. It's not good, I'm afraid that the ghost tire has awakened early, we have to find her as soon as possible, otherwise we'll be in trouble. Always calm Hiyu Chen, this time also some anxiety, my mind moved, reached out quickly and the fingers pinpointed some, and then offhandedly said, empty death has a disaster, everywhere there is a block, the patient meets the evil ghost, fierce more inauspicious. Within half an hour, we must find Gu Qi Shi, get rid of her body's ghost tire, otherwise. Speaking of this, an ominous feeling of foreboding made the pores of my body seem to open up, only to feel a wave of cool air from head to toe. Ah Long, Gua Zi Ming, you two immediately go to the back door to block her, if she leaves from there, don't be polite, just put her down. After I finished speaking quickly, I picked up two baseball bats from the side and handed them over, these two men fearfully took them in their hands, clenched their teeth and ran towards the back door. Then I looked at Shang Wan AI again, little AI student, I now order you, to go back to the dormitory immediately, don't care about anything, and sleep. Shang Wan AI's eyes widened, what? Why do they all go to help, I go back to sleep? Looking down on me ah? Said she also copied a baseball bat in her hand with a defiant look. I said helplessly, don't make a mess, your Yang Chi is too weak, and lately you always get possessed, turn around and get charged by the ghost fetus, I still have to save you. Shang Wan AI, however, refused to go, saying, Shi Shi is my good friend, I can't just watch and not care, if I can't, I'll give you guys a lookout, lest you get caught. Seeing her unforgiving appearance, in order not to delay time, I had to take her with me to chase in the direction Gu Qi Shi disappeared, at the same time giving her the pair of shoes I got in Wang Village. Shang Wan AI was confused, I said to her, give me your baseball bat, these shoes are better than a bat, it's best for you to use them. She took the shoes, still confused, and asked me, what's the use of these shoes, I can't wear them. Who let you wear it, auntie, this is a funeral shoe, later you will hold it in your hand, when you encounter any evil thing, you will take the shoe to whip it, it will work. Okay. Between words, we ran to the door of the sports building, this was originally an open space, wide, but now it has also been abandoned, the ground is piled up with a lot of construction materials, I heard that after a while, this place is going to be converted into a soccer field. On the open space, a few dim street lights dotted the landscape. This light was originally quite cozy, but under the ambient atmosphere, it looked just as spooky as a ghost fire. Behind the abandoned sports building, it was even darker, a kind of dilapidated and depressed atmosphere, spreading quietly in the darkness. The main door of the building was open, and a cold wind poured out from inside. You can watch out for us here, if there are any problems, call me. I placed Shang Wan AI in the front door position, so that there would be someone guarding both the front and back doors. But she pulled my arm, her voice shook a little and said, no, I am afraid. This time I was really angry, angrily said, if you're afraid, go back to sleep, if you delay any longer, all of us will be finished. Shang Wan AI no longer dared to say anything, I also ignored her, led the first rushed into the abandoned sports building. Hiyu Chen didn't say a word the entire time, all the while gazing on guard, searching for Gu Qi Shi's shadow. Until she entered the building, she looked around, stood in the middle of the hall, and suddenly pinched her hands, cupped her hands, and mouthed the words. Huja men and horses Huja soldiers, Huja old immortal upwards please, today disciple has something, 
please move the old immortal to quickly send out troops. After reading, He Yichen's finger trick led towards the ground, and in the blink of an eye, he saw a whirlwind rise from the flat ground, followed by a dozen or so white lights whooshing and flying out. Then, He Yichen stood there with a slightly relieved expression. She's right here in this building, wait for the old immortals to find her, let's see where else she'll run to. Seeing her confident look, and then looking at the magic of her deployment just now, I was more or less envious in my heart, and opened my mouth to ask, how many men do you have in this Tang Battalion, now? Not many, more than a hundred. He Yu Chen still maintained the posture of invoking the trick while answering. More than a hundred is still less? Very few, I've set up the hall for a short period of time, it's only been less than two years. Two years and you're so powerful, I see you have more Hu family soldiers and horses? Yes, my Hu family's karma is heavier, but there are Hu Huang Chang Python all kinds of immortals on the hall. He Yu Chen replied seemingly carelessly, and when he said this he suddenly paused, turned his head to look at me, and said, I'm different from you, you're heavy in the python family's karma, and that female immortal behind you, she's very powerful. She's behind me? I hurriedly looked back, but behind me was the door of the sports building, not a single silhouette. He Yuchin smiled and said, it seems you haven't fully connected with her mind, if she doesn't want you to know she's there, you won't be able to sense it. I thought about her words and it was really true, in the last two days, I hadn't been able to sense python skyflower's presence. It seems that she doesn't want me to know she's there, maybe to hone me as well? By the way, who did you learn the six nani divine arithmetic from? She suddenly asked again. The six nani divine arithmetic? Oh, you mean those few phrases I just said ah, uh, no one taught me, I don't know how I got it, I always thought that was the little six nons, so it's called the six nons divine calculation? No teacher? Then you are really special, those few phrases of yours just now are plausible with little six nani, but the accuracy rate is very high, even though the range of things that can be counted is limited, it's still a very powerful chi man artistry. As He Yuchin spoke, her eyes kept roving around, and suddenly, she stopped speaking and slowly looked towards the stairs not far away. She's in a room on the third floor. He Yuchen had obviously picked up on the immortal's message, she glanced back at me and added. That ghost tire, it's scared. It's scared? I'm still scared, let it rejoice and I'll be sad, go, go finish it off. I shouldered that baseball bat and was about to run upstairs. He Yu Chen was in no hurry, first she took out a wooden sign and hung it on her waist, then she drew out a foot-long peachwood sword, and with her other hand she pinched Gu Tian Xing's pool collecting talisman, she was practically fully armed. When walking towards the upper floor, she glanced at me in wonder and whispered, are you really half-assed, or are you just going up like this with me in a deliberate disguise, and you don't bring any guys with you? I pointed to the baseball bat in my hand. Brah ah, this thing is only sturdy, guaranteed to put her down in one go. You either, or change back the shoes of Shang Wan AI. I think that thing is stronger than this. No change, I'm a big man, fighting with someone with a shoe sole, I'm too shabby. He Yu Chen's always serious face can't help but almost poof out a laugh, well at this time the atmosphere around her is weird and scary, the mottled walls in the hallway, broken steps, messy graffiti, so that even if she wanted to laugh, she was afraid that she wouldn't be able to do so. This is the dragon sex 5 thunder sign, useful for hitting out at critical moments. As she said that, she unhooked the wooden sign from her waist and threw it to me. But I threw it back to her, and by the way, I flashed my palm to her. What are you, doing here? He Yu Chen stared wide-eyed, dumbfounded as she looked at a large circle inside my palm, and the five smaller circles inside. Five Thunder Talisman, the fool's version. I bared my teeth at her and smiled heatedly. She wanted to say more, but there was no more time, a few more steps and the third floor was coming up. There was a wind pouring in from the hallway, it was cloudy and whooshing, and I suddenly felt like something was watching us, and snapped my head up, and saw that in the hallway directly in front of us, a man was hanging there with his head hanging down, and was slowly turning toward us. Abandoned sports building, dilapidated hallways, out of reach late at night, a man hanging in the hallway. I believe that with these few plus points, there shouldn't be many people who can resist not screaming out. However, He Yu Chen and I are the two exceptions. Seeing that thing slowly turn around, he Yu Chen gazed at it and observed it, and in his hand, he had already raised his mahogany sword, ready to strike at any time. I, on the other hand, have always disliked nagging, and seeing this, without saying a word, I handed the black bowl in my hand over to He Yu Chen, and then rushed up and hit a baseball bat. Just now, the security guard who was estimated to be more than 180 pounds was put down by me with a bat, what do you count? Only to hear a crash, that person was actually smashed by me at once to fly, broken all over the ground. I couldn't help but be stunned, he Yu Chen used the flashlight to illuminate it, only to realize that it was not a person at all, but a human skeleton model. It's not strange that there's this kind of thing inside the sports building, but the question is, who gave it to hang up to the stairway? That messy sound just now broke the dead silence in the hallway, and after a series of echoes, the surroundings finally quieted down. Suddenly, in a certain room in the depths of the hallway, a low, miserable scream vaguely came out, sounding as if it was very painful. 
It was Gu Qixi, He Yu Chen and I glanced at each other and got up at the same time, running quickly in the direction the sound came from. At the end of the corridor, in a room piled high with miscellaneous items, we once again saw the disappeared Gu Qixi. She was lying alone on the cold floor, and she seemed to be afraid of being heard, desperately restraining herself. Horrifyingly, one of her eyes had also turned blood red, her hand covering her belly was covered in blood, while her other hand was struggling to hold up her body, as if she was still trying to escape. Give up, before you descend into the world, you have no other way to deal with us other than running away. He Yu Chen was relieved to see Gu Qixi, and she walked into the room, her voice softly trying to persuade the ghost child in Gu Qixi's body. But Gu Qi she didn't say anything at all, only clenched her teeth hard and stared at us with a malicious gaze. Her chest was heaving, and her forehead and face were covered in sweat. I was a bit intolerant, this was clearly not Gu Qi Shi's own thoughts, but the ghostly fetus was begging for its life. Do it, it is now about to give birth anyway, your eight-door recluse talisman is useless, come on, you hold her down, I'll feed her medicine medicine. He Yu Chen stepped forward to control Gu Qi Shi, not letting her struggle, I held the black bowl, inside half a bowl of chicken blood spilled already left a small half, however, it should be enough. The two of us worked well together and pressed Gu Qi Shi and poured it into her. Anyway, the ghost fetus was struggling to come out, and it was a critical moment, so the two of us were taking advantage of the situation. Because Gu Qi Shi was struggling so hard, the corners of her mouth and face were covered in blood, making her look like a ghost. This feeling, as if I and He Yu Chen is the palace people, into a certain by the emperor to give the death of the consort pouring poisonous wine like. Half a bowl of Yang salivary blood down, Gu Qi Shi suddenly wailed miserably, the location of the small stomach unexpectedly has a black gas broke out of the body. Gu Qi Shi also don't know where the strength came from, violently struggled to get up, actually pushed He Yu Chen and I away at the same time, and pounced on the window. Immediately afterward, before He Yu Chen and I had time to react, she jumped from the three-story window. I was taken aback and turned around to run outside to save Gu Qi Shi. You have to know that this is the sports building, the first floor is the gymnasium, where basketball games are usually played, the lifting frame is already very high, even though it's a three-story building, it's probably a bit higher than a normal four-story building. Gu Qi Shi jumped down in this situation, fearing for her life. With her to know the time although very short, but this girl to my feeling has been very pure, very let a person heart touching kind, I really do not want to see her just so perish. A breath rush to the entrance of the sports building, Shang Wan AI is still standing there, one hand carrying a soul, is panicking around. I ran behind her and shouted, quickly follow me to save someone, Gu Qi Shi jumped off the building. Shang Wan AI was cold and startled again, I didn't care about her, after shouting, I ran in the direction of Gu Qi Shi's jump. He Yu Chen closely behind me, but running she actually ran in front of me, the two of us force wildly run, soon came to the back of the building, away from a long way, saw a person lying on the grass, motionless. At this time the dark clouds hanging low, not to mention the moon, not even half a bit of starlight cannot be seen, the sky is more dim. Next to the grass, is Gua Ziming and I have been to that small forest, at this time the tree's shadow heavy, swaying with the wind, from a distance, like a tall demon monster standing there. In the darkness, the sound of the wind swept by, as if it were a ghost whistle. When we ran closer, we were sure that this person was Gu Qixi, she had already lost consciousness and was covered in blood, I went forward and picked her up, reaching out to feel her pulse, it was already very weak. As for the ghostly fetus, I no longer know if it's still there, but at this point, Gu Qixi's stomach has clearly collapsed. Could it be that the black chi just now was the ghost fetus, which had already been extinguished by this unique stance of Gu Tianxing's? No, that pool collecting talisman hadn't been used yet, and the fact that Gu Qixi had jumped off the building and escaped without a second thought meant that the ghost fetus should still be there. It just wasn't in her anymore. He Yu Chen's face was also very serious, she glanced around a few times and said, the ghost fetus is still there, it ran away, this is big trouble. Ran away? What do you mean? I asked. Just now it was forced out of Gu Qixi's body, I should have used the pool collecting talisman to collect it, but I didn't realize that Gu Qixi's desperate attempt to jump off the building caused me to miss the moment, and now, it's no longer in Gu Qixi's body. What I mean when I say it ran away is, in fact, that it was born. Out. Born? I was a bit speechless, and said to her, that means, people originally had a month to go before it was time, and by us, not only did they go into labor prematurely, but the child was born and ran away? You can understand it that way. Then it's better to save the person first, let's talk about other things later. I was also helpless, picked up Guchishi and wanted to run to the infirmary, no matter what, now that human life is at stake, anything can be put down first. But I just ran out not two steps, not far from the face, suddenly walked over a person. Those few students, not sleeping in the middle of the night, running here to make a scene? I looked up and found that this person, is the door guard old Wang. Did not make any noise, we have nothing to do, come. Over to play. 
I panicked to explain, afraid of being misunderstood by him what, after all, now we three such, Guchishi is full of blood, although the darkness cannot see, but it is also very easy to be taken as I am plotting against her. He Yu Chen, however, did not say anything, staring at the old king of the gate guard, his eyes looking up and down on him, while whispering to me, be careful, he doesn't seem quite right. In fact, I also found that the old king was not quite right, my intuition told me that the yin chi on his body was very heavy at this time, standing there to block our way, the hat on his head covered his forehead, a pair of eyes just looked at us from under the brim, it looked very weird. You, put down that girl and, go. Old Wang suddenly said in a very low tone of voice, while his gaze was fixed on Gu Chi's body. I shook my head and said, that won't do, she just accidentally fell down the stairs and got injured, I'm going to take her to the infirmary, it's just as well, you can call 120 for me. I said that I was about to rush past him, but he flashed his body like a ghost and continued to stop in front of me. You students, you just love to mess around, if you cause another death, let's see how you'll end up. Come here, give me the person, I'll take her to the infirmary. He suddenly said while slowly walking towards me. If it were normal, it would be fine to give Guchishi to him, after all, it's going to be a long way from here to the infirmary, and I'd be struggling to carry Guchishi over there by myself. But my intuition told me that I couldn't give it to him. While I hesitated, he quickened his pace, getting closer and closer to me. When he came to a few meters in front of me, I suddenly realized that there were strands of black chi vaguely escaping from his body that was slowly enveloping him. It was only because it was too dark, and with no stars or moon, it was hard to detect what was happening on his body. I immediately took two steps backward, and he Yuchen obviously noticed this problem as well, rushing up in an arrow step and blocking in front of me. At this critical moment, Shang Wan AI suddenly ran over from the distance, she pointed at old Wang's back and shouted in horror, you guys run quickly, he has a little ghost lying behind him. My heart flinched and I immediately understood, no wonder he asked me to give Guchishi to him, it turns out that the ghostly fetus had already attached itself to his body. Leave this place to me, you immediately take Guchishi away, never fall into his hands. As soon as he Yu Chen's words fell, the peachwood sword in his hand immediately flew out, the old king seemed to know how powerful it was, his footsteps slowed down and he sidestepped to let it pass. Afterward, He Yu Chen's wrist retracted, and the mahogany sword actually flew back automatically, landing back in her hand. Taking advantage of this endeavor, He Yu Chen also took a few steps back, her hands once again pinching her hand and reciting under her breath. Who family soldiers and horses who family generals, have the old fairy go to the body, deep mountain cultivation to make a name for himself, palm soldier hall master Hu Tianling. As soon as the words fell, He Yu Chen's mouth let out a hey, the whole person's aura instantly changed, with a shrill whistle in his mouth, he directly charged upwards. Good guy, this girl general people really can't afford to mess with, the immortal said to get on the body ah. I can't help but secretly spit out my tongue, seeing Yu Chen has already fought with the old king with fists and feet, hurriedly hugged Gu Qixi and ran forward. The infirmary is staffed 24 hours a day, as long as you get there and stop Gu Qixi's bleeding in time, you should still be saved. Shangguan AI is completely dumbfounded at the side, seeing this, she busily ran over and asked me, Shuyafen, what am I doing ah? This little ninja is okay today, didn't fall off the chain, I said to her without thinking, go to the infirmary and knock on the door, tell them to come pick me up right away, Gucci she is going to die, there's a shortcut to the infirmary, you come with me. Shangguan AI immediately led the way in front, I've never been to the infirmary, I only know the general direction, hearing her say there's a shortcut, I immediately followed behind her. The two of us ran a few dozen meters to the side, through a wooded path, in front of the small forest. Shangguan AI said, through the woods and then turn a corner, the infirmary will be there, more than 200 meters closer than the road I just walked. But standing in front of this grove, I was a bit hesitant, because this place was also shrouded in Shi, the place where Gua Ziming and I almost tore up that soul-invoking talisman when we were talking here yesterday. I intentionally wanted to take a detour, but the blood on Gu Qixi's body continued to flow out, and she was getting weaker and weaker, her body was getting weaker and weaker, and she looked like she was about to die. At the same time, the doorman old Wang suddenly appeared from dozens of meters behind. Just now he and Hee Yuchen fought for half a day, although I did not see the process, but now his head cap has fallen off, the whole person is like crazy, the mouth cannot stop emitting ho ho ha ha strange screams, a sub-black gas in his body linger on, do not want to die as if running us chased over. Behind him, He Yuchen is also in hot pursuit. Look at this situation, just now He Yuchen and his hands probably also suffered a loss ah. Unexpectedly, this ghost tire is actually so powerful that even He Yuchen's immortal himself didn't manage to take it down easily. In front of us is the weird and unpredictable grove, behind us is old Wang, the janitor who was possessed by the ghost tire, I quickly waited up in my mind, clenched my teeth, and said to Shangguan AI, you lead the way in front of us, pay attention, no matter what you come across or what you see, just use the pair of shoes I gave you to open up the way, as long as you break out of the grove, Gu Qixi will be saved. I have to say, although Shangguan AI is spiteful and capricious, at the critical moment, 
she is actually more reliable than a long and guazi ming, this side is fighting like this, those two buddies haven't appeared so far, and I don't know what they are doing. Shangguan AI said sound good, one hand carrying a shoe, teeth and claws on the front run, maybe to overcome psychological fear, while running while also wailing and shouting. I can't help but laugh at the back, this look is really too happy, if not for this situation, I have to find a camera for her to shoot it down. Unfortunately, my cell phone is my father eliminated down the Nokia, even the photo function is not, when the brick is good, and then again this midnight, shoot out of the estimate also cannot see anything. The two of us rushed into the woods in one breath, ran not far to see white flowers everywhere, with the night wind swaying, I was trying to remind Shangwan AI attention, suddenly, her feet do not know what was tripped, flopped and fell to the ground. No, she didn't fall on the ground, but into a pit, which is quite big and deep, and it's not a problem to bury two or three people. But I remember very clearly, during the daytime, there is no pit in this forest. Shangguan AI cursed and stood up from the pit, grasping the thing that tripped her up in her hand, but with a scream of horror, she directly threw the thing out. Unbiased, that thing was thrown right at my feet, I looked down and couldn't help but be shocked. This was actually a dead man's white bonehead. This place is really too weird. I ran next to her in three or two steps, and was trying to pull her out, but Shangguan AI was already too scared to move, and looking around her feet, she suddenly cried out with a wow. I probed to her side of a survey, a stream of cool air instantly from the soles of the feet up, all of a sudden spread all over the body, even in the hair is cold. This pit is densely packed with white bones. Right at this moment, the gate guard old Wang had already caught up. In the darkness, I could clearly see that ghostly fetus lying on his shoulder, grimly grinning at us. But at this time, if I were to leave with Gu Qixi, Shangguan AI would fall into his hands, and if I were to save Shangguan AI, Gu Qixi's life would be in jeopardy. He Yu Chen dashed out diagonally and stood in front of me, gasping for breath, we fell for it, he is not possessed by a ghostly fetus, he is. A ghost. Before she finished speaking, Shangguan AI suddenly let out another scream, and I turned around to look, but I saw that in our surroundings, I don't know when it actually appeared dozens of hazy silhouettes, and they were coming towards us from all directions. The old king of the janitor looked at us with an evil-filled gaze, and suddenly quacked with a strange laugh before grabbing the ghostly fetus from his shoulder and stuffing it directly into his mouth. He Yu Chen's words finished at this point. He's a soul picker. Although that ghost fetus was conceived from human essence, it had yet to take shape, so it was nothing more than a spirit form. But this behavior of the gatekeeper old Wan was simply mind-numbing. This time, without Hee Yuchen saying it, I already understood. Ghost fetus or whatever, it's actually a minor issue. The biggest problem here is actually this usually taciturn and honest old guard king. Even Gu Qixi's pregnancy with a ghost fetus might have something to do with him. As for what Hee Yuchen said about the soul picker or whatever, I didn't have time to explore why, because by this time, the old king of the gate guard had already swallowed the ghost fetus and opened his mouth to speak. If you want to live, leave that girl child behind and I'll let you go. His voice became more and more strange and full of hatred, and without the cover of his hat, I could clearly see that one of his eyes was actually completely bloodred. And his exposed skin, including his face, was also hideous with veins bulging out and blood vessels protruding. Hiyu Chen had returned to normal by this time, as if the immortal had already left her body, and on her neck, there were a few obvious scratches. It turned out that she was injured. If I'm not wrong, you're the one who caused all the trouble in the past two years, right? I've been staring at you for a long time, I just haven't had any evidence, and I didn't expect that you finally couldn't resist jumping out. Old Wang gurgled in his throat and said in a heated voice, murder pays for life, debt pays for debt, what's owed to me here, of course it has to be paid back to me, no one is an exception. So, when the library was being built two years ago, the tragic death of a boy who ran to the construction site late at night was your doing? He Yu Chen asked, but Old Wang didn't answer, just laughed coldly. Also, a few months after that boy's death, there was another girl who said she saw the boy wandering in front of the library door, and as a result, she jumped to her death as well, so that's also related to you now? Old Wang still smiled coldly and didn't say anything, those in spirits around us had already surrounded us, but stopped more than 10 meters away, as if they were all waiting for his order. I don't understand, since you're a soul collector, it's fine that you want to collect the souls of the dead, but what kind of grudge do those girls have against you, are you just doing this to keep ghosts and fetuses to do your bidding? Hiyu Chin pursued the question more urgently sentence by sentence, it was obvious that she had been clear about what happened here for a long time, she just hadn't been able to find the mastermind behind it, so she pressed on, and it wasn't until today that she was certain that all this was the work of old Wang, the door guard. This time, old Wang finally spoke. His gaze first moved over Hiyu Chen, then landed on me, lingering for a moment before looking at Shang Wan AI, and finally resting on Gu Qixi. Those girls I chose are all people who usually misbehave and bully others, and have always looked down on us security guards. So, this is just a lesson for them. But I was too hasty, and that's what caused the first plan to fail, so this time, I only chose her. He looked at Gu Qixi, a complicated look spreading in his gaze. Why her? 
Gucci she isn't the kind of girl you talk about, she's always been a good girl, she rarely even talks to boys, don't you think it's too vicious if you do this? He Yu Chen continued to ask. Old Wang smiled insidiously and said, because of this, wouldn't it be appropriate for her to be the one to birth the ghostly fetus? I chose her long ago, more than two months ago, but it's a pity that you, the outgoing disciple, is too tender, if it wasn't for the fact that I intentionally let that shadowy soul be exposed the day before yesterday, I'm afraid that you all would be kept in the dark right now. You're talking about the Yin soul that I exterminated? You purposely did that, aren't you afraid that your intended plan will be disrupted? Hee <laughs> hee, I'm just doing it to tease you guys, haven't you heard that cats have to tease their prey well before they get it killed? The old king suddenly looked at me and added, it's just that I didn't expect that this kid is a variable, but it's fine, today you'll all die together in the pit I dug for you, to keep company with these dead ghosts. As soon as his words fell, the corners of his mouth rose slightly, and with a cruel smile, he suddenly opened his mouth and let out a low roar that was terrifying to the extreme. As I watched, a black gas then rushed out of his mouth, and the ghost fetus he had just swallowed was then manifested in it, constantly screaming, extremely hideous. At the same time, a terrifying red light shot out from one of his eyes, and as if receiving the command, the surrounding Yin spirits drifted over with expressionless faces, leaning towards us one after another. White bone whistling, poison dragon eye, ghost sex strange art. He Yu Chen's face sank, and with a hand trick, he summoned the immortals to his body once again. This time, however, it failed to work. Her face instantly changed, and the old king kept laughing strangely as he said, this place has been set up as a place of supreme Yin by me in three years time, in order to deal with you people. Those protector immortals of yours, their Tao skills are already limited, so with them, they can't even enter here. He Yu Chen summoned his immortals ineffectively, gritted his teeth, and with a peachwood sword in one hand and a five thunder sign in the other, he was about to go forward to fight hard. Wait, you won't be able to fight him like this, let me try. I reached out and pulled He Yu Chen, said to her. What do you? You have? He Yu Chen couldn't help but ask, while sizing me up a few times. I have this. I took the pair of embroidered shoes from Shang Wan AI, who was already scared and almost disoriented, and bared my teeth to He Yu Chen. Even in this tense atmosphere, He Yu Chen was still almost exasperated. Come on, this thing is useful against ordinary ghosts, he's a soul picker in the ghost sect, he's covered in ghostly aura, you're sending him to his death. It's okay, he doesn't intend to let us live anyway, instead of sitting around waiting to die, why don't we give it a try, just in case I'm going to win. Besides, I'm a male, I have to protect you guys. I smiled at He Yu Chen again, then carried the pair of shoes and walked over. I guess it was because this look of mine made old Wang a bit confused as well, he first froze, then laughed out loud. Immediately after that, he didn't say anything, red light shot out from his eyes once again, and he directly commanded that ghost fetus, directly lunging towards me. The ghost fetus has fused with him, specializing in devouring people's souls, be careful not to let it pounce on your body, and also, don't look at his eyes, he's practicing poisonous dragon eyes. I didn't understand what Yu Chen meant by the second half of his sentence for a moment, but for some reason, as soon as I saw old one's blood red eyes, my spirit went into a bit of a trance, and it seemed like my mind and soul were being controlled. By the time I reacted, the ghost tire had already managed to pounce on me. When it was too late, almost entirely a subconscious reaction, I raised my right hand and sent this ghost tire flying with the sole of my shoe. Right at this moment, a cool voice suddenly sounded in the bottom of my heart. Close your eyes. Immediately afterward, I only felt a boom in my mind, as if I had been hit by a cannonball, and my entire being instantly lost consciousness. In the netherworld, my consciousness seemed to be confined in a small place, like a dark cabin, surrounded by the pale sea, at this time, the waves were raging, the sea rose up a hurricane, I was in a small boat and the sea stumbled, sometimes thrown up on the waves, sometimes hit the bottom of the water. A white light came from nowhere, always over my head, so that I would not be completely lost in this horrible hurricane waves. However, this white light was only a small beam, and it was so blinding that I tried countless times to see what was happening outside through the white light, but I couldn't see it at all. This feeling was very real, I desperately wanted to open my eyes to see what was happening around me, but my body did not listen to me at all, a pair of eyes as if they were stuck by glue, how could I not open them? After an unknown period of time, it seemed to have combed down in all directions, and that bumpy feeling that made people about to vomit slowly disappeared. Subsequently, disappeared for half a day of the five senses as if all of a sudden came back, I opened my eyes, the first feeling is that the body is very tired, as if the fall harvest, followed my mother to grandma's home, for her family to break three days of bracks so tired. Immediately in front of my eyes was a scene that surprised me to no end. Just a moment ago was there to show off the unrivaled guard Lao Wang, at this time has been entrusted to the ground, chest full of blood, nose is also crooked, face is also swollen, the corner of the mouth dripping blood, the pair of red eyes also lost just now the soul stirring power. The most conspicuous thing was that both of his eyes were swollen, and one eye was so swollen that it was almost impossible to open it anymore. Right now, it looked like a very ordinary old janitor, 
and if people who were not aware of the truth saw this scene, they would probably think at the first moment that this was another incident of a bad person beating up a staff member. But this staff member was really a bit scary. Those shadowy spirits around us had also retreated, but my intuition told me that they hadn't left, but were still somewhere in the woods, most likely, right under our feet. A beam of light shone through, fixing itself on the face of old Wang, the gatekeeper. It was he Yu Chen. She seemed to have just gone through a battle as well, her chest heaving and panting slightly as she first glanced at me before saying, you were just bound by the binding death trick. Binding dead orifices, this is a type of immortal upper body, meaning that the immortal has taken over all the orifices in my body, completely occupying my body. So that means that just now, it was the python sky flower that possessed my body and defeated old king, the gate guard? This is the only explanation, otherwise, I believe that given the situation just now, it is impossible for me to beat this old man down with my bare hands. As for those two soles of shoes, they had long since been thrown somewhere. There's no need to resist anymore, your poison dragon eyes have been broken. I know that for you guys who practice the secret arts of the ghost sect, these eyes are the key, now you can no longer command those in spirits, nor can you drive the ghost fetus. Tell me, why are you doing this? He Yu Chen walked over and started interrogating. According to the drama in the TV series, whenever the bad guys were defeated, it seemed like there had to be such a part. Although I was also curious, I was more mindful of Guchishi, I don't know how much time passed just now, it would be bad if this girl should lose too much blood. I came to Guchishi's side, and was about to check on her injuries, when suddenly, I inadvertently realized that a tiny figure was actually curled up beside Guchishi, it seemed to be very afraid of me, and was desperately trying to burrow into Guchishi's arms. This was actually that ghostly fetus, but at this moment, it had obviously lost the arrogance it had earlier as well, just like an injured stray cat, looking weak, helpless, and pitiful. And although Gu Qi she was still unconscious, the bleeding had magically stopped underneath her body. Shang Guan AI was paralyzed on the ground the entire time, and was actually unharmed, but she was also scared like a demented person, and her pair of eyes were quite similar to that ghostly fetus's, also weak, helpless, and pitiful. The voice of the old king of the gatekeeper, murmured dreamily behind him. They, killed my son, I want them to pay in blood. I want them all to not die well. Who, who killed your son, who is your son? He Yu Chen asked. They, him, Chen Shua. Old Wang's voice was weak, but when he mentioned this name, he gritted his teeth and was filled with hatred, as if if, if this Chen Shua was next to him, he would absolutely eat this person alive, thwart his bones and break his body into pieces at the first opportunity. Chen Shua, is that him? The boy who died tragically at the construction site two years ago, he killed your son? He Yu Chen froze, seemingly not reacting for a moment. But Shang Guan AI, who had been dazed on the ground, suddenly shivered and exclaimed violently. It's him, I know, your son is that security guard, the one who died from Chen Shua's accidental injury. Old Wan's face suddenly changed, and he said in a hateful voice, mistakenly injured? Oh, where under the sky is there such an accidental injury? Since even the law favors those rich people, I'll punish him with heavenly justice, it's called heavenly justice, I just hate that it was too cheap for him, letting him die a little too painfully. By saying this, he was undoubtedly acknowledging Shang Wan AI's words, He Yu Chen came to a sudden realization and said in surprise, so that time three years ago, the one who died was your son, but since you have the ability to avenge your death, why do you still want to hurt other people? Old Wang snorted coldly, none of those rich people are good, including you guys. Three years ago, if it wasn't for that girl's indiscretion, Chen Shua wouldn't have gotten into a fight in order to compete with someone, and if they didn't fight, my son wouldn't have died, so she deserved to die as well. When the words came to this point, basically even I heard and understood, the incident they were talking about three years ago when they died after accidentally injuring a security guard in a fight, Shang Wan AI had already told me about it this afternoon, and that security guard I've seen before, just when Shang Wan AI and I passed by the security room at the entrance, he stayed there and smiled at us in a friendly manner. But that security guard was actually old Wang's son, which made each of us very surprised. Three years ago, something happened to my son, but the murderer was only sentenced to two years, and two years of probation, in fact, he was not punished at all, not to mention paying for my son's life. My heart was indignant, but I still accepted his compensation, and in order to take revenge, I came to work as a doorman, I know that poor people like us, who are uneducated and have no background, are like ants in your eyes, you can trample on as many of them as you want to, but this time, I just want to let you know that those who do evil will be punished, and that if heaven's way is not fair, I'll just walk my own path. He Yu Chen and I glanced at each other, both silent. In fact, both of us thought in our hearts that since he practiced the secret arts of the ghost sect, he came here purely to wreak havoc on people, and his purpose was to better cultivate those evil ways. But I didn't realize that he was actually trying to avenge the death of his innocent son. However, he shouldn't have angered those innocent girls, especially Gu Qishi, who was made to look like this for no reason. Perhaps in his already paranoid and twisted heart, he thought that there were no good people here, and that all of them should go to hell. 
It's none of my business if you cultivate the secret arts of the ghost sect, it's none of my business if you avenge your son's death, it's even none of my business if you borrowed the girls to give birth to a ghost fetus, but I'll have to take care of it if you want to use the power of the ghost fetus to harm people. He Yuchen said with a straight face, you should know that things like ghost fetuses are not tolerated by heaven and earth, so this time, you have to stay and give everyone an explanation, and that ghost fetus, too, must die. Her slender and slim body seemed to contain an inexplicable power, and after she finished speaking, she turned her head and looked towards the ghost fetus in Gu Qixi's arms. Old Wang suddenly sneered and slowly stood up from the ground. His eyes no longer had their regal splendor, but his entire body still gave off a ghostly aura. In the four directions, it was as if a gust of gloomy wind had risen once again. I'm only afraid that you guys won't be able to keep me. Along with old Wang's voice, behind us, a heavy and shuffling footstep suddenly sounded. He Yu Chen and I turned to look at the same time, and we saw that in the depths of the woods, a silhouette slowly walked out. This person was wearing a security guard's uniform, tall, with a long face and a black mole at the corner of his mouth. Surprisingly, it was the ghost that he had seen in the security room in the afternoon, old Wang's son. No, no, a gust of wind suddenly whistled past, revealing the dried up body inside his security uniform, and I could see that inside the clothes was actually a real body. Only in his original position should be the heart, is actually a horrible black hole. Is this a human being or a ghost? Looking at this half-human, half-ghost thing in front of us, we were collectively stunned. Sorry I used the word something to describe the two words, because there is really no suitable words, at this time standing in front of us, is clearly a person with a body, he walks with footsteps, the body of the security uniform, although tattered and torn, but it is also the real clothes. But inside his security uniform was a dried up and shriveled body, almost like a skeleton, favoring a layer of skin wrapped around it, except for his head which looked relatively normal, it looked like a medical experiment specimen. I couldn't help but think of the skeleton model I had just seen in the sports building. The biggest difference between him and that skeletal model was that where his heart was in front of his chest, it was a deep hole, and I couldn't see what it was in the darkness, except that my first instinct told me that his heart had been ripped out. Ghost puppetry, I get it, no wonder you want to cultivate ghost fetuses, you are trying to use something extremely in and deadly like a ghost fetus to merge with your son's physical body and retain your son's residual soul that hasn't dispersed yet. He Yu Chen exclaimed out of his mouth, the old king let out another cold laugh, at this time his son had already come in front of him, looking at us expressionlessly, but inside a pair of dead fish-like eyes, they were filled with vigilance and hatred. He he, you two little dolls who don't know how to die, don't think that relying on the power of those exodus immortals will be able to defeat me completely, even if it's them, they can't do anything to me, much less kill me. I know they are capable, however, their greatest fear is to be tainted with karma, it's not easy for the exodus immortals to cultivate, so they can't afford to get me killed over this matter, damaging their own Tao. He Yu Chen stopped talking. She looked at me, then at old Wang and his inhuman son, and looked hesitant for a moment. We all knew in our hearts that old Wang was right. Although he had committed many evil deeds, he also had a cause and a consequence, and the Exodus Immortals had come to earth to experience and accumulate merit, so if they were to get involved in karma, it would not be favorable to them either. Seeing that both of us were silent, the old king suddenly let out a heavy cold laugh, and as if summoned by some kind of power, the ghostly fetus in Guchishi's arms abruptly flew upside down, and even automatically flew towards the old king's son. He's going to fuse the ghost fetus with the ghost puppet, quickly stop him. He Yu Chen, despite her hesitation, grabbed a step forward and prepared to step in to stop him. However, she was farther away from Gu Qixi and saw that it was already too late. Looks like it's my turn to step in this time. He Yu Chen at least had a peachwood sword and five thunder sign, I've even thrown away the soles of my shoes now, so I have no choice but to rely on my hands. I sighed darkly and directly struck out, just at the moment when the ghost tire was about to fly past, I grabbed it in my hand. At this time the ghost tire has shrunk to the size of a cat cub, I use one hand to firmly pinch it in my hand constantly struggling, but to no avail. Don't forget, I also have a fool's version of the five thunders spell drawn on the palm of my hand. The old king seemed to be completely unexpected, I actually dared to directly shot, angrily said, you dare to hurt it, in the future it will be your karma. Seeing his colorful appearance, I snorted with joy and said to him indifferently, sorry, first of all, I'm not the exodus immortal, it's not true that I do have a protector, but right now, I don't represent her, I only represent myself, and I'm a person who has caught a toad as well as hollowed out a bird since he was a child, and I've also unintentionally squashed a chicken, so I'm not so bad at this one. That ghost fetus was shivering in my hand, letting out a helpless cry of grief, I glanced at it and said don't blame me, if you want to blame me, blame it on your dead ghost old man, people have turned into ghosts but still being controlled and spreading their seeds everywhere, this is called self-inflicted sins, in the future, if there is any karma, go and look for your father. My mind moved, the five thunder spell attack, just heard a boom, just like a child on New Year's Eve released a hemp thunderbolt, black smoke scattered, shocked my hand straight numb. Ah, 
Old one, the doorman, let out a miserable cry and puffed out a mouthful of blood. He had already fused with the ghost tire just now, and this time when the ghost tire was extinguished by the five thunders curse, he naturally had to suffer the backlash as well, and right now his body staggered, and he was almost unsteady already. Finished off one, there's still one more. I clapped my hands and spoke in a relaxed tone before looking at He Yu Chen. He Yu Chen also laughed and said, yeah, took out one, there's still another one, but this one, leave it to me. She clenched her hands together and summoned the immortal soldiers once again. A dozen white lights appeared and wrapped around the old king's son, the old king had the intention to save him, but in his haste and anger, coupled with the injuries he had just sustained, just as he took a step, he flopped to the ground, struggling and unable to get up. That ghost puppet was not conscious, completely relying on a trace of residual soul, and the old king's ghost door secret art, hanging on to not die, I guess, just now Shang Wan I fell down the deep pit, most likely is the place where the old king secretly hid his son before. He had wanted to fuse the ghost fetus with his three-year dead son today, but unfortunately, it was completely messed up by us. He Yu Chen took out the unused pool collecting talisman, walked over, and directly affixed it to old Wang's son's forehead. She mouthed the words, and then, the pool collecting talisman burst into flames with a bang, but strangely enough, the flames were actually purple-white in color, instantly enveloping his body. The old king's son didn't even manage to scream out a single word, and fell on his back with a thud, and after his body convulsed violently for a few times, he didn't move. You. You. Guys. The old king painfully bit the weeds on the ground with his teeth, and his mouth let out a wail that did not resemble a human being. The power of the pool collecting talisman was really great, and after about only a few minutes had passed, it gradually died out. Strangely enough, the old king's son's body was not damaged in the slightest, it was still the same as it was just now, and there were no traces of burning on the ground, but one glance could tell that he was now completely and utterly a corpse, and a dry corpse that had been dead for three long years. Dust to dust, how many things in the world, sooner or later can't stay, you go, we won't make things difficult for you, your son's corpse is also taken away, give him a good burial. His residual soul has already gone to a very good place, if he can cultivate properly, you will still have the chance to meet in the future. He Yu Chen said calmly. Good, good, good. Old Wang said three good words in a row, gritted his teeth and staggered up, laboriously dragging the corpse on the ground, not even leaving a single word behind, only giving us a deep look, then going without looking back. He left very simply, and did not say anything about revenge in the future, but I know that the glance he gave us on his way out was filled with bone-crushing hatred. The surroundings once again fell into silence, as if everything had ended. He Yu Chan and I glanced at each other, and both of us laughed bitterly at the same time. After coming to school for almost 10 days, I don't even know what his name is. Looking at old Wang's departing back, I sighed, and Yu Chen also shook her head and said, don't say you, I don't know either. I remember, three years ago when his son was accidentally killed, the school had mentioned the name, it is true that the last name is Wang, but what exactly is it called, no impression. Saying this, the two of us turned our heads together to look at Shang Wan AI. But Shang Wan AI is like a fool, her eyes staring straight ahead, Yu Chen walked over to take a look and smiled helplessly, her soul is no longer in her body, but it's nothing serious, it's just frightening, I'll collect her soul later and it'll be fine. Looking at Shang Wan AI's demented appearance, I also couldn't help but smile, it's not her fault, just now it was just too exciting, but what about these? I pointed at those dead white bones exposed on the ground, He Yu Chen frowned slightly, and before she could say anything, two people ran far outside the woods, panting and shouting continuously. It was Ah Long and Gua Ziming, these two guys didn't come until now, pure horseplay. But it's good, if they were to see those things just now, I'm afraid they would doubt their lives in the future. Shang Wan AI was an example. Forget about it first, saving people is important, let's go to the hospital immediately. He Yu Chen made an instant decision. But it's so late, where to find a car? I asked with some difficulty. He Yu Chen didn't answer, she took out a new Motorola cell phone and made a direct call. Masterly, I need to use a car now, yes, now, immediately, right away, pick us up at the back door of the school, and then tell my dad to get the emergency room of the city hospital ready, we have an injured person here who needs immediate medical attention. Looking at He Yu Chen's calm and self-assured manner of giving orders, I was a bit dumbfounded. Originally, I thought that she was just like me, also a person with supernatural abilities, and only came to this noble school by chance. But now take a look, this is also a proper rich second generation, dare I be the only one who is poor. After a few of us tossed and turned, we were finally able to send Gu Qixi to the hospital, and after the doctor's timely treatment, she soon turned critical and was not in any serious trouble. Miraculously, at that time, she jumped down from the third floor, although she fell unconscious on the spot and bled profusely, she didn't actually suffer any fatal injuries, just multiple contusions on her body, not even broken bones. At this point, the time was already late at night. None of us went back to school, along and Gua Ziming volunteered to stay in the hospital, accompany Gu Qixi, originally He Yu Chen should also stay, 
but Shang Wan AI looks a little bit like a fool, must hurry to save her back, otherwise, this little girl is really easy to turn into dementia. He Yu Chen opened two rooms in a high-end hotel next to the hospital, strangely enough, did not ask for an ID card, and she did not give money. A question to know, this hotel, is her family opened? This kind of thing is actually not complicated, even I will, but He Yu Chen's method is still quite professional, and, I have never seen. She performed a series of complicated yet simple rituals, nodded, and said, not bad, the soul hasn't gone far, it's still nearby, that's good. Chor Yifan, go help me take off her clothes. Ah, uh, take off her clothes for what? Nonsense, of course it's to collect her soul. Then why don't you go? I have to recite the soul collecting incantation 77 times 49, I don't have time. Why is it so troublesome to collect a soul? I had no choice but to come in front of Shang Wan AI and reach out to unbutton her clothes, but a strange thought popped up in my mind, why do I have to take off my clothes when I save a woman? But I've never given girls the experience of undressing, Shang Wan AI on the body of this dress is also strange, I undo the buttons but cannot come down, and then find half a day to realize that the buttons are decorative, this dress is a damn headgear. It is difficult to take off the clothes, I have a problem, look back at Hiyu Chen, she is still sitting on her knees to read the mantra it, mouth muttering, I do not know read to the first few times. I squatted down and studied for a while, and was about to go help her with her hand, when a sudden cry of alarm came from behind me. Don't add to the mess are you? Hiyu Chen gave me a blank look and walked over to put Shang Wan AI's jacket on her again, then only revealed her belly. I took two awkward steps back, and Hiyu Chen ignored me and took out a pen and wrote the word on Shang Wan AI's belly and forehead. After doing this, Hiyu Chen brought the three jaw sticks together with the bowl over and carefully placed them above Shang Wan AI's head. Go open the door, then stand there, and when I tell you to walk over, you'll come over right away, but from the door to here, you can only take seven steps, one more step won't have any effect ah. Uh. I did as I was told, opened the door to the room and stood there, then Hiyu Chen operated with her hands again, looking at me dazzled. At this time, the three jaw sticks above Shang Wan AI's head suddenly moved. To be exact, the cigarettes began to appear to flutter, only a moment later, the smoke was to the direction of the doorway at the same time. He Yu Chun ordered, I hurriedly walked back from the door, the distance in my mind, just seven steps, came to the Shang Wan AI front. At this time, my back a burst of cold, immediately after, He Yu Chen again let me reach out my hand, respectively in the Shang Wan AI body wrote the edicts of the place, each slapped a palm. I once again did as I was told, and when the last palm was slapped on the belly, Shang Wan AI's mouth suddenly wooed and woke up leisurely. This is also too fast, right? Chu Yifun, what are you doing? The Shang Wan AI who woke up saw me for the first time, she was first taken aback, then hurriedly surveyed her surroundings, and when she realized that this was actually a hotel hotel, her eyes became even more terrified. I smiled at her, don't worry, I'm saving you here, come on, put your clothes on. I do not say this ladder okay, Shang Wan AI heard, and then to the body to see, but also exclaimed out in shock, desperately reach out to the body to cover all around. Chu Yifun, I'm going to tell my dad. To this big lady, I am really a bit helpless, tell it, tell it quickly, you don't seem to have any other skills, tell your dad everything every day, I don't believe it, your dad can come and save you now? I purposely smiled unkindly at her, Shang Wan AI exclaimed, what are you going to do to me? Not waiting for her to finish, He Yu Chen slashed a hand knife on her neck, Shang Wan AI's eyes rolled over and she fainted again without even humming. I gave He Yu Chen a thumbs up, she also smiled helplessly and shook her head, she's too annoying, every day she's just so staggering, sometimes I can't stand it you mustn't tell her that it was me who knocked her out. I stretched out two fingers then a yeah, indicating that I am definitely on her side. The room returned to quiet, Shang Wan AI is also already fine, leaving Yi Yu Chen the two of us, suddenly a bit awkward. That. Your family is quite rich ha. Huh? I have no words to find words, pointing to the luxurious furnishings in the room, this decoration doesn't have a 30,000 to 50,000 to come down, right? The whole decoration do not know, but you now step on this carpet, estimated 30,000 almost. What, the carpet on 30,000? I was startled, just now also feel what, now suddenly feel, this carpet under the feet seems to be a bit solid feet. Seeing my embarrassed appearance, He Yu Chen, who had been as light as water, suddenly guffawed. Thanks to you today, and, once again, thank you for your protection. I smiled down at her and said, that's all trivial, but I'm a little curious, I want to ask you, if it was scary when I was tied up with the dead trick in the woods? She nodded, it's okay, that protector of yours is quite high and cold. I didn't even pay attention to me when I spoke to her, and I think, she seems to have an unusual relationship with you, very protective of you. If just now in my place I was tied up dead tricks, I'm afraid I don't even have the strength to sit here and talk to you now, at least I have to slow down for three days and three nights. Is it, I didn't notice, maybe I am more inviting. I didn't tell her the truth, after all, my relationship with her in addition to the protector also has the not spirit, not everyone can accept it. Hiyu Chin didn't care about my oily tongue, she smiled again and then said something mindless to me. 
You're very talented and would have been very suitable for cultivation, but if you believe me, listen to my advice, it's best not to take this path. I didn't understand what she meant by this and asked back, why? Aren't you also a person of cultivation? Moreover, both of us are walking the same path. Hiyu Chen's face was still as unperturbed as ever, but she gently shook her head, a trace of wretchedness and helplessness showing in her gaze. She said, I am unable to do so, there is no way to go back. Do you know, why I came to attend this school? Why? I was getting a little more confused, what was she trying to say? Because of my eyes, they're different from everyone else's. After she said this, she suddenly looked up at me, and then, I could clearly see that the eye on her left side was actually flickering with a clear, cold, moonlike light, taking in the heart. Her right eye, on the other hand, was normal. You. This is. Without waiting for me to think of how to word it, she already took the initiative to speak. This eye of mine is, in fact, blind. When Yu Chen told me in an unusually calm tone that one of her eyes was blind, I was still shocked for a moment. Although I've known her for a short period of time, the feeling Yu Chen gave me in the past two days has always been a cloudy and lighthearted kind of thing, doing things in a steady manner, and quite inconsistent with her age. Simply put, she and Shang Wan AI are two people with polar opposite personalities. But after spending two days together, I really didn't see that one of her eyes was blind. It's just that when she was looking at things, her gaze and expression were always very calm, and her eyes rarely changed much. Now hearing her say this, I realized that the reason why her eyes rarely changed was actually because she was blind in one eye at all. Are you congenital, or what's going on? I looked at her somewhat sympathetically, while using one hand to tentatively wiggle it toward the side of her left eye, wanting to try her reaction. Judging from this angle, if her left eye is really blind, then with one right eye she one t see my small movements. Unexpectedly, she directly said to me lightly, you don't need to try, this eye of mine only can't see in the daytime, at night, I can see everything. I was dizzy, what kind of blindness is this, you can't see during the day, but you can see at night? I was dumbfounded, a thought suddenly swept through my mind, and I said offhandedly, this eye of yours, could it be a yin and yang eye? As far as I know, some people's yin and yang eyes are just like this, mostly congenital eye diseases, unclear vision, or even not seeing at all. But on the other hand, it's awesome. This kind of eye disease that harms the eyes, there are some very rare ones that are able to see those things that ordinary people can't see. So, could he Yu Chen also be in this situation? Seeing me say so, she smiled slightly and said, you only guessed half right, this eye of mine, can indeed see things that ordinary people can't see, but this is not my innate yin and yang eye, but rather, it's something that is cultivated later in life, called the clear moon eye. Clear moon eye? What is that? I really haven't heard of the expression clear moon eye, He Yu Chen thought for a moment and said, you still remember, the eye of the janitor Lao Wang just now, right? I nodded, I remember, you said he had a poisonous dragon's eye, it looked quite evil, does it have anything to do with your clear moon eye? He Yu Chen said, the clear moon eye and the poison dragon eye are one positive and one evil, the clear moon eye is mostly a congenital eye disease, while the poison dragon eye, on the other hand, is hardwired to practice blindness in one of his eyes. And I can still be practiced blind? Why would he do that? Isn't this a lack of heart? I asked in disbelief. He he, after the poison dragon eye is practiced to a great extent, it can directly take in a person's soul, this technique is one of the most evil of the ghost Dao's secret arts, which is equal to artificially cultivating the yin and yang eyes. When practicing, you have to gather and absorb yin qi into one of your eyes by means of converging yin, and after a long time, naturally it is yin and yang eyes, which can see ghosts. And then wait until the eye is basically blind, the poisonous dragon eye will soon become, at this time, it is necessary to use the ghost fetus with this kind of heaven and earth extremely yin extreme break things, to continue to feed his eyes, feed the more the more powerful, in simple terms, it is the same as in his eyes to raise small ghosts, not only can defend themselves, but also can harm people. I listened to the creepy, and it dawned on me, no wonder the old king of the gate guard was so intent on keeping in souls and getting them pregnant at the same time, it turns out that he needed a large number of ghost fetuses, to help him cultivate. I couldn't help but ask, then what's the matter with your clear moon eyes? At this time, it was already late in the evening, but Iyuchin seemed to have no tiredness at all, and also did not hide anything from me, frankly said, the clear moon eyes, most suitable for people with congenital defects in the eyes to cultivate, after cultivating into, will be able to do to invert the yin and yang, that is to say, during the daytime can't see things, but at night will be able to see everything. Only then did I understand, no wonder Hiyu Chin could see clearly when I made small movements just now, so this was the reason. Hiyu Chin continued, if a normal person cultivates clear moon eyes, we have to cover up the eye with an eye mask, and not see the light for three months, when to practice to the pupil scattered but not convergence, see things blurred in heavy shadow, the first step is considered successful, this is called dilated pupil. I secretly spat out my tongue, thinking that this is not sick, practicing their eyes blind which normal people care about this called success? He Yu Chen no longer looked at me, she raised her head, her eyes gazing out the window, slowly muttering to herself. 
But my eyes innate eye disease, so I do not need to dilate the pupil process, in my 13 years old that year, I followed my master to practice the clear moon eyes, because at that time my family took me around to cure the disease, spent a lot of money, or not much use until I met my master, he told me, as long as with him to practice the clear moon eyes, I although the daytime is still invisible, but at night will be able to see. I thought, since I can't see during the day, it's good to be able to see at night, so I didn't think too much about it and practiced with him. But I didn't realize that the place of cultivation was actually a cemetery. I followed my master in the graveyard for half a year, and every night I had to look at the moon, and I couldn't allow myself to blink my eyes, and in this way, I was able to absorb the purine chi. As a result, half a year passed, and it really allowed me to practice. Only, since then, my eyes became yin and yang eyes, according to my master said, clear moon eyes also have the effect of body protection, cultivated into the person, the ghosts do not dare to get close to you, because at this time, your own yin chi will be heavier than the average ghost. But my master also said that on top of the clear moon eyes, there is an even more powerful, yet also very evil way of cultivating the yin and yang eyes, called the poison dragon eyes. We who cultivate the clear moon eyes, because we look at the moon for a long time without blinking, our eyes will shed tears, mix the tears with the amniotic fluid of the fetus, and come to dot our eyes every day, this is the way we feed our eyes. But those who cultivate poison dragon eyes will have to use a ghost fetus mixed with acacia sap to dot their eyes, therefore, a ghost fetus is something that must be used by those who cultivate poison dragon eyes. After listening to He Yu Chen's narration, I felt like my strange knowledge points had increased quite a bit. However, I was a bit puzzled, since He Yu Chen's family was very rich, how could they agree to let their daughter follow someone else around the cemetery every day? Seemingly sensing the doubts in my mind, He Yu Chen added, at first, my family was extremely opposed to it, but then I got very sick once and almost didn't die, it was my master who saved me. He said that I was born with an immortal destiny, and that I have a bond with the Taoist family, and that if I practiced the clear moon eyes with him, not only would it be able to disguise a cure for my eye disease, but it would also be able to protect my body, so that those oozy things couldn't get close to my body. Later on, my family had no choice but to agree to let me follow my master's cultivation, and formally worship the master and set up a temple when I was 16 years old. In that case, you've already established a hall for three years now? I was surprised, I didn't expect that this little girl, who looked small, was actually a master teacher as well. She didn't answer my words, but suddenly asked me strangely, do you know, why am I saying this to you? Why, because you are in a good mood today? Not really, I'm in a bad mood today, especially after meeting someone who practiced poison dragon eye. Why? Because the poison dragon eyes are more powerful than your clear moon eyes? He Chen gave me a breathless look and said, your way of thinking is simply the same as my second uncle. What's wrong with your second uncle? He's a retard. Don't bring curses. As a matter of fact, He Yu Chen's face gradually turned serious as she looked at me and said word by word, two years ago, my master died in the hands of a person who practiced poisonous dragon eyes. Ah, was it the gate guard old Wang? No, he had only just started, the person my master met, the ghost fetus had long been formed, it was hidden in his eyes, it could attack at his command at any time, once it was pounced into the seven orifices, it would surely die. So that's how it is. I instantly understood He Yu Chen's meaning, and guessed, I see, you've told me so much, you want me to join you, find that person who cultivates the poisonous dragon's eyes, and then help your master take revenge? He Yu Chen looked at me again with that look of a fool and shook her head. She said, I'm trying to remind you that if we ever meet such a person, then don't say anything, just run away, as far as you can, as fast as you can, that's what my master told me before he died. But why run, could it be, that even the immortals can't stop him? I forgot to tell you, when the poison dragon eye is cultivated to the extreme, no matter if it's a human immortal, it could be his material. After Hiyu Chen's sentence, I couldn't help but freeze, a chill leaping up from my back, icy cold all over my body. This one night, I hardly slept much, returning to my room not only that big and soft bed made me uncomfortable, that empty feeling also made my heart a little less adaptable. More importantly, what Hiyu Chen said to me today made me a little uneasy. After a long night of thinking, I managed to make it to the next day, Gu Qishi woke up a long time ago, and there was nothing much wrong with her, but she still had palpitations about what happened last night. Gu Qishi told us that when the ghost fetus was about to be destroyed by us, she could clearly see the endless sadness and pain in its terrified gaze. He Yu Chen comforted her, saying that such things as ghost fetuses were actually just the conversion and generation of an energy body, and had no substantial effect on her own body. In other words, Gu Qishi would still be a good girl in the future. He Yu Chen said it lightly, but he just didn't know if Alon would think the same way anymore. Gu Qishi's injuries are not serious, but also need to recuperate for a few days, in order to cope with, a few of us unify the tone, only said that yesterday night ran to the sports building side to play, as a result of a little accident. Fortunately, we tossed and turned like that yesterday, but actually no one found out, nor did anyone come to ask us anything, I have to say that this is indeed a very amazing thing. 
So when it was time to return to school on Monday, it was as if nothing had happened. But I knew that it was everything normal, instead, that was the most abnormal. For example, the grove where we fought old Wang, the janitor, at that time, in order to save Gu Qixi, pressed no effort to clean up the battlefield, and only the next day remembered that the grove's deep, white, bone-riddled pit had not yet had time to be buried. But strangely enough, when we returned there again, we found that the pit had already been filled in. Also, the skeleton specimen in the gym building that I had broken with a stick was hanging back in its place in good condition. The equipment room that we had messed up was also restored to its original state. Even the janitor old Wang's untimely departure was like a stone thrown into the sea, no one took it seriously, nor did I hear of any reaction. As for the security guard that I knocked out, I haven't seen him since that day. What happened that night was like it only existed in the memories of the few of us, or happened in our dreams. Not the slightest trace of it was retained. But it was just too perverse. He Yu Chen and I went over to the grove to check it out, and after our careful observation, we found that there were indeed traces of freshly filled soil on the ground, but it was artificially made to cover it up, with turf transplanted on the ground. If we didn't know what happened here that night, it would never have occurred to us that there were countless white bones buried in this lush grove. Things were obvious, those people were intentionally hiding something. And I had a strong premonition that this place was far from as simple as it appeared. But I'm not Sherlock Holmes or Detective Conan, my task, just to company Shangwan AI this big lady to stay for a semester, during the period as long as she's fine, I don't have to meddle in other people's business. The days immediately returned to calm, my life is still the same everyday sleep, days, and python smallpox chat, as well as from time to time to deal with guaziming this heel. Oh yeah, don't think that sleeping and gawking, which are a few things, are actually one thing, because when I'm on a stakeout, I'm either sleeping or gawking. As for anaconda, it's also one thing or another, often I communicate with her in my mind for half a day and she ignores me. But I know, in fact, she has always been there, only do not want me to see her. Gu Qixi recovered after a week of recuperation, she was much more emaciated and more introverted, seldom coming into contact with people. Shangguan AI told us that Gu Qixi actually wants to transfer away, but now also almost graduated, the family very do not understand her to do so, because it will have a great impact on the family behind the arrangement, moreover, she did not dare to tell her family about what happened last time. So after another two or three days, this day a long told Gua Ming and I with a complicated expression, he and Gu Qixi broke up. In fact, this has long been what I expected, a long is quite a bit difficult, said this is his first love, did not expect such a hasty end. Gua Ziming, a nervous guy, patted Aaron's shoulder and said, split on the split, early split early pain, besides, not just a girlfriend, you see me and Xiaofan do not have a girlfriend, we are not also good? I guess, if I tell him that I am actually a spiritual, I am afraid that this guy's eyes will fall out of their sockets in surprise. In order to comfort along, Gua Ziming offered to go out for dinner and singing tonight, and he would cover all the expenses. But I don't want to go, for one thing, I don't know how to sing, since I was a kid, I've been pointing to Andy Lau's water of forgetfulness to muddle through, besides, I don't feel comfortable leaving Shangwan AI alone here. Even though this girl's attitude towards me is still nonchalant, and even more so, she doesn't want people to know that I was sent by her father to protect her, but for the sake of my million dollars, I still feel that it's better to stay and protect her. But Gui Ziming is too enthusiastic, make me embarrassed, really have no choice but to say to him, go out can, before 9 o'clock in the evening must come back because last week a new steward, check the dormitory check is more strict, and even go out must be registered, without a valid reason is strictly prohibited to go out. This day back to the dormitory, we cleaned up a bit, probably in the cafeteria dinner time, the three of us quietly skipped. A breath to the back door, we were about to jump out of the wall, along a leg up, behind suddenly someone shouted loudly, Zhou Xiaolong, Gui Ziming, Chu Yifun, what are you three doing? This voice sounded familiar, we turned around and looked, the one who came was the newly appointed dormitory teacher, Qin Feng. This teacher is not very old, just 20-something years old, not much older than us, but he is very strict, always with a stern face and an old-fashioned look. I've always wondered what he's doing at his age, and what he's not doing, and what he's doing as a dormitory manager when he's out working as a webmaster. Even if you teach a physical education, that is also a serious teacher ah, dormitory management said good sound, called what logistics teacher, in fact, is the administrator, the other women's side of the dormitory is a big mom, our side is a boy, the difference is too big. A dragon a leg is still on the wall hitching it, awkwardly rushed Qin Feng a smile, said, I recently lost weight, exercise exercise body. Exercise go to the sports building, go to the playground, so many equipment do not use, climb the wall, quickly give me down, I have long seen that you sneaky certainly no good, tell you, if you want to go out today, also can, must give me a legitimate reason, fill out the registration form, otherwise, before it is too late to give me back to stay. When he did this, Along didn't say anything, but Gua Ziming didn't want to do it. Today was supposed to be his treat that he had organized, but in the end, he let Qin Feng stop him, 
Wa Ziming would naturally feel disgraced, and at that moment, he rolled his eyes at Qin Feng and said, Take out the form, I'll fill it out for you now. You want to fill out the form? What's your reason for going out? I have a craving. I want to eat donkey meat barbecue, okay? What kind of reason is that? No. Nonsense, if I have it here, why would I need to go out? How about you do this then, have the director's office look into adding a donkey roast to the cafeteria, or else, have my dad pay for it himself. Hua Ziming said this with a straight face, but there is no problem, his dad is a major shareholder, one of the serious directors, what he wants to eat, it is really a matter of his dad's words. But I didn't expect, Qin Feng didn't take his words seriously at all, and said with a cold smile, I know who your dad is, but this is the job I'm doing, and I'm in charge of the likes of you, and it's no good for your dad to come here today, unless he can fire me right away, or else you still have to hurry up and go back to me, and you can't just sabotage it just because of who your dad is. His words were not bad, basically a scrupulous one, but his tone was a bit unacceptable, aggressive, and the directors weren't even as fierce as him. I gave Gua Ziming a wink, signaling him to take it easy for a moment, then turned my head, about to say something to ease the atmosphere, but just at the moment I turned my head, I suddenly saw a very scary scene. Qin Feng, who was standing in front of me just now, his head suddenly disappeared, but he still maintained his standing position and didn't move a muscle. This sudden scene made me feel shocked, but when I looked again, everything returned to normal. Qin Feng was still standing there, looking at us with a stern expression on his face, his head was still on his neck, and there wasn't any horrifying image of blood and flesh. Strange, what's going on here? Is it an illusion, or did I see something I shouldn't have seen again? Forget it, let's not go out there. I pulled back Gui Ziming, who was about to storm out, and gave him a wink. Gui Ziming had been listening to me more lately, and immediately stopped making a sound, and the two of us together pulled the bewildered along down, and under Qin Fong's watchful eye, we ran away in a puff of smoke. The three of us ran out more than 200 meters in one breath, Gui Ziming really can't help it, a hand pulled me, came up for air and said, Xiao Fan, what are you running for ah, that guy is just a new administrator, I'll let my dad fire him in a minute, you're afraid of him for what? I also gasped and said, I'm not afraid of him ah, it's not that you've been running in the forefront, I thought you were going to go find someone to deal with him, I was afraid you'd get into trouble, chasing you all the way, who knew you were running so fast, tired me out. Hua Ziming said with wide eyes, didn't you run first? I thought you saw something again, look at your expression is like seeing a ghost, I cannot hurry to run ah? I looked at him speechlessly and said, I just wanted to get out of there quickly and talk to you guys about something, but it turned out that you ran faster and faster, and I didn't even react when I yelled at you from behind. Really, you shouted me? How come I didn't pay attention to? You see this is haunted, I thought it was haunted again. Hua Ziming is also a little embarrassed. The two of us looked at each other, and at the same time looked at Along, asked in unison. Why did you run? Nonsense, the two of you ran like rabbits, who knows what's going on again, if I don't run, leave me behind to feed the ghosts ah? Ah Along scratched the back of his head, with an innocent face. I looked at the two of them, and swept a glance to the back, that Qin Feng was no longer there. You guys listen to me, you really did see a ghost just now. Before my words fell, Wa Ziming yelled, look, 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 I told you, I definitely ran for a reason, did I see a ghost? I've seen a ghost again. I covered his mouth, can you stop arguing, what I saw wasn't a ghost? Not a ghost is what? Looking at the two of them with puzzled eyes, I looked around again, then lowered my voice and said, I saw that teacher just now, without a head. Crap? Hua Ziming's face instantly changed, his height shortened in fear, I looked down, the bastard's legs and stomach shivered, almost didn't kneel on the ground. Ah Long was a little stronger than him, but he also hugged Gua Ziming, his eyes clearly furtive. I helplessly spread my hands and said, Do you guys want to be like this? It's not like you've never seen a ghost before, as for? Gua Ziming shivered and said, The problem is that it's broad daylight. You said the teacher just now didn't have a head, who can stand this? Ah Long added, The key is that this is divided into who said, If someone else, I would have long ago big ear scraping directly up, but what you said? I said Xiao Fan, that teacher, could it be a ghost? You guys control your emotions first, just now the teacher is not a ghost, he is a human being, a living human being, only, it's likely that he's close to becoming a ghost. I patiently explained, but it was fine if I didn't explain, this time, the two of them directly hugged each other, shivering. These two goons. It seems like I can't count on them for anything, I'd better go investigate this matter myself. Intuition tells me that the sudden scene just now, I am afraid that it is definitely not my hallucination but something that is about to happen. Just then, those two boys, what's your situation? A familiar voice appeared not far away, I looked up and was speechless. It was that Mr. Zhang again. I raised my hands, signaling that it had nothing to do with me, and then took two steps backward. Wei Ziming and Along were hugging each other at this time, and were also dumbfounded at the sight of Teacher Zhang, even forgetting to separate. Teacher Zhang was furious and stomped her feet, pointing at the two of them and stuttering her words. You. You. 
are still a year away from entering society, then love to do whatever you want, here, convergence point cannot. Ah Long is a person with thicker nerves, has not yet reacted, listening to Mr. Zheng say so, subconsciously said, teacher, I have broken up. Broken up? Teacher Zhang looked at the two of them, and then at me, with an expression of understanding for a second, making a sudden realization. Teacher, it's not what you think. Guo Ziming and I spoke in unison. Teacher Zhang, however, waved his hand, turned around, and floated away. There's no need to explain, teacher is also a person who has been there, he understands. In his voice, it was as if there was a slight hint of disappointment, as well as deep regret, and inexplicable emotion. This time, it was the turn of the three of us to be dumbfounded. What is this all about? In order to avoid making misunderstandings, I chose to escape, went to the cafeteria alone, asked for a fried rice, and ate it absent-mindedly. I wasn't concerned about that teacher Qin Fong thing, it was mainly because the image just now was too shocking, I understood in my heart that it should be Python Skyflower reminding me of something, but she had said that these were my adventures, she wouldn't be directly involved and wouldn't tell me anything directly. Therefore, when I saw that image, I knew that I was afraid that I would not be able to escape from this matter, and that I would be involved in it again. Since I couldn't escape, I might as well take the first step to stop it before it happened. After eating hurriedly, I wandered around. The image I saw was that Qin Fong had lost his head, but this wasn't a construction site, there weren't any of those messy machines, so it was reasonable to say that it was impossible for this good-for-nothing living person to have lost his head for no reason. And Qin Fong is the dormitory administrator, he has to manage the dormitory, basically all day long here, I once understood, they will only take a day off on weekends. But my intuition told me that the time of Qin Fong's accident should be just in these one or two days, it would never be a weekend. I spent more than an hour going around every corner, focusing on the sports building, where there was a lot of equipment and also prone to accidents. But, as I looked around, I didn't see any sports equipment that could take someone's head off. After half a day of agonizing, I finally decided that I'd better find someone to explore the place first. The tired white bones in the grove that day had already made me suspicious, I just didn't want to be nosy, but now, this curiosity of mine couldn't hold back. This time, I was looking for Mr. Dong from the infirmary. It was said that this teacher had been working here since the time it was built, and he had been here for almost 10 years or so. If even he doesn't know about what's going on here, I'm afraid no one else will. When I came to the infirmary, it was already 8 o'clock in the evening, it was quiet at this time of the day, and no one would come to the infirmary, so Mr. Dong was almost ready to rest. In order to find a better excuse, I even used a little bit of ingenuity. I unloaded my arm. Don't get me wrong, it's not the dislocating one, I grew up with special bones, and I can get my arm or a certain part of the bone off whenever I feel like it, I. E. Dislocating it. Of course, I'd get it on myself. With my arm hanging down, I crept alone to the infirmary, which was closed since it was already late, and all you could see was light coming through the windows, but you couldn't see what was going on inside. I reached out and knocked on the door a few times, and a few moments later, a man around 50 years old wearing a white lab coat, appeared in front of me. At the same time, he muttered something under his breath. Why did you just come? I couldn't help but stare, thinking what's the situation, did he know I was coming? When he saw that it was me, he also froze, his gaze then swept behind me before landing on my body. How are you? He asked in a calm tone, and with that, he sized me up a few more times. I'm sure that the first time he opened his mouth, he definitely didn't ask what's wrong with you, but clearly why did you just come? Teacher Dong, I don't know how I did it in the dormitory, I dislocated my arm, it hurts like hell, please help me take a look. I purposely made a grimace, he frowned, his gaze glancing out again before he said to me, come in then, I'll give you a look. I obediently then entered the infirmary, this was the first time I had ever been here, and before I could get a good look at the furnishings of the room, the door behind me slammed and closed tightly. Subsequently, a strange wind, cold, from nowhere, spinning drilled into my pants leg. Unable to help myself, I shivered. At the same time I could see that just across from me, on the wall, hung a skeletal specimen. In the dim light, I could clearly see that it seemed to be smiling at me. Mr. Dong, this specimen is quite realistic huh, it looks just like the real thing. I settled down and pointed at the skeletal specimen and said. But for some reason, after I said that, the feeling I had just had disappeared, and when I looked at it more closely, the wall was just an ordinary skeletal specimen with its head hanging low, its entire body being penetrated by a long nail and nailed to the wall. Still, this thing looked a bit familiar, and I couldn't help but remember that I had seen a similar thing in the sports building that night, but it had already been smashed by me with a stick. My attention was on top of this skeletal specimen for a while, and Teacher Dong looked at me expressionlessly and suddenly said, Your arm doesn't hurt anymore? Ah yes, 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 it hurts, it hurts a lot, mister. Dong, please help me look at it. I then remembered that I was a patient with a dislocated arm, and hurriedly made a show of baring my teeth and sat on the bed in the consultation room as he instructed. 
He reached out and grabbed my arm and moved it tentatively, asking me as he did so, does this hurt? In fact, it doesn't hurt at all, but I still have to pretend that it hurts, sucking in my breath and answering, this is okay, a little more force will hurt. Yeah, 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 this hurts. Not waiting for me to finish a sentence, Mr. Dong suddenly applied force in his hand, only to hear this arm of mine emit a soft sound, and with a click, the dislocated place has been reset. Try it, there should be no problem. He said. I tried to move it twice, don't say, it really moved freely. Amazing mister. Dawn, this arm of mine has been dislocated a lot since I was a kid, but it's the first time I've encountered one as powerful as yours, it went up in a flash. I was praising from the bottom of my heart, it seems that people can work here for 10 years, they still have the ability, and judging from his face and dress, the treatment given to him should also be very high. Let's put it this way, if he was given another pair of gold-rimmed glasses and some gelatin for his hair, primping and preening, he'd be a proper chief of surgery of a first-class hospital. It's the first time I've come across one like you, removing your own arm and then not being able to put it back on. Next time you want to play like that, I won't care. He said in a flat tone, then took out a pair of gold-rimmed glasses from the drawer and set them on the bridge of his nose, looking at me expressionlessly. I was a bit surprised that he could tell that I removed this arm by myself? Awesome ah. Mr. Don, you're too good. No wonder Yang Shoucheng told me that Eagle Plus is Mr. Don, his medical skills are exquisite, not second to him. I casually slapped a horse's ass, and at the same time lifted Yang Shoucheng out as well. As expected, my cheap master nephew's name worked when I brought it up, as soon as teacher Dong heard the three words Yang Shoucheng, he also froze, slightly surprised, and then sized me up twice. You know Yang Shoucheng? That famous Luoyang doctor? What kind of person is he to you? Teacher Dong issued a triple question that was within my expectation, I smiled slightly and said, yes, it's that famous Luoyang doctor, as for what kind of person he is to me, it's not convenient to say, in fact, I came here because I want to do him a favor. I purposely sold the idea, the purpose was to make him curious, so that I could continue to steer the topic in the direction I wished. Otherwise, if I were to ask him directly about the roots of this place, there was absolutely no way he would tell me. But what I didn't expect was that Mr. Dong didn't continue to ask or show curiosity, but instead faintly said to me, that person, is actually a liar. Liar. Liar? This time it was my turn to be surprised, Yang Shoucheng is a famous national medical saint, Luoyang city ringing celebrities, even Shangwan AI his father are respectful to Yang Shoucheng, this district a school doctor, actually said he is a liar? Do you have anything else, if you're fine, go back to sleep? Teacher Dong gestured, signaling for me to go out. It's embarrassing. Having no choice, I had to give up the idea of prying information from him and turn to open the door to go out. But when I opened the door, a human face appeared on my face, standing expressionlessly in the doorway, a pair of eyes looking straight at me. This big knight coldly appeared a person, but also scared me, fixed eyes and then looked, it turned out to be Qin Fong. Mr. Qin. Such a coincidence, you also come to the infirmary. I said this life teacher is also too responsible for it, I just sneaked to the infirmary this only a few minutes, you chase to come? In the face of my embarrassment, Xin Feng did not seem to have any reaction, did not respond to my words, he hung his head, walked past me and entered the infirmary. I was a bit puzzled, and looked back just in time to see the moment when teacher Dong closed the door. I don't know if it was my illusion, just when the door was about to close, I seemed to see inside the infirmary, where the skeletal specimen's eyes were, there seemed to be two red lights that flickered away. Strange, these two people I saw tonight, how come they were both a little bit not quite right? I was puzzled, but couldn't ask, after all. The infirmary isn't just a place for students to see a doctor, but teachers as well. After returning to the dormitory, I stood in front of the window and looked at the row of houses hidden on the other side of the grove and the darkness in the distance. It was late at night, and except for the dormitory building, the lights had long since been turned off everywhere, except for that row of houses where the lights were still on. At the right angle of that row of houses, there was a building that was precisely the library. Looking from afar, I suddenly remembered that when I was looking at the terrain a few days ago, the row of separate houses next to the library was none other than the infirmary. At that time, I was facing the library, the infirmary was on the left side, but from the orientation of the library, it was actually on the right side, as the saying goes, the left blue dragon and the right white tiger, so it was the white tiger position, but this kind of pattern ah, tsk tsk, that kind of bad feeling looked at me staggering. At that time I did not notice that row of houses is what, and later realized that it is the infirmary, at this time standing in the distance to see, the infirmary inside the two lamps lit, dim, dark, late at night as if it is the eyes of two beasts, eyeing the tiger, let a person uneasy. The more I look, the more I feel uneasy in my heart, but I don't know where this feeling comes from, so I don't want to look at it, go back to bed, take out that ancient painting, sit quietly and meditate. If there is another way to calm me down when I am irritable and depressed, it is to look at this ancient painting. 
I crossed my legs and knees, and around the time I had been looking at it for about two minutes or so, I suddenly felt a stabbing pain in the center of my eyebrow, as if there were countless needles sticking in it. I subconsciously closed my eyes, but for some reason, I felt that a little white light appeared in the darkness in front of me, and then opened up a little bit, and that feeling was just like when we try hard to open our eyes when we are sleepy. Then a blue sky and white clouds appeared in front of my eyes, as well as green trees, but it was not something I saw directly with my eyes, it felt like the things I usually see when I stick on the cat's eye of the door of my room and look out, through a small hole. Only this hole was very small, my feeling, about the size of a green bean, and it required effort to control it in order to keep it that way, otherwise it could close at any time. I was looking away, but the next moment, the blue sky and white clouds disappeared in an instant, and right in front of my eyes, a ghastly white face appeared. The image was so clear that it was like looking at a photograph. It was Qin Fong. He seemed to be lying on an ice-cold bed, his two eyes lifelessly open and empty, as if he was gazing at me, and as if he was gazing at the emptiness in front of him. A chill began to spread upward from my calves, and in an instant it spread throughout my body. This disturbing feeling was not pleasant, I opened my eyes with force, and that image in my mind disappeared, Qin Fong's face also disappeared, and in front of me was still that ancient painting. Looking at the scenery inside the painting, I suddenly realized that what I saw when I closed my eyes just now seemed to be the world inside the painting. But, why would I see Qin Fong? Could it be that something had happened to him? This night I slept very unsoundly, always having messy dreams, and slept until 9 o'clock in the morning, before I woke up drowsily. But still sleepy, not a bit of strength in my body, I tried to feel my pulse, and was startled. The pulse is divided into inches and feet, and there are six veins in the left and right hands of a person, each corresponding to a different body part and symptom. At this moment, the pulse of my six veins are very weak, and my hands are also cold, if according to medical science, it is terminally ill, on the verge of death. I hurriedly climbed up, pushed open the window, let myself to the window, deeply inhaled a few mouthfuls of fresh air, and then closed my eyes, then I felt a stream of chi slowly flowing in my body. Not a moment's effort, my body gradually warmed up, and that feeling of powerlessness slowly disappeared. Opening my eyes, I subconsciously looked in the direction of the infirmary in the distance. However, it was now daytime, and the distance over there was a bit far, so I couldn't see anything instead. I stayed in the dormitory for a while longer, and then sent a text message to Gua Ziming, asking him to help me ask for leave. Soon his text message came back, said a long time ago has already helped me finish the leave, the reason is that I ate too many beans last night, farting and diarrhea tummy, tossing and turning all night. This buddy is also interesting, is the reason for this leave loss point, I at least is the top of the rich second generation name, I am so no good, eat beans to eat their own diarrhea? But since it has been so, I am also happy to be quiet, in the dormitory to stay until noon, I went out of the door, slipping and sliding to the cafeteria. This morning did not eat, but also really a little hungry, I am calculating what to eat in a while, around the side suddenly hurriedly walked past two people, still whispering. Have you heard, mister? Sheen disappeared, I haven't seen anyone all morning. Which teacher is mister? Sheen? That is the new administrator of the boys dormitory ah, quite handsome that. He hasn't been seen for a morning so he can't be considered missing. The key is that his cell phone was found in the trash can, and it fell out unintentionally when he was transporting garbage this morning. You say, the person is missing, the cell phone thrown in the trash, this problem is not serious? My god, so terrible, but. Hush, someone is coming over, I can hear the order, no one is allowed to say this matter, we'd better not cause trouble. These two people's voices are very low, but I still clearly heard. I turned around and looked at their backs in surprise, my mind was already buzzing with a premonition that something bad had happened. Qin Fong had really had an accident already. I couldn't be bothered to go to the cafeteria again, turning around and heading straight to the infirmary. Intuition told me that Qin Fong's disappearance was definitely related to Teacher Dong. When I arrived at the infirmary, Mr. Dong was inside treating a boy who seemed to be suffering from a stomach ache, and Mr. Dong, with his back to me, was rubbing him with one hand. He seemed to be so concentrated that he didn't even realize that someone was coming after him. But upon closer inspection, his other hand was in the form of a sword pointing and drawing in the air above his abdomen. The boy had his eyes closed the entire time, completely unaware. All right, how does it feel? Teacher Dong stopped, and the boy opened his eyes, rubbed his stomach, and said in surprise, feeling much better, thank you teacher. This is too amazing, it was fine within a few minutes of arriving at you. Teacher Dong faintly said, go back when you're better, remember to eat less cold food in the future, this problem of yours should have started when you were about 10 years old, it's been almost 10 years. The boy was even more surprised, nodding his head repeatedly and saying, teacher you even know this, I really have had this problem for almost 10 years. Teacher Dong smiled faintly and didn't say anything else. Only after the boy left did he turn around, and after seeing me, he wasn't surprised, but just asked me in a flat tone, what, did you dislocate your arm again? I shook my arm to show that it was fine, and then said to him, I heard that the new one, Mr. 
Qin Fong has disappeared, and the last place he was at last night would have been your place, so shouldn't you explain? He stared at me and said unhurriedly, he came over for a massage last night because he had a headache, and left after about 10 minutes. Now he's missing, so why do I have to explain? Oh, because you're the only one who knows why he's missing. What makes you say that, little friend? Just by the way you just did it, you're definitely not an ordinary person. I said as I reached out and pointed to the cup of water on the table, giving him a slight smile. There were a few vague shadows hovering inside that glass of water, in fact, I wasn't sure what it was, it was just that the name popped up involuntarily when my mind moved. He really did change his face. I think your name is Choi Yifun, right? He looked at me, and his face had slowly returned to normal. I was a bit strange, so I asked, I don't think I've ever told you my name. How do you know my name is Choi Yifun? The corner of his mouth turned up slightly and said, Your surname is very special, as for how I know it, you don't need to ask, but since you recognize the F.A. men, it seems that you are also very human. Little friend, I can tell you that what I used was none other than the Mashan water technique, which is a spell dedicated to healing the sick, and I am originally a Taoist doctor. However, Mr. Xin Fang's disappearance and whatnot has nothing to do with me. He paused and added, if you don't believe me, you can go investigate the surveillance. His words reminded me that there was a surveillance at the entrance of the infirmary, and if Qin Fang had entered the infirmary yesterday and didn't come out, it would have been visible on the surveillance. The surveillance you have here, it won't be broken at the critical moment, right? I asked. Don't worry, my surveillance here is good, feel free to look at it. After he finished speaking, his face gradually turned cold, picked up the cup of water from the table, and directly splashed it outside the door. According to the rules of the Jianghu, this is splashing water to send off a guest. After leaving the infirmary, I found Guo Ziming at the first opportunity, his father is a director, and he definitely has no problem trying to adjust the surveillance. Guo Ziming also heard about Qin Fang's disappearance, and when he saw that I wanted to investigate the surveillance, he immediately got excited and volunteered to take me to the surveillance room. The director's son was the one with the face, and the surveillance of the infirmary last night appeared in front of us in minutes. I recalled the time period in which I saw Qin Fang yesterday, asked the person in charge of the surveillance to pull the time, and then quietly watched it. On the screen, Qin Fang arrived at the infirmary door slowly on foot, and then just in time, I pushed my way out and met up with him. Then, Qin Fang entered the infirmary, and we patiently stared at the screen, and after about 10 minutes, Qin Fang did walk out of the infirmary, and slowly disappeared out of the monitor again. I was worried that after he left the infirmary, he might go back at some point, so I simply kept staring at the monitor with Gua Ziming, and turned up the playback speed a few more times. As a result, we watched until class started this morning, and there was no sign of Qin Fang. This meant that Qin Fang really wasn't in the infirmary yesterday. I was a bit unconvinced, so I called up the surveillance of the boys' dormitory again, because Qin Fang lived on the first floor of the dormitory at night, and if he had gone back, he would have been seen in the surveillance. But this time, the guy in the surveillance room got a little annoyed, saying that under normal circumstances, surveillance can only be shown to the management and the police, and both of you have been here all afternoon, and you still want to see it? Wei Ziming again said a bunch of good words, that talent boss reluctant to start access to the dormitory surveillance video. Before it could be played, the other person in charge of the surveillance room came back from outside, and after hearing about our intentions, he just reached out and turned off the surveillance. He said to us, you don't need to look, we've already contacted Mr. Qin Fang, he didn't even come back to the dormitory to stay last night, he had a headache and is now hospitalized. Qin Fang was hospitalized? I was a bit unconvinced, looked at him and asked, which hospital is Mr. Qin hospitalized in, can we go and have a look? The man was a bit impatient and said, you guys are fed up, right? He just called and said he's in the hospital, he didn't say where, besides, he's only been at work for a few days and he's taken a long sick leave, so I guess he won't be able to come back in the future, so what's there to see? After saying that, he kicked us out, not being polite at all. Gua Ziming and I were wide-eyed, and before I could say anything, he yelled on first. No, this is definitely not right, even if Qin Fong had a headache and wanted to go to the hospital, it should have been to find the infirmary to contact, our place is already remote, there is no car in the middle of the night, how did he run to the hospital by himself? I also agree more with his view, but now is this argument, we simply cannot do anything about it. After pondering for a while, I said to Gua Ziming, it seems that we can only look for the root cause ourselves, if the problem is not solved, I'm afraid that more and more things will happen in the future. Find the root cause? How? Tonight, let's go to the grove, dig up the ground, let the secrets of this place be completely exposed, and see what else they have to say. At 12 o'clock midnight, Gua Ziming and I, along with Alon, the three of us slipped to the grove together. Alon, not to mention Strong, is actually a wimp, the moment he heard that he was going to come to the grove in the middle of the night to dig up dead people's bones, his face turned green with fear. The two of us fooled him for a long time before he reluctantly agreed, 
because I told him that although Gu Qixi was fine now, he might attract ghosts again at some point, and when that happened, he would be the first one to be unlucky. Therefore, the lurking crisis had to be resolved before he could do so. Ah Long ran out with us stiffly, and Gu Ziming got two shovels from somewhere, so I stood at the location of the deep pit where Shang Wan Ai fell that day, and commanded the two of them to dig. The soil here has long been loose, so it's easy to dig, but the two of them are perhaps too nervous and scared, digging a few times before their heads are covered in sweat. Ten minutes later, the two of them are already panting, the ground also appeared a foot deep, three meters square pit. I went up to take a look, the soil dugout was all loose, but there was nothing inside, and the mori white bones from that day could not be seen at the bottom of the pit. Dig deeper, there was limited time that night, and the people who buried the earth couldn't have dug too deep in their haste, so I guess it's another foot deep at most, and we'll be able to see it. I guessed and said, but the two of them were sitting on their asses on the ground, was Ziming gasped and said, you dig, we can't have the energy, when I'm at home I don't even wash my socks, it's the middle of the night, if you don't die of fright, you will also have to let you die of exhaustion. I cannot help but be happy, said to him, not you have to come to be Conan, but also said that's such a big thing, and so you investigate clearly and then tell your father, then let him be surprised. He said rather smugly, why else do you think I'm working so hard? There are several directors here, but most of them are abroad and the one who actually calls the shots is my dad. He has too much business and doesn't care much about this place. The dead man's bones found in the grove must have been buried by that outside director, who is afraid of taking the blame and wants to cover his tracks. Hmph, when I investigate clearly, I'll have to make my dad fire him. Hua Ziming said the head of the road, along suddenly in the side picked up a sentence, not necessarily right, I think, if the steward did, he should have people overnight to pull away the bones of the dead, how can still stay here? Just now I said, you guys probably can't dig up anything it's a waste of time, but you guys don't believe me. Gua Ziming said, pull away overnight is impossible, think about it, the dead man's bones here if we go, those people only found, and then have to find a car to find workers over the night, God unknowingly transported away, and then let the people of the ground to the original restoration of the effort, then there is only one answer, those people have long known that this place has a lot of bones, and the people of the ground to the ground. Those people have long known that there are dead people's bones in this place, and know what's going on, otherwise, what they should have done is not to secretly transport them away, but to rush to the police. I nodded approvingly and said, you're right, even if they have more background and are afraid that the digging up of dead people's bones will affect their reputation, they definitely don't dare to hide such a big thing. Therefore, they secretly restored this place to its original state, they definitely knew about it long ago, and they deliberately covered it up. That's why I said that there must be some kind of ulterior secret hidden here. Saying this, I took the shovel from him, spit two mouthfuls of spit into my palm, and started digging. Compared to these two pampered male children, I am still considered to be a laborer, a few minutes time to dig down another foot or so deep, this time, basically enough to bury people. I dug down again, the shovel suddenly hit something, cannot go down. Feel a little soft. I was a little hairy, busy shouted the two of them over, with a flashlight for me to shine, and then jumped down to the bottom of the pit, the thing above the floating soil to set aside. The next moment, a miserable white hand appeared in front of us. Ah Long let out a cry of fright and directly went limp on the ground. Gua Ziming was a little better, but was also as pale as earth, and said with trepidation, Xiao Fan, didn't you say that the bones of the dead are buried here, how come there's still a human hand here? I am also a bit puzzled, squatted down and carefully examined, found that this hand should be a young man's, and it is like sleeping, naturally placed their feeling, which indicates that the deceased should be very calm when he died, did not go through any violent struggle. Come on, you two brothers help with a hand, dig him out, alone, if you're scared you don't have to dig, call the police now. I know very well in my heart, digging up dead people's bones is not a big deal, but if a corpse appears directly, this situation is not something I can control, this already requires a forensic pathologist to make an appearance. Gua Ziming and I continued to dig down, Along took out his cell phone shivering and prepared to call the police. At this time my attention has been on the body in the pit above, with a shovel cannot dig, can only squat down to dig with bare hands watching a body slowly appear in front of us, but not waiting for the upper half of the body exposed, I suddenly feel a little wrong, subconsciously stop the action of the hand. How come I didn't hear Aaron's voice on the phone? Moreover, an inexplicable ominous omen quietly surfaced in the bottom of my heart. In the dark, it was as if I felt someone behind me was slowly approaching. I looked up at Guaziming, then stood up and looked behind me. Behind me, there was not a single silhouette, only a tree standing in the darkness, and at this time in this horrifying atmosphere, it looked like the shadowy spirits that surrounded us that night, teeth and claws wide open, hideous and terrifying. But wasn't Ah Lung behind me just now? How come he was gone? I jumped out of the bottom of the pit and looked around, indeed, there was no sign of Ah Lung, it was as if he had suddenly evaporated from the earth, disappearing without a sound. This isn't right, even if he was timid and got scared away, he had to make some noise, right? Was Ziming, have you seen Ah Lung? I uttered a greeting, 
but no one responded, the woods were silent, as if I was the only one talking to myself. Guo Ziming? A trace of uncertainty swept through my heart, and I turned back with a huff. Then, I froze once again. Guo Ziming was clearly at the bottom of the pit just now, so how come he had disappeared as well? Guo Ziming, Ah Long, where did you guys go? I shouted to the surroundings, but didn't dare to be too loud, at this moment, a strange ghastly wind arose in the woods, and my voice didn't seem to have traveled far at all before it was swallowed up by this ghastly wind. Immediately after that, the corpse that was buried in the deep pit, suddenly moved a little. Then, it sat up straight. This corpse, had no head. My mind buzzed as if it had instantly exploded. It was Qin Feng. Just as this thought appeared, another image flashed through my mind. A sharp, cold light cut through the darkness. In the darkness, the person's bulging eyes and terrified gaze resembled a person. It was actually myself. A bone-chilling chill spread throughout my body in an instant. Almost at the same time, I heard an extremely subtle footstep. It was right behind me. In a flash of lightning, my body reflexively dodged to the side, almost without even going through my brain's command. A sharp cold light, swept against my neck, chilling, provoking the cold hairs on my neck to explode. In the darkness, a strange man with two heads stood there, unable to see his face, carrying a sharp axe in his hand, staring at me with an icy gaze. I couldn't help but suck in a mouthful of cool air, at this time it was midnight, the moon was dark and the wind was high, through the faint light of the sky, I could clearly see that next to this person's head, there was a slightly smaller head. What is this thing? There was a dead silence in all directions, so quiet that you could almost hear your own breathing, as well as the breathing of the person on the opposite side. My heart is a little tight, in fact, I'm not afraid that he's not a person, even if he's an evil ghost, I won't take it seriously, but this guy with two heads, actually happened to be a person. At times like this, people are scarier than ghosts. Out of the corner of my eye, I glanced at the corpse in the pit, strangely enough, the corpse still kept the same posture, most of his body was still buried in the soil, did not sit up at all. I immediately understood, just now I don't know what thing affected me, let me have hallucinations, the purpose is to take advantage of the opportunity to do something to me. However, Ah Long and Guo Ming, of course, had disappeared. Facing this two-headed monster with a sharp axe, I shot at python smallpox in my heart for half a day without response. This big sister recently are not very in the state, also do not know this critical moment and ran to where. I stared intently at the person across from me, my feet slowly retreating. He also stepped closer, a pair of eyes flashing with a greenish spectral light, like ghosts and demons constantly approaching. My heel suddenly kicked something, and I subconsciously stopped in my tracks. It was a shovel. This time I have a weapon. I hooked the shovel up with my foot and grasped it in my hand, suddenly shouting at him. The police are coming. He really stopped and reflexively turned back to look behind him. Otherwise how to say, as long as it is a person has a weakness, if this is an evil ghost, I shouted the police must be useless, I guess to shout the goddess of mercy to come in order to be good. Taking advantage of the time he turned back, I ran. I'm a fool if I don't run. In the past, I was known as the village scud, now the situation is critical, I rushed out of the grove in one breath, and then when I turned back, the two-headed monster also chased out. Thus, a difficult problem was placed in front of me. In this situation, where do I run? Normal people's thinking would definitely be to look for the school security guards, but I didn't think so, because the fact that such an oddly shaped thing could appear in the school, and still be able to lay hands on me unknowingly, meant that they were likely to be a gang at all. Since I knew there was something wrong with the school, if I still went to the security guards, wouldn't I be shooting myself in the foot? It's not a good idea to run to the dormitory, it's already the middle of the night, everyone has already gone to bed, I'd better minimize the negative impact. Thinking about it, a row of houses with lights still on suddenly appeared not far ahead. The infirmary. My heart fluttered, and without thinking, I ran straight over and reached out to smash the door. Since Mr. Dong was a Taoist doctor, it was a good time to take this opportunity to probe him and see if he was related to this matter or not. I smashed the door for two to three minutes, and the two-headed monster behind me had already chased after me, and was less than 50 meters away. At this time, the door opened, and Teacher Dong stood there in his white coat, expressionless. Teacher Dong. I don't know what's chasing me behind me, there are two heads, is it from your Maoshan mountain? I purposely shouted in a fuss, then regardless, lifted my leg and ran towards his house. He frowned, apparently also saw the monster behind, see me into the house, bang directly locked the door. Where did you get such a thing, come with me, it's not safe here anymore. He took me by the arm and ran through the back of the infirmary, his hand was so strong I could barely break free. But I wasn't even trying to break free, I had run to him to find out what he was up to. So I let him pull me, and ran out the door next to the infirmary, and into a hallway. For the first time, I knew that the infirmary was so big, and on both sides of the corridor were various rooms, including an instrument room, a sterilization room, a pathology room, an x-ray room, an infusion room, and several other wards. It was just like a small-scale hospital. I secretly spat out my tongue, 
thinking that this aristocratic school is different, even the infirmary support is made according to a hospital. Outside, the sound of banging and slamming of doors, and a burst of creepy low growls already rang out. That two-headed monster is here. Without looking back, Teacher Dong pulled me straight to the end of the corridor, to the door of a closed room, and pulled out the key to open the door. This corridor is eerie, especially the more inside the more cold, I unconsciously shivered, looked up, a sign on the door of the room is written, cold room. In this school infirmary, there is actually a cold room? What needs to be refrigerated? Just as I thought of this, Mr. Dong had already opened the door to the freezer room, and at the same time, an even more terrifying sound had already come from the door to the infirmary outside. That weirdo, started chopping the door with an axe. He glanced back anxiously and said to me, quickly go inside, this door is specially made to block him. Seeing that he looked slightly frightened, I didn't think too much of it, thinking that I would go in first to get out of the wind and talk to him slowly. However, the moment I dashed into the cold room, Mr. Dong didn't follow me in, but directly closed the door. There was a bang, and my eyes suddenly went black, followed by the sound of the door of the room being unlocked from outside. What are you doing, let me out. I slammed the door hard and called out, and Teacher Dong's voice came coldly from outside the door. It's dangerous outside, so stay inside, I'll let you out when it's safe. The footsteps in the corridor gradually faded away, no matter how much I shouted, no one responded. This Nima. I am still too young ah. I hate this in my heart, secretly pumped my own mouth, thinking that I know that this is a dangerous person, but also to jump into his trap, too lack of heart. Things have come to this point, regret is useless, this cold room door is special, at least must have 20 centimeters thick, exhausted me cannot run out. The light inside was dim, I turned around and surveyed my surroundings. This cold room is not big, only 30 square feet, divided into two rooms, the front is a drawer type large freezer, in the center are two iron beds with pulleys. A white cold fog filled the freezer. I wrapped my coat tightly and walked inside. Strangely, the arrangement of this cold room looks a bit special, not like putting any medicine or medical equipment, but like a funeral parlor where corpses are parked. There were no windows in the cold room, and there was a lamp overhead, emitting a dim light. When I came to another room in the cold storage room, I was stunned by the scene in front of me. On the floor here, there was a pattern of the eight trigrams, and in the center was a table with an incense burner, and a token flag and arrow. Above the head, a red mirror, emitting a demonic glow under the light. Just below this mirror, in the white fog, vaguely visible, there is a white woman's silhouette, sitting on the ground with her knees crossed and her eyes slightly closed. Surprisingly, it was. Python smallpox. How did you get here? I was surprised, thinking what the hell is going on, could it be that she was detained? Python Tianhua slowly opened her eyes, her expression remained unperturbed, as if she had already known that I would come. I was careless for a moment and was detained here. She said indifferently. Sure enough. It was a little hard for me to believe that with her skills, she would still be held up? What the hell is going on, who is that doctor, and how are we going to get out of here? I came with a trio of questions that hit my soul straight on the head, the figure of Python smallpox loomed in the chilly white mist, she pointed to the piece of mirror above her head, and said to me, that person's skill isn't very high, but this piece of celestial master mirror has a celestial master talisman's enchantment on it, now you go and take it off, so I can get out of here. Hearing her say this, I suddenly remembered what Hiyu Chen had once said, back then, her master was killed by someone, and the other party was a ghost sect member who practiced the poison dragon's eye, and in order to practice the poison dragon's eye, no matter if it was a human or an immortal, it could all become his material. I couldn't help but shiver, I don't know how, recently, the body is always inexplicably cold, moving from the legs to start all the way to the upper half of the body, through the heart of the cold. At this time in this cold room, it is even colder, my hand seems to be almost numb, hurriedly moved the table over, above the order of the flag and arrows are thrown on the ground, and then jumped on the table, directly embedded in the ceiling of the mirror picked down. To say also magical, I this mirror just took off, python smallpox will immediately turn into a white light, abruptly disappeared. Almost simultaneously, her voice appeared in my mind. Luckily you came, quickly save the people. Saving people? Who else to save? In the cooler, open it and you'll see. In the cooler? An ominous premonition swept through my heart. I threw the mirror on the ground and crushed it with one foot, then rushed to the front of the cooler and pulled one of them open with my hand. This freezer three horizontal and three vertical, a total of nine drawers, I pulled open the most right side of the middle, with a burst of cold fog came to the surface, the things in the freezer, so I almost did not sit down on the ground with a but scared. I asked myself that my guts are also considered quite big, can scare me into such a thing, I am afraid that I cannot even dream of. Inside this drawer lay a person, a person I was very familiar with, a person who could make me a million dollars in three months. Shang Wan AI. Why is this big sister here? My first reaction was to reach out and pull her. Shang Wan AI was already cold by this time, but her body was still soft, 
and she was breathing when I touched her, so she should have been put in there after she passed out. It seems there is still salvation, I hurriedly dragged her out of the cold cabinet and placed her on the iron bed, then took out my cell phone and sent a text message to He Yu Chen. Infirmary, Shang Wan AI, someone from the ghost sect, come quickly. The situation was urgent, I could only briefly send out these few words for help, but this cold room could even block the signal, how could this text message not be sent out? My heart sank, in that case, not to mention looking for help, I just call the police, the phone cannot call out. I tried again, and sure enough, there was no signal at all. Just then, the door to the cold room was suddenly opened. A person carrying an axe appeared in the doorway. At this time, although the light inside the cold room is also quite dark, but I still see clearly, this person is not two heads, but his appearance is vicious and ugly, tall, with a huge sarcoma on his neck, with his breathing can't help but slightly trembling. If you looked in the dark, it was just like having two heads. Mr. Dong stood right behind him, looking at me expressionlessly. Then, he closed the door again. Nima ah. This time, there was only me and this axe-carrying weirdo left in the freezer room, facing each other less than three meters. He hemmed and hawed and laughed strangely as he slowly walked towards me. Judging from this man's eyes, he should fall into the category of being intellectually challenged, only knowing how to follow orders, without much of his own thinking or judgment. However, the instruction he was receiving now was definitely to get me killed. I took two steps backward and looked around, not a single weapon was at hand. Anaconda Smallpox's voice suddenly appeared in my head. Close your eyes. Looks like it's time for another wild and passionate experience. Knowing what Anaconda Skyflower was going to do, I silently prayed in my heart for this weirdo, and then closed my eyes. It was like a huge wave instantly surged in front of my eyes, and with a buzzing sound in my head, I lost control of my body once again. If the last time the Anaconda Smallpox binding trick went up my body felt like bobbing on a stormy sea, then this time, it was like getting drunk and getting wildly high in a disco. But this feeling didn't last long, I guess it was just two or three minutes, the consciousness came back. I opened my eyes, and I saw that the guy who was also fierce and vicious just now, was already lying on the ground, his face was full of blood, even his nose was crooked, and the axe in his hand was also thrown off for several meters, and the handle of the axe was also broken. Good guy, Python smallpox this temper is really not small, to him to beat up the estimate of his mother cannot recognize, this than that day to beat up that janitor Lao Wang more ruthless. It is estimated that she was detained here, move the real anger. Door also do not know when has opened, mister. Dong stood there, like looking at a monster like looking at me, eyes are more wandering. I guess he could not have imagined that I, a high school student, would be able to beat such a big man down with my bare hands. I provocatively tugged open two of my shirt buttons, and hooked my finger at him. Come over here. He didn't come over, instead he smiled morosely and said without haste. I have to admit that your protector immortal has two tricks up his sleeve, however, an immortal without a physical body is destined to only become my material. Hearing his words, my heart sank. It seemed that He Yu Chen's words corresponded to him. A sudden rumble came from behind me, and the cold air thickened. There were footsteps, but behind me, there was no one at all. No, there was something else in those drawers. Thinking of this, I turned around with a huff, and the first person I saw was surprisingly Aaron. His eyes were dull and lifeless, his whole body was like a walking corpse, a pair of eyes staring straight at me, slowly walking towards me. Behind him was Old Wang, the doorman. He was also just like a long, with a dull gaze, and it was obvious that his sanity was already under control. He he, quite a surprise, isn't it? If you want to escape, you can ask your protector immortal to finish off the two of them again, however, with the little you have now, you can at most withstand the immortal binding orifice attachment for three minutes, and after a longer period of time, it's hard to protect this little life of yours. I instantly realized that the strange man with the axe just now was merely a tool he used to consume my possession time. This person was too sinister. I don't understand, why are you doing this, to engage in this kind of thing here, aren't you afraid of being exposed? I opened my mouth and asked, stalling for time in the process. Because just now, Anaconda Skyflower had already told me in her heart, she binds the orifices to possess the body once, the effect is only 3 minutes at the most, and then there's a cooling time of half an hour, because my chi meridians are not fully opened, she is forcibly possessing the body right now, and she can't do anything about it until the cooling time is up. This is the sadness of immortals without a physical body. Obviously they have the ability, but they can only utilize it with the help of a human's body. Since you're so curious, there's no harm in me telling you, anyway, you're about to die. He said coldly, luring you here, firstly, because you're nosy, and secondly, because, I'm going to take a piece of spirit bone from your body and use it as a medicine guide. Saying that, he pointed his finger at the bottom of the back of his head, a cruel smile appearing at the corner of his mouth. The occipital area at the back of a normal person's head is sunken, but I am different, I have a slightly protruding piece of bone at the location of my occipital bone. This bone was about the size of a thumb and was somewhat microsoft, I had known this since I was a child, 
but this bone usually didn't affect anything, so I hadn't been too concerned about it. But listening to his words, this piece of bone of mine was actually still some kind of spirit bone? Being a medicine guide? How do you make a medicine guide? I asked again. Of course it's getting it out to make medicine. Of course, this process won't take too long, as long as the spirit bone is taken, your life will be useless to me. As he said that, he slowly walked towards me, in his hand, at some point, he already had a sharp knife, he then looked towards Shang Wan AI who was unconscious on the side, and continued, there's also her, this girl is a body of the nine yins, it's extremely rare, your spirit bone, together with her, these two medicine guides, complemented by other materials I've already collected, will be able to complete my plan. Almost the same as all bad guys, this teacher Dawn was also chattering before he succeeded, proudly revealing all the secrets in his heart. I took another step back and continued to ask, looks like I can't call you teacher Dong, what kind of person are you that you've been lurking around for as long as 10 years, is it just for your plan? And what is your plan? He snorted coldly and said, you don't need to ask more about these, it's better to lie down obediently and cooperate, you can still suffer less pain, maybe later when I'm happy, I'll tell you some more things before you die. Seeing that he had a murderous look in his eyes, I hurriedly looked for another question to come out, alright then, last question, what exactly is the use of my spirit bone, why even I don't know myself, but you do, he he, this is something I can tell you, kid, perhaps you really don't know, you are originally the body of the most young, but you were born on the day of the most in, your physique is very suitable for cultivation, especially your spirit bone, it's even more of a treasure than how many cultivators have dreamed of, it's just a pity that it's going to fall into my hands today. He once again smiled cruelly and took a step forward, at the same time, Along, who had already lost his mind, and Old One, the door guard, also approached once again. I kept communicating with Python Smallpox in my mind, asking her what to do, and it was only after half a day of asking that she finally replied back. Keep stalling, I've already called the police. I almost wow cry out, said big sister we do not bring such a mess, you are a powerful fairy, was also my master's law enforcement hall of the hall, the results of the situation now, you tell me you called the police? Besides, when did you make the call ah big sister? Dang bang, I have retreated to the position of the iron bed, my heel kicked the pulley, glanced down, Shang Wan AI is still ice closed, unconscious. Alas, it seems that I really hit the wrong plan, I thought that if I came and stayed for a few months, I would be able to earn a million dollars, I didn't expect the Shang Wan AI to be so troublesome, actually still some kind of nining body, and wherever I go, I can cause trouble. And then thought, I understand. This must be that Yang Shouqing idea, he gave Shang Wan AI treatment for more than 10 years, surely know Shang Wan AI's physique, know that she will attract trouble at any time, so he deliberately let me come to accompany her, this hot potato thrown in my hands. Now it's good, if later still can't get out, that 1 million dollars, probably can only wait for my father to burn paper to give me. Looking at a few people in front of me, between the flash of light, I suddenly remembered a problem. Wait, last last question, where did you get Guo Ziming? Just now when the three of us were in the grove, Along disappeared first, then Guo Ziming also disappeared, and now Along appeared in the infirmary's cold room, then where is Guo Ziming? Hearing me ask about Guo Ziming, he looked slightly different and said, you'd better care about yourself, besides, don't expect that python fairy to save you, she has been detained here by me for two days already, if it wasn't for the purpose of luring you here, and with the help of the power she possessed afterward, to make the potency of your spirit bone even stronger, I would have refined her long ago. This time it's cool, no wonder the python smallpox didn't say anything, I guess she doesn't have any good methods, otherwise she couldn't have called the police. But it can't be like this to sit and wait for death. Stop, I'm willing to cooperate. I suddenly shouted this, but let him a little surprised, subconsciously stopped and looked at me suspiciously. But I have a request, this piece of what spirit bone of mine, since I was a child I don't have much feeling, since you want it, it's nothing to give it to you, however, can you not kill me? A piece of bone is just a piece of bone, it's not so much to die for, after you fetch it later, I promise to keep my mouth shut, no, I'll disappear tomorrow, no, in fact, I didn't come here to mingle at all, so you don't have to worry at all that I'll leak it, from now on, I don't know you, and you don't know me, let's pretend that we haven't seen each other before. I was full of nonsense a meal, I do not know whether he listened to understand, and then took the initiative to lie on the other iron bed, asked him, big brother, I do not have to take off my shoes, right? No need. He was already in a daze, looking at me with a strange gaze and saying, you're really willing to take the initiative to give me the spirit bone? I bared my teeth at him and smiled, see how you say that, as if you'll let me go if I'm not willing, hurry up, I still have to go back to sleep after taking the bones. Don't worry, I don't know anyone here well, the reason why I came to you is purely because I was idle out of my ass. In a while, when you lay the knife down, be quicker, I am afraid of pain. He looked at the knife in his hand, and then looked at me. For a moment he seemed a bit at a loss for words, I guess beating him to death he didn't expect, this kind of thing actually has the initiative to cooperate? 
After hesitating for a moment, he came over again, hesitantly said, since you are willing to cooperate, spare your life is not unavoidable, you turn over, close your eyes. Okay. I obediently turned over, lying on the iron bed, he took the knife and came to the front, reached out and pressed his hand on my head, touching the location of the spirit bone. Wait. I shouted again, and also startled him, I rushed to him, big brother, can you give an anesthetic? Anesthetic. He obviously froze again, and reacted for a few seconds before saying, there is anesthetic, but in order to avoid you playing tricks, you'd better keep your mouth shut, otherwise, I'll kill you first and then take the spirit bone, and the effect won't be much worse. All right then. I closed my mouth and also closed my eyes, but at the same time, a picture magically appeared in my mind. Surprisingly, from a third-party perspective, I clearly saw myself lying on the iron bed, with one hand holding the knife and the other touching the back of my head, seemingly groping for the right place to lay the knife. Ah Long and Old Wang, the doorman, stood a few meters away, staring dumbfounded and unresponsive like idiots. Suddenly, right at the position of the hidden doorway, a person appeared. It was He Yu Chin. Why is she here? Almost at the same time, I saw Mr. Dong suddenly raise his knife and run towards the back of my head to stab down. Nima, he really went for it. The good thing is that my heavenly I helped a lot, the mind to see clearly, he just raised the knife I moved, when he stabbed the knife down, I have jumped down from the iron bed. Dang Lang sound, he stabbed the knife on the iron bed, and this time the force is not small, clearly want to stab me to death. He also completely did not expect this knife will be stabbed empty, body shape a stagger, I took the opportunity to grab his hair, ruthlessly slammed into the iron bed. With a muffled thud, he covered his head on the spot and slumped to the ground. The next moment, just came to the door of the Hiyu Chen also rushed in, directly snapped too, quickly slapped on the head of a long and the old guard wing. Only to hear the thud thud, these two people also fell down successively, lying on the ground not moving. Immediately after that, I flew up and kicked the knife that fell on the ground far out of the door. This series of actions was slow to say the least, but it was actually just a few seconds of work, and I was already standing beside Hiyu Chen. Big sister, why are you here? Nonsense, wasn't it you who sent me the text message? She blankly glanced at me, then turned her head to look at Teacher Dong, who was slowly getting up from the ground. I glanced at my cell phone and understood, there was no signal in this cold room just now, and when the door opened just now, the message went out, so Hiyuchin came. I have to say, everything is providential. Very good, you guys, very good. Teacher Dong stood up from the ground, his forehead with blood on it, looking a bit lousy, his spiteful gaze staring at us. You're not from the ghost sect, and you don't cultivate the poison dragon eye. What exactly is your purpose in collecting these materials? He Yu Chen's tone was still flat, pointing to the refrigerated cabinet on the side. The corner of Teacher Dong's mouth turned up, saying, I've overlooked you, but you're different from him, since you're here, according to the rules, little girl, how about we dish out the towel? Discord? Fine, happy to accompany. But before that, isn't it better to release my friend first? Teacher Dong sized her up a few times and said, Aren't you afraid that the immortals will damage the Dao? He Yu Chen didn't show any weakness, saying, If I'm afraid of damaging the Dao, I wouldn't be in the Taoist world anymore. Teacher Dong pondered slightly, pointed to the inner room of the cold storage room, and said, If you're brave enough, go with me to walk through the Maoshan formation. Going is fine, but what about my friends? If you win, they will naturally be fine, if you lose, everyone will be finished together. Good, painful. He Yu Chen's face sank like water and from her gaze, one could tell that this little girl was clearly fuming. The two of them were about to go to the inner room as they spoke, but in this situation, this was clearly not a good idea. Slow down, are you two when I am transparent? I mean, walking the Mashan formation is not necessary, right? You yourself are Mashan, you let a little girl compare this with you, is it not a little bit not fair enough? This is like you are a butcher, have to let others compare with you to kill pigs, this is not a trick? The two of them turned back to look at me, and Mr. Dong grimaced and said, then what do you say? I wasn't polite, I reached out and pointed to the freezer, saying, since it's a plate Dao, it has to be fair, my opinion is that both of you are Taoists, but today we should compare the Dao skills, we can't compare to whose fists are hard, so both of you can go into the freezer together for half an hour, and whoever can hold it up first will be considered a loser, how's that? These two people were silent at the same time, He Yu Chen glanced at me and didn't say anything, but that look was clearly saying to me, you're quite detrimental ah. Teacher Dong, however, raised his eyebrows and laughed. A bit interesting, almost 20 years have not met such interesting children, good, then according to what you said, the temperature of this freezer is zero degrees, little girl, later cannot hold on to admit defeat, otherwise if you freeze to death, do not blame me. He stepped forward and opened the two freezer drawers, then was the first to jump in. He Yu Chin turned back to look at me grudgingly, obviously the atmosphere has been baked into this, she can't admit defeat, so she had to clench her teeth and also jumped in. I shouted one, two, three outside, then pushed the two drawers in at the same time. The temperature of this freezer is only zero degrees, has been frozen enough, 
although in our northeastern home, this temperature is nothing, winter minus 30 degrees we are still alive and kicking, but this is a freezer, people go in in a motionless state, for fear of a few minutes cannot stand. But I also quite admire He Yu Chen, she dared to compare this, showing that her immortal really have the Taoist practice. These thoughts just flashed through my mind as I pushed both of them into the freezer at the same time, and then backhandedly locked that drawer of Mr. Dong's. Well, that's right, I had already seen that the top of the cooler came with a lock. Then, I pulled He Yu Chen out of the freezer, she looked at me with a confused face, then looked at the locked freezer next to her, and instantly understood. This, is not good, right? According to the rules of the jungle. What is not good, bullshit Jianghu rules, quickly with me to save people. I pulled her and ran toward Shangwan AI, thinking that my one million dollars are about to fly, and I still care about the rules of Jianghu? When that old kid tricked me into the cold room, did he talk about the rules of the Jianghu? Mr. Don obviously heard us talking, know what he is now a situation, angry in the freezer cabinet slamming the cabinet door, constantly shouting, and cursing. The door of this freezer is quite thick, I'm not worried about him getting out at all, even if he has a high level of Taoism, it's unlikely that he'll be able to penetrate the wall. He Yu Chen and I checked Shangwan AI and Along, and found that both of them only had their eyes sealed, and there was nothing serious. He Yu Chen easily unlocked their eyes, two people woke up leisurely, found that they were in the cold storage room, both were very frightened, I asked Along if he knew where Guo Ziming had gone, he shook his head with a confused face, saying that he only remembered that he was still in the grove just now, and then suddenly his eyes went black, and then he didn't know anything anymore. My heart swept through a trace of uncertainty, and hurriedly opened the door of the other cabinets of the freezer to check one by one. As a result, I do not look okay, this look, could not help but be surprised. Inside the freezer, there is no sign of Guo Ziming, but there are some other, more creepy things. Inside the nine drawers of this freezer, the three in the center were originally loaded with a long, Shangwan AI, and the old king of the doorman. Now Mr. Dong had thrown himself into the net and occupied one, equaling the two empty ones in the middle. Once the top three drawers were opened, He Yu Chen couldn't help but cover her mouth and exclaim. She said that these two were the boy who died tragically at the library construction site two years ago, and the girl who jumped to her death a few months later, the two of them had been lovers. In the bottom three drawers were bottles and jars, all sealed with lead, with no idea what they contained. Also in the corner of the freezer, I saw something else shocking. Qin Fong. As I had foreseen that day, Qin Fong had died by decapitation. But this left me in a daze once again, not to mention the fact that Guo Ziming and I had been staring at the CCTV all afternoon during the day, and had never seen Qin Fong return to the infirmary, so how the hell did he die? And those two students have been dead for two years, their bodies should have been cremated by their families, how could they appear here? The two of us were just about to continue our search, when suddenly a footstep came from the corridor, my eyebrows tingled, and then I saw several people were walking in from outside. They actually did call the police? He Yu Chen and I glanced at each other, then I used my fastest speed to open Mr. Dong's drawer, and at the same time put that knife aside. Immediately after that, He Yu Chen and I lay down very silently, and again made a long and shang wan AI follow the same pattern as the two of us, hurriedly closing their eyes and pretending to be dead. Thus, when Mr. Dong furiously climbed out, and picked up the murder weapon next to him with his hand, people just happened to rush in. Cold room lying in several people, are unconscious, life and death do not know, Mr. Dong ferocious god general standing next to the hand holding a knife. Such a scene, close your eyes I can think of the consequences. What happened later, on everything is in my expectations. First, Mr. Dong was captured on the spot, He Yu Chen and I were rescued to wake up, then along in Shang Wan AI, as for the door guard Lao Wang, he has not woken up. According to on the spot identification, he has been dead for more than 24 hours. There was also the strange man who was lying on the ground dying from the beating I gave him, and he was also taken away for investigation. Then, a few of us were also taken away for questioning. In the infirmary, the few of us took turns recounting our respective experiences, and I realized that Shang Wan AI was suddenly knocked unconscious and brought here during the night when she was going to the bathroom, but she was completely unaware of what had happened. When it was my turn, I took them to the grove. This time, the pit dug in the ground was still there, and so was the body inside. It took those guys a couple hours to dig up the whole grove. The results were astonishing. Underneath this forest, dozens of corpses were buried. As for that corpse, it was the son of old Wang, the doorman. What surprised me even more was that Guo Ziming was actually lying behind a tree next to that big pit, and had been unconscious. At this time, it was already light, and the scene was immediately blocked off and a new round of investigation was launched. However, all of this has nothing to do with me anymore. Because the school was ordered to suspend and close after such a big incident. All of us also went back home, waiting for the results of the investigation and the notification. Of course, I also followed Shang Wan AI back home and continued to stay in my guest room. 
Three days later, Wu Ziming and Along came to Shangwan AI's house to look for me and brought a message. He said that the preliminary results of the investigation had come out, and that Mr. Dong really did use a fake name, his real name was Li Yuan, and he wasn't much of a doctor, at least not one with a real license to practice medicine, and could only be considered a charlatan at best. Also, those bottles and cans in the freezer, also opened the test, which are some powdered things, after identification, all are tissue components. Li Yuan himself has confessed, he pretended to refrigerate drugs in the name of the refrigerated cabinet, but he refused to say his upper and lower channels, and those terrible powder in the end are sold to what people. However, he confessed to one thing, so that when we heard, we could not help but goosebumps, especially Shangwan AI, almost did not die of fear. At that time, someone asked him why he would bear to lay hands on such an innocent girl like Shangwan AI, and after a moment of silence, he said, because someone paid a big price and wanted to buy the face of a beautiful girl. Shangwan AI scared faces white, I said to her jokingly, you should be happy, so many girls, he chose you, which means you are the most beautiful here. Shangwan AI said, if being pretty is also a mistake, then I'd rather grow up like Gui Ziming, safe. In fact, I still have a little puzzled, that night along were made to go to the cold room, why Gui Ziming was spared. Come to think of it, there might be only one explanation, Mr. Dong, also known as Li Yuan, he can only get one person into the freezer at that time because it was simply too late. But a new question arose, why didn't he choose the thinner Gui Ziming, but instead chose Along, who was bigger in both weight and height. After another 10 days or so, the investigation report on the dozens of corpses and bones came out. It turned out that before the school was built, it used to be the site of a factory, and at that time it was due to frequent production accidents, and then the factory closed down, the land was sold to a developer, and it changed hands a few times before it became the current school. Further back in time, there was a village there, living a hundred or so families, originally also quite peaceful and happy, probably in the old days the conditions were not good, the village people went away scattered, slowly the village was deserted, and after some years, it was collected, granted to a factory. But in the end can only be investigated here, they guess that those bones may be because of the conditions of bad disease and starvation of the villagers died, was buried in the ground en masse. Just who did not expect, after a few decades, they will be in this way back to earth. The bones were soon reburied, and the dead Qin Fong, the old king of the gate guards, and the old king's son, who lived for three years after his heart was cut open with the secret technique of the ghost sect, were all returned to dust and turned into wisps of green smoke, going to the places they should go. Li Yuan, because of intentional homicide, he will face the severe punishment of the law. His accomplice, the two-headed monster, because of his limited intelligence, did not ask anything, and escaped late at night on the day of his detention. It is said that at that time his left hand was handcuffed, locked in the detention room, but he was hard to gnaw his own hand to the bloody flesh, broke free, head first crashed through the window of the detention room, the ground spilled a trail of blood. Li Yuan has been handed over to face a new round of interrogation because he refused to confess to a more detailed case. Hearing these news, I have some feelings, no matter how smart you are, no matter how bizarre the secret techniques, touch the iron fist of justice, all the hiccups. In view of the events of these days, Shang Wan Fu finally decided to give Shang Wan AI transferred to another college, and gave up the accommodation, strictly ordered Shang Wan AI must go home every day after school. At the same time, in order to thank me for saving his daughter several times, Shang Wan Fu finally fulfilled his promise and gave me a check for $1 million, telling me that I can go to the bank to exchange it at any time. After going to the bank and depositing the money, my excited little heart fluttered and fluttered and was fantasizing about how to spend this money, several days without contacting Hi Chen suddenly called. On the phone, she told me that she wanted to ask me to go to a place, and told me that there would be a surprise for me after I went there. At 8 o'clock in the evening, I left on time for my appointment, heading to the place Yu Chen had mentioned. As a rich man, I took a cab, came to the appointment place, directly dumped the driver brother $10, and then told him, do not need to find change. This is a small restaurant in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by the old city kind, due to the rain in the past two days, the streets are pitted with small puddles everywhere. A sign on the street plainly reads, Dog's Dilemma Hadong. I can't believe it, He Yu Chen is at least a rich second generation, how did he ask me to come to this kind of place to eat? The name of this restaurant is a bit special, called the White Family Restaurant. When I entered, He Yu Chen was already there, she was sitting alone in the corner, holding a book in her hand. The store was a bit shabby, the lights were dim, giving people a gloomy feeling. There were no other customers in the store, and a skinny old man around 50 years old was leaning against the counter, drowsy. Next to a six or seven year old boy, seems to be playing a small game in the cell phone, is also concentrated. After looking at this old man and young boy for a couple moments, I came across to Hiyu Chen and sat down. Hi, long time no see, you seem to have gained weight. This opening line of mine was obviously not great, Hiyu Chen glared at me, put down his cell phone, and said to the dozing old man on the side, boss buy, two servings of egg fried rice, with extra ingredients, the usual rules. 
Okay, two servings of egg fried rice, add ingredients, the usual rules. The old man at the counter walked out slowly, and he Yuchen took out a hundred dollars from a delicate little wallet and handed it over. No need for change. I was a bit sweaty, thinking that just now I only spent eight dollars on a cab, and I still felt broad-minded, look at others, two servings of egg fried rice, give a hundred and don't even ask for change. However, you find me at night, actually invited me to eat this? That old man smiled slightly, said, change or two, my rules here, never charge less, but also cannot charge more. Saying that, he took out ten dollars and placed it on the table, then turned around without haste, picked up the curtain behind the counter, and went into the kitchen. Immediately afterward, there came the sound of a stove being turned on and a fire being lit. Looking at the ten dollars on the table, I was a bit speechless and said to Yu Chen, what do you mean, did he get the wrong money? This kind of small restaurant, one serving of egg fried rice is at most five dollars, two servings of ten dollars, he Yu Chen gave a hundred, shouldn't he find her ninety? Do you think I'd be that stingy if I invited you to dinner? He Yu Chen put away the ten dollars, the corner of her mouth slightly upturned, said to me, their egg fried rice, fifty dollars a serving, not discounted, charge me forty-five, that's because I'm an acquaintance, ninety percent discount. Ha! Huh? I suspect my ears are out of order, either that or he Yu Chen's brain is out of order. $45 for one egg fried rice, $90 for two, robbery? Speaking, a burst of aroma from the kitchen, smell is quite appetizing, but I still cannot understand the temper of these rich second generation, spend $90 to eat two egg fried rice, for what? He Yu Chen said lightly, their egg fried rice is different from others, you will know later. By the way, do you know why I asked you to come over? I shook my head, I don't know, I originally thought it was because you missed me, but looking at it now, you probably want to adopt me. Poverty, I asked you over today because I wanted to thank you. Thank me for what? I don't seem to have done anything, right? No, you did a big thing, you stopped that shitty place, you know, that was the best dude hangout, now it's a big mess, everyone knows about the dozens of corpses and bones dug out of the ground, next thing you know, all of us are going to have to change places, all thanks to you. I scratched my head a little embarrassed, and laughed, no need for thanks, this is all an accident, an accident. No, I really want to thank you, in fact, I don't even want to go there, it's all because my family had to make me go, but now, I'm free. You're free, what do you mean? When I first went there, I knew that something would definitely happen within three years, so I made a bet with my family that if something like this really happened within three years, I wouldn't continue to stay, and as a result, I really got it right. He Yuchen laughed, I also smiled awkwardly, thinking that the idea of you rich second generation is capricious, anyway, the family has money. She paused and continued because I know that I have my mission that I have to fulfill. Every one of us cultivators came into the world with a mission. Do you know, what is your mission? This question of hers was a bit profound, I thought about it seriously, shook my head and said, I don't really know, although I almost died when I was 5 years old, and it was master who saved me, and even asked the protector to protect me, but he never said anything about the horse I would be on in the future, nor did he say what he wanted me to do in the future. The only mission he gave me was to leave home when I was 20, go to Luoyang, and save Shangguan AI. I know what your mission is, she suddenly said. I was a bit surprised and was about to ask her when the kitchen door curtain was suddenly picked open and that old man walked out, carrying a plate of egg fried rice in one hand and smiling. Eat up, eat up, specially added extra ingredients for you guys. Thank you, boss Bai. He Yu Chen pushed a plate of egg fried rice to me and said with a smile, eat up, I'll tell you after you're done. I moved over to the plate of egg fried rice and sniffed it, and it was really fragrant, the rich egg and rice aroma mixing together, making one's appetite in mouth water. Well, $45 a piece of egg fried rice, eat it first. Neither one of us spoke anymore, and we lowered our heads to eat. I have to say, this is the best egg fried rice I've ever eaten since I was a kid, that texture and flavor, just can't be described in words. About a few minutes, I ate up a plate of egg fried rice, he Yu Chen just ate half of it and then stopped, seeing me eating well, gave me her share as well. I wasn't polite either, and directly ate it all. After I finished eating all of it, I burped with satisfaction, and then the little boy from the store handed over a cup of warm water. I said thank you, picked up the cup of water, and drank it all in one go, and immediately a stream of heat surged through my body, from head to toe was hot, and every pore seemed to emanate a strange energy. This feeling, soothing. The little boy watched me finish the water, and suddenly reached out and pointed at me, saying, Grandpa, look, there's an eye on his forehead, it's red, it's scary. The old man chided in a low voice, go play with yours, don't talk nonsense. He Yuchen laughed, a little kid is just being honest, by Chang, come to sister. The little boy ran to He Yuchen's side who stroked his head while glancing at me with a mysterious smile. What were they talking about? I was a bit confused and locked eyes with He Yu Chen, realizing that she had a strange gaze and a slight smile at the corner of her mouth. At the same time, out of the corner of my eye, I suddenly realized that there were two people sitting at a table right next to me at some point. No, more than two, I looked around, and suddenly realized that this small store was filled with people at some point, looking at me in unison. 
No, this. These are not people, obviously all ghosts. Congratulations, your heavenly eyes have been completely opened. He Yu Chen said with a smile. What do you mean, my heavenly eyes? I subconsciously touched my brow, but I felt a bit hot, then I looked around, those things looked like anything, they were all sitting on the chairs in a regular manner, like a group of children waiting for dinner to start. I look at He Yu Chen, and look at that old man, and the little boy, a little confused. This restaurant, is it for people or for these things? The white family restaurant, it receives people during the day, but not at night, but it's still early, not time for dinner, you'll see more later. Oh yes, I forgot to tell you, can eat in the white family restaurant, can be not ordinary, if not your heavenly eyes all open, also can not see. He Yu Chen said leisurely. I remembered that plate of egg fried rice just now, immediately a little want of vomit feeling, this turned out to be Nima is not for people to eat, no wonder expensive outrageous, pressure is not something on earth ah. Don't spit, it would be a pity if you spit, that was the egg fried rice that I specially instructed boss by to add spices to, it will be very beneficial to your cultivation. Add ingredients? What kind of added ingredients? He Yu Chen gestured with his chin. I exclaimed offhandedly, how did this get added to the plate of egg fried rice just now? The little boy called by Chang added from the side, to be exact, just a spoonful was added to your egg fried rice, but your heavenly eyes are special, just like, just like him. The little boy pointed to the side, I turned my head to look, there sat a red-eyed man, a pair of eyes blood red blood red, almost no pupils, looks very scary. I have to say, this thing is a bit beyond my comprehension. He each and smiled again and got up, saying to me, well, I've already treated you to dinner, thank you, I still have things to do, so I'll leave first. Seeing her leaving, I also hurriedly got up, the Siri place, although I am not afraid of it, but sitting here to eat with a group of things that are not human, it still makes people very awkward. The two of us walked out the door, the old man smiled and sent out, said, welcome to your next visit, the old rules, 10% discount. I said you can pull down, not to mention 10% discount, 50% discount I do not come. Walked out of the Baijia Hotel, once I think of the egg fried rice, I'm a little twisted, but look at He Yu Chen's appearance, but is calm and relaxed, blindly not take it seriously. In order to ease the atmosphere, I chatted with her without words. You've also been seeing a lot since you were a kid, right? Well, pretty much, I grew up with an eye condition, it's a regular thing, I'm used to it. And the people around you, are you used to it? I originally unintentionally asked casually, but He Yu Chen stopped in her tracks, her gaze was different. She was silent for a while, slowly said, this is exactly why I don't want to contact people, because, I don't want to walk into a place where there are a lot of people, and even more so, I don't want to get close to the complexity of people's hearts. This chat is starting to get a little deeper, I tried again and asked, so have you ever had a particularly good relationship? I regretted asking this sentence, He Yuchen looked at me and said, you forget, I have one eye is blind, who can be on good terms with me? At this time it was already late at night, the moon was in the middle of the sky, the weather was not too cold and not too hot, the night breeze was not too fast and not too slow, the surrounding area was quiet and noiseless, in the small hutongs, occasionally I don't know where there came a burst of crickets chirping. The scene and the atmosphere were good, but looking at He Yu Chen's eyes that didn't turn much, I still sighed darkly, thinking that such a good sister, on the contrary, was handicapped. However, there was also once a person who had a good relationship with me, he was three years older than me, we always played together, and at that time, he would always take special care of me, and often told me that it was okay for me to not be able to see with my eyes. She raised her head and looked up at the starry sky, and a bright light shone in that I that was supposed to be blind to everything. And then what happened? I couldn't hold back after half a day's thought and opened my mouth to ask, even though I knew that the way she started it, it wasn't destined to end well. Then there was a time when he hit something bad, and then, we never contacted each other again. Her voice went decidedly cold, and she hung her head, her eyes no longer glowing. And why was that? I admitted that I was curious and indebted, but she didn't care, she just smiled and continued on. The time he bumped into something bad, it was an evening, I asked him to go shopping, but he was late, and when I saw him, he was in bad spirits and couldn't stop vomiting, everyone else thought he was sick, and I was the only one who saw him behind him, followed by a woman in a red dress. And I also saw an image of him driving his car, taking another girl to the movie theater, but there just happened to be a car accident on that street, and a woman in a red dress was hit, and there was blood all over the ground, and one of the woman's red shoes was thrown on the road, and he drove by, and ran over the shoe. I asked him if he had just taken another girl to the movies, and he admitted it, and I was furious, but I couldn't leave him alone, so I saved him. After the rescue, he got better, and I saw the woman leave unwillingly, and he asked me what the hell had happened before I told him that he had just run over a shoe at the scene of a car accident, and I also told him that I saw the woman standing behind him, wearing a red dress and red shoes, like she was going on a date. His face turned ugly all of a sudden, and he didn't go shopping with me that day, and I haven't seen him since then. He Yuchen said this and stopped talking. I didn't mouth off anymore either, in fact, 
her experience was almost the same as mine, when those little friends, also because I was different, slowly distanced themselves from me. That's why I was so close to Python smallpox, since I was a child, I have taken her real body statue, as my only friend. We finally walked out of this hut on, perhaps sensing my silence, Hiyuchin suddenly looked back at me and said to me, every cultivator is lonely, that's why I often come to the white family restaurant, there are fewer people and more ghosts here, but it's much more interesting than being with people. I bared my teeth at her and didn't say anything. This girl gave off too much of a clear and cold feeling, just like her name, Yu Chen, rainy morning, clear and cold and sluggish. Your protector is smiling at me, she said that your path of cultivation is about to begin. He Yu Chen looked at me and suddenly said very seriously. Ever since I ate that egg fried rice from the Bai family restaurant and returned to Shang Wan Fu's house, I had nothing to do but look in the mirror and stare at my eyebrows, but I didn't see what He Yu Chen said, any red eyes. Only that very night, I had a strange dream. First, I dreamt that when I was a child, I saved a little white dog with an injured hind leg, I carried him home, bandaged him up, played with him on the bed, and when he was almost healed, a strange man came in from outside, a man who seemed to be my father, but looked nothing like my father. When he saw the little white dog, he said, why did you get this thing back, quickly put it away. I was stunned, and then I saw the little white dog's nose and mouth slowly change and become pointy, just like a fox. But when I wanted to look more closely, the little white dog disappeared, and two giant pythons suddenly hung down from the roof spitting out their letters in front of me, their bodies glistening with purple and black scales. Suddenly, one of the pythons opened its mouth and said to me, get out of here. I didn't understand what it meant, and was about to ask it, when someone behind me suddenly laughed strangely, I turned my head back, only to see a person without a face standing behind me, his face didn't have any five senses, where the mouth should have been, there was only a deep hole, and he was letting out Jiji's strange laughter. I woke up with a fright at once, and then I couldn't sleep, this dream is really too weird, especially the faceless man that appeared at the end, if it is made into a horror movie, it will surely be a nightmare for a lot of children. After fixing my mind, I couldn't sleep anyway, so I just took out that ancient painting and started meditating. This meditation, different from every time in the past, I quickly entered into the realm of the ancient painting, closing my eyes, it was as if I was traveling through a large mountain, the scenery around me was beautiful, and my feeling was like I was following a camera, slowly moving forward. But without realizing it, the speed of this march slowed down, and it was as if there was an inexplicably powerful pressure around me, coming from all directions. Ahead was a huge cave, dark and unfathomably deep. I tried to move forward again some distance, came to the edge of the cave, through some dim light, I suddenly saw that there seems to be a huge giant inside, as if it is sleeping soundly. That powerful pressure was clearly emanating from here. But while the giant thing in the cave wasn't sleeping, I was already freezing with fear, forcing myself to retreat my consciousness a little bit. Opening my eyes again, I realized that my forehead had already seeped out a layer of cold sweat. This ancient painting inside the thing, in the end is what? Could it be the real body of Python Skyflower, or her soul, sleeping soundly inside? No, that's not right, I'm still familiar with Python Tiano Azora, and although she hasn't been around me very often lately, as long as she appears, I'll still know about it. But the aura of that giant thing in the cave gave off a very dangerous and powerful feeling, full of suffocating pressure. It was by no means the Python smallpox. I lay in bed for a while longer, tossing and turning, unable to sleep, remembering what the python said to me in my dream, and made a decision. Move out tomorrow. The next morning, I told Shang Wan Fu my thoughts, he was a little reluctant to give up, and strongly retained a little, and even gave me a high salary of 10,000 a month. It seems that in his heart, I this January 10,000 is very worth it, not only can cure the disease, but also to ward off evil spirits. But I'm not here to be your personal bodyguard. Besides, is big brother short of money now? I politely refused her good intentions, only that I have other tasks to do, Shang Wan Fu cannot help, so let people find me an apartment, the cost of this full package, 24 hours a person service kind. In contrast to Shang Wan Fu's attitude, his precious daughter, the young lady Shang Wan AI, was eager for me to leave. She said to me, although I want to thank you a few times to help me, but I think, if it is not because of you, also cannot be accident, so, you and other people's places to ward off evil spirits, in my this is a broom star, my father now also to the final payment to you to settle, so we will see you later, no, never see you again. Leaving the Shang Wan Fu family, I live alone for two days, but also leisurely, do not have to worry about money, do not have to worry about life, and no one to care about me, I live every day to eat and wait for death, like a parasite in general dashing. Since I was a child, my father said to me, if you don't study hard, you'll grow up to be a social parasite. Of course, I do not think, but now look, my father is really prescient, this social parasite went up, really cool, but the good times will come to an end, the trouble will come sooner or later, this day I just got up, was watching yesterday's talent show reruns, someone came, I opened the door and saw that it was actually Yang Shocheng, my cheap nephew, who I hadn't seen for a few days, as soon as he saw me, he was all smiles and directly handed over a gift, 
Junior Master, good morning to your old man, haven't seen you for many days, I've come to see your old man, and by the way, I'm sending you a good thing over. As soon as I looked at the thing he handed over, I was speechless for a while. A beautifully gift-boxed old mountain ginseng, the whiskers had to be more than half a meter long. It was a good thing, but was it useful for me? I'm only 18 years old this year, young and strong blood, you get me this thing, not as useful as getting me a Jackie Chung concert ticket. Okay, thank you for the gift, do you still have something to do? Do you want to watch TV together? I was thinking about the program on TV in my heart, Yang Shouchun was a little embarrassed, standing in the doorway to enter or not to enter or not to enter. Ah, uh, little master uncle, there is nothing, I just came to see you, I don't know if you have time. Time has ah, uh, I this is not watching TV it, since you also have nothing to do, then come in and watch TV with me. In fact, I can see at a glance that he has something to look for me, but since he did not say it clearly, I am also too lazy to break it down, anyway, the talent show is the most important. I went back inside and continued to watch TV, he hesitated for a while, but also had to follow me into the room, the other two followers he brought, stood at the door and waited. So, Yang Shouching sat with me on the sofa and watched the show for two hours. Throughout the process, he was sometimes on pins and needles, sometimes drowsy, sometimes dumbfounded. I was watching the whole show, and when it was over, I pointed at the TV and asked him, who do you think will win the championship? Yang Shoucheng woke up like a dream, ah, uh, who, which ones? I said, the ones who just made it to the semifinals, which ones do you favor? He looked confused and nodded at a loss for words, oh, they're all pretty good, they're all pretty good. I couldn't help but laugh, knowing that he hadn't watched it at all, not only him, but the two at the door were fast asleep. I turned off the TV, then asked him, is there anything else you want to do? If nothing, I'm going to take a nap, I slept late last night, I'm still a little sleepy. Don't ah, little master uncle, I have something to ask. He finally opened his mouth to tell the truth, I smiled at him and said, something ah, there is something you do not say earlier, blindly delayed effort, say it, what is it? It's like this, I have a patient, the condition is very complicated, I would like to ask the little master uncle door to door, go and help me take a look, don't worry, all the consultation fee I don't take a penny, just as my filial piety to the little master uncle. I was a bit puzzled, thinking that you are at least known as a national medical saint, how do you even have to find me to help? Besides, I'm not a professional healer. I was about to refuse when Yang Shoucheng suddenly came to my ear and whispered to me. That person has a rare and strange disease, the five senses on his face gradually started to disappear, so it's tricky. The five senses on his face gradually disappearing? I was stunned, then remembered the dream I had a few days ago. A faceless person? This patient that Yang Shoucheng was talking about attracted me after all, and even though I didn't know if I could cure it, it was as if there was a voice in my heart that kept telling me, go boldly, this is your mission. Even though I didn't understand what my mission was, and Yu Chen didn't explain it to me, when Yang Shouching and I arrived at a single family house in the city and met the patient, the first thought that swept through my mind was, I want to save him. I could swear that all the ghosts I've seen since I was a child combined were not as scary as he was. His entire face, as Yang Shouching said, was slowly disappearing, becoming blurred, and his entire body had become thin and inhuman, lying on the bed dying. But this description is a bit abstract, specifically, his face is like an unfinished sketch, only outlines, and vague features. Or maybe his face looked like a painting that had been erased, but not completely. Well, that's probably what he looked like. Yang Shouching told me that this man was also a local businessman named Zhou Mingyang, and about a year ago, he got this strange disease. At first, he was overreading, and he couldn't eat enough, and the original 160 odd pounds quickly went up to more than 200 pounds. After more than two months in this way, he suddenly began to be anorexic again, unable to eat anything and nauseous at the sight of food. Then is the body thin, a month's time hard from 200 pounds thin into 102. The family went around seeking medical help, all thought he had some incurable disease, but all kinds of tests were done in turn, the doctor came to a shocking inference. His body does not have any disease, including cancer diabetes and other previously suspected diseases, all have been ruled out. But his body cells, but slowly disappearing. It was like, being slowly devoured by something, eating away little by little. After half a year of futile treatment, his family had no choice but to give up, as there was not the slightest effect. Later, they invited Yang Shouching there, intending to try traditional Chinese medicine to see if it could turn Zhou Mingyang's condition around. But this disease, Yang Shoucheng had never seen before either, he prescribed some tonic medicines to Zhou Mingyang based on his pulse to regulate his body, and as a result, when he had been taking them for more than a month, the five senses on Zhou Mingyang's face began to slowly disappear. Looking at this person's appearance, I felt that I would definitely have a bit of a psychological shadow in the future. But I had a distinct premonition that if it continued to develop, this person would definitely turn into the faceless person in my dream, with nothing on his entire face, just like a duck egg with hair. After Yang Shoucheng finished his introduction, the few people in the room looked at me in unison, 
and that gaze was full of expectation and pleading, as well as questioning. In fact, I feel that most of the people's gazes are questioning, after all, I am only 20 years old, in the eyes of the crowd, it seems to be a brat. If it wasn't for Yang Shoucheng bringing me here, I guess these people wouldn't have let me in. Especially Zhou Ming Yang's wife, that fat woman around 50 years old, a hint of displeasure was clearly shown in her eyes. I went forward and took the patient's pulse, making a frowning and contemplative gesture. Several people gathered around, not breathing a single breath, waiting for me to speak. This person's pulse was, well, terrifying. As I said earlier, people have six veins, according to the pulse corresponds to different parts of the body and diseases, in the pulse technique of the horse fairy, there are different explanations. But at this moment, this person's six veins are completely absent, completely unable to feel a trace of beating. Some people say that if a person cannot feel the pulse, then is not dead? In fact, this is not the case, when a person's pulse is weak to the extreme, or his body is occupied by something, is unable to feel the pulse. But this is even more troublesome, if he had a pulse, I could still use my innate senses, and my celestial eyes, to show him what's going on. But he has no pulse in all six veins, how can I look at this? Time slowly passed, about two minutes already, I still have no sense, can't help but some secretly anxious, said Python smallpox what are you doing, as a protector, can you rely on a little bit, you can't leave me alone regardless of ah. Just thought of here, suddenly, I seem to hear a sound in my ears, very light, light almost inaudible, but also very clear, clear as if in the ear. I recalled that when I was a child, I had once mischievously caught a large green insect and placed it next to an ant nest, and in no time at all, dense ants came out and crawled all over the body of the large green insect, and they were unable to carry such a huge body, so they gnawed and ate it in place. That time, it was as if I had heard a similar sound as today. It may sound unbelievable, but I swear I definitely heard it. Something is eating his flesh. I let go of his wrist chakra and looked up and said leisurely. This time, everyone froze. Zhou Ming Yang's wife, the fat woman grabbed the first opportunity to speak and asked, Little mister, you can't talk nonsense, what did you say something is eating him? What exactly do you mean, how come we can't see it? I smiled faintly, if you guys can see it, then why did you invite me over? In order to verify my idea and to convince them, I said to Yang Shoucheng, go find an infrared lamp and come here, if you don't have one, an ultraviolet lamp will do. Yang Shoucheng also didn't understand the meaning and asked, Junior Master, what do you need these two things for? I said, don't ask so many questions bring them and you'll understand. I never speak to him politely, anyway, I am the master uncle, he is the master nephew, do not use for nothing, besides, I came here to find a scene for him, if I am polite to him, people matter rather look down on me. Human nature is like this, people in the world to mix, the time to goat goat, the time to domineering, must be domineering. This is the reasoning that my father has taught me since I was a child. Rich people are good at what they do, after not much time, someone took an infrared lamp over, I let them all back off, and then turned off the lights in the room and only turned on the infrared lamp, to Zhou Mingyang's body. Now he was almost semi-conscious, he didn't react to how we tossed him, and in the darkness, the infrared light illuminated his scary face, making it more and more creepy. But even creepier things, soon appeared. His body above, shrouded in a layer of hazy black gas, closer look, you can see that inside the black gas, but it is countless tiny, almost indistinguishable with the naked eye black spots. This scene was like a dense swarm of ants gnawing on a large green insect that had already become numb. Through the infrared light, the few people present all saw this horrifying scene. Zhou Ming Yang's wife's eyes rolled over and she directly fainted. The next few people rushed over to rescue her, pinching and slapping cool water. Yang Shouqing walked over with a sighing expression and said to me, Junior Master, you are truly divine, you actually knew the cause of his illness as soon as you took his pulse, but what exactly are these black gases, parasites? It seems that he really only studied medicine and nothing else. I glanced at Zhou Ming Yang's wife who had just woken up and said to him, You're wrong, those aren't parasites. Then what is it ah? But I'm in a hurry. Zhou Ming Yang's wife was in a hurry. I helplessly spread my hands and said, you probably won't understand even if I tell you in detail, in fact, in the world we live in, there are many other things besides human beings, it's just that I'm using this method to let you see it. Lest you guys don't believe what I say. Believe believe believe, this time we believe whatever you say, mister. Little, please think of a way to save him. Zhou Ming Yang's wife finally opened her mouth to plead, but to be honest, many people have this kind of thing around them but to this extent, this is the first time I've seen it. Has he ever done anything bad before, evil things, causing others to hate the kind of hate, he has too many of these wrongdoers, if you don't find the root of the matter, I'm afraid I can't save his life. When I asked this, Zhou Ming Yang's wife first froze for a moment, then revealed a blank face, seemingly searching hard in her mind. Seeing that she didn't say anything for half a day, I added, if there's something that can't be said, then there's no harm in not saying it, anyway, this life of his, whether to save it or not doesn't have much significance, and if I save it, I'll have to take on responsibilities that don't belong to me. 
Yang Shouqing suddenly came to my ear and said in a low voice, Junior Master, it's not that she can't say, I guess it's too much, she can't think of it for a while, and there are some things that she may not know. I laughed lightly, for some rich people, their road to success, indeed hides a lot of untold secrets, not to mention his wife, is to let Zhou Mingyang now up and open his mouth, he may not be able to think of it. In the past, he had a little three, and he was good for two or three years, and then, could not think about it, does this count? Zhou Mingyang's wife said carefully. This, also counts, but not so serious, he this is not a problem of one or two wrongdoers. Then the mistress gave him three or four children, does this count? It counts. Is there anything else? There should also be, but I just caught that one, as for whether he has other mistresses, I don't know. I'm a little bit crying and laughing, this woman is full of brains to remember to catch Junior, it seems that she really does not know about Zhou Mingyang's things. After thinking about it, I added, not only him, if his family has committed sins in their ancestry, it also counts. I really don't know about his family's ancestors, I can't even figure him out, but if his ancestors created sins, why him? She asked in disbelief. As the saying goes, those who planted trees in the past multiply the coolness of those who come after them, this is something that can't be solved by one tree or two trees. After hearing my answer, she simply spread her hands and said, then how about this, since you said this responsibility falls on him, this if he didn't pay it back, then he still has to look for my son, might as well let him pay it back straight away. I can't help but be happy, big sister, you can't give up the treatment ah, if this root cause is not found out, he may not be able to pay it off even if he dies, or continue to look for your family. Ah, then. What do you say? This big sister was already in sixes and sevens, and I said to her, of course we still need to save him, but we just need to find out the root cause of the matter in order to save his life. She sighed, looked at Zhou Mingyang and said, I also owed you in my past life, back then I begged to death and insisted on following you, who knew that you had caused me to break my heart for the rest of my life, and to this day I still have to find a way to save you. But it's okay, you now look like this, look at you have to do a few days of nightmares, is to save you alive, in the future it is also impossible to have any female to follow you, I do not have to worry about this heart anymore. It seems that she still has feelings for Zhou Mingyang, I thought about it and said, let's put it this way, first to appease these, in addition, his body is too weak, on the surface there is no real disease, in fact, all organs are beginning to degenerate, when it comes to it, it's hard for the gods to save him. These people now had immense trust in me, and they listened to whatever I said. So, I told them to immediately go and buy some essential items, and then listen to me when the time came. After getting these done, the time was already past 4 in the afternoon, and I arranged the things I bought and burned what I should in the yard. Fortunately, their family lives in a detached house, and there are very few people around, otherwise, if they burn things like this, someone would have to call the police. After all finished, I used the eye of heaven to look at Zhou Ming Yang's body, those black gas really dispersed a lot. In order to make them believe, I used infrared light again, this time even Yang Shoucheng, all convinced. I said to them, Zhou Ming Yang's life is saved for the time being, but the root of the problem has not yet been found, those who are not so easy to let him go. Then, I flexed my fingers and said to her, your husband's luck is not very good this year, and this just happened to run into unfavorable again. With a confused look on her face, she asked me what this meant, and how long Zhou Ming Yang could actually live, and I told her bluntly, seven days. She almost fainted again, begging me to help her look into the root cause of this matter, I pondered for a while, a little difficult. According to reason, to investigate this kind of thing, it is entirely possible to ask the immortal to come out, but I am not yet a disciple who comes out, I only have one protector on my body, and she only cares about protecting my safety, regardless of other things. It seems that we need to invite Hee Chin over again. Leaving the Zhou family, I gave Hee Chin a phone call, after listening to my story, Hee Chin dryly said, Zhou Mingyang this situation, must immediately break the barrier. This serves the purpose of firstly saving his life and alleviating the current situation, and secondly checking the source of the debtors on him. But this alone still didn't work 100%, after all, his disease was very rare, so if this couldn't find out what was wrong, he would have to ask the underground. Have to admit, He Yuchin said these, I understand all, but I cannot do the same. After all, can see things and can do things, this is a completely different two categories. This kind of formal broken past to do things, not like we casually so simple. There are a lot of rules and etiquette, a little sloppy. He Yuchen said, she went out for three years, in fact, only did twice to break the pass, because she did not like that kind of exposure, was surrounded by a lot of people's feeling. Especially do not want to be talked about, so she not only to hide home, but also I must give her confidentiality. I still understand her mentality, after all, she is like me, is still young, and she is at least a rich girl, was rumored out, not to mention her own cannot accept, her family is probably also very loose face. Besides, this is Luoyang, not the Northeast, this kind of thing, or rare. So Yu Chen still hesitated for a while, she said she did not want to take this kind of thing, but I said this disease is really too weird, in the end she still did not resist curiosity, agreed to me. 
but she also had a hard time with the matter of inviting the second god. The original acquaintance of the two gods, people in the northeast, Hiyuchin contacted only to know, people have been very busy these days, almost a week later to come. This is a bit of a tragedy, wait for him to come back after a week, Zhou Mingyang are hiccups. Hiyuchin said on the phone with some difficulty that she only knew this one heir's hen, but it was a pity that her master had passed away, otherwise, she could have contacted someone else, but now, she could only ask someone else and take her chances. A whole day, He Yu Chen no letter, Yang Shouqing side called a few times to ask, I had to tell them, now we need to ask a know-how, otherwise we cannot do this ceremony. A day passed in a flash, and at night when it got dark, I called He Yu Chen, but she still hadn't found anyone suitable. Zhou Ming Yang's life is passing day by day, although I made efforts, but it is just a drop in the bucket, cannot solve the fundamental problem. Zhou Ming Yang's wife also called. She thought I was deliberately delaying and told me that as long as I could cure the disease and keep her husband alive, I would pay any amount of money. I had to comfort her and tell her that I was doing my best to find a solution, and then hung up the phone. At 8 o'clock in the evening, the sky was getting darker and darker, I was thinking about Zhou Ming Yang's matter, my heart was not steady, so I walked out of the apartment and went outside to the rooftop to walk around. This is a high-grade apartment, divided into two buildings, Block A and Block B. Each floor has an independent rooftop connected to it, and the rooftop is very large, full of green trees, as well as some leisure seats, flower beds and whatnot, just like a small garden. I wandered around outside for a while, blowing the night breeze, my mood slowly soothed down some, and then without realizing it, it was as if I heard what seemed to be the sound of drums beating in my ears. This kind of drumming was familiar, not a drum kit or anything, but something I had often heard in my old home since I was a child. And vaguely, there seemed to be someone singing. When I was sick as a child, my father took me around to seek medical treatment, and I've seen this kind of too much, and I've been used to hearing it for a long time. Therefore, at this time in this foreign land thousands of miles away from home, once again heard the drums, I really feel very dear, and a million surprises. I was worried that I couldn't find the second god, but one actually appeared beside me at this moment. I hurriedly looked around, knowing that in Luoyang, especially in this kind of apartment, it's not easy to run into someone who knows what they're doing, so I couldn't miss them. But I followed the sound, but after half a day of searching, I couldn't find the source of the sound, the place where I live is the 12th floor, the drum sound doesn't sound very far away from me, but it's not very close either. After searching for a while, I have been from the 12th floor all the way down to the 7th floor, the sound seems to be a little closer, but still cannot distinguish the direction. I even wondered if I was hallucinating, thinking about the second god and going crazy, at this moment, the elevator on the side suddenly opened, and a man and a woman walked out from inside. These two people at a glance on the relationship is not normal, say it is a couple, the eyes are still hiding, say it is a couple, but also hooked shoulders, out of the elevator on the look around, seems to be looking for something. I realized that these two people are looking for a room here. I was trying to avoid them, the man instead welcomed me over, and asked, brother, ask, seven floors and eleven doors to which way? I just happened to live in the eleventh door, so I casually pointed towards the depths of the corridor and said, just over there, walk into the end, turn right and go to the third door. The man smiled at me, quite friendly, and casually said, listen to the accent is the northeast ah? I was in a hurry to find someone, I didn't have time to pay attention to him, and after coping with two sentences in passing, I turned around and entered the elevator, wanting to continue to look for the lower floors. The moment the elevator door was about to close, the woman turned back to look at me, whispered to the man said, now this northeastern people why are all running south, just now that old man in the street crossing drumming is also, not afraid of people to catch him. You don't say, the singing is quite good. This man and woman's voice disappeared, I was in the elevator but I was happy to slap my thigh. No wonder I couldn't find it anywhere, so the drummer was in the street crossing. I live in this apartment, downstairs, turn a corner, is a street passage, not far from me not close, almost less than 200 meters. Especially on my side is the back street, relatively quiet, at this time of night, the sound penetration is relatively strong, I can hear it is not surprising. Out of the elevator, I ran towards the street channel, the closer the clearer the sound, and can be heard, singing people are very professional, voice is also good, singing is very good. But just when I was about to come to the entrance of the passage, the drums suddenly stopped. I was afraid that the man had gone, I ran over there in one breath, and went down the passage again, and from afar I could already see that three or five people were surrounding an old man, arguing about something there. Seeing this scene, I couldn't help but feel a little bit happy and a little bit worried, I ran over in three steps and stood aside pretending to watch the fun, because, those few people are the administrators of the neighborhood. The old man, but a 50 years old and above, looks a little obscene, chin with a wisp of goatee, dry lean, holding an eight-string donkey drum in his arms, a hand holding a drone whip, is manipulating a mouthful of northeastern accent in the explanation with the city manager. I'm really not spreading bad information, I'm folk art ah. You are not bad information? All jumped to the street, bold enough ah, tell me, how much money have you cheated here? 
A tall administrator asked, pointing to the ground, where there was a ragged pocket, inside are some pieces of change of one dollar and five dollars, there are also dimes, obviously are just pedestrians rewarded to the old man. I just sing a song, people see that I sing well, so reward me two money, I did not cheat ah. This is folk art, pure folk art. The old man's legs are a bit bad, limping, while explaining with a sad face, while carefully protecting the ragged pocket on the ground, for fear of letting people snatch it away. Don't come to this set, just now we received a call, said some people in here disturbing the people, but also promote bad information, you also sophistry? Say, where did you roam from, what's your name? No, no, I'm just a singer, I'm not promoting anything. Look, I don't have anything, what am I going to count for people? Really is to sell art, singing, this can really really, cannot dare to lie, lying to be struck by lightning. The old man swore an oath, the other side a little skeptical, but still not relent, must let him go, the situation is clear. Both sides of a stalemate, I can't stand to watch, a turn of the eyeballs, immediately came up with an idea. At this time around has gathered a lot of people watching the crowd, I pushed through the crowd squeezed in, as soon as I saw the old man I shouted. Grandpa, why did you run here, I looked for you for half a night, quickly with me to go home. I pulled the old man is going to go, an administrator stopped me, said in a bad mood, hey 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 hey, stop, what are you doing, you said to lead away to lead away, accomplices ah, accomplice, what accomplice. This is my grandfather ah, a little Alzheimer's, cerebellar atrophy, often do not understand the words, if he gave you any trouble, I apologize for him ha. Huh? I pretended to be ignorant and scared, pulling the old man's arm and walking out. The man still wouldn't let go and stopped me, Alzheimer's? I saw that he was quite energetic just now, and he was even more energetic than me. Since you say he is your grandfather, the accent is right, I ask you, where is your family from, do you know what his name is? I had prepared myself for this, and immediately laughed, Look at this, this my grandpa, can I not know? Our family is from Linko County, Heilongjiang, our surname is Chu, my name is Chu Yifun, his name is Chu Shircheng. The man looked at me, then at the old man and asked, is he right? The old man looked at him and then at me, scratching his head with a confused face. Right. Or not. Right is right, wrong is wrong. You really have Alzheimer's, you don't even remember what your name is or where your home is? Ah, uh, really can't remember. Can't remember, ID card out to see. I don't have my ID card. I rushed to round up the scene, laughed, big brother, you best just let him go, I'll tell you the truth, my grandfather back then is because of this thing stimulated, brain problems. Everyone else thought he was collecting some kind of rags, but in reality, he was the heir to our intangible cultural heritage there. I said this without a blush, and a few administrators were surprised, resurveying the old man and saying, you're still an inheritor of intangible cultural heritage? Another one thought for a moment and said, no wonder your surname is so special, first time I've heard of it. I bared my teeth and smiled. Definitely there is, we still have an art festival there. But right, now there are people who take this to cheat money and pit people, this kind must be resisted to combat. But the ones like my Monkler outlet store, who don't engage in those, that's what deserves to be recognized. So, my Monkler outlet online won the intangible cultural heritage inheritor this matter, in our that is still quite honorable. Since it's quite honorable, why did you guys come all the way here? No one in my family understands, my grandpa got dementia when he was on fire. I brought my grandpa here for treatment but he was lost when I got here. I'm glad I ran into you guys, but if I ran into human traffickers, I'd have to go look for my grandpa. You can't be serious, the traffickers have nothing better to do than to abduct your Monkler jackets, where can he sell them? These administrators listen to my chattering force said half a day, but also really believe, and we two of this old and young, look not like a bad person. Okay, since you make the situation clear, then you will not be held responsible, but here is not allowed to sell singing, hurry to take your grandpa away, you say you come out to cure the disease, but also with a drum. There's no way ah, my grandpa said, this is his treasure, until death have to accompany him into the coffin. A few administrators had nothing more to say, turned around and blasted the crowd of onlookers away, and walked away. I accompanied them with a smile and watched them slowly walk away, and the people around them dispersed, before turning back to the old man, whose eyes just happened to lock with his. Only, this old man who had a bitter face just now, his eyes had become thievish at this time, and rushed to me with a heave and a laugh carrying the ragged bib on the ground on his back, and then patted my shoulder. Little brother, good, today thanks to you, otherwise I'll do this night for nothing. This old man's tone instantly changed, like an old hooligan with a mouthful of Jiang Hu Chi. I'm not helping the wrong person, am I? This guy, how did he turn his eyes and become all old crook-like? However, I don't care if he's a liar or not, just know how to play the drum. Good to say, we meet here today as fate, as the saying goes to help relatives not to help, who let us are all northeastern hometown it, besides you sing this thing is quite good, I haven't listened to it enough, let them stir up, ha ha ha, if you wanna say so, we really like each other, or not, drink, this old man seemed really happy, I usually don't drink, but I thought, 
in order to let him help invite God for me once, it says a way to get close. Besides, he did sing very well and play the drum well, this is not to praise him, as far as I have heard these times, he is the best. I helped him close the stall, the old man back drums, clamped bag, and I came to a stall not far away, to ask for some kebabs, a few bottles of beer, while eating and drinking while chatting up. More than 10 minutes later, I probably understand the situation of the old man, he said he is Ningan people, surnamed Gua, since childhood, one leg has a problem, people call him Gua crippled, Go out to wander for almost 10 years, has been the four seas for home. Luodang city, he was the first time to come, just walked here without money, no money to live in the store, so they found an underground passageway singing, want to mix a few money to stay. Look at his face full of frosty look, should be an old man, and his hometown from my home is not far, can be considered a hometown. So I asked him again, before Dry did not do to help people to see a doctor to solve the problem of things. Gua crippled narrowed his eyes, said to me, look at what you say, we cannot do that, that is bad information, we are to promote traditional culture, intangible cultural heritage inheritors. I said, you can pull back, I was to save you, made up in passing, you really put gold on your face. He was a little unhappy, from the bag out of a thing out, to the table, said, just now you just do not say, I also intend to light up the guy, look, what is this? I opened a look, suddenly dumbfounded. Only to see this on the top of the helicopter is written, intangible cultural heritage inheritor, Guadabeo. This, really ah, how much did you, do this? I'm a little bit will believe, so I asked in passing, he rushed me a music, put up two fingers. Two hundred. Well, I have never seen this thing, cannot distinguish between true and false, just let him say. But this thieving look of his, how can he look like a serious person? I returned the certificate to him, so I opened the door, first toasted him a glass of wine, and then directly asked him if he was willing to earn a sum of money. When I heard of earning money, what crippled eyes are bright, but still pretending to be profound to me, said, of course it is good to make money, but well, a gentleman has a way of taking money, you have to say what is the first thing, heaven and earth we certainly cannot do. Surely not, say you see me like that kind of person? I just want to ask you. I look around, and then lowered his voice, said to him, with me to save a person. What the hell? That I do not do, I this is folk art, really can save people that does not become a superstition it, you this nonsense. Said half a day was this, do not go not go. He was full of refusal, constantly waving his hand, but I see his eyes, clearly written in four words, want to welcome and refuse. If I were to add four more words, it would be, half-hearted. I smiled slightly and raised two fingers at him as well. Don't be in a hurry to refuse, the subject is in a hurry and not short of money, if you're willing to go, as long as you can be rescued, the honorarium can be up to this amount. He froze for a moment as he looked at my two upraised fingers, and said offhandedly, don't think you can get me to do that for two thousand dollars, I have principles too. I laughed again and told him, what if it was twenty thousand? Twenty thousand? The old man was a little bit unable to sit still, his eyes rolled, said, it's not a matter of money, I see that you are talking so urgently, what in the world has happened to the other party, actually willing to pay such a big price, you tell me first, if it's really to save people, money, or not is fine, the main thing is to help people. He kept blinking his eyes, and his voice was also much more conciliatory, obviously inwardly he had already succumbed to the obscene power of money. So, I briefly told him about the situation of Zhou Mingyang's family, and then told him that he now needed to hire a knowledgeable gatebreaker to save Zhou Mingyang's life first, and that he was a villa dweller, a rich man, and that $20,000 was nothing more than a mere $90,000 to him. He hesitated for a moment, seemingly also curious about Zhou Mingyang's particular condition, but his eyebrows knitted into a pimple, and one of his hands kept tapping gently on the table, as if he was contemplating something. After a long time, he sipped his teeth and said, it's not very good ah, uh, I'll go and sing a section of the song but it's fine, in our folk art, there is indeed a way to break the words of the pass, but in his condition, with all due respect, once he gets on the pass, and all the people gather together, he'll most likely die on the spot in the pass, when that happens, will it count on you or on me? Is it that serious? I was also a bit surprised, although this quick cripple said that what he sang was folk art, but I didn't believe it at all, given his age, he must have seen many more of these scenes than I have, what he said, I'm afraid it's true. He thought for a moment more, and with a slap on the table, he said, let's do it this way, I'll give you a list, you let the other party prepare some of the things I want first, remember, it must be according to my requirements, missing a little bit won't do. Look at him a very professional look, I sized him up a few times, snickered, Womunkler, you do not say that you that are folk arted, how to listen to you, very a little bit of bad information ah? He glared at me, this is also folk art, said you do not understand, do is. I secretly laughed, also did not argue with him, good thing is finally found a know-how, as long as we can solve this problem, the rest is he you Chen's task. I left my contact information with Gua Cripple, and sent him to stay at a small inn nearby, and made an appointment to come and pick him up tomorrow morning.
Then, I called He Yu Chen and told her what happened tonight, He Yu Chen laughed when she heard it, she said to me, don't say what intangible cultural heritage inheritor, that old man even if he is a duet singer, it works. Hearing her say that, I was relieved, and then contacted Yang Shoucheng, asked him to notify Zhou Mingyang's family, ready to go cripple said that several things, tomorrow can break the barrier. Yang Shoucheng is also very happy, he said to me on the phone, the Zhou family this time promised $200,000 of heavy reward, as long as we can save Zhou Mingyang, he and I two and one half, one half, a hundred thousand dollars, now cannot raise my interest, I smiled slightly, said to him, not the money, mainly to help people. That night, as usual, I meditated before the hour of dawn, and after looking at the ancient paintings for a while, I closed my eyes and slowly settled down. As soon as I closed my eyes, a young man in yellow clothes suddenly flashed in my mind, smiling at me. I was slightly startled and rushed to visualize it again, but the image just flashed by, and when I tried to look at it again, there was nothing left. Strange, who was this man? I thought about it for half a day and couldn't figure it out, then tried communicating with Python smallpox again. This time, she actually appeared very quickly, but didn't come out presently, and just said a word to me in my mind. There were actually only two words. Kill. Now I basically also found out, Python Tiana was character, and He Yuchen is a bit like, our very calm and collected kind, but Python Tianhua is not like He Yuchen, but also a little bit of a little girl's mentality. Her old man is completely at will, when the mood is good, she will show up and chat with me for a few minutes, usually it is completely unseen, even if it is communicated, there is only a simple sentence. Like this time, a total of just two words, in the end what is the meaning of ah? Killing? Who kills who? What does it mean ah big sister, do not understand ah? I tried to communicate with Anaconda again for a while, but it felt like she went into hibernation, and didn't say a word no matter how much I asked. After all, it's a python fairy, sleep when she says sleep and this even comes with hibernation. I thought in my heart, rather irritated. Last time inside the school, she was detained by Li Yuan, I haven't understood the situation carefully yet, but I think she should have lost some of her Tao last time, and now going into hibernation should also be her way of healing and practicing. In that case, I'll leave her alone for now. This time when I meditated, my heart was a bit messed up, I wasn't able to reach the same realm as last time, and I didn't see the cave again, I slightly regretted, and after getting up, I surveyed the ancient painting, and thought that Anaconda said that my innate immortal fate was in this painting, but up to now, I still don't know what's really going on. Perhaps, only when my realm reaches a certain level and I am able to enter that ancient cave, probably everything will be revealed. In a daze, I entered dreamland. In my dream, it was full of scenes from my hometown, and in a trance, there was that high-pitched, loud and clear divine tune, and the invigorating sound of the drums. The night was silent. Turning to the next day, as usual, I slept until 8 o'clock in the morning before getting up, and dawdled for a while, went downstairs to eat something, and then called Yang Shoucheng. Yang Shoucheng said he was preparing to come over to pick me up, and then go to Zhou Mingyang's house together, at the same time, because I want to pick up the Mr. Hua, so specially prepared two cars. In fact, I'm annoyed that he is not moving to set a row, where you have to bring a bodyguard assistant, I'm not fat and cannot walk, a car cannot fit the two of us ah? I told him not to use to pick up, Zhou Mingyang home I can find, and I have now come out, he picked up also cannot pick up me. Yang Shoucheng had to pull down, and then told me that the Zhou family early in the morning to prepare those things, other things are good to say, that is, more than 7 years of roosters are not good to buy, it is estimated to take a little effort. I told him, the city cannot buy on the outskirts, go to the countryside, looking for the kind of chicken in the countryside, certainly will be more expensive, but the effect is also good. After hanging up the phone, I intend to go to find Gua Crippled Rendezvous, thought back to the hotel, asked for two drawers of steamed buns, a few tea eggs, carrying to yesterday's small inn. As soon as I entered the door, I saw Gua Crippled in the house sitting, is holding a steamed bun, with a cup of boiling water in that eat it. Small and simple and shabby, dim light, inside the bedding a damp smell, I looked it cannot help but sigh secretly, he is so old, still wandering outside, it is not easy. I handed over the two drawers of buns and tea eggs, what crippled saw me come, but also sent food, but also happy, at the same time did not talk to me politely, the half la steamed buns wrapped in a plastic bag back to the rag pocket, and then began to eat the buns. I poured him a cup of water, let him eat slowly, watched him put two drawers of buns and a few tea eggs all eaten, thought good guy, this old man appetite is good, it seems that the barbecue last night, he is still very much in control of themselves. I waited for him to finish eating, and then with him to the front desk of the hostel to check out, the old man said nothing, said that tonight still have to come back, this place is a good location to find, close to the station, and the main thing is that it is also cheap. I patiently said to him, after tonight, you will become a millionaire, still live here why? $15 a night in a small hotel, the smell of the stomach. The old man was happy, said $15 has been quite good. He even five dollars have lived, out of the house, not like home, where there are so many happy place? In any case, I said that his room was returned, pulling him out of the door, and then called a cab, and stuffed him in. 
Soon, Zhou Mingyang's family's villa area arrived. But I still blundered, the cab can only go to the entrance of the district, simply cannot get in. I came to the gatekeeper with Gua crippled, said half a day also won't allow us to go in, said we are not the owners of the district, and there is no access card, unless inside the person to pick up, or else not allowed to enter. I would like to give Yang Shouqing call, but also feel the loss of face, just now people want to pick up I do not let, and now begging people to pick up. So I called He Yu Chen. Coincidentally, she is also almost there, so I waited for a few minutes, then saw He Yu Chen wearing a casual sportswear, riding a bicycle, leisurely over. I was a bit dumbfounded, I thought He Yu Chen was a rich second generation, how would she drive over, or let the driver send her, I didn't expect, she rode her own bike. There was a big bag on the back seat of her car, after seeing her, we welcomed her, He Yu Chen also got out of the car, and then smiled and greeted the doorman, saying that she forgot to bring her access card, the doorman did not even ask, with a fawning smile, and opened the door without saying a word. He Yu Chen so pushed the car, took us in together, has come to the inside of the district, I still cloudy, Hua crippled is quite calm, see my face confused, he said with a smile, do not understand it, people this bike is a BMW, the guards guards literacy, will not stop her it. BMW bike? I really did not pay attention to this detail, mainly at that time did not know that BMW has a bicycle, so tentatively asked He Yu Chen, then you this bicycle, shall not be tens of thousands? She nodded, not bad, more than 30,000, but not limited edition, I do not like too expensive things. Good lord, a 30,000 plus dollar bike isn't something too expensive, these rich people's lives, it's really outrageous. He Yu Chen looked at Gua Cripple, sized him up for a couple of moments, and suddenly laughed, this is Mr. Gua, right, I'm going to work hard for you today. Good to say good to say, it's fate that we meet, I heard Chor Yifun say that today's great god is a little girl, it's really uncomplicated ah, a generation of backward waves pushes forward the previous waves, great great great. Nothing uncomplicated, are no way, in order to cure the disease to save people, otherwise good for nothing who would want to do this. These two people write a few words, after all, later to partner, is to familiarize themselves with, I did not interrupt, and soon to Zhou Mingyang's home, Yang Shouchun, they have arrived, is waiting for us at the door. Then I realized, the original He Yu Chen early let people put her to use things sent over in advance, to the living room, two large boxes have been placed there, mysterious, do not know what is inside. Next, we first came to Zhou Mingyang's bedroom, once he saw him, He Yu Chen face changed, Wu Crippled is also shocked, I guess these two people who have never seen, a person's head can become a duck egg so clean it. Although he had cleared things up with them yesterday, it was still a shock to actually see it with his own eyes. He Yu Chen was a little girl after all, and even though she was bold, she still changed color. It's true that there are too many wrongdoers, all of them are here to claim their lives, they must break the barrier right away, especially the Yen Luo barrier, it's life-threatening. He Yu Chen said and glanced at me, taking advantage of the fact that no one was there, she asked me in a low voice, even if it's the grievous debtors claiming the life of the Yin spirit, there's no such thing as making a person like this, with him like this, I can't guarantee if he'll die in the pass. Even she actually said so, I glanced at Gua Cripple outside and said to her, this old man said that he asked their family to buy a seven-year-old rooster, and it hasn't been delivered yet. She frowned and said, to break the barrier to have to use a rooster, seven years of rooster Yang Chi is indeed very full, but to be on the barrier, or it is difficult to say. Hearing her say this, I also have a little bit of no bottom in my heart, so I said this situation to Zhou Mingyang's wife, and asked for her opinion, anyway, it is now a dead horse, if it will really die in the pass, not responsible. She thought about it for a while, and finally agreed. After all, this was the last chance. With her consent, we formally began to work on breaking the barrier. He Yu Chen opened her two boxes, took out one thing from inside, and asked Kua Cripple and I to help her set up. I've never done this before, I've seen it, but I haven't done it with my own hands. Her box was full of green and colorful rags, flags and arrows, scissors, and other things. Kua Cripple is actually clear, and Zhou Mingyang's family asked for a four-square table, the rags spread on it, set up a mirror. He Yu Chen also let Zhou Mingyang wife took eight $100 bills, respectively, pressed on the eight sides of the square table, and then prepared a fire pit. After making preparations, He Yu Chen let Zhou Mingyang home out of a few people, ready to carry him to go off. This is purely a labor of strength, because a pass down, usually 40 minutes to an hour, no physical strength absolutely cannot hold down. Finally, He Yu Chen took out another set of big red shawl with tassels, skirt, shoes, and a string of waist bells from the box, letting me help her put them on one by one. I could have sworn that my eyes went straight when I saw her put on this outfit and spread her hair out. I used to just think that this little girl was quite good looking, just a little too light, not as delicate and passionate as Shangwan AI, and not as pathetic as Guchishi, if I had to describe it, she's just like the moonlight on the 15th day of the 8th month, as cold as water, and as light as smoke, but now she has changed her clothes, wearing this witch costume, with tassels and waist bells, and then spread her hair, the whole is like a new person, no longer the past that white moonlight girl, but like a peach fairy descending from the earth, 
and she also to the forehead with a red. Looks even more beautiful. Guo Cripple patted me, whispered and laughed, don't look at it, and then look good she is also a do this thing. You still moved ah? So what, I'm happy to see, besides your eyes are not also straight? I sneered back, he didn't get angry, he 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 a happy, and went to organize his god drum. Subsequently, he Yuchen took a bowl out, filled with rice, and lit four incense, but looked at me, and in the four incense next to another inserted a, but other are straight inserted, this one is inserted diagonally. I asked her what this meant, she smiled at me and said, there are immortals coming on you, this is for them, inside the rules of the immortals, this is called slanting incense. She smiled beautifully, I couldn't help but be swayed, but in my heart, I thought, I have a fairy on me is not true, but it is the python smallpox one ah, how is it they? According to her instructions, the Zhou family has long been prepared chicken fish fruit and other offerings, at this time to buy a rooster is also back, is said to have run dozens of kilometers, especially in the countryside to buy the red crown gold feet rooster, the owner of the family also said would also refuse to sell, and finally spent three times the price to hold back, and promises people, after finishing the business, the rooster back to them to send back. However, I know that in Zhou Mingyang's case, the possibility that this rooster can survive is very small. When it was finally ready, the sound of the divine drum began to ring. This divine drum beat up extremely rhythm and rhyme, let a person cannot help but mind immersed in it, what crippled knocked for a while, he Yu Chen suddenly inhaled deeply, and then exhaled slowly, the whole person shook a little for no reason. Afterward, what cripples drumming became lighter and he opened his mouth to sing. The divine drum beats, the whip turns upside down, there is a loyal and good man, for the help class. It is often said that there is nothing in front of the hall that does not beat the drum of gathering generals, and there is nothing in front of the Buddha that cannot raise cigarettes. Who are crippled saying this called a good sound, the word is correct, the tune inaccurate, rot and good, around the people are listening to the god, he Chen sat in the chair, subtly shaking up, the head is also involuntarily bobbing, and then constantly a hard yawn. This is the precursor, what cripple saw more vigor, continue to sing. When he sang here, he Chen suddenly clapped his hands and shouted, the person stood up, and paid three obeisances to the four gates and eight formations in front of him, and the person also closed his eyes tightly, and his head seemed to be swinging from side to side unconsciously. But in my eyes, the current he Yu Chen was clearly no longer herself. Hua Cripple's drumming suddenly sharpened, and his voice drew up in pitch as he continued to sing. Immortal you are as light as a swallow in the clouds, open tiger steps to climb the mountain, immortal you walk four steps forward dragon paws, back three steps tiger climbing the mountain, left five steps red peony, right six steps green peony, immortal why let you walk a few steps, for the house is narrow, the land is not wide, the old fairy cannot roll off the horse's feet lost the saddle. To help the soldiers to ask a few words is just, rambling to the side, I dare to ask the old fairy. You are. Which one of you has come to the front of the hall? Hiyuchen forehead seeped out a layer of sweat beads, still closed eyes, tone oddly back. I'm her family's head sect master, Hu Tiangang. This person's life has violated the seven passes, and he has created too many sins on his old generation. Breaking the passes can only save his life, as to whether it will work or not, it depends on his destiny. This voice was deep and majestic, although it was still Yu Chen's voice, the tone and voice pitch was completely different. Zhou Mingyang's entire family watched on, not daring to say anything or ask, only knowing to claim thanks one after another. After asking about the identity of the old immortal, what cripple continued to sing again. Old Big Dipper you listen to the words of the help soldiers, today this family's things are not general. He Yu Chen to the center flag bucket worship three times, and then reached out to pick up the two kitchen knives placed there, with a hand and knock, Today's this broken pass, is considered the official start. Just from a young age, I'm used to seeing the broken customs, how did not expect, what happened next, simply subverted my cognition. Gua crippled drumming, walking in the forefront, he Yu Chen closely behind him to worship off, Zhou Ming Yang was carried, followed in the back, I followed Zhou Ming Yang, closely watching his situation. Breaking the barrier is a very time-consuming job, especially the two gods are very major, need to sing large sections of the words, and be very familiar with the main points of all the doors and gates. Listening to Gua Cripple sing the Twelve Gates, followed closely by the beginning of the break-in. It was the breaking of the barrier that mattered the most. The previous ones are equivalent to the ceremonial rites before breaking the barrier. To break the barrier this step, can pass, depends on the fate and fortune of the person who breaks the barrier. I removed the paper pressed on the table, together with a paper figure, lit in the fire pot. When these several hurdles were all broken, this great hurdle would only be considered finished, and next, according to Zhou Mingyang's situation, all of them would go down smoothly, and he would only be able to save this life. But at this moment, in fact, has passed almost half an hour, and Zhou Mingyang tethered together with the big rooster began to have no reaction, just half of the middle of the time, the chicken obviously wilted. Next, what cripple continued to sing, He Yu Chen will be in the hands of the two kitchen knives raised high, knocking each other. I hurriedly instructed the person carrying Zhou Mingyang, quickly pass, at the same time to ask him a, Zhou Mingyang pass, passed? 
Originally, Zhou Mingyang himself should have answered past, but his current condition can only let someone else instead. But it was at this point that something happened. Because according to the rules, when answering the question of having passed, you need to let the rooster crow a few times to represent having passed. Generally speaking, the rooster will take the initiative to crow at this time, but now, that rooster is shaking badly, eyes are half open, as if it is going to pass out at any time, there is no response at all, so someone has to go and slap it a few times to make it crow. I asked the people carrying Zhou Mingyang to hit the rooster, but these people had been carrying the rooster for half a day, and their legs and hands had long since become weak and sore, and one of them reached out to hit the rooster, but he lost his balance at once, and Zhou Mingyang fell to the ground in a crooked position. At the same time, the rooster was frightened, rustling on the fly up, even flew over, knocked over the mirror and other things, huddled in the corner, shivering uncontrollably, dead or alive do not come down. Zhou family members ate a shock, rushed to catch the chicken, as well as to help Zhou Mingyang. But at this time, Zhou Mingyang stood up on his own. That's right, has not eaten for several days, and has been in a coma Zhou Mingyang, stood up straight, duck eggs like a naked face obviously even almost cannot see the eyes, but seems to be able to see us like, eyes constantly on our body patrol. What cripple was the first to throw the drum away, exclaiming, no good. I was also shocked, but did not understand what is bad, only to see Zhou Mingyang's head without eyes swept over us, and then looked at the other people in the living room. Zhou Mingyang's wife let out a scream and directly went limp on the floor, and everyone else was scared out of their wits, hiding, afraid to run half a step slower. He Yuchin directly opened his eyes, a stern to the extreme light shooting out from his gaze as he droned, there's a head for every grievance, and this person has already paid back his former feelings. If you want to be unforgiving again, we are not the ones to deal with, and we have our own place to reason. Zhou Mingyang stood there, still motionless, but right at this moment, my ears distinctly heard countless voices overlapping together, as if seven mouths were talking about grievances. This voice is creepy, I do not really hear, He Yu Chen is listening to the straight frown, half a long time before saying, since you refuse, no wonder my lobby centaurs out. As soon as the words fell, He Yu Chen raised the two kitchen knives in his hand, rushed to Zhou Mingyang's wife and asked, want to die or want to live? Zhou Mingyang's wife's face turned green, and she busily said, to live to live, to sien ah, help ah. He Yu Chen ignored her, directly raised the kitchen knife in his hand, his mouth recited words, speaking a language that I do not understand at all. What cripple saw this scene, rushed to throw out the drum to pick up the back, while knocking and singing. He just sang a few lines, He Yu Chen has already raised his hand knife, no mercy, even a knife to Zhou Mingyang's head cut. The crowd in the living room once again exclaimed in shock, and some people closed their eyes in fear thinking that they were going to be splattered with blood on the spot. In fact, He Yu Chen's knife did not fall on him at all. There is still a little distance. I know in my heart, her knife is not aimed at people. As for what is the principle, I cannot say, in short, is the immortal spells, not the average person can understand. When He Yu Chen's two knives went down, Zhou Mingyang let out a hiccup in his throat and fell backwards. This time, he didn't move again. Then, He Yu Chen threw the knife in his hand and came to Zhou Mingyang in front of him with a big stride, saying, alas, pulling back half of it, now it has gone to the bottom, not good. Poor cripple clamped the drum under his armpit and came over to ask, then we still need to trouble your old man to make a trip to bring back the other half of him, this man's life has not come to an end either, we can't just leave it like that. He Yu Chen frowned, said, I go to a trip is easy, the problem is that he is also the fate of the, just now I had already persuaded, the following that also no, loss of his fate against this debt, but that little golden chicken fried, he washed him away, this is also the number of heaven, if I personally go to bring him back, and the way of the heavens is against the way of the world. She probably meant that originally Zhou Mingyang could have been saved, but that rooster caused trouble and scattered Zhou Mingyang's soul, the spirit stayed in the body, but the soul went to hell. What crippled for? Then you can't just ignore ah, old immortal you are to save the suffering, can't see death to save, why don't you just strangle that little golden cock now, how about replacing his soul? He Yuchin glared at him, said, you help soldiers speak not fair, his life is life, the life of the little golden chicken is not life? Why don't you go and do something that carries karma? What cripple face embarrassed, hey dry laugh too, do not speak. I thought about it, also went up and said, listen to the meaning of the words of the old fairy, there should be a way to save people, you don't sell secrets, what we can do, you just say, saving people is originally merit, not because of fear of karma on the front, if that's the case, we don't care about him at all not on the line? He Yuchin glanced at me and said with a smile, this little boy is interesting, you're right, saving people is merit, but the premise is that this person saved, he has to accumulate good deeds, in order to eliminate the karma, as the saying goes, the Buddha also does not do people who have no destiny, you saved him, he ignored the karma, that this karma, sooner or later, it will fall on your body. I looked at the group of people in the living room with faces like dirt, and said to her, if you have something to say, just say it directly, now it's important to save the people, and you can't just watch and not care about it, old immortal. In fact, I was purely standing on my feet, 
because at this time, I couldn't think of anything at all about what the words spoken by this Pama's teacher who possessed Hiyuchen actually meant. Next, Hiyuchen glanced at me and slowly said, It is also easy to save people, but I can't go, my whole men and horses can't go, those dozens of are blocking the road, I can't really refine them all with thunder and fire, so, in order to save people, today can only let you, this little child, go and bring this person back. Me? Take a walk? Where to go? Down below, of course. Ha? Huh? No. I waved my hands in fear, thinking, you can pull back, I'm not even a formal disciple, letting me go, isn't that looking for death? She smiled at me, wasn't it you who said you wanted to save people just now? I said with a bitter face, I said to save people, but I didn't say I'll go ah, why don't you let him go, look how well he sang just now, the door is clear, he'll be able to do it. I pointed at Gua Cripple, he Yuchin smiled again, shook his head and said, he can't do it, if he doesn't go to the netherworld and try to catch him, if he goes, he'll be easy to come back. Besides, you are a child's body, and a child's life, the body has a spiritual bone, the fate of the immortal, you go is just right, I guarantee that you are safe and sound. This. I didn't expect her to make this point of mine clear in a few words, I said to myself that I am also digging a pit to jump myself, with no choice but to bite my teeth and nod my head to agree. Since the old fairy said so, I agree is, but I don't know how to go, and how to come back, you guys have to make it clear to me. This is fine, you guys grab that little golden chicken. Hiyuchen gave an order, so the Zhou family members were again catching chickens all over the house, after half a day's effort, they finally caught that scared and shivering big rooster and sent it back to Hiyuchen. The chicken still want to run, Hiyuchen reached out and grabbed it by the neck, the other hand on it a stroke, the chicken immediately as if encountered a natural enemy in general, the hole shrink into a ball, no longer dare to move. Then, Hiyuchen grabbed both of the rooster's claws again, and the rooster was honestly at her mercy, and after she let go of her hand, the chicken actually didn't run away either. Bring a mat over. He Yuchen commanded again, so immediately someone sent another mat and spread it on the ground. Immediately prepare. Forget it, things are urgent, just use the scene, don't go out and buy it. Look at my ground instructions, quick. She ordered out of these, yesterday in fact, I used once, Zhou Ming Yang wife did not dare to throw, but also kept it, so go and fetch it, even three minutes did not use on. Gua Cripple obviously know what she is going to do, come over to help put these things set up, and then sympathetically said to me, little brother, you do not have to be afraid, this is also catching up, the first time may be a little nervous, you relax some, at first it will be a little uncomfortable, a moment will be good. How do I listen to this how twisted, but there is no way, so in accordance with Yu Chen's instructions, lying on the mat, and then I have an offering on my head, pouring rice, lights, too damn bad luck. Then Yu Chen gave me a rope, and let me firmly grasp, never loose, I firmly remembered her words, the red rope and the hand wrapped two circles, live and die not loose. Next, Gua Cripple instructed me to pay attention to myself when I got down there, and if I encountered a vicious dog, I would first give it a steamed bun, and then beat it if it didn't work. I want to cry, I said this is for me to prepare the dog stick and dog cake ah. Zhou Ming Yang's situation is very urgent, after all the preparations were done, He Yu Chen ordered the lights to be turned off, and the lights suddenly dimmed. Afterward, with a wave of her hand, she said to Gua Cripple, alright, send him through the yin. I gritted my teeth and finally shouted at Zhou Ming Yang's wife. I'm telling you guys, you'll have to pay extra after this time. But after I finished shouting, a blurry image suddenly appeared in my mind, along with two words. Kill the life. Kill life? These two words, what exactly do they mean? How come Anaconda told me once, and now it appeared again in my mind? No, no, behind the two words of killing life, I vaguely saw another word, just vague and indistinct. And that image. Suddenly, the image in my mind cleared up for a moment, but it was only a flash before it became blurry again. In that moment, I saw a knife. A knife that seemed to be red with blood, but was already rusty. There was already the sound of drums in my ears, and it was clear that Gua Cripple was about to start sending me through the netherworld. Wait. I sat up directly from the mat and asked Zhou Mingyang's wife, is there a bloodstained knife in your house? It's almost been quite a few years, and it looks rusty, is there one? Zhou Mingyang's wife directly dumbfounded, looking at me like seeing a fraud, stayed for half a day, before shaking her head with a dumbfounded face and said, there is no such thing as you said ah, uh, our family antiques are quite a lot, but you said all the bloodstained red knife, there should be no, not to mention still rusty, that is certainly not what is worth money, there. I anxiously said, you first do not say no, I just clearly saw, that knife should be in a box somewhere in your house, but it's very dark, blurred, I cannot see. Zhou Mingyang's wife's face suddenly changed, Yang Shoqing walked over and said to her, my advice, it's better to look for it right away, what this young master of mine said will never be wrong. He is the one who has passed the eye of heaven, your family more than likely has this thing. Zhou Mingyang's wife thought hard, suddenly clapped her hands and said, to say it's a box, there's really one, but, it's not old Joe's, it's his grandfather's left behind, I still opened it once more than 10 years ago, and it's all old stuff inside, it's not what's valuable. It doesn't matter if it's valuable or not, go and open it, I have a hunch that the knife is probably inside. 
Hearing my words, Zhou Mingyang's wife also panicked, and hurriedly had someone go to Zhou Mingyang's study, and only after a few minutes did she carry a box over. Then, the box was opened in front of us, what came to our eyes inside was indeed some old objects, account books, letterheads, old photos and whatnot, which indeed didn't seem to be worth much, but just for a reminiscence. I personally in the box inside the rummage up, the results to find the bottom layer, found a tarpaulin layers wrapped things, about a foot long, wrapped with dense twine. I took this thing out, untied the twine, layer by layer to open, feel like a dagger, open to the last layer, there is a blood-stained, rusty dagger. Surrounding the crowd, all clamor. The way they looked at me was like looking at a god. At the same time, the three words in my mind suddenly became clearer. In front of it was still the word life-killing, and behind it was the word blade. Life-killing blade. This dagger looks old style, rust stains, give a person the feeling of full of cold hostility, the body of the knife above has a dark pattern, has long since dried up and solidified on the blood, showing a purple-black, almost cannot see the original color of the knife, but also people shudder. Looking at this knife, I seem to see countless souls crying under the knife. It seems that Anaconda Skyflower already knew what was going to happen today, and when she told me the two words kill life, she was probably prompting me to find this knife. As for the role, it was self-evident that she wanted me to take this knife with me for self-defense. Having figured this out, I took this life-killing blade and asked Zhou Mingyang's wife to return the box back, then, I continued to lie on the mat, holding the knife in my hand, and closed my eyes. Let's start this time. I said. This. Should not be according to the rules, this knife, although covered with hostility, used to deter ghosts is good, but you are not going to fight for your life this time, and besides, you do not have the experience of crossing the in, according to me, it is best for you to put away the knife when you go over there, so as not to get into trouble. Good boy, better take the stick. He still shoved the dogfighting stick into my hand, and I had no choice but to go with him. But honestly, I feel that this dogfighting stick is not useful at all, just this knife in my hand, I feel very safe and solid in my heart all of a sudden. At the same time, a cool breath, also from the knife body passed to my body. At this moment, this scene, how scary it has to be. I was also out of my mind at this time, just as I closed my eyes, what crippled in my ear had already started his performance again. What crippled this time with a slow drum, singing is also used in the sad tone, singing as if to cry, I lie there, the heart cannot help but also from the sadness, as if I want to really die. What crippled singing continues. With the drums and singing, I feel dizzy, my body seems to have no strength, a little like to sleep, but the drums are still in my ears, clearly audible. Slowly, the darkness in front of me suddenly appeared a little bright light, I unconsciously ran towards the bright light, the drum sound in my ears gradually distant, but still can be heard clearly. The sound gradually far away, I intuitively feel that I have entered an unknown world, all around the darkness, only that little light, more and more obvious. Suddenly, there was a rooster crowing in my ears, I looked back, only to see that the red crown rooster ran from behind me, and it still had the red rope tied around its neck. I couldn't help but be surprised, because this chicken ran bigger and bigger, and when it stopped by my side, it was already more than a meter tall. I just reacted, looked out at myself, right hand killing blade, left hand dog fighting stick, pocket carrying steamed buns, wrist tied with a red rope. This, this should not be an illusion, could it be, I have already reached the underground? The drums in my ears have become more and more distant and inaudible, but the singing, or vaguely lingering in my ears. I listened hard to hear, but is already vague, about only hear a sentence right on the golden chicken forward, dry food cakes in the hand, meet someone to greet, you can never stop. I immediately understood, the original golden chicken is as a mount ah, no wonder becomes so big. At this time, I remembered Gua Cripple's words, first put away the life-killing blade, as he said, this thing can save lives and save people at critical moments, but it can also cause unnecessary trouble, it is better to keep a low profile first. I rolled over on the back of the golden chicken, it does not struggle, good behavior, wait for me to sit down, suddenly a cry, throw open two feet, stride forward, good guy, my life, or the first time I rode a chicken running, I guess this experience in the next life will not necessarily have, ears only hear the wind whistling, or crippled drums more and more distant, finally cannot be heard, and the golden chicken with me, also rushed out of that little bit of light, my eyes for a while confused, as if there is some strange light piercing the eyes, and when I came back to my senses, opened my eyes to see again, the surroundings have been completely another world, gray black sky, gray black earth, gray black white trees in the distance, and the sky seemed to have a layer of dark clouds so thick that they couldn't be dispersed, shrouded overhead, but right in the middle of this dark cloud, there was a bit of light that seemed to have been following me. The golden chicken stopped when it arrived here, cooing with its beak, and its eyes looked east and west, also full of curiosity. I knew that this should be the underground, but the surroundings were silent, I didn't even see a single ghost shadow, so where could I go to find Zhou Mingyang? I was wondering, a yellow light suddenly flashed in front of me, and then, a young man wearing yellow clothes, who didn't know where he came out from, stood in front of me and smiled faintly at me. 
This young man is a little bit unable to see the age, at first glance like early 20s, and then take a closer look like more than 30 years old, looks a little thin, not too tall, eyes are very dry, gleaming, there are two thick and long mustache on the mouth, one left and one right, quite comical, smiling. I was first taken aback, but when I looked again, I realized that the man looked a bit familiar, but I couldn't remember for a moment. After staring at him for a few seconds, an image from a dream instantly flashed through my mind. Wasn't this the yellow-clothed young man I dreamed about the other day? It's you? Are you? I asked suspiciously, and when he saw that I recognized him, he gave me another laugh and said, otherwise, here, I guess it will be some days before you can see me. Think about it, can you remember who I am? I shook my head vigorously, thinking that since you can appear in my dreams and meet me underground, where can I guess? It's no wonder you don't recognize me, now that time is limited, let me tell you, I'm your old Choja family protection immortal, of the Huang family. You're our old Cho family protection immortal? I looked at him rather surprised, thinking that we have had a family protection immortal in our family, I have heard my father talk about it, but that was his grandfather's generation, why did he still find me here? Then why did you come to my place, I didn't sense you before. I was puzzled to ask him, he said to me, there were still some days to come, Python family hall master to give you almost all the string open, but our Huang family has not yet gone through, so you are now not all through the seven apertures, and the Python family hall master has something to do, asked me to come to protect you for a few days. This is also our destiny, only, you probably can't remember it anymore. Hearing his words, I suddenly realized that it was Anaconda Tianhua who asked him to come and take his place. But at this time the situation is urgent, I don't have time to talk to him in detail, at that moment, I asked, the Zhou Yang came here, I have to hurry to bring him back, can you help me find him, this place I came for the first time, not familiar ah, he smiled again and said, otherwise you think, the old immortal of the He Gatehouse, and that gang soldier, why did they let you come, they themselves are not good to personally go out, and also see that you have the immortal occupation trick on you, so they gave me this job, but that's fine, since I was favored by her just now, it's only right that I contribute a little. So that's how it is, no wonder he Chen and Gua Cripple have the same nostrils, dare I say that they already knew that there was a yellow immortal in me. Come with me, Zhou Ming Yang is just ahead, his ancestors have committed too many sins, but as long as you can bring him out of that gate, he will be saved. In order not to delay, he led the way in front, and I rode the chicken behind me, running all the way forward. To be honest, that python immortal protector of mine was often godlike, and every time I saw her she was also a shadow, but this yellow immortal in front of me, I could see him clearly, just like a real person. On the way, I kept striking up a conversation with him. I forgot to ask, what's your name? Those of us who haven't been to a Tang camp, the family protection immortals, basically don't have a sealed name, so you can just call it whatever you want, as long as it sounds good. No sealed name, just call it whatever you want? I was also interested for a moment, seeing that he was running quite fast in front of me, I smiled and said, then you will be called Yellow Fast Runner, you run fast, and if you help me more in the future, there will be no shortage of benefits for you. When he heard this name, his eyes lit up, and he said with a very happy smile, good, this is what you said, you are not allowed to back out in the future. I also smiled and said, absolutely no backtracking, from now on you'll be called Yellow Fast Runner. Once he heard this, he ran even harder, but this golden chicken of mine wasn't weak either, following closely, in the blink of an eye he ran out several miles, and a high mountain suddenly appeared in front of him. Still far away, you can see that the mountain is shrouded in shadowy fog, where a pass is located, in a trance, it seems to be exactly a large array. The pass is right in front, I won't accompany you there, just be careful yourself. Huang quick run pointed ahead and said, I looked at him speechlessly and asked, you're not coming with me? What level is this, how can I break through? He grinned at me and said, I'm sorry, I can't go to this level, that's because someone has created too many sins, I can't interfere with this kind of thing, and it's easy for me to be torn apart if I go. But you're different, go without fear, and if you can't, use that knife. After carefully instructing me once more, he stood still, waved at me, and finally shouted. Go for it. I couldn't cry, saying cheer up your sister ah, that mountain is not a good place to look at, you're letting me go by myself, isn't it the same as sending death? In my heart, He Yu Chen and Guo Cripple and Zhou Ming Yang's whole family greeted once, looking at the yellow fast running smiling appearance, so I gritted my teeth and gave up. I rode the golden chicken up the mountain, the chicken here also dare not walk around, probably just walked to the location of the mountain pass, said what is not moving, let me how to drive it, take the dog stick to poke it, coaxed it back to find it two small hands, it does not move, and even the feet are still constantly backward. I have no choice but to turn over and get off the chicken. How does this sentence look a bit awkward? Anyway, since it refused to go forward, the next road, I can only rely on myself. I tightened my belt, put the killing blade in a place where I could pull it out with my hand, and then with a handful of dogfighting sticks, I entered this treacherous and unpredictable pass. To be honest, into the scene soul pass, on the one hand, because of curiosity, on the other hand, because of the duck on the shelf, but the main, 
or because of stupid bold, lack of heart. I didn't realize until later that only 1 in 10,000 could come out of this pass of the dark soul. Not to mention that I am a just out of the mountain brats, simply not even a serious out of the horse incense child disciple, even those who always run through the inn of the old geezer, easily do not dare to come to break the scene soul pass. Because break into the dark soul pass, is equal to the whole person completely into the illusion, to put it bluntly, like the movie high on drugs more than high, and finally high death is almost the same reason, I see everything in front of my eyes, in fact, is the reality of the existence of the, only by my mind to distort the. This is one of the reasons why everyone who walks through the nether pass sees different sights. For example, if I went over the mountain, maybe I merely saw the bridge of Zhou Mingyang's nose and it was brainwashed into a mountain in my head. Of course it could have been other parts like the ears and mouth, or even the eye sockets and so on. As for this yellow fast running, I believe that beside me, must have followed a weasel, usually has been hiding, see me caught in an illusion in danger, instinctively ran out, to help me. If caught in the illusion for too long, the person will become a vegetable, and at this time, the poison in Zhou Mingyang's body will take advantage of the opportunity to invade, and I will be equal to the account. With the dog beating stick in one hand and the killing blade in my waist, I dove headfirst into the mist in front of me. At first, I also stared at the guard, the surrounding fog and the cold wind whoosh, ghosts, and shadows, sometimes mixed with strange cries and howls, giving me a feeling like when I was a child that time in the middle of the night to go to the cemetery to practice courage. Only that time there were several students together, this time, only I was alone. Through the grove in front of me, the fog in front of me gradually faded a little, and the strange howling sound is also much less, which makes me feel very strange that I have been worried. Since this is the ghost pass, where are the ghosts? I continued to walk forward in a daze, and found that it was almost to the end of the woods, and a row of red lanterns appeared in the woods in front of me, and there was a curved path in the middle of the dim red light. I didn't know the path, so I followed the path all the way forward, the path wasn't long, and soon reached the end, a pagoda appeared in front of me, red lacquer with high pillars, imposing, red lanterns were also hung on it, and there were also three big, black characters. Underworld Street. This is not right ah, uh, I obviously entered the nether soul pass, how come I came to the nether street? To talk about this street of the underworld, many people are not unfamiliar, according to legend, this is a junction of the two realms of yin and yang, also known as the nether city. Since ancient times, there is a saying, called the yin and yang forever, but here is an exception, it is said that those ghosts wandering in the hell, can be free to come and go in and out of this yin market, some competent yin and yang mister, and all the people who eat yin and yang rice, can come here. To put it bluntly, this place is a transit station for both the yin and yang worlds. But, how did I come here? I thought about it for a while, not knowing how long had passed in reality, keeping a trace of clarity in my mind. I quickly figured out that the means of the exodus immortal was different from that of a normal Chinese medicine practitioner, who emphasized on looking and hearing, while the exodus immortal saved people with his talent and inheritance. For example, this street of the netherworld, probably equivalent to the Chinese medicine in the look, I must have seen the reality of Zhou Mingyang on the body of the problem, want to find someone to ask questions, but my consciousness cannot go back to reality, otherwise this state of mine is gone, subconsciously thought of the street of the netherworld, so the street of the netherworld appeared in front of me. No matter, anyway, just now this way, I did not see anything useful, and just such a road, should not go wrong, so just continue to go forward. Crossing over the pagoda of Yin C Street, a green brick paved street appeared in front of me, surrounded by fog, there was a lantern every other road, there were sporadic pedestrians on the street, all dressed in black, the style looked similar, marching noiselessly on the street. There were also some stalls on both sides of the street, and the stalls had a variety of strange things on them. Some set up some old ancient books and antiques, some piled up with incense and candles and paper money, some laying many black clothes, there are also some are selling food but are steamed bread and pasta and fruits and so on, it is similar to the usual things on the offerings. Those stalls silent, shopping also do not speak, the street from time to time there is a fog drifting past, the picture is dark and depressing, through the dark light of those lanterns, the whole street is quiet creepy, everything seems to be incomparably mysterious and bizarre. It was the first time I came to this kind of place, the more I saw, the fresher it became, my eyes were almost not enough. As I walked, a street was almost at its end, but I still hadn't seen Zhou Mingyang. I was a bit anxious, and was constantly surveying the people around me, but suddenly thought of a problem, and couldn't help but stop in my tracks, and froze in my tracks. I seemed to be a bit short-sighted ah, I realized that if I walked back and forth like this, the people outside wouldn't be able to see me, so I had to stop and do something that would make them understand what I meant. I was in the midst of the stupidity, the front suddenly came a sound of gongs and drums, it seems that someone is singing opera. At first I thought it was Kwa Cripple banging the drums to urge me to go back, but there was also an arrow and clappers in there, obviously a full set of gongs and drums guys. I couldn't help but go in the direction of the sound, out of the Netherland street, in the woods by the roadside, in the grey mist, a group of people were singing opera in the clearing of the woods. In this Insure street, there are still people singing opera? 
I went to the front, only to see the center of the opera singing seven or eight people, there are leading and supporting roles, the opera sings I do not know what, I think it's just like a melodious, very good to listen to. On one side is the drumming class, there are also seven or eight people, drumming, drumming, playing the arrow, blowing the trumpet, is also a complete set. On the other side, people who also look like the troupe stood behind the actors, each with an expressionless face. And then look at those actors, and drumming class people, are also pale, expressionless, mechanical movements, as if the walking dead general, if not to come close to, completely unimaginable, that the twanging melodious tunes, high loud and clear drums, actually is their performance out. This is too weird. But what was even weirder was yet to come. I sized up the people one by one, my eyes moved forward and then settled on a certain spot. Judging from the scene, this should be the audience. This is where it gets even weirder. Because inside this audience seat, there was only one person. This person looked to be in his fifties, and from the way he was dressed, he felt like a rich man, only that his spirit was very disheveled, and he stood dumbly in front of the theater troupe, all alone, enjoying this bizarre play. I also watched this bizarre scene from the back, the sound of singing in my ears seemed to be very distant, but also seemed to be very close, I looked straight at those people, only to feel that I began to go into a trance, and my feet could not help but, step by step, walk forward. In my eyes, I vaguely saw those theater troupe people, seem to all turn their heads at this time, they didn't stop performing, but one by one, there was a weird light in their eyes, staring at me with a deadpan look. It felt like a pack of hungry wolves staring at a stray sheep. One step, two steps, three steps, four steps. I was getting closer and closer to them, and my sanity was getting more and more disoriented, and in my days, I had almost forgotten who I was, where I was, and what I was doing. With the distance closer, I have seen, that drumming class inside, in the center of the arrow playing that old man, a pair of eyes position, actually he is two black holes. Right at this moment of crisis, suddenly, someone beside me came over in big strides, and let out a broken cry at me. Why did you come here, don't go back yet. This broken shout, let me violently from the days awake, turn around to see, behind me this person is an old man, immortal style, there is a sarcoma on the brain, a not tall, there are a few strands of beard on the chin. Seeing this person, I was suddenly shaken, long ago memory, as if something instantly surged up. When I was young, I was infected with a strange disease, and my life was in danger, and my father took me around to seek medical treatment. Master. I couldn't believe my eyes, this person who suddenly appeared inside the street of the netherworld and woke me up, was actually my master, Trey Half City. In fact, my memory of my master only stays at the age of five, but this memory is too deep, not to mention the fact that my master's looks are so recognizable, similar to that of a birthday old man, as long as he didn't turn into ashes, I would recognize him. Master signaled me to be silent, and then pulled me out of the range of the troop, and only then did those singing songs stop looking at me and continue singing. And that only audience, too, was still there, watching with great interest and fascination. We have been out of a long distance, the master only stopped, measured me two eyes, said, you have not even been out of the horse, and dared to cross the inn, it is simply fooling around, you are also too big guts. I didn't answer his words, but happily pulled him and said, master, I haven't seen you for more than ten years, how did you recognize me? Master guffawed at me and said, brat, just because you haven't seen me, doesn't mean I haven't seen you, your dad sends me your picture every year, you are my Troy Half City's only disciple, if I don't recognize you, what kind of master is that? Looking at my master, I felt a burst of excitement in my heart, inexplicably I felt affectionate, since I entered the hell, this heart has always been hanging, at this moment, suddenly put down a large part of it. Master, why are you here, aren't you dead? Nonsense, whether I'm dead or not is to be said later. I know that today you have a difficult time, so I purposely waited for you here. Master said, pointing to the ghost troop not far away, saying, Don't you want to save someone? The person over there is Zhou Ming Yang. He was obviously talking about the only audience there. I was surprised, so he is Zhou Ming Yang. Master, you can really be unforeseen, even this is calculated. Disciple I really admire the five body, when I if I have one percent of your master's power, I do not have to worry. Master laughed, you less give me a high hat you are willing to use your heart to practice properly, I thank you. This time you run to hell to save people, courage is commendable, but do you know, you just now have gone from the ghost gate? I nodded my head and said, I know now, if it wasn't for master saving me just now, I would have definitely been hit. Master said, that's not what I'm talking about, when you broke through the in soul pass just now, if it wasn't for this life-killing blade on your body, this little life of yours would have been accounted for long ago, and you wouldn't have been able to get here at all. Just now broke through the in soul pass? But that place has nothing ah, just heard a few ghost cries, and then came here. I wondered. Oh, brat, you were letting go of your bladder to save people, all unguarded, that poisonous creature is most interested in raw eggs like you, just now I have already said, thanks to this life-killing blade, or else, what you see is by no means as simple as the ghost's cry, maybe, you are now all torn into pieces. 
Only then did I feel a pang of fear, looking back at the way I came, I asked in confusion, but master, Zhou Mingyang should still be inferior to me, and he's not dead, why? Master looked at me and said, that's because he has too many wrongdoers, all of them are looking for him to settle the score, the score is not yet settled, brat, do you know those things, why did they lure you over just now? Don't know. That's because, this life-killing blade on you is the murder weapon that killed them back then. Ha, huh? I see, then who exactly were they and why did they die under this blade? Hee hee, the answer to that question is up to you to find out. Brat, that painting I told you to look at, do you look at it every day? Master gently stroked his beard and looked at me with doting eyes, yet he didn't seem to take Zhou Mingyang's matter very seriously. It was no wonder, for master, this should be considered a small matter. I communicated with my master once in a while, and replied seriously, pretty much, as long as there's nothing special, I read it every night, and, when I meditated recently, I realized that there seems to be another world in that painting, what's going on? After hearing my answer, master seemed to be in a good mood and laughed, the fact that you can discover the world in the painting shows that you have indeed worked very hard, and the time has not yet come, so master can't divulge the secret. I can only tell you that when you have a day when your consciousness can truly enter that painting, it will be the day when your immortal family comes together and you come out and take your seat. Until then, the stronger you are, the more immortals you will have around you. But you have to remember, that daughter-in-law I asked you to marry is by no means a joke, you must not fail her, if she is in danger, do your best and fight for your life to protect her, lest you regret it yourself later. Master's words were word for word, I carefully memorized them in my heart, but the last sentence made me laugh bitterly, and said to my master, Master, now it's all about her coming to my aid when I'm in danger, and you say that you want me to help her, to save her, and that's really not known to be the day of the monkey. That day, shouldn't be too far away. Master looked at me deeply, suddenly sighed and said, You and I are master and disciple, but it's a pity that our meeting is too short, with your current Tao, you can't stay here for a long time, quickly go and save Zhou Mingyang, go back. Remember, accumulate good deeds, diligently cultivate blessings, in the future, we still have the opportunity to meet. I suddenly felt a thousand times reluctant to part with my life, pulling my master and saying, Master, don't worry, I will definitely cultivate well in the future, when I can casually pass through the inn, I will come to see you, by the way, what kind of food do you like to eat? When I come back next time, I'll bring it over for you, I made a fortune a few days ago, whatever you want to eat, don't be polite. Master was amused by me and said, do you still think that passing through the netherworld is any fun? I'm only afraid that you won't think so when you get there. As for the food, don't bother. The day you and I see each other again is master and disciple isn't too far away. Also that money you earned is by no means a blessing for us cultivators, I advise you, it's better not to be complacent with it, beware of getting into trouble. After saying these words, master then gave me some low instructions and told me the way to save Zhou Mingyang. After Master finished speaking, he also seriously told me that saving Zhou Mingyang was only the first step, as the saying goes, everything in this world has a cause and effect, in order to dissolve this karmic obstacle, it is necessary to find out the root cause of this matter. I solemnly nodded, and knelt down to count out of the Master three times, thinking of this meeting, I do not know when and how long I will see you again, my heart is sour. When I stood up again, Master had already disappeared. I looked around me, only to find that the fog is filled with Ian, where in front of me there is Wadingji Street, I am clearly still in the woods just now. By my ears, there was still the sound of ghosts crying and howling, faintly appearing. At the same time, a thin and inaudible singing sound, also not far in front, through the boundless Ian fog, into my ears. I understood at once, Master's death must be fishy, just now Master helped me, I don't know whether it is subconscious instinctively floated, or because Master is right in front of my eyes. But at this time, I cannot return to reality, I must twist my consciousness into a rope, and awaken Zhou Mingyang's consciousness with a single blow. Thinking of this, my confidence doubled, even though the surroundings were still cloudy and foggy, and the ghosts cried endlessly, I tightly gripped the life-killing blade, remembering my master's instructions in my heart, and headed in the direction of the singing voice. Perhaps this life-killing blade is really magical, all the way, basically did not encounter anything, walking, I suddenly saw in a piece of fog, a person stood in place, the surrounding empty but he was as if he was possessed, looking at the void in front of him, stagnant, godless gaze, sometimes giggling, as if he was looking at something. This person, was clearly none other than Zhou Mingyang, who had just been watching the show alone there. But at this moment, there was nothing around him, what exactly was he looking at? I thought for a moment, then realized. Those opera singers are all looking for Zhou Mingyang to claim their lives. Earlier, Huang Xufeng also said that in the nether soul pass, they all created too many sins, and the souls of their debtors are waiting there to claim their lives, and others can intervene. That is to say, who is the debtor, who can see, and others cannot see, and cannot help? To put it bluntly, this Zhou Mingyang also fell into the illusion, only those poisons cause, his illusion naturally only he can see. But in the time just now, I have already seen the troop, 
which means that I am already very close to the poisonous substances around Zhou Ming Yang, these poisonous substances should be refined with the flesh of a living person, tainted with some human habits, which will make one's consciousness enter into some of the things that the host used to do from time to time before he or she was alive. I remember very clearly, just to the right of Zhou Ming Yang, where the drumming class was, the old man in the center playing the arrow, the two creepy black holes in his eyes. With the killing blade in hand, I came to Zhou Ming Yang's side, but he still ignored it, and seemed to not see my presence at all, and was still godless watching the show alone there, and the expression on his face was getting stranger and stranger, while his feet couldn't help but start walking forward. Just now, my master clearly told me that if Zhou Ming Yang became mesmerized by the opera and walked into the middle of those ghost troop actors, he would become a member of the troop forever, never to return. Seeing this, I immediately rushed to the middle of the drumming troop and said aloud, Old troop master, as the saying goes, there is a head for every grievance. Today I came here. One is not for him to plead for mercy. The second is not to stop you guys from taking revenge. I came to return this killing blade. All of you open your eyes to see if it was this blade that killed you back then. If it was, then this blade is your enemies. And if you have any grievances, feel free to come at this. Blade. As soon as the words fell out of my mouth, I held the life-killing blade in my hand high above my head and with the memory in my mind, I took a few steps forward and handed it to the front of the old class master. In fact, I can't see it at all now, but I think it should be almost in this position. However, when I walked over and raised the life-killing blade, and when I spoke these words, the sounds of the opera and the gongs and drums in my ears suddenly disappeared and stopped. In the next moment, right in front of my eyes probably less than half a meter, a pair of black holes without eyes appeared, just in time to meet my eyes. Although I had prepared myself mentally, this scene still made my heart skip a beat, and subconsciously I wanted to take a step back, but remembering my master's instructions, I forced myself to hold back. This Nima, the illusion is too real, hell I don't know what the person who created these poisons in the first place, it's still my first time. In order to ease my tension, I looked around, but I was even more startled. In such a short while, dozens of people had already appeared around me, almost exactly the same as what I had just seen in the illusion. Opera singers, odd jobbers, drumming groups, as far as the eye could see, there must be at least 30 to 40 people combined. Everyone is expressionless, with a strange gaze, staring at me in unison, the eyes are full of resentment, and anger, and fear. In all directions, there was a dead silence. Those people are not moving in place, as if a clay wooden sculpture, including the old man who pulls the arrow in front of me, is also motionless, but the eyes of the black hole in general, is still dead looking at me, chilling. Compared to this, those poisonous insects I had seen before were nothing. I held the life-killing blade in both my hands, and I also didn't dare to move a muscle. Just now, Master told me that these things, what they hate the most is actually the murder weapon that kills them. This is like someone being bitten by a dog, when he sees the dog again in the future, he must be resentful, but more than that, he is afraid of being bitten again, so he will walk around it. This is the shadow from the bottom of the heart. As the saying goes, once bitten by a snake, ten years in fear of a well rope, that's what it is all about. This is true for human beings, and it is true for any living creature, it's called instinct. If a person has drowned once, he will definitely stay away from water next time, the same reason. If I don't move, they won't move. Master said, this is the time to compete, if I am first shocked by their momentum, afraid, retreat, they will overwhelm me, no matter what, rushing up will first tear me apart, and then Zhou Ming Yang, one cannot escape. So, now I am using my own willpower alone to gamble with the consciousness that these 30 to 40 poisonous creatures have been transformed into, betting that they are afraid of the life-killing blade in my hand, betting that they don't dare to act rashly. But this pressure is huge, not to mention, in the dozens of ghosts and shadows under the gaze, but also at the risk of being torn apart at any time, this taste. Thief's sour. Time passes little by little, I feel that I have already passed almost half an hour. Fortunately now is the state of the soul, otherwise lifting so long, the arm is sour. And any one of my slightest move now, may be alarmed to offend them, so as to make irrational retaliatory behavior. Just as I was trying to restrain myself, Zhou Ming Yang, who was still there like a fool just a moment ago, had gradually come to his senses. He first looked around with a confused face, and when he found those ghostly shadows, he was so scared that he let out a cry of surprise with a mama's cry. Ghosts! His voice didn't matter, those poisonous creatures whose attention was originally on me looked at him again in unison. Oh no! Zhou Ming Yang pulled out his legs and ran after shouting that. The balance that I had managed to maintain was instantly shattered, and those ghostly shadows immediately abandoned me, roaring angrily as they ran after Zhou Ming Yang with a brain. I stomped my foot hard, thinking that this is not a blind delay, so I have worked for half a day here for nothing. But Zhou Ming Yang panicked, headlong into the shadowy fog, I see the situation is not good, immediately also chased over, holding the life-saving blade to open the way, those ghosts have to get out of the way, actually do not dare to confront me. I quickly rushed to the front, a pull Zhou Ming Yang's wrist, to my way wildly. If I save you from getting out, how are you going to thank me? Zhou Ming Yang's scared soul flew away, in short, 
he was scared that his whole body was bad, hearing me say this, he was busy responding. If you can really save me out, I'll give you a tablet at home, no, I'll go to the temple to give you a tablet, the first 15 days of the first day of the year to burn incense and offerings to you, and give you dumplings on New Year's festivals, and you're short of money at any time to come and find me, how much do you want to have how much ah? Dare he take me as a ghost, if not the situation is critical, I almost poof music out, while pulling him to run, while saying, open your eyes to see, I'm not a ghost, I'm here to save you, your wife is still at home waiting for you, listen, from now on, no matter what you hear what to see, listen to my command, do not run around, or we one cannot get out of here, I'm not going to be able to get out of here, ah, well well, big brother, I listen to you, as long as you can save me, after you are my father living ancestor, I wash your feet every day can ah, in order to live, people really can do anything and say anything. Looking at his shameless and terrified appearance, I cannot help but secretly sigh, and said that people ah, or more life-preserving. Shut your mouth, don't look at anything, don't think about anything, just follow me. I hold the life-killing blade, all the way running forward, Zhou Ming Yang closely behind me, I do not know what is the situation in reality, anyway, in the consciousness, I pulled Zhou Ming Yang a burst of trotting, in the blink of an eye rushed into the piece of cloudy fog forest just now. I vaguely remember the way I came, my feet kept running, but the 34 black shadows behind me did not relax a step, still in hot pursuit. I took the time to look back and was startled. Good guy, just now the ghost troop all out, one also took the gongs and drums guy, carrying a trumpet, carrying a luchine, in front of the lead that old man, two eyes a pair of black holes, hand carrying the arrow, running the most joy. Behind him, the several actors with makeup wearing ancient costumes are also teeth and claws, a look to catch us after eating alive. I don't know, this Zhou Ming Yang their family in the past how to offend such a group of great masters, playing life to get Zhou Ming Yang ah. I know, in fact, because I did not get rid of those poisonous things, so the illusion of the realm again shrouded me. In fact, this road is not too long, I have been running along the way forward, thinking that this is still quite easy, there is a killing blade to open the way, even if there is something in the surrounding fog, but also do not dare to approach. But I overlooked one thing, is that the more people in this moment, the more likely to relax vigilance, especially my thoughts just up, perhaps to hit me in the face, perhaps because my thoughts stirred up the illusion of consciousness, in short, I ran forward again not a few steps, suddenly appeared in front of a cemetery. Seeing the scene, I can't help but stare, the graveyard in front of me seems to be deja vu, then take a closer look, I immediately remembered. This is not the second year of junior high school, I went with a few classmates in the middle of the night to practice gallbladder that place? However, I took Zhou Ming Yang to escape, how suddenly crossed. Thinking of this, I glanced back at Zhou Ming Yang, and then was startled again. This big brother did not know when actually turned into my female classmates, wearing a school uniform with a ponytail, scared of the color, the face is snot and tears what all, the eyes are completely a, as long as you save me today, some other day, the little girl to the body of the promise so a stream of meaning. Look at this look, I heart this regret, said back then or too pure, why did not see this layer of meaning it? I just saw a dazed effort, the surrounding fog suddenly probed out countless tentacles, have to grab over to us. Oh no, it must be another new illusion, created because of the thoughts in my own mind, so the graveyard in front of us, and the female classmate that Zhou Ming Yang had turned into, must all be fake. But these ghostly hands around me, 80% are real. I was also in a hurry, handing over the dog fighting stick to Zhou Ming Yang, holding the life killing blade myself, clenching my teeth, I simply gave up. Those who stand in my way die, those who let me live, great mighty heavenly dragon, world honored earth store, Prajna Buddhas, Prajna Balama Kong. In the past few days in the apartment idol boredom, watched a Maggie Chung Manyak Jiaowenjua acting in the movie Green Snake, this situation is urgent, a moment of brain pumping, somehow this line came to mind. I keep shouting Dao Wei Tianlong, just like a young man in the middle, holding a life-saving blade all the way to hack and kill the past, Zhou Ming Yang followed me, holding a dog stick is also shouting, but he shouted and I shouted differently, as if it is the six words of Buddhism, OM Mani Pad Muham. The two of us so all the way to shouting, shouting after the great powerful Tianlong, I read the cartoon lines as a child, as long as it is bullish and wildly cool a little bit, I'll shout it again. Finally, I do not know which sentence played a role, or our two momentum is too full, and was really hard to break out of us. A head rushed out of the cloudy fog, the illusion in front of us disappeared at first glance, a straight road in front of us, surrounded by a grey world. Out. I glanced back happily, but saw Zhou Mingyang changed back to her original appearance, no longer my female classmate. I was still a little disappointed in my heart, and was about to talk to him, when suddenly, a group of wronged and evil spirits rushed out of the nether fog, pouncing on Zhou Mingyang's body, and it was actually the theater troupe that had just been there. They even chased after him from the In Soul Pass, and countless evil spirits pressed Zhou Mingyang underneath them, crazily gnawing and scratching, as if they really wanted to tear him into pieces. Zhou Mingyang's miserable screams continued, I wanted to go forward to save him with my life-killing blade, but a hand suddenly poked out beside me and pressed down on my shoulder. Don't move, it doesn't matter if you let him suffer a bit. 
This person who appeared beside me was Huang Quick Run. Once I saw that it was him, this heart fell to the ground, but I came to hell this time to save Zhou Ming Yang, if I didn't save him, could I just watch him get torn apart by that group of poisonous creatures? If that's the case, then what am I going through all this trouble for, to see him die with my own eyes? Seeing that I was puzzled, Huang Quick Run explained, just now you ran in a big circle, is it useful? I can only say that the method is not right, the method of dissolution is not here. Diffuse, how to diffuse? I know, that yellow fast running is a weasel, he stopped me should be true, but the speech is certainly nonsense, this is all my own question and answer, I am dissecting the solution to this matter. Sometimes people are like this, a lot of things ask themselves, will be able to find the answer, but subconsciously, I still think of the yellow fast running as a real person, just like I treat the python smallpox. And at this time, as long as the scenario was brought into it, what bulls, ghosts, snakes and gods, it is all alive, more real than watching a movie. This is the deepest level of illusion in the subconscious mind. Looking at the Zhou Mingyang constantly crying out for help, I was anxious, said at least this is a 200,000 business, high and low also have to save him back ah. Yellow fast running thought for a moment and said, you will read the great compassion mantra, or the diamond sutra? Sutra? I don't know the two you mentioned, I have read them, but I can't memorize them. The only one I can memorize is the Prajna Paramitha Heart Sutra. To say the Buddhist scriptures, I did read some of them, but the Great Compassion Mantra was too awkward, and the Diamond Sutra was too long, so I only remembered some of them sporadically, but only this Heart Sutra. Whenever I was distracted, I would memorize a section, so this one I remembered clearly. Huang Quick Run nodded, then try reciting the Heart Sutra to them, hum it out, outsiders hear it, maybe they'll know what's going on, and you'll have a boost. This is also a dead horse as a living horse. I do not dare to delay time, immediately went forward a few steps, I want to imagine the usual meditation like sitting on the ground, but think about it or forget about it, in case the group of vicious wolves to run to me later, standing is easier to escape. So I put my hands together, stood in front of the crowd of black shadows ten paces away, let my mind tranquil, began to chant. Guan Zi Zai Bodhisattva, when practicing deep Prajnaparamitha, he sees that the five skandhas are all empty and eliminates all suffering. Sharizi, color does not differ from emptiness, emptiness does not differ from color, color is emptiness, emptiness is color, and the same is true for feelings, thoughts, actions, and senses. Shariputra, all dermas are empty, not born, not extinguished, not impure, not increasing, not decreasing. Therefore, there is no color in the air, no consciousness, no eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body and mind, no color, sound, smell or touch, no eye sector, and even no consciousness sector. There is no ignorance, nor is there any into ignorance, nor is there any into old age and death. There is no suffering, collection and destruction, no wisdom and no attainment, because there is no attainment. Bodhisattva, in accordance with Prajna Paramitha, has a mind free from attachment, and since it is free from attachment, it has no fear, and is free from perverted dreams, and is in nirvana. The Buddhas of the three worlds, according to Prajna Paramitha, have attained Avalokiteshvara Bodhi. Therefore, the Prajna Paramitha, is a great mantra, is a great mantra, is the supreme mantra, is the incomparable mantra, can remove all suffering, the real is not false. Therefore, the Prajna Paramitha mantra is said, I, E. The mantra is said, Jyotisha Jyotisha, Pola Jyotisha, Pola Sangha Jyotisha, Bodhisattva. This Prajna Paramitha Heart Sutra, a total of more than 300 words, in order to save people, I recited three or four times in one breath. But over there Zhou Mingyang clothes are almost torn, screams gradually weakened, those evil ghosts still do not see any reaction. Until I recited the fifth time, the movements of those evil spirits finally slowed down, as if my chanting had finally reached their ears, and one by one they stopped and listened with their ears. At this time, my spiritual platform is clear, my heart is quiet and peaceful, looking at these hideous and horrible guys, actually not a little bit of fear, but instead, my heart is full of compassion and mercy. Buddha has a cloud, all living beings are suffering, these things are actually the same as us, are all living beings, what they do at this time, in their eyes is normal, there is no problem, I was born to drive them away from Zhou Ming Yang, it is equivalent to the same as the demolition, so they are actually quite bitter. In a flash, countless enlightenments floated up in my mind, and the heart sutra in my mouth unknowingly changed. All bodhisattvas mahasattvas should subdue their minds as such. All sentient beings and the like, if they are oviparous, if they are fetal, if they are wet, if they are transformed, if they are colored, if they are colorless, if they are thoughtful, if they are thoughtless, if they are non-thoughtful, and if they are non-thoughtful, I cause all of them to be extinguished by entering non-surplus nirvana. Such is the extinction of infinite, countless and boundless sentient beings, and there are really no sentient beings who have been extinguished. If there is a good man, a good woman with bodhisattva, who holds on to the sutra, even the four verses, etc., and who holds it, reads it, and recites it, and speaks it for others, his or her blessings will be greater than theirs. What is the reason why one should speak for others, without taking in the appearance, 
as if one were immovable, and why, for example, all existent dermas are like dreams and bubbles, like dew and electricity, and should be viewed as such. By the time I got to this point in the chanting, I had unknowingly memorized bits and pieces of the Diamond Sutra. I started to recite the Diamond Sutra when I was a teenager, and I know that this Diamond Sutra can help to elevate the wrongdoers and debtors, and the monks in the temples in my hometown used to say that reciting this sutra can help the wrongdoers and debtors to be born into a good place, and make those who are already born into a good place to increase their blessings, and it can also help to make people break the doubts and generate the beliefs, and make them break the confusion and enlightenment, and straighten them out and make them become a Buddha. After reciting this paragraph, all those guys stopped moving. As I kept chanting, Zhou Mingyang rolled and crawled back from there, but this time, all the black shadows didn't stop him, as if they couldn't see this person in front of them at all, and all their attention was focused on me. Until Zhou Mingyang hid behind me, I saw out of the corner of my eye, Huang Quick Run had already led that big rooster over, and that rooster was well behaved and lowbrow in Huang Quick Run's hands. If there is someone again, hear this classic. Faith is not rebellious. His blessings are better than theirs. Not to mention writing and accepting to read and recite. To explain it to others. Sabhuti. In a word, the sutra is inconceivable. It is immeasurable. Boundless virtues. The Buddha speaks for those who have developed the Mahayana, for those who have developed the supreme vehicle. If anyone can accept it and read it, he says it widely for others. Ka knows this person. He knows. Seeing this person, they all achieve the immeasurable. Unmeasurable. There are no boundaries. Unbelievable virtues. Such people and so on. That is, they are loaded with Rudraksha's Avalokiteshvara. In fact, I recite this section of the Diamond Sutra upside down, before a section after a section of my own cannot tell which, just go with the heart to recite. Until after the recitation of this sentence, the old man who was in charge, the arrow in his hand fell to the ground without a sound. Those other black shadows, originally fierce and vicious faces also gradually returned to their expressionless appearance, stagnant. I don't know who started at first, but there was suddenly a low sob in the group of ghosts. This sobbing sound soon became a piece, and two lines of tears silently flowed out of that old man's black hole-like eye position. However, there was still not a single person who spoke throughout. Their unwillingness, their hatred, and their resentment seemed to have finally gotten some venting and release at this moment. Zhou Mingyang looked at this scene, but his expression was incomparably complex, he was a bit miserable at this time, all over the body is injured, clothes torn, face is also scratched bleeding, the body of a piece of purple, can be described as all over the body scars. But fortunately, his life is finally saved. Silence in all directions, but at this time, a sound of drums, as if from the sky, into my ears. Listen carefully, but this drum sound is like a burst of shaman god drum sound. Could it be that crippled Guo was rushing me? After coming to hell for so long, I don't know how much time has passed, so it seems like they are in a hurry up there. But now that things are not finished on this side, I fixed my mind and said to those evil ghosts, all existent dermas are like dreams and bubbles, like dew and electricity, and should be viewed as such. Your past lives are over, now the hatred in your heart should also be put down, if you are still obsessed with this, this pain in the end to be entangled until when? Why don't you let go of your obsessions early and go to the next life? I put my hands together, seemingly dignified, in fact, the heart fluttering drums, thinking that I took the initiative to resolve their grudges, I do not know if it can work. Of course, only rely on the chanting of these few scriptures, expect to let them give up Zhou Mingyang, obviously unrealistic, but I also did not think so much, just want to take Zhou Mingyang back to reality as long as they do not continue to chase us, I thank them. Hearing my words, the crowd of black shadows slowly lowered their heads and remained silent, but I could clearly see that there were quite a few black shadows whose faces were still indignant and hard to get rid of, as if the hatred in their hearts had long been deeply rooted and lingering. Don't worry, no matter how the Zhou family has owed you and hurt you, this karma they can't hide from, but the person who hurt you is not Zhou Mingyang, he has now suffered for his ancestors and is being tortured as if he were worse than death, if you have to take his life, if I don't take you today, someone else will also take you. If you all let go of your hatred now, I will definitely let Zhou Mingyang find you all a new home. Every yearly festival, I will also let him give you more food. My words obviously worked, and they each looked at me blankly, as if they were trying to hear the meaning of my words. They were living creatures, and conscious ones at that, and in a way they already had the ability to differentiate, it was just a matter of relying on some instincts to make sense of what I was saying. So for them, it takes a little time to digest. In fact, I don't know if I said it or not, because this is after all an illusion, a mental world I imagined, half-truths, as well as illusions inflicted on me by the other party, but I know that since I said it, I must have done something in reality, I just don't know it clearly right now. I was going to say something more, but that drumming in my ears was getting more and more urgent, and it was also getting clearer and clearer, as if it was pounding in my ears. Huang Quick Run looked up at the sky and said, we have come to the netherworld for too long, we must hurry to go back, or else once the underworld path is closed, I will be fine, but you may not be able to go back. 
My heart tightened, eyes those black shadows are quiet, a thoughtful look, take this opportunity to rush with Zhou Mingyang on the jump on the big rooster, ears listening to the direction of the sound of the divine drums, spread out and run. Yellow fast running behind and followed for a while, see we are safe, then no longer follow, and then rushed to me and shouted. Little fragrant child, your master left something for you, I have put it in your pocket, remember, in the future, if something happens, just shout my name on the line. This big rooster feet wind, running fast, I do not know how in the end it recognizes the road, in any case, I also do not know the road, I think what cripple they naturally have a way, but also do not care. I hold tight to the neck of the big rooster, Zhou Ming Yang in the back to hold tight to my waist, the big rooster spread legs and flew, the surrounding scenery quickly backward, gradually began to become blurred. Then, in front of the convenience of a little light appeared again, the big rooster ran towards the light, getting closer and closer, to run to the near future, my brain suddenly a confusion, suddenly lost consciousness. When I woke up again, the drums in my ears were still there, shaking my head buzzing, opened my eyes, it turned out to have returned to reality, only I was no longer on the mat, many footprints around, there are still some wreckage, what crippled sacred drums were pestled in my ears, and they were banging for all they were worth. There was a flash of yellow light out of the corner of my eye and it seemed like a weasel had run out, I didn't see it. Dead Gua Cripple, you want to shock me to death ah? I want to roll over and climb up, but my body is no strength at all, just sat up and stumbled, just like just fought a vicious battle, or ran 5 kilometers cross country, waist sore legs soft, just stifling, wherever it is difficult. Gua Cripple then stopped drumming, busy greeting the people around me to help me, He Yu Chin also looked at me with a concerned face, but her concern, for some reason, I seemed to vaguely see a hint of cunning. My mind was dizzy, I got up and sat aside, pointing at the still unconscious Zhou Mingyang, I said, the poison in his body has been separated by me, but at this point it has not yet left, and it may erupt again at any time, you guys be careful to help him to rest, don't fool around with anything. The Zhou family rushed to follow the words and went to do it, Zhou Mingyang's wife came over and thanked me a thousand times, I was paralyzed there after saying these words, waved my hand at her and said, don't thank me, you'd better go and thank the chicken, if not for its help today, none of us can come back. At this time, that chicken has been lying on the ground, curl up together, the spirit is depressed to the extreme, a pair of eyes half open, half closed, hanging head, seems to die at any time. Qua Cripple went over to check the next, said, this trip is too long, it is also difficult for this small golden chicken, today it if life is not dead, you Zhou family have to raise it, not allowed to kill even more not allowed to eat, give it a good send off, understand? Understand, this is a life saver, I must raise it up properly and send it to its death. Zhou Mingyang's wife responded busily, at this time, not to mention letting her raise the rooster, or even playing a board to the rooster as an ancestor, probably she would be happy. He Yu Chen walked over, at this time she has returned to normal, look at the eyes no it is her. She touched my wrist pulse, nodded and said, nothing serious, just tired, this trip, must be very dangerous, right? Her expression is a bit like a smile, I rolled my eyes, grunted and said, more than dangerous, almost threw his life, I also wondered, your old Zhou family in the end when offended by a group of theater troupe, which is not my bold and careful courageous and fearless to forget life and death, Zhou Mingyang just now was swallowed alive by that group of ghosts. Theater troupe? Zhou Mingyang's wife's face changed when she heard my words. It was then that I remembered that so far, no one else but me knew what the thing that had been pestering Zhou Mingyang to death was. But looking at her eyes, it was obvious that she knew something. I have something that I want to show you guys. She suddenly said. She looked a bit grave, her gaze wandering, as if she had remembered something terrible in this moment. I stood up, wanting to go with her to see it, but my hand inadvertently touched my coat pocket, which seemed to contain something. I reached inside and pulled out a palm-sized pamphlet with a few words written on it. Notes of the Exodus Immortal. It was a grass-green booklet, the kind of work diary from the past, and when I saw the few words on the cover, my heart jumped suddenly, and then my body got a little hot for no reason, and in just a few moments, even my face got hot with it. In the illusion, Yellow Fast Running had told me that Master had left something for me, he had put it in my pocket, at that time did not think much about it, but now, this is actually true. My heart and mind were shaken, and I violently looked towards my surroundings, but did not see that figure, but I know, my Master should not be dead, just now so dangerous situation, must be he used some method to help me, and left me this booklet, just, how did he do it? Because if my Master had been here, there's no way he Yu Chen and the others could have acted as if they hadn't seen anything. Worthy of being my master, this tactic, I still have a lot to learn. I really want to open the booklet right now immediately to see what kind of content is recorded inside, but unfortunately, He Yu Chen's voice came from the front. Chor Yifun, come over and take a look. I put away this Exodus Immortals notebook and came to the room where I had just taken the killing blade, Zhou Mingyang's wife was pointing at an item in the box, her face was ugly. I walked over and took a look into the box, only to realize that in the depths of the box, there was a broken and ancient arrow stored. Zhou Mingyang's wife obviously didn't dare to touch it, as she pointed at the arrow and said, this thing, which has always been kept with that knife, I didn't know what was going on before, 
but just now when I heard Mr. Little say that, I remembered that in the past, when I first married into their family, I had heard of a story that had something to do with this Eru. She told us that it was still almost 20 years ago, not long after she had just passed away, and one day when she was tidying up her room, she found this chest. She wanted to open it then and take a look, but the chest was locked, and triple locked, so she didn't know what was inside. People are curious, she looked for Zhou Mingyang to ask, Zhou Mingyang at first refused to say, and then had no choice but to tell her that there is an arrow inside the box, which is said to be left behind by his grandfather. As for the reason for the lock, because the arrow was very evil, Zhou Mingyang said, some years ago that the arrow often in the middle of the night when the sound of their own, like someone in the pole arrow, but there is nothing rhythmic rhythm, issued a piercing and strange sound. Zhou Mingyang's father had sent the arrow out a few times, but for some reason, every time he sent it out a few days later, he heard that sound again at night, and then opened the box to see that the arrow was still lying in the box. Later, Zhou Mingyang's father found a thing, only to suppress the arrow, since then, the box has been locked, never opened. Later, after almost 10 years, Zhou Mingyang's father died, dying temperament change, always babbling, say some other people who do not understand words. One morning, he suddenly said he wanted to see the arrow, tone and demeanor is like a different person, Zhou Mingyang's wife had to go to open the box, take out the arrow, Zhou Mingyang's father to see the arrow, as if to see an old friend, actually set up a posture, played the arrow, but before that, he didn't even touch the arrow, let alone play it. That time, he pulled the arrow sad sad, a family is creepy, and so the arrow finished, Zhou Mingyang father suddenly laughed three times, and cried three times, fell to the ground dead. After this incident, the evil arrow was locked up again, until today, only to see the light of day. Therefore, for this era she has been grudgingly, especially after this storm, and then heard me mention a theater troupe looking for the Zhou family to claim their lives, she immediately remembered the era thing. After listening to Zhou Mingyang's wife, He Yu Chen and I glanced at each other, and then coincidentally gazed at the arrow in the box. From the surface, this arrow was at least a few decades old, and even though it was well preserved, it couldn't hide the odor of decay. I took the arrow out and took a closer look, then I unconsciously remembered the troop master, the old man with the black eyes, in the illusionary realm. Although I didn't pay too much attention to the arrow in his hand at that time, but when I think about it now, I inexplicably feel that what he used should be the same arrow in my hand now. Could it be that Zhou Mingyang's grandfather once killed a troop of people, only left behind this arrow, so after that, this arrow has always appeared in their subconscious mind, ringing from time to time, stirring up their family for decades is not peaceful? Thinking of this, I put down the arrow, and said to Zhou Mingyang's wife, this matter must be investigated clearly, this arrow should be the root cause of so many things that have happened in your family, but this arrow can't just be given away, do you know why? Why? She asked warily. Oh, because the debt your family owes to others has not been paid, of course it cannot be sent away. Debt? What kind of debt? The debt of human life. I said this sentence, Zhou Mingyang's wife couldn't help but be agitated for a moment, her face then turned pale. Just then, someone suddenly shouted in the living room, and it sounded like it should be Zhou Mingyang waking up. I put down my arrow and went to see Zhou Mingyang with Yu Chen, and when I came to his bedroom, Zhou Mingyang had just been helped and sat up from the bed. What's more surprising is that his duck egg face has already recovered its original appearance. I was very relieved, I didn't work for nothing, in fact, before he turned into a duck egg face, that's because the poison covered his face, so it looks very scary, now the poison has gone to the other parts of his body, so his face is exposed. After seeing me, Zhou Mingyang pushed away the people on both sides, flopped on his knees and cowed out on the ground, and actually bawled, while crying while holding my thighs, seemingly afraid that there will be weird things to claim his life. This look is scared out of his wits, I remembered in the illusion, he was surrounded by dozens of black shadows in the middle of the scene, but also a burst of emotion, for an ordinary person, I'm afraid that this experience will be the shadow of his life. Because that was all really happening in the illusion of Zhou Mingyang's brain, more real than the movie. But there is no way, the first man-made sins, often have to bear the younger generation, especially he is still a rich man, if he is a poor man, bitter and hard all his life, the body is strong, tough-minded, then he will have to bear the pain may also be a little less. As the saying goes, what you get is what you lose, the way of heaven is the balance of yin and yang, some people are rich and powerful, it is because he is lucky, but if he does not know how to cherish his blessings in this life, do whatever he wants to do, and so on, when his luck runs out, that is when he will suffer. There are also some people who are not capable of possessing so much wealth or power, but he got it through his own efforts, but at this time, something uncontrollable may happen to make him break his fortune and avoid disaster. For example, when I was a child, my family had a distant relative, counting or my uncle grandfather, bad people, greedy for money and sex, memory of their family is particularly poor, and then because of his several children diligently able to suffer, the days are getting better and better. Their family had a total of three sons, a daughter, one by one, the family is doing well, in our place is also regarded as the upper class family. But a few years ago, their family started to have accidents. First, his second son, while working, 
unfortunately stirred a hand into the machine, at that time only a layer of skin connected to the hospital did not save, amputation. Then his third son died in a car accident. It was said that he was driving a van that collided head-on with a big truck, and the van became a piece of paper. Another two years later, his eldest son's son, that is, my uncle's grandfather's eldest grandson, suddenly came down with a strange disease, dumped his family's money to save his life, but the person also turned into a fool like, a lot of people don't recognize, almost a waste of time. Immediately after is his only daughter, when his daughter gave birth to the eldest son, is a congenital deaf and mute, and then grow to more than 20 years of age, a car accident, and took away his life. Whenever this uncle grandfather is mentioned in the family, my father has a very disdainful expression, saying that his character and morality are not good, clouds and so on. In fact, this is a person's moral behavior out of the problem, although usually do not feel how, but will subconsciously affect the people around them, driving in a trance, binge drinking, etc. And finally caused uncontrollable results. Anything to think scientifically, in fact, there are explanations, like what I just experienced, to put it bluntly, it is similar to schizophrenia, genius and neuropathy only a line of separation, I was in the brain composition, constructed a dream world, and then the reality of waving his arm, saved Zhou Mingyang, is such a reason. This is pretty much the same meaning as Wei Xiaobao's inner monologue in the Deer Tripods. Zhou Mingyang at this time in front of me cried bitterly, a room of people are sad and happy, Zhou Mingyang cried for a while and then hugged his wife and cried, as if regaining a new life. Just at this time, this large villa inside, suddenly rang a burst of arrow sound, sad, creepy. This room of people, suddenly heard the weird arrow sound, although it is broad daylight, but still scared not light, one by one shouted and screamed, do not know where to hide. I have just returned from hell, it is the time of boldness, said that the ghost pass I have broken through, but also afraid of you a small arrow? I came to the living room with big strides, found the life-killing blade that fell on the sofa just now, and then went straight to the direction where the arrow sound came from. Those people have a few bold, including Yu Chen, also followed me, want to go to find out, I came to the door of that room, pushed open the hidden door, and was about to use the killing blade of the baneful gas to suppress these bizarre arrow, but the scene in the room, but let me immediately deflated, crying and laughing. It turned out that Gua Cripple did not know when he entered this room, took out that arrow from the box, and was playing it there. I say you are idle right, we are talking about this arrow haunted things, you pull the arrow here, you are not want to scare a few dead is not it? Gua crippled stopped, he 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 smile, just heard that this arrow haunted, I'm a little curious, wanna come over to try, you don't say, this arrow looks shabby, the tone is quite good, good your big head ghost. I went forward and snatched the arrow down, then threw it back into the box. The others also realized that it turned out to be a false alarm, and unanimously breathed a sigh of relief, Zhou Mingyang warily walked over, and said to me, little sir, please also help you to help to the end, and help our family send this thing away, and if there were any grievances in the past, please also trouble you to take the trouble to dissolve them for us. I glanced at him and said, do you still remember what happened to you in hell? He nodded blankly, then shook his head again and said, seems like I remember, but I can't remember, I feel like I had a very scary dream, a bunch of ghosts surrounded me and demanded for my life, but I didn't know what was going on, I just remembered that it was you who rescued me later on, and also, it seems like the two of us were riding a chicken together. This also sounds a bit awkward, I said to him speechlessly, forget about the chicken first, those ghosts are looking for you to claim your life, but the problem should not be with you, but with your grandfather. There were a bit too many people around at this point, so I asked Zhou Mingyang to drive away all the other unrelated ones first, leaving the two of them, as well as Yu Chen and Gua Cripple. We went back to the living room, I was playing with the life-killing blade in my hand, then I said to him, you must tell me first now, what exactly did your grandfather do back then that was so outrageous, how did he kill those people in the theater troupe, if you know about all these things, you should tell me directly, don't ever hide it. Anyway, your grandfather is long gone, and there won't be any police to arrest him, much less come to arrest you, but if you don't tell me, those things, will keep pestering you, because the evil that your grandfather committed, they will be looking for at least three generations, or even five generations, maybe they won't stop until your Joe family is broken. He Chen also said along with it, that's right, and it's useless even if you don't want to talk about it, just now through that arrow, I've already seen an old man who had his eyes gouged out, and just now when Mr. Guo was playing the arrow, he stood next to him, and even though he didn't have his eyes anymore, he was staring at you all the time. She said this, even I feel a cold wind on the back of my spine, thinking that this chick can ah, really a bit of Taoism, surely when I was in the illusion, my mouth said some fragments, was her present catch. It seems that I'm not a horse, and people are still a cut behind. Zhou Mingyang and his wife's face instantly became pale, busy to my side to get together, said, small mister. Do not lie to you, my grandfather are gone for almost 50 years, when I was less than 4 years old, I really do not know the years things are, about this arrow, my father also said, my grandfather used to love listening to the opera, this arrow is his unintentional, said to be the yellow pear, especially expensive, it's especially valuable, 
Zhou Mingyang began to tell up, he said, since his grandfather died, his father has been to keep the arrow, one is worth a lot of money, the second is to leave a thought. But later, this arrow to the middle of the night on their own ringing, make quite scary, they guessed, is not his grandfather came back in the middle of the night, rare rare his precious arrow? At first, they didn't take it seriously, so they burned incense and paper to his grandfather and told him to live a good life over there and not to come back to scare the family. At that time stopped for a period of time, but not long, it began to make trouble again, and then Zhou Mingyang's father had no choice but to find someone to ask, the results of the people came to take a look, said that it is not the old man back, it is the arrow above something, stirring up trouble in the family home. Later, with Zhou Mingyang's wife about the same, this arrow sent out a few times, but every time they can come back, no way, Zhou Mingyang's father in the home to find a townhouse of the ancient knife, which only let the arrow subsided down. Until Zhou Mingyang's father died of illness, this era once again, and then to the present, this era was almost like their family's natural enemy nemesis, every time to make a commotion, have to make a life before giving up. It seems that Zhou Mingyang's wife did not lie, and Zhou Mingyang did not know much about what happened back then. In fact, I don't quite understand why that era will come back on its own, but I guess since that poison can make people hallucinate, it shouldn't be difficult to make animals hallucinate as well, and I guess it should be what kind of creatures it controls letting that thing play the zither in the middle of the night and moving, the whole thing is haunted as well. At this time, He Yuchin suddenly said leisurely, Mr. Zhou, you just said so much, why don't you say something about the Eagle Plus School? Eagle Plus School? Does the school have something to do with him as well? I asked with some surprise, He Yuchen looked at Zhou Mingyang, slowly nodded his head, and said, you shouldn't know yet, this Mr. Zhou, is actually one of our school managers, and is also a major shareholder, because that piece of land in the Eagle Plus School, is actually owned by Mr. Zhou's family. What's the situation? How come you've never said it before? You mean to say that the piece of land of the school, is his? This question, it's better to ask Mr. Zhou to say it himself. He Yu Chen wrapped his hands around his chest, his eyes gazing at Zhou Mingyang. This, is indeed the case, but does this have anything to do with my family's business? Zhou Mingyang looked confused, and didn't seem to understand what we meant by what we said. It seems like Mr. Zhou has indeed been sick for a bit too long, and doesn't even know what's happening at school. He Yu Chen's tone was still a bit eerie, Zhou Mingyang's wife's face was a bit embarrassed, she said to Zhou Mingyang, it was something that happened a few days ago, dozens of corpses and bones were dug up in the school, they said that they had been dead for decades, and the case hasn't been solved yet, and the school is now closed, waiting for the police to notify them. Zhou Mingyang was surprised, so there is such a thing, but I really do not know, because that piece of land, the earliest time is indeed our family. He told us, his grandfather came from a landlord family, that village was then called Zhou Jiadian, all the deeds to the fields and properties were his family, but later, the fields and properties were divided up, and his grandfather also left there and took his family to another outlet to go. Later, the village had a famine, the villagers died and fled, and the village was abandoned, and it was only after several years that the land was nationalized and a factory was built. Later, when the factory was privatized, Zhou Mingyang's father paid for the factory and bought it, so the land belonged to his family again. Just later, the factory was poorly run and closed down, so it has been idle, and then, it built a school. After hearing Zhou Mingyang's words, I came to a realization. It seems that the police have been hanging unsolved suspected case, this time finally the truth is revealed. According to what Zhou Mingyang said, the dozens of bones found inside the Eagle Plus School, should be the year the tragic murder of the troop, after death was buried in the ground, after countless years of change, until today, decades later, only to finally be found by the people. At the same time, and was utilized by some people with ulterior motives, a good school, almost turned into a place of extreme mean. Just I haven't figured out, Zhou Mingyang's family and that theater troupe, in the end, what kind of grudge is there again? I just thought of this, unintentionally looked up, suddenly saw, right behind Zhou Mingyang, I do not know when stood an old man who was gouged out his eyes. Where his eyes should have been, now were two horrible black holes, standing there expressionless, as if he was watching Zhou Mingyang, and as if, he was looking at me. My heart fluttered, could it be that I'm having after effects? Starting to hallucinate again? Or are those poisons getting restless? Mister. Joe, the past is always easy to forget, but some people will never forget, in order to resolve this feud, we must let the truth come out about it, now, I'll give you two choices. I raised two fingers at Zhou Mingyang, he changed color and asked me, little sir, what choices? It's very simple, first, let those victims take you away and dispose of you as they please, and when they're completely out of this, they won't toss your family around anymore. Zhou Mingyang shook his head in fear, little mister, don't joke around, it's not easy for me to pick up a life, just go straight to the second option. I smiled faintly at him, the second way, is to ask you to stop hiding, if you have something to say, just say it. Saying that, my hand gently raised, first pointing at Zhou Mingyang, then slowly moving and finally landing behind him. The thing that harmed you can still be there, although the family scandal can't be disclosed, but it's up to you to say it or not. 
Hearing me say this, Zhou Mingyang's face suddenly changed, immediately turning back to look. But naturally he could not see anything, behind him is just an empty piece, just stored the door of the room of the box is open. I saw Zhou Mingyang's hand constantly clenched and loosened, inner look very struggling, I know that these businessmen are very important reputation, many things will not say until the time. Guo Cripple came over with his sacred drum in his arms, looked at me and then at Hiyu Chen, and said, you two, what are you waiting for, withdraw. Hiyu Chen was the first to shake her head, things are not yet settled, I don't think Mr. Zhou will be unaware of the importance. She said this is the truth, generally into the horse this door, will pay attention to things have a beginning and an end, the vulgar that is called do not want to cause trouble, immortal that is, do not want to leave karmic obstacles, loss of cultivation. Not waiting for Gua Crippled to look at me, I immediately also waved his hand, you do not ask me, I am not out of the horse disciples, this kind of thing or listen to the connoisseurs good. I said this is also the truth, I am not a disciple of the horse, scruples are not so much, but after all, he Yu Chen is my invitation, not good to shoot the ass away, folded people. Besides, we go simple, Zhou Mingyang is estimated to be miserable, I also have some intolerance. Our three gazes finally gathered on Zhou Mingyang at the same time, he was scared back two steps, just want to refuse, I have the intention to scare him, rush to him a music, stand still, further back you will collide with the old class master. Zhou Mingyang legs and stomach are a little shivering, scared to move, I was about to discuss with him, suddenly, I sighed Zhou Mingyang's wife sighed. Old Zhou, you are still hiding for what? She looked at Zhou Mingyang grudgingly, this half of my life I followed you, the beginning was okay, and then there was a day when I lived in peace? You have someone outside, I won't say anything, blame me for not being able to hook you. But these days, you were sick and dying, how many times I cried do you know? Do you know how many people I hired? I just want to bring you back to life, I don't want you to die, I'm not coveting your family business, I'm not afraid that if you die, I won't have any money to spend, I just can't let go of you as a human being. Said, she cried, kept wiping her tears. But now, for the sake of your own little secret, you don't even want to die? If you die, have you considered me, have you considered this family? If you really don't have me in your eyes, I won't stop you, I won't say anything, after you die, I'll be widowed or married, that's the end of our destiny, you give the big guy a word now, are you going to say it, or not? Zhou Mingyang looked complicated, he looked at his wife, his eyes were a little red. Finally, he slapped his thighs and shook his head as he sat down on a chair, that's just it, that dusty past, I'll tell you all about it. It was only in his narration that we finally understood the story that made people shed tears and listen to it with horror decades ago. He said, in about 60 years ago, there is an old troop master with a troop traveled all over the world, the troop is very big, there are many people, and in the local quite famous, so in that war-torn era, not only survived, but also lived well, accumulated some surplus wealth. That year, they were invited to Zhou Jia store, to the landlord here Zhou Changsheng birthday, singing three days of opera. Originally thought that after singing the opera, take the money to leave, everyone is another income, originally all quite happy, did not expect just before they left the afternoon, Zhou Changsheng suddenly sent people to find the old class master. The old master thought it was to give him to settle the bill, I did not expect to meet, Zhou Changsheng said to him, he fell in love with the troop of a girl called Lotus, want to let the old master to stay for him, as for the price, as much as he opened. The old master of the troop was shocked at hearing this, and immediately shook his head like a rattle drum, saying that he would not agree to anything. That lotus just 16 years old, born exquisite handsome, people in good behavior, singing, and good, when her family is poor, cannot survive, her father sent her to the opera troupe to learn opera, the old class master has been also take her as their daughter treatment, how can she stay here, let her go to wait for a 50 year old man. At the beginning, Zhou Changsheng also assiduously entice, constantly increase the price, want to let the old class master agreed, but the old class master said nothing, no matter what Zhou Changsheng said, just do not agree. So Zhou Changsheng flipped his face and said if you don't agree, then don't go. The old class master was also stubborn and said, if you have the ability, you can stay for us, we will see. In those days, the old class master's attitude was very dangerous, we must know that the strong dragon does not suppress the snake, if people really flip, it is very unfavorable to them. After going back, the old troop master is also apprehensive, until the next morning, Zhou Changsheng personally brought people over, let the old troop master is surprised, Zhou Changsheng actually took a lot of silver money, not only the theater troops accounts settled, but also gave some more. Zhou Changsheng seemed to yesterday's incident did not mind at all, laughing and saying to the old master, yesterday is his own momentary confusion, this matter does not need to be mentioned again, today to give you a farewell, a little later after breakfast, we'll send everyone on their way. The old class master also did not expect, this matter is so dissolved invisible, coupled with Zhou Changsheng attitude of sincerity, he also did not think too much, after receiving the money, with the people and Zhou Changsheng thank you a thousand times, and then we go to eat breakfast. They originally planned to leave after eating, but never thought that this breakfast would be their last meal. Early that morning, the old troop master brought his troop of people, and after having a breakfast at the Zhou family home, 
they went back to the guest room to pack up their things and prepare to go on their way. In less than half an hour, the old troopmaster suddenly felt a pain in his abdomen, like a knife twisting, and in a short while, all the people in the troop, surprisingly, all had this symptom. Some people even began to vomit, and even rolling on the ground wailing in abdominal pain. Only then did the old troopmaster realize that something bad was happening, and he hurriedly struggled to get help, but he found that the gate had already been locked, and the surrounding courtyard wall was so high that he couldn't climb over it at all. The 37 of them were in this courtyard, constantly begging, and the old troopmaster was even kneeling on the ground, spraying blood foam from his mouth, begging Zhou Changsheng to let them go, and stating that he was willing to use his own life to exchange for the lives of all the troop members. Perhaps the wailing was too loud, the courtyard door finally opened, and Zhou Changsheng walked in with his men, by this time he had completely lost the amiable attitude he had just had, his gaze revealing a hideous viciousness, looking at the old troopmaster and these theater troop people without a trace of pity in his expression. He even just sat on the steps and watched these people die one by one in agony, due to the strong poison that he had put down, it was able to make people suffer great pain in a very short period of time, because of the constant struggle for survival, when dying, the face of each corpse was twisted and distorted, and swollen and purple, with blood flowing out of all seven orifices at the same time. As the old class master watched the people around him die one by one, he finally realized that he shouldn't have offended this despicable and vicious villain at all yesterday, he pointed at Zhou Changsheng and cursed loudly, with endless anger jetting from his eyes, and told Zhou Changsheng that he would go to hell, but also remember him, and that sooner or later, one day, he would cause his family to be broken up, and that he would have no peace for three generations. Perhaps it was the old class master's curse that made Zhou Changsheng's heart grow cold, he had someone fetch a knife and actually gouged out the old class master's eyes and threw them on the ground. There is a saying that gouging out the heart like pain, in fact, gouging out the eyes is even more painful, the old class master without eyes, rolling around on the ground in pain, still cursing in his mouth, and after a good while, before slowly dying of gas, Zhou Changsheng looked at the yard sprawling corpses, the back of the spine is also straight chills, he let these corpses secretly transported to their own home abandoned a mill empty space, digging the ground three feet, these bodies buried. As for the troops other miscellaneous things, can be burned, can be destroyed, only the old master of the yellow pear arrow, Zhou Changsheng feel a little reluctant to give up, so they stayed. In this way, the troops money all into Zhou Changsheng's pockets, because he is a bully in the local, no one will ask him about this matter, the outside world that the troop left early. He thought that God did not know, I do not know, those theater people are not dispersed, grievances are difficult to eliminate, has been pestering him. And after not two years, the beginning of the land reform movement, Zhou Changsheng's family property was divided, he himself also rolled up some property, with his wife and children far away from home. Later on, Zhou Changsheng died early due to being claimed by the grievous spirits day and night, and those theater troops' grievous spirits proceeded to look for his son, and until now, after an interval of 60 years, they still managed to find Zhou Mingyang. Just as the old troop master said before he died, he wanted to make the Zhou family broken, with no peace for three generations. Now, it was true that Zhou Mingyang's family did not have peace for three generations, but they had not yet broken their family, so they were not going to give up easily. The few of us who listened to the old class master's cries couldn't help but be sympathetic in our hearts, remembering the 37 lives that had died tragically in the Zhou family compound back then, and at the same time looked at Zhou Mingyang. People were killed by his grandfather 37 people for no reason, not to mention three generations, is to find him five generations, that is also deserved. Zhou Mingyang's wife, listening to this tragic past, is also pale, body like chaff, even words cannot be said. I have to say, Zhou Mingyang grandfather in order to dominate people a little girl, but also for a few words of contention, make this kind of murder, but also take away people's money, is really intolerable, the crime deserves death. After saying that, Zhou Mingyang did not dare to look at us, seems to be a bit unable to raise his head. This kind of thing, is a family scandal, and it is still a heavenly scandal, although it is said to be committed by the ancestors, it will affect the business of the descendants. He Yuchen frowned and said, we are here today to resolve this grievance for you, back then it was your grandfather who did the deed, the crime is not yours, as long as you open your heart and listen to us, this matter is very well resolved. Guo Kripal also responded and said, yes, 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 why don't you listen to her? Zhou Mingyang heard Guo Kripal's words and nodded with a bitter smile. Seeing that their words worked, I remembered what I said to the troop in the illusion when I was in the In Soul Pass, so I went forward and said, let's do it this way, or according to the words just now, we'll help you send those things away, but you have to serve them well, after all, it's like changing a new home for someone who is unfamiliar with the place and has nothing, and if they don't feel comfortable living there, they might go and harm someone else, and then I'm afraid I'll have to step in. At that time I'm afraid I'll have to step in. After I said that, Zhou Mingyang nodded, okay, no problem, I'll listen to you. At this time, He Yu Chen said to me, I'm afraid you're going to get yourself into trouble for saying that you're going to do it again. I was busy asking her why, but He Yu Chen did not say, just looked at me, meaningfully smiled. 
Guo Cripple mouthed sked and sked, patted Zhou Mingyang's shoulder. Big brother, it's good for you to say it, that's considered to be the untying of the knot, and there will be no burden in the future. Zhou Mingyang's tears were coming down, nodding his head vigorously in response. Next, there's actually nothing to prepare, we just need to find a new home for those things. The other thing is to go to the school's woods and get rid of the cause of the disease, and everything will be fine. I told Zhou Mingyang, it's not too late, now hurry to the police station to surrender, hidden in the campus of more than 60 years of bloodshed, at this time it should be revealed to the world, for his grandfather's surrender, the law of the land will be a fair judgment. However, He Yuchen suddenly pulled me, quietly said to me, let me a burst of fear. She said, your sentence let him turn himself in for his grandfather, let the state law judgment, I'm afraid that you have caused a big trouble for yourself. I was busy asking her why, but He Yuchen did not say, just looked at me and smiled. Meaningfully. Then, she unhurriedly uttered four words. Human lives are at stake. He Yu Chen's words made me a little puzzled. Is it not precisely because human life is at stake that I want to let this bloodshed come out into the open? Why would I get myself into trouble instead? I didn't understand, and He Yu Chen didn't say so explicitly, and in the face of my questioning, she told me six more words. Heaven's secrets cannot be revealed. I skimmed my mouth and said to her, it seems that the six words heaven's secrets cannot be divulged are put in common use at any time in the past and present as long as he doesn't want to say it, or he can't figure it out either, he can use these six words to muddle through. He Yu Chen glared at me, said she is not Mr. Yin and Yang, she is just a person with a mission, come to this world to walk through, when the mission is over, she can go back, that's all. I asked her again what the mission was, and she didn't answer back, she just gave me a deep look and smiled. Okay, okay, this should be another one of her heavenly secrets, right? Since she does not want to say, then do not ask. Next, Zhou Mingyang's 200,000 yuan honorarium was deposited into the account, from this aspect, he is much more painful than that Shang Wan Fu. According to the agreement, I first with Yang Shouqing divided half, each 100,000, but he did not have the heart to accept, because we just now this is not in the scope of the cure, and is to break the pass and pass the yin, and he has nothing to do with half a penny. But I still gave it to him, I told him, this is the rule. The remaining 100,000, I should have been divided to Gua Cripple 20,000, the remaining 80,000 me and He Yuchen half, but He Yuchen said, she just want to use $10,000, so give her 10,000 on the line, the excess she does not want a penny. In that case, I was a bit torn, cannot give them both 30,000, I keep 70,000, that is too unrighteous. Besides, my master once told me that the matter of making money is never a blessing to the practitioners, never be complacent, or you will probably get into trouble. So, I forcibly divided Hiyu Chen and Guo Cripple each 30,000, I also only received 30,000, the remaining 10,000, I intend to use for the old class master and the people who were killed with him, to do a separate ceremony of supererogation. Hiyu Chen thumbs up my approach, she said you are very smart, usually to resolve this kind of thing have to bear a lot of hard demon karma, not to mention dozens of lives, do a spell is the best, not only can give them transcendence, at the same time can also purify their own mind, is to give an account of their own heart. Next, Zhou Mingyang took the initiative to take the arrow, to the public security organ surrender, but I did not participate in this matter, because I have been thinking of the book left to me by the master, so after leaving Zhou's home, and He Yu Chen and Guo crippled parted ways, and alone back to the apartment. As for what they did after taking the money, it has nothing to do with me, I returned to the apartment, I cannot wait to open this horse immortal notes. The notes were handwritten, the characters were not pretty, but they were very neat and comfortable to look at. Izumasen this name, originating in the northeast, also known as Shaman Shaman, from the ancient shamanism metamorphosis, inherited the inheritance of the ancient shaman culture, and through the evolution of the development of a kind of witch culture. It was first molded in the early Qing dynasty, and after hundreds of years of development, it has now grown across the country and even abroad. The so-called sorcerers, as the ancient legends say, are people who can communicate and convey messages with ghosts and gods, and they are responsible for bringing the will of the gods to mortals, and then conveying the words of the mortals to the gods of heaven. The shamanic shaman among the shamanic cultures is precisely a special profession established to communicate information between mortals and gods and spirits, but the inheritance has evolved into the form of out of the horse today, and there is a more scientific explanation for it as well. The horse is also known as topping incense, going out of the hall, carrying poles, called differently in various regions, but ultimately all for the same purpose, which is to see and check up on people's illnesses, to save suffering and to accumulate merit. It can be said that out of the horse originated from the shamanic culture and is different. The biggest difference among them is the animal fairy possession of the body said. Metaphysics said, out of the horse is to refer to some animal fairy, cultivation for hundreds or even thousands of years, cultivation after the Tao, in order to their own can continue to cultivate, or accepted the task of the heavenly positive God, came to earth to accumulate merit, in order to achieve the rank of the class of immortality, to become a positive cultivation of the immortal God. 
Among them, the most common is the Hu, Huang and Python, so they are called the four great families by the world. Within these families, the Tongtian sect master, the golden flower sect master, the Hu Santai master, and the Hu Santai milk are the most famous, and are responsible for leading and supervising the immortals who come out in the world. In order to cultivate, or because they accepted the mission from heaven, the immortals who opened the hall to go out to the horse, wanted to accumulate merits and virtues, to cultivate the right fruits, to universalize the world, but it was inconvenient to directly transform into a human being, or to go out to cure people in a direct form. So they chose those who had the immortal destiny and the enlightenment to be the incense children, that is, the disciples who went out to the horse, to cooperate with them, to go out to cure the world in the form of possessing a body, and from then on, the world had a special family. Since then, there has been one more special occupation in the world. When I saw here, I inexplicably surged a stream of warmth in my body, my body is hot, but at the same time there is also a cold chill, from the limbs and up, all over the body cold, goosebumps also rose a layer. These two feelings at the same time in the body, so I cannot help but experience a fire and ice. I read further. The bond between a disciple and an immortal is generally divided into two kinds, one is the bond of the previous life, such as the disciple was a god or bodhisattva child, or a member of the family of elves, the immortal and his previous life was a father, son, brother, master and disciple, the same door, the disciple himself has a certain amount of mana, only to go through the cycle of reincarnation, has been forgotten about the things of the previous life, empty mana, but cannot be used. Some of these disciples have descended to the realm due to having faults, while others have accepted the task of reincarnating to enlighten people, so from the time they were born, they have been bound to the immortal family, and are destined to work together in this life to enlighten the world, accumulate merit, and achieve righteousness together. There is also a category of disciples, is the family continuation of the out-of-the-horse destiny, that is, their family ancestors had been dedicated to the immortal family, have done out-of-the-horse disciples, the ancestors passed away, the immortal family merit has not yet been accumulated, still stay on earth, so it is necessary to continue to disciples and the descendants of the offspring, select the children and grandchildren who have the wisdom root and good conduct, inherit the hall of, the great responsibility. There is another category of disciples who are halfway out of the gate, and because they have evil bones and are easily psychic, they are favored by some immortals and chosen as out of the horse disciples. There are also many types of immortal elves, among which there are positive immortals, loose immortals, and ghost immortals. Positive immortal is who Huang Python Chang four big families, the world usually only know the immortal family five big families is fox yellow white willow gray, do not know the real four big families only who Huang Python Chang, which Chang, and contains the snake, in most of the hall the positive immortal collectively known as the four big families, but the hall list must be written on the five big families, as, Hu Huang Chang Python Snake. Also known as the inner five immortal families, there are some accounts that add the ghost immortals to the inner five, which are, Hu Huang Chang Python and Cheng Feng. And regardless of any of these accounts, all the immortals in the world are dominated by the Hu and Huang families. The scattered immortals are more complicated, such as eagle, eagle, tiger, crane, wolf, rabbit, turtle, fish, gray, white, flower, civet. These scattered immortals are also known as the outer five elements of the immortal family, of course, in addition to the animals, there will often be some plant immortals, but extremely rare, which is mostly a variety of flower immortals. Ghost immortals are further categorized into family grievous ghosts and outer grievous ghosts. I was reading with great interest and concentration, when I saw this I suddenly froze and couldn't help but stop. Most of those immortals in the scattered immortals can see what it is, but that ha, huh, what kind of animal becomes an immortal? I thought for a moment and realized that the ha mentioned here should be a clam, that is, a toad, a frog. Of course, frogs have spirituality, but it's not common to see frogs cultivate into immortals. I can't help but think of an incident that happened in my hometown when I was a child. When I was about 10 years old, I went to the river to catch a toad with my buddies and encountered a strange thing. If you live in the countryside or have a small river near your home, you should know that catching toads is a childhood fun regardless of the age, where we use a wooden stick tied with a sharpened wire. Three or five of us yell and go to the river, and then look for toads along the banks of the river and in the bushes and cracks of the rocks. Once we found the trail of the toad, tiptoeing over, eyes staring, a stabbing over, stabbing accurate, directly through the belly, stabbing inaccurate, maybe stabbed in the legs, head, in short, the toad's final fate is to be skewered by us into a string, carry home, peeling down the pot, especially fragrant. Others are more advanced, they will get a hand-cranked power generation equipment, one end is also tied to the wire, and then get up early in the morning specifically looking for roadside ditches, as well as water storage stone cracks, electrified wire into the water, as long as there is a toad in the vicinity of the minutes on the turn over the belly floated up, obediently made a captive. This game is almost all over the country children should have played, only as a different method, eat different ways, some are boiled, some are fried, and directly baked to eat. But it was on that summer day that something happened to one of the few kids we went with to catch a toad. To be precise, it was his father who had an accident. 
The child's name I have already forgotten, I remember that his nickname was Little Stone, that day to catch Toad's home, he slept at night, then started a high fever, like a strange ringworm all over his body, became red, red, constantly shouting itchy, and finally he scratched his skin, blood dripping, and did not get better with the medicine. His father was anxious, looking around for people to think of ways, and all kinds of incense and worship God, tossed three or four days later, but also really slowly reduced the symptoms. He thought it was alright, but did not expect, this strange disease seems to be contagious, his son just a little, he was up with a red ringworm, and more serious than his son, touch cannot touch, a touch is like peeling pain. A few days later, his whole body skin seems to really begin to slowly molt, body red, red, people are dying, only out of the gas did not come in the gas, to the hospital is no solution, can only lie at home and wait for death. That night, the small stone sleep suddenly set a strange dream, dreaming of a person wearing green clothes, big head, and wide mouth, huffing and puffing, said to him, your family peeled my skin, would my life, finally should pay. Little Stone said this dream to the family, the family also thinks strange, went to find a local fairy for help, the results of that fairy heard on the understanding, said to his family, that wear green clothes is a frog, it is the year by the small stone his father skinned alive and died, after the death of its spirit has not been extinguished, cultivation for several decades, became a fairy, is now back to take revenge. The family was terrified, rushed to beg the immortal to save his life, the immortal said, save you can, but you must agree to the frog's request, otherwise, must die. Finally, the family listened to the words of the immortal, in the home to the frog put an incense burner, every morning and evening, three incense, chanting the Buddha's name 108 times, but must use his incense. After more than a month, his father gradually improved. After another three months, De Sien told them that there was no need to burn incense and recite the Buddha's name anymore, the frog had already been transcended and was gone. After that, not only did their family no longer dare to catch frogs and toads, but all the children in our area were scared to death when they heard about it, so the toads in our area really had a good life for a few years. In fact, I know very well, the so-called big fairy, does not exist, the reason why burning incense to worship the Buddha will be good, because that incense on the hands and feet, is made of special herbs, burning the smoke emitted, cured their skin disease. After rambling for a while, I collected my thoughts and continued to read on. Below, the master briefly introduced some more historical factors of the Exodus Immortal as well as folklore, and then the next one, instead of first talking about how to give a visit to check on a person's illness, or topping the incense and setting up a hall, he first listed the rules of the Exodus Immortal. He said that there were several iron rules that must be kept in mind. In total, there were 6 felonies and 18 misdemeanors, in addition to 36 articles in the chapter of the Righteous Immortals, the chapter of the Dispersed Immortals, and the chapter of the Extrajudicial Chapter. For some reason, when I saw this, my right eyelid suddenly fluttered violently for no reason. My eyes moved slowly over the words inside the diary. 6 Felonies 1. Innocent annoyance and killing of a regular human being will not be pardoned by thunder. 2. Those who are not right in heart, are extremely vicious, and practice evil magic will not be pardoned by lay. 3. A person who turns into a half-human or human form and rapes a human being shall be put to death. 4. Those who steal the essence of normal people to make pills and cause death or injury to normal people will not be punished. 5. Those who use magic to confuse normal people will not be punished. 5. Those who rely on magic to confuse the heavenly phenomena and make waves will not be pardoned by lay. 6. Those who are harboring in the countryside and causing disasters in the villages and villages are to be put to death without pardon. 18 Misdemeanors 1. Those who slander the sages with their own words will lose their moral integrity. Two. Those who falsely claimed to be saints and doubted the common people undermined the way. 3. Whoever kills a living being without reason for the sake of appetite undermines the way. 4. He who sends calamity to the common people without any cause undermines the way. 5. Whoever goes to heaven without authorization based on the Taoist teachings will be destroyed by heaven. 6. Those who disturb the Buddhist temple without authorization will have their dharma abrogated. I read all the way down, there are such as for personal revenge, destroying the cause and effect, demonic words to confuse the world, destroying human relationships, help the wicked to collect money, arbitrary possession, cynical suspicion of offering a small, all belong to the 18 misdemeanors. But this is the lowest is also a loss of moral behavior, serious moral behavior is completely destroyed, but this is still considered to stay alive, if you commit six serious crimes, any one of which is the thunder death is not pardoned, that is, directly killed, the form of God is destroyed. As for the back of the 36 positive immortal chapter, scattered immortal chapter, outside the law chapter, belongs to some of the provisions of the more detailed, if the crime, may not be a loss of dashing, but on the cultivation of unfavorable. 
roughly the content, that is, the provisions of the immortal to abstain from killing, abstaining from anger, abstaining from greed, respect for the sages, for the protection of the Buddha, not allowed to live in the land of fire and smoke, shall not interfere with the lives of ordinary people, should be cultivated to help the world and benefit the people as the first, fame and fortune put in the second. Also, one should not make any manifestation of the Buddha's image, so as not to cause trouble to the ordinary people. In addition, it also stipulates the circumstances under which the immortal can punish and impose means, and who can be accepted as incense children, and who can not be forced to accept. It can be said that the rules of the immortal family are very strict and reasonable. I would have liked to continue to read on, but see here has been dizziness, a burst of pain in the heart of the eyebrow, hurriedly put down, breathless, sit on the knees, after a while to slowly slow down. It seems that the book cannot be read overnight, not to mention swallowed in one gulp, I'd better stay and read it slowly. But I still carefully recalled, this booklet recorded most of the folklore and bizarre and weird stories, but many of these places, were marked by the master with a pen. For example, the so-called positive fairies, loose fairies, ghost fairies, the master clearly labeled, positive fairies are animals with higher spirituality, but also very common animals, very easy to see in the living area of human beings, but also by the passed out of the horse fairy and sorcerer tamed most of the living beings. Scattered immortals, on the other hand, are less common animals. As for ghost immortals, that would be the category of bugs and rare creatures. There are also the many immortal rules mentioned later, which are actually based on science. If a beast injures someone, it is bound to cause resentment, so it is necessary to cultivate the Buddha nature, which is not talking about letting the beast cultivate the Buddha nature, but rather about the exodus immortal himself. Because those immortals, that is, who Huang often python these beasts, are accompanied by the side of the people, only people's heart is right, can make good use of these immortals. To put it bluntly, out of the horse immortal or sorcerer, in fact, is the oldest beast tamer, doctor, and gifted collection of one person, really want to elaborate, there is nothing mysterious. After a while, I have nothing to do, suddenly remembered another thing. Master said that too much money is not good, then I simply transfer the Shang Wan Fu's money to the family, just the house should be repaired, if my father if they do not want to repair, take that money in the county to buy a suite of rooms, do a small business, the rest of the money, but also enough for them to enjoy their twilight years. Thinking of this, I went to the bank, intending to put the one million not to stay, all sent home. But I never thought that this money would bring me trouble. In order to transfer the money to the family, I made an appointment with the bank in advance, and then asked my dad for an account number, saying that I had earned a sum of money in Luoyang and wanted to transfer it to him. My dad was surprised, knowing that when I first came to Luoyang, he had only given me $500, and now after how long had it been, I was actually going to send him money? I told him that I had to thank my master for leaving me this money more than 10 years ago, and that everything was fine over here, I didn't have to worry about food, clothing, housing, and transportation, and I had money to spend, so he didn't have to think about it. I also jokingly told him that when I save up some more money, I will bring them all to Luoyang in a few years, to eat fragrant food and drink spicy food, and live the life of a landlord. However, I didn't tell him how much money I was sending him, otherwise, I was afraid that his old man wouldn't be able to bear it all at once and have a mental breakdown. I just vaguely said that my master has quite deep roots over here, and there is also an apprentice grandson here, all of whom are rich, so I saved that Shang Wan Fu's daughter, and that side gave me a few hundred thousand dollars in honorarium. As soon as I heard this, my dad on the other end of the phone for half a day did not speak, I thought he fainted, shouted a few sentences before he trembled and said, Ancestors show their spirit ah. I really do not make clear, the reason I became a boomers all of a sudden, is not it should be grateful to the master, with my family ancestor manifestation of what is the relationship. In view of his excitement, the final transfer, I only gave him 600,000, leaving 400,000 intended for the next transfer, so that he also has a buffer and adapt to the stage. Finish the formalities to go, I suddenly inexplicably up a thought, need to experience the past only in the novels and movies have seen, the use of money to make the bed feeling. I wasn't greedy for money, it was purely for fun. In this way, I raised the 400,000 all at once, the bank staff looked at me with strange eyes, probably thinking in their hearts, this is again which family's second generation of rich people, change the way to trash the money, right? Back to the apartment, I poured 400,000 on the bed, first intended to go through the addiction of counting money, the result of counting to 100,000 when I this hand cramps. Counting money to cramps, I finally experienced. This night, I laid the money a house, comfortably sleep, thinking about tomorrow to go to the money saved up, and then wait for another two months, it is still transferred to my father, let him deal with. But I didn't realize that this juvenile mind of mine was still causing trouble. Early the next morning, when I woke up from my sleep, I walked to the bathroom in a daze, but when I came out, I looked at my apartment room and froze. The bills that I had spread all over the bed and floor last night were all gone. A whole $400,000. I stared at the scene in surprise and disbelief, thinking where's the money? Where is my money? It has grown wings and flown away. 
My first thought is that last night in the house into the thief, but what thief can in the case of I did not notice the situation, so many money a piece have not left all picked up? To know, my bed is also spread all over the money, and surely under me also pressed some, as a result, now, even a hundred dollars are not left for me. This thief is simply too dedicated, I just know that thieves do not go empty, I did not think he is directly empty ah. Copied the phone, I intend to call the police, but about to dial out when, my finger stopped in midair. No, intuition tells me that this can't be the work of a thief. First of all, the room door was fine, I unlocked it before I went to bed, and it's still unlocked, which means it wasn't tampered with. Moreover, I live on the 12th floor, it's impossible for someone to climb in through the window, and besides, the security window is in good condition. Cannot destroy the windows and doors, but also do not wake me up under the premise of hundreds of thousands of cash all away, this is what kind of ability? After a little bit of calm, I put the phone down, and carefully checked in the house, and finally determined that if there is a suspect in this matter, then it can only be me. Because I was the only one who could have dumped all the money out of the house, and there was no other answer. But I don't have the problem of sleepwalking. Besides, if I don't sleepwalk in the morning, I don't sleepwalk in the evening, but at this time? Sleepwalking is just that, at least it should be other people's money to their own home dumping, there is no reason to throw their own money to the outside ah. Open the door, I checked again in the corridor in the front and back of the building, there is no abnormality. But the more there is no abnormality, the more wrong it means. Back in the room, I looked at the empty surroundings, thinking could it be that I really don't deserve this money, God gave me back? But you have to say halfway to lose the money I also recognize, this is no reason to disappear, this is simply haunted ah. No, even if it is haunted, it is not possible to haunt me, my body guardian is vegetarian? Thinking of this, I hurriedly contacted Python Smallpox, she ignored me as usual, then I shouted a few more times for Huang to run fast, after about 3 or 4 minutes, a small figure appeared. It cocked its head and looked at me. Is this the yellow fast runner? I then asked it, what did you do, and why is all the money I laid in the room last night gone? Yellow fast runner's voice floated in my head, money? What money? I don't know, I went out last night, I thought you were asleep anyway, nothing was going on, so I went out for a drink. Ha! It seems that I am not far from the horse, this voice appeared tightly, it is considered a half step of the neuropathy. No, it is considered a half step of the genius. I said, you still have the heart to go out to drink, I don't shout you won't come back. Look at what time it is, we have lost all our money, not even a hundred dollars left. Huang Chitsuan was obviously a bit confused, half a day without saying anything. And then I saw a young man wearing yellow clothes appeared in front of me, it was Huang Chitsuan. He looked around the house inside and out before saying to me, I know what's going on, let me ask you first, do you want to get this money back? I said breathlessly, of course I want to get it back, it's my hard earned money, why is it gone? Even if you take it and donate it to the Hope Primary School, that's my merit, it can't be gone for no reason. Huang quickly ran and said, I can tell you clearly, the money was moved away. But to find it, I'm afraid it's going to take a bit of effort. The other party's tactics are very high and didn't leave many traces. Upon hearing his words, I hurriedly asked, What do you mean, it was moved? How did he move it? How come I don't know? He said, It's the five ghosts carrying method, and the other party is very good at finding the right time, it just so happens that Anaconda is closed, and I'm out, and you're still asleep, so it's hard to investigate. The five ghosts carrying method? My god, who am I being targeted by, I just took out the money for such a night, and it was carried away from me, this person has a grudge against me? Huang Quick Run looked at me and said, who let you fool around yesterday, carrying so much money back, must have been targeted, but I'm curious, since this person has this kind of ability, then he should be very rich right, there is no need to do this kind of thing, that is not because you go out to drink, hey, drinking is wrong ah, hey, I'm not greedy, but you don't worry, I will go now to check this matter for you, you wait for my news. Yellow Fast Runner also knew that he was embarrassed, as soon as his words fell, he disappeared as a yellow light. I instantly returned to reality, in fact, the situation just now was called Dream Entry, a skill that every Exodus Immortal had to master. That is a kind of communication with the mind, the process of internal thought refutation, need to intertwine the reality and thought, do people in the dream, dream in reality, is considered a success. For example, the conversation I had with Yellow Fast just now was actually a fantasy of mine alone, with the purpose of making self-analysis work optimally, and as for Yellowfast leaving in the end, it was me using the means of taming the beast to make it go out and look for clues. This is like a Hong Kong movie movie where a gifted person can fantasize a murder scene, it's the same thing. Why don't you say, every big fairy is a psychopath? He fell away, the more I think at home, the more depressed, the more I think the more angry, is at this time, he Yu Chin called. She said to me, Zhou Ming Yang's family matter, afraid of a little bit did not get it right. I thought it was the old class master again, or Zhou Ming Yang's surrender made some mistakes, but Yu Chen told me that it was that the life-killing blade again. Last night, the knife was in the box, crying all night. 
If it were usual, He Yuchin said that the knife cried all night by itself, I must be very curious, but now I told her that I will probably have to cry all night by myself, because my $400,000 in cash, let someone to carry away. He Yuchin a little puzzled, after I explained, she did not seem to think, just owe a sound, then said to me, you as a fortune, don't look for, and 400,000 just, and not a lot. I heard her say so on the gas, said you a rich second generation, of course you look at 400,000 as nothing, but in our county, a lot of people are afraid of a lifetime can not earn 400,000. But after all, gas to gas, Zhou Mingyang's family I really have to manage, after all, also received money, to be responsible for the end. I packed up things, went out to meet with He Yuchen, and then went to Zhou Mingyang's home. After arriving at his home, Zhou Mingyang saw us as soon as we saw the savior, busy pulling us to the room last time, pointing to a drawer, sad face recounted. Originally, after we left that day, Zhou Mingyang went to the public security organ surrender, his wife let people clean up the room, the knife back into the box. Because she felt that the haunted arrow has taken away, should not come back, but the knife has the effect of warding off evil spirits, so it must still be placed in the home. But last night, this room for some reason, suddenly came out of the wailing low sobbing, like a little girl is very aggrieved and sad kind of crying. Zhou Mingyang two mouths scared no one dare to move, this villa is very big, but only the two of them, there is a nanny living here, so they let the nanny to go to see, the nanny trembling to open the room, turn on the light, the crying stopped. After about an hour or so, they went back to bed, but just fell asleep, the cry appeared again, and also more clear and obvious, Zhou Mingyang then woke up again, this time, he simply turned on all the room lights, the family in the living room and worship and beg, and then the cry gradually disappeared. But this time, the family no longer dare to sleep, hiding in the room shivering, while looking forward to fast dawn. So they stayed up until 2 or 3 o'clock in the middle of the night, when they still fell asleep. After a short while of sleep, the cries came again. What's even more frightening is that this time the crying wasn't just in the room, it seemed like it was coming out of the room, and it was walking around in the villa, crying as it walked. That feeling was like a poor little girl who was lost and couldn't find her home. Zhou Mingyang two families scared creepy, regret just why did not directly escape, listening to the cries outside, they do not dare to speak and dare not move, just hide in the room, has been endured until the east white, the sky gradually bright, that cry slowly disappear. Then they went to the room to check again, and this time they were shocked. The knife that had been placed in the box, at some point actually came out and fell to the ground, and there were vaguely watermarks on it. Zhou Mingyang also experienced a lot of paranormal events, he immediately thought, last night crying, could it be this knife? The two of them immediately left that villa, and then gave He Yuchen a phone call, explaining the situation, He Yuchen only then found me again, together to come to his home to check the truth. This ghost story let Zhou Mingyang told a startling, but also evoked my curiosity, thought last time in his home, did not see what little girl, and that the troop should also be settled, and then again before that as the arrow hunted, did not hear him talk about the little girl's thing ah. Could it be that there is something strange in that knife? If we can't pinpoint the reason, let's use the method of elimination first. I first asked Zhou Ming Yang, the troop how to do, he told me, he went to the public security organ surrender, people first thought he was talking nonsense, and then he said the Eagle Plus school that piece of land is his family's patrimony, but also said a total of 37 victims, which agreed to let him go to see those bones. Because before this, the police did not publicize the specific number of bones, and in fact, those bones mixed and entangled together, to distinguish the identification work is very unfavorable, and finally found a total of 37 heads, only to determine the number of bones. But Zhou Ming Yang went directly said the dead a total of 37 people, which is obviously know the inside story. These bizarre things, so that the police also had to reconsider the characterization of the case, and finally in Zhou Ming Yang's repeated insistence, the police initially adopted his grandfather as the murderer's claim, but after more than 60 years, Zhou Ming Yang's grandfather has long been dead, more likely that there is no witnesses, according to the police, but also to continue to investigate in depth. But Zhou Ming Yang is really afraid, dead begging and people say, the murderer is my grandfather, absolutely he did it. Even the police couldn't help but laugh, saying that people are pitted against their father, you are pitted against your grandfather, your grandfather has been dead for almost 50 years, and as a result, you let you expose it. But no matter what, more than 60 years ago, the bloodshed, now naturally cannot be counted on Zhou Ming Yang's body, and besides, there is no plaintiff, the police cannot be investigated further, so, agreed to Zhou Ming Yang's opinion by Zhou Mingyang will be these bones to recognize the burial, the case is also considered to be withdrawn. Zhou Mingyang also put forward a request, let the police published in the newspaper to explain this matter, must be his grandfather is the murderer of this matter publicized, otherwise, he cannot rest easy. The police were very surprised, thinking that this person is too conscientious, do not know, he is not conscientious, purely scared, afraid of the old class masters of those ghosts will not spare his family. Only, now the newspaper has not been published, the bones have not been buried, the family is again haunted, he really does not know what is going on. 
After hearing his words, He Yu Chen and I agreed that it shouldn't be that theater troops problem, but I'm still not sure if it's that knife's problem or not, because although that knife has spirituality and is a life-killing blade, a knife crying by itself in the middle of the night is still too weird and bizarre. I felt that it might be their home, and there was something else. I told Zhou Mingyang and the others to go out first, and then He Yu Chen and I checked from house to house. Zhou Mingyang and his family's villa had three floors, at least seven or eight rooms, the two of us went upstairs and downstairs looking for ghosts from house to house, this kind of thing, just thinking about it was exciting enough. But the two of us had searched all the corners, but found nothing, and finally, in the room where the boxes were stored, the two of us converged again. Our eyes, both of us at the same time, were fixed on the top of the knife. At the same time, a low cry suddenly arose in the room. Along with this terrifying cry, the temperature in the room instantly lowered, a gust of gloomy wind came from nowhere, as if whirling around the room, that cry was unceasing, getting closer and closer to us. He Yu Chen held her breath and pinched a spell on her hand, then a white figure suddenly appeared on her body, a small snake, protecting her body. I know that this is her protector is protecting her, but the python smallpox closure, Huang quickly ran out to check the lost money incident, I'm left with the bare bones commander, who will protect protect me ah? Just thought of this, my legs suddenly tightened, that cry also lowered, as if something pounced over and hugged both of my legs. I looked down, Hurricane saw a little girl's shadow, vaguely, probably 7 or 8 years old, is holding my thighs, the strength is also quite big, while wiping tears, while rubbing on my pants. What kind of ghost is this? I ate a shock, hurriedly backward, want to throw her down, but she hugged very hard, as if hanging on my legs, not moving. Take a closer look, she simply has no legs, to be exact, no feet, the body is so floating in the air, where what is a little girl, is clearly a small spotted snake, that tear is exactly the core of its spit. Strangely enough, that core would actually reflect light, looking just like the tear trail. Hey, can you speak some Jianghu morality, quickly come to help ah. I shouted at He Yu Chen, but she seems to have discovered a new continent, looking at my legs pendant, snorting a sound of joy. I said big sister, what are you happy ah, quickly come to my rescue ah. Don't be afraid, she doesn't seem to mean you any harm, it's a little female snake. She said, no offense? No harm what is she holding me for, and it's still climbing up, like a wombat, it's almost up to my waist ah. This small snake is unusually sensitive, I reached out and couldn't catch her at all, I couldn't shake it off, and I didn't have any tools on me, so I watched as it rubbed against me and climbed upwards, and in the blink of an eye it reached my chest. Then, she raised her head, unexpectedly cracked her mouth, and smiled at me with a bright and incomparable smile. I swear, it was the cutest smile I've ever seen since I was a kid, bar none. Because this snake was uniquely modeled and looked like an innocent little girl, with a small white face, handsome and cute features, and dark, dark eyes, although still a bit menacing and very miniature, it was not half hostile towards me. If I were to say something scary, it would probably be her hair, because snakes don't have hair, so its hair looks a little weird, a complete visual illusion formed by the patches. It was as black as paper. I was a bit confused and didn't dare to move, my eyes glancing down at this little girl who was close to me, still crawling forward, both arms almost wrapped around my neck. Stop, little sister, I'm a man with a daughter-in-law, you can't do this. I reached out my hand and made a gesture of refusal, stopping in front of her. She also really stopped with it, but a pair of eyes were filled with infinite grievances again, and her small mouth was deflated, as if she was going to cry again. You, don't cry first, let's have a good talk, can you come down first? I'm a little nervous when you're like this. In the face of a little girl ghost that cries when she says she cries, I really can't take her, He Yuchin also picked up the knife from the ground, held it in her hand and looked at it for a few moments, then said to her, if you don't come back again, I'll let Zhou Mingyang throw the knife away or sell it, or else, send it to the zoo. Her words seemed to have worked, and the little girl sniffed and hurriedly and obediently slipped off to the side, looking at us with an aggrieved look on her face. Then she spat her wick at me, and a voice rang in my head, don't send me to the temple, and don't throw me away, I'm very good, I just want to want to be with my brother. She suddenly opened her mouth and spoke, her voice was weak and small, and there was some timidity. I opened my eyes wide, well, this into the dream more and more skillful. What did you say? You want to be with your brother? Who is your brother? I looked at the little girl and asked. You, of course. She pointed at me and then embarrassedly made a face at me. Not to mention, it was kinda scary when she made the face. I was a bit lost, scratching the back of my head, a bit puzzled. When did I become her brother? I don't know her at all. He Yu Chen looked at me, then at the life-killing blade in her hand, and asked speculatively, are you the spirit of this blade? It lives here? Her guess is not unreasonable, there are many great evil things that will attract some creatures, that's because the blood chi of the evil things is too heavy, some creatures are sensitive to these blood chi. Since this knife was called the life-killing blade, and it must be an ancient object, with an unknown number of people's blood stained on it, it would not be strange to have a spirit surrounding its left and right. 
But that little girl suddenly smiled again, she shook her head and said, I was living here, but I can't remember what happened before, I only remember that the guys who came afterward couldn't beat me, so now I'm the only one in here, I'm lonely, I'm all alone in here, only my brother was playing with me that day, and I like my brother, I want to stay with him. Saying that, she came over and hugged my thighs again, her little face pressed against my leg, saying she wouldn't let go. I was once again dumbfounded. He Yu Chen's face also became grave. According to this little girl, she should be the spirit of this life-killing blade undoubtedly, but listening to her words, she most likely relied on devouring other creatures to get rid of all the things that coveted what was in the blade, and in the end, she was the only one left. This kind of feeling, it was a bit like raising parasites, a group of poisonous insects placed in a utensil, strangling each other, one devouring the other, and in the end, the one left was the most powerful. If this is really the case, then is this little girl not a fierce spirit among fierce spirits? Can you tell me how many people who live here like you have you defeated? He Yuchin pointed to the knife in his hand and asked again. The little girl cocked her head and thought for a moment before saying, I don't remember, there should be many. Ugh, if I had known I would have left a few behind, there's no one to play with. I couldn't help but be creeped out. To be honest, I'm not afraid of seeing ghosts, at most, it's just a little bit of fear, there will be a reaction on the body, the cold hair stands straight up and so on, this is a very normal physiological phenomenon, even more powerful people cannot be avoided. However, this little girl made me cold from the head to the bottom of the feet, not to mention the cold hairs, I feel that there is a burst of cold air coming out from the cracks of my bones. After devouring so many things, she was left at the end, and then there was no one to play with her, and now she's fallen for me? Presumably that's what it means? Then when she doesn't want to play with me again, will she devour me too? Little sister, I don't want to play with you. I looked at Yu Chen, and with a twinkle in my eye, I came up with an idea. Little sister, I really can't play with you, you'd better find your sister, she has a lot of little friends there, you can play however you want. I directly want to push her to Yu Chen, anyway, Yu Chen is a serious out of the horse disciple, she has all kinds of immortal protection, this little fierce spirit even if it is powerful again, in the hands of Yu Chen cannot turn over what splash. Unexpectedly, He Yuchen shook her head and refused, she said, I don't want her, my immortal family doesn't agree, besides I don't have a place for her here. I scratched my head again and gave He Yuchen a wink, which means, do you want to take her, or finish her off? After all, such a ferocious spirit, then the degree of harm of the poison, don't look at her now harmless, turn back when a flip, we all have no good fruit to eat. He Yuchen smiled and shook her head, faintly saying, don't forget, she's been in Zhou Mingyang's house for a long time. The meaning of her sentence was to tell me that although this little girl was a ferocious spirit, she hadn't done anything bad in Zhou Mingyang's house, that is, she had cried last night in order to find me, and we didn't have a reason to get rid of her. I kind of want to grip my hair, at this time, the little girl suddenly said with a small mouth, I knew that my brother did not want to play with me, so he tried to drive me away, but brother, don't worry, I will not give you trouble, I will be very good, and I can also help you with your favor. Do me a favor? What favor can you do for me? I casually asked, I didn't expect her to suddenly smile wryly, pointed to my right eye and said, I can help you beat up people ah, brother, there is a monster living in this eye of yours, don't you know? What? What? Hearing her words, my right eyelid suddenly jumped for no reason. There's a monster in my eye? Why didn't I feel it? I reached out and rubbed my eyes, but didn't feel anything strange, she laughed cheekily, you can't feel it oh, it's well hidden, it should do this kind of thing often, just occasionally you'll have your eyes jumping around but brother you have to get it out or you won't be able to keep this eye. I was even more surprised, she was absolutely right, my right eye had been just jumping for the past two days, and when it was bad it was bouncing around like a dance, but the episodes didn't happen very often so I didn't care. In fact, the whole process, is her tail has been rushing to my right eye pointing, here will not be detailed. In Chinese folklore, it is said that the left eye jumps wealth right eye jump disaster, in fact, I think this is a doctrine theory, because the yin and yang heavenly saying since ancient times, all things in nature to follow this way. Generally speaking, big, long, up, left is yang, small, short, down, right is yin. Yang is the positive side and represents good fortune. Yin is the backside, which represents misfortune. Therefore, the meaning of the left eye jumps wealth and the right eye jumps disaster, and that is exactly where it comes from. But I think, my right eyelids suddenly jump, may be related to the two days of mental stress, after all, got so many things, will inevitably have an impact on their own. But listening to this little girl's meaning, I may not even be able to keep my eyes? At this time, He Yu Chen also came over, stared at my eyes, his face immediately changed, and said three words off the top of his head, poison dragon eyes? My face also changed, I clearly remembered He Yu Chen said, poisonous dragon eyes is a kind of ghosts and the door will practice the evil arts, but also have to use the stillborn to feed the eyes, heaven, and earth conscience, I did not practice that kind of thing. Seeing my horrified look, He Yu Chen said, don't worry, I didn't say your eyes are poisonous dragon eyes, I found a poisonous dragon in your eyes. 
A poisonous dragon in your eyes? What does that mean? I asked. This is where the name poison dragon eyes comes from, those who have practiced poison dragon eyes can drive the fury they cultivate to harm others, one of the ways to do this is to have this fury parasitized in another person's eyes, from the outside it looks like a white snake-like object, but because of its ruthlessness and poisonousness, and for the sake of showing off their prowess, they took on the name of a poison dragon eyes. Saying that, Hiyuchin pulled me to the mirror, I used my hand to peel open my eyes to look, and sure enough, inside my right eye, there was a white filament that looked like a thread, but if I didn't look closely, I wouldn't even notice it. When did I provoke this thing? I was surprised, thinking back, this I should have once jumped half a day for no reason when I first started reading that Exodus Immortals notebook, at that time I thought it was an induction brought about by reading the book, but now that I think about it, it's likely that I was already trapped at that time. In the last two days, what have you been doing? Hiyuchin asked seriously, I thought about it and said, apart from going to the bank once, I didn't go anywhere else, but, after I went back from here after doing some errands that day, my eyelids started jumping up. She shook her head, I don't think it was that day, it shouldn't have been more than 24 hours since you had this thing in your eye. Not more than 24 hours? I went over it again in my head, other than the bank, it was the driver of the car ride, and the occasional neighbor I ran into in the apartment, and the people who came and went along the way. Could there be bad people among these people? Brother brother, let me follow you, with me, nothing can get close to you, I will always protect you. One side of the little girl hugged my thigh constantly pampered, I am a little helpless, previously encountered most of the unreasonable poisonous insects and poisonous animals, this hugged the thigh pampered, I still see for the first time. Hiyuchin looked at the little snake thoughtfully, then said, since you want to follow him, can you drive out the things in his eyes? If you can do it, it means you're capable, then you can follow him. The little girl smiled happily and said confidently, yes, yes, that's too easy. As soon as these two people said one thing, I quickly waved my hand and said, hey, I haven't agreed. Yet. Not waiting for me to finish my words, the little girl suddenly transformed into a shadow and directly ran at my eyes and pounced. I only felt a cool wind pouring in, and my eyes were cold, but other than that, there was no other feeling. I was actually licked a few times by that little snake in my eyes, and it was still going on. I said, is it reliable? I looked at Hiyu Chen and asked, she smiled slightly at me and said, such a powerful artifact spirit, many people beg for it, why do you have to reject it? Before I could answer, all of a sudden, it seemed like there were countless needles sticking inside my right eye, a sharp pain arose, and my forehead seemed like it was about to explode, as if there was something that was running rampant in my eyes. I subconsciously reached out to cover my eyes, Hiyu Chen was busy whispering, don't move, open your eyes, something is coming out. There was another blast of pain in my forehead, accompanied by some swelling in my eyes, followed by a flash of white light in front of my eyes, something unexpectedly rushed out of my eyes, followed closely by a shadow. The shadow fell to the ground, instantly turned into the little girl, she a woo open mouth suck, the white light in front of nowhere to escape, was actually sucked into her stomach. From the white light from my eyes out, before and after is a blink of an eye, I did not even see what in the end, it is already over. I rubbed my eyes and felt that they still had some vague pain, but they weren't rising much, and my eyelids weren't fluttering. That was the end of it? The little girl gently patted her belly and cheerfully said to me, alright, that spirit has been swallowed by me, and it tastes a little weird. Brother can promise me this time, right? Ah, uh, ah, uh, this. I was momentarily incoherent, Hiyuchin laughed and stuffed the life-killing blade into my hand, whispering in my ear. This little snake has a destiny with you, technically speaking, she parasitizes inside this blade, and now she has become an artifact spirit, and can't be considered a murderous spirit, you only need to accept this blade, and in the future, she will recognize you as her master, and the artifact spirit protects the master, and will be useful to you. Her voice was very soft, making my ears tingle, I looked at the killing blade in my hand, and then looked at the little girl in front of me, I could only helplessly agree. However, I still told her very seriously, want to follow me can, I have to make an agreement with her, the first is not allowed to make trouble, be obedient, the second is not allowed to run around, the third is not allowed to harm people and do bad things. In short, everything must listen to me. She hugged my thighs, happily nodded her head constantly, she unconditionally agreed to whatever I said, and smiled like a little fox, so much so that it gave me a feeling of being fooled. I suddenly realized that perhaps what martial arts novels say is not false, the former masters may really have weapon spirits, when they compete in martial arts, they shine and are bullish. Retrieve her back to the killing blade, the small snake body a disc, even coiled in the hilt of the knife, looks just like artifacts, do not look closely, completely do not know that this is a real snake. This matter is considered to be over, I also greatly relieved, and then took the killing blade to Zhou Mingyang said, this knife I take away, if he does not agree, I can buy the knife, because this knife although it can ward off evil spirits, but at the same time it is also a great evil, sooner or later in their family will have to go wrong. 
Zhou Mingyang were dare to accept my money, not only do not accept money, but also took out money to thank us, He Yu Chen and I confiscated no one, and told him, if you are afraid of, or as soon as possible to sell the house, go to live elsewhere, but there is one thing you can rest assured, that is, in the future there will be no more little girl crying in the middle of the night things happen. This snake is a bit strange, spitting its letter, if it wants, it can make a crying sound, just like the real thing. Leaving Zhou Mingyang's home, I just remembered one thing, cannot help but heart a little apprehensive, secretly think I somehow let a little girl back, my daughter-in-law out of the gate, but not a bite swallowed me? The dream is also true, true and false, anyway, I take her in python smallpox as my real relatives. I thought about my mind, casually stopped a cab, was planning to go home, He Yuchen suddenly also followed me on the car. I was a bit surprised, and asked her what she was going to do and she told me that in light of the fact that I had invoked the poisonous dragon eyes, I was now going to join her in a scene reduction from yesterday morning until I met with her today. So, she was now going to go with me to the same bank as yesterday. I recalled that I hadn't really seen anyone from the apartment yesterday morning except for the cab driver, so the bank became our first stop. About 20 minutes later, the two of us arrived at the same bank from yesterday. Because I withdrew a bit too much money at once yesterday, I deliberately chose a larger bank, a very grand kind as soon as you enter, a pair of stone lions on both sides of the doorway, a spacious and bright lobby, a tall and beautiful bank teller, so that as soon as you come in, you have an urge to deposit money. He Yu Chen and I entered the bank, and without moving, we observed the security guards at the entrance, as well as the welcoming guests, and there was nothing wrong with them. In fact, according to common sense, we are looking for a person from the ghost sect, who cultivates poison dragon eyes, if this person really has those two skills, all cultivated into the legendary poison dragon eyes, can he still work as a security guard at the bank? If we did not experience the eagle plus school things, I am afraid that we will also think so, but since the doorman Lao Wang that thing, I now go home to see the apartment security are accompanied by a smile. Because no one knows, it's possible that any ordinary person around you could be a person with supernatural powers. Excluding the bank security, the two of us came to the VIP area where I withdrew money yesterday, after all, how to withdraw hundreds of thousands of cash is also a big customer, sure to be a little special treatment. Inside the VIP area, or yesterday received me the teller lady, looks that I am not older than a few years, that is, the early twenties, body, and looks are excellent, see me come, warmly get up to greet, ask me to do what business. I didn't expect that she actually remembered me, so I also gave a fake greeting and told her that I was just passing by here and stopped by to come in and take a break. Then I pointed to Yi Yu Chen and said that this was my friend, and that I might have a sum of money that I wanted to deposit in a few days, probably at least a few hundred thousand dollars, and that I would look for her to handle it at that time. She looked quite happy, and since there was no one to handle the business, she even came out and poured two cups of coffee for us, with a great attitude. This was the first time I enjoyed the treatment of a rich person, while smiling at the teller lady, I glanced at the license plate on her chest. On the top of the license plate was her name, Chen Ruashi, which was quite nice. Sir, this is my phone number, if you come over, you can contact me in advance and I'll leave a number for you so you don't have to wait longer. She wrote her number on a sticky note, then looked up at me, smiling like a flower and handed it over with both hands, her two big eyes flickering, and although her eyes couldn't see anything else, it just made people want to look at her more. I subconsciously reached out and took it, the moment she leaned over, she suddenly whispered to me, Sir, is it convenient for you to give me your cell phone number? I couldn't help but stare, thinking that I just casually said that, and you took it seriously? I was about to politely refuse, or just blindly write down a random number for her, when Yu Chen, who was sitting next to me, suddenly gave me a wink. She hadn't said anything just now, but she gave me instructions at this time, and I felt that she must have discovered something. Alright, my number is 139362. I had to write her my cell phone number as well, then she put it away and smiled faintly at Hiyu Chen and I again. My work number 3389, I'm always waiting for you. Looking at this professional smile of hers, I nodded to her with a leathery smile as well before walking out of the bank with Hiyu Chen. Coming out onto the street, I couldn't wait to ask her if she had discovered anything, but Hiyu Chen shook her head, saying that she hadn't discovered anything, she just thought that the young lady with the job number 3389 just now, was very pretty. Pretty? So the reason you asked me to give her my cell phone number was because she was pretty? I couldn't help but ask in wonder. Yeah, she's so pretty, she even took the initiative to ask you for your cell phone number, this must be interested in you, maybe she's got her eye on you, why not give it to her? Hiyu Chen said lightly, but it made me cry and laugh. Dare I say that her purpose of asking me to give her cell phone number was to let me pick up a girl? I looked at her speechlessly and laughed bitterly, big sister, where do I have that mind right now, besides, she's just trying to get me to deposit money, I know that all their bank employees have tasks, but I now have no money, I just have the heart is also in vain. Hiyuchin smiled at me, stared at me and said, don't worry, whether you have the heart or not, she will definitely find you, don't believe me, let's bet? In her tone, 
she carried an incomparable confidence, as if this bet was a sure win for her. To be honest, I did not take it to heart, their bank is to do this, take the initiative to leave some of the big customers of the phone is normal. But I didn't expect, that night, the bank lady called Chen Ruwashi, really called me. He Yu Chen and I came out of the bank, according to the route I took yesterday, and then some scene reduction, the two of us took a car to go near the apartment, and then went to a rice noodle store, and ate a large portion of extra spicy fatty beef rice noodles. Eating rice noodles, I found Hee Chen seems to rarely eat this kind of thing, but happy, usually she eats only a little bit of food, this time she ate most of the portion, and eat a head full of sweat, even the small nose above the fine beads of sweat. In the past, He Yu Chen's impression on me had always been that of a cold exorcist, a rich second generation rich man, and a clean and unassuming character, making me always feel that she was like a fairy who didn't eat earthly fire. Except for the occasional time when I saw that distinctive eye of hers, only then would a trace of frustration unconsciously float up in my heart. This girl who looked inexplicably heartbreaking was blind in one eye. But she seems to have long been accustomed to, or rather does not care, self-centered eating feverishly, and then occasionally looked up at me, see me looking at her, asked me in a puzzled manner, why do not you eat, look at me why? I smiled at her, you eat, I'm full, watching you eat is full. She also snorted laughter, put down the chopsticks, with a hand swept up the temple's broken hair, face a little red, I do not know whether it is spicy eat too much. Was I particularly unladylike just now? She asked. No no, eat rice noodles, and eat noodles almost, you have to spit only delicious, chewing slowly eat not that flavor. You see me spit, mouth is red oil. I deliberately pouted to her look, she could not help but laugh, and then some embarrassed to say, I have not eaten rice noodles for a long time, my mother, did not allow me to eat, she always said, rice noodles are not nutritious, our additives, is made of glue, but also poisonous. There are several tables of customers in the store, the boss is sitting next to me, I rushed a cough, gave her a wink, let her not talk nonsense. Good guy, you really when the monk scolded the bald donkey, when the net writer scolded the eunuch. She, however, seemed not to notice at all, staring blankly at the half bowl of rice noodles in front of her, for some reason, her eyes seemed to be a little red. What happened to you? I said in my heart that just now I didn't seem to say anything to you ah, uh, that's why I also want to cry. She blinked her eyes, looked up and smiled at me, nothing, think of my mom. I heart suddenly, try to ask, your mom? Not anymore, almost almost four years. He Yu Chen rubbed her eyes, did not say anymore, pushed the rice noodle bowl in front of her forward, and said to me, it's not early, let's continue, the next step, where is it? She this brain circuit changed quite fast, I thought about it and said, yesterday I finished eating rice noodles, first I went to the toilet. Going to the toilet you don't need to say, just say whether you met any suspicious people? That no, independent bathroom, just me. Isn't that nonsense? He Yu Chen gave me a glance, got up to check out, I went over to grab with her, didn't grab her, and she said something that made me almost die on the spot. She said, no need for you to pay, I'll support you in the future. This sentence directly attracted the eyes of everyone in the store, everyone looked at me with different eyes, and then look at He Yu Chen, those eyes are full of envy. I fled as if pulling He Yu Chen out of the rice noodle store, she was still confused, and only said to me after leaving the store, did I just say something wrong? Why are those people looking at us strangely? I said in a breathless voice, my missy, I know you're rich, and I won't object if you want to keep me, but can you not say it in front of so many people? She looked at me with a strange face and said, I mean, didn't you lose all your money, and now you're not making any money, we're friends, I'll do you a favor and raise you. You can't be misunderstanding, right? You just take me as a misunderstanding, I'm convinced. Big sister, I am lost money, but Zhou Ming Yang that share of several tens of thousands is still there, I have not reached the point of starvation. Ah, I almost forgot, then I won't feed you. I now understand a little, He Yu Chen's character is how it came about, her brain is simply a little confused, in addition to catching ghosts to do business when she is like a normal person, other times, her way of thinking, as if it is really different from ordinary people. I had to give up on this topic, and took her to my apartment to take a look around, treating it as a scene reconstruction. He Yu Chen really quite serious, along the road carefully observed, even rubbing shoulders with every neighbor and apartment administrator did not let go, the most speechless is that she ran to the front of the apartment cleaning lady staring straight at people staring at half a day. After tossing for a while, He Yu Chin said with some disappointment, she still did not find anything, but since my family's yellow fast running has begun to investigate, there may be some clues, let me have news tomorrow must tell her. Then, she left. She is right, yellow fast running is indeed out of the investigation, but this day are not moving, I do not know where he went, in the heart shouted several times, also do not see a response. I was a little annoyed, so I took out the ancient painting, sit on my knees and meditate, want to make myself quiet. This time, I was inside the realm of the ancient painting, as if I saw Anaconda Skyflower. She was sitting right outside that ancient cave that I had seen last time, surrounded by a faint layer of purple mist, and I could only see her blurry figure. I was a bit anxious, so I said to her, daughter-in-law, 
Our family's money is letting people get away with the whole thing, do you still have the heart to meditate there? I tried to call out to her several times in succession, but there was no response. But the scene in front of me is clearer, only to see her eyes closed meditation, five hearts toward the sky, mouth slowly gulping a purple light flame, I do not know what in the end in doing. I had to retreat, did not disturb her. In fact, I know, this is the last few days did not meet with python smallpox, to miss her. I took out the statue and looked at it for a while, I always feel that my daughter-in-law is getting more and more like a human being, no, she is a human being, that is, living in my spiritual world, a real and true human being. Just at this time, the phone suddenly rang. I picked up the phone and looked at it, it was an unfamiliar number, but it still looked a little familiar, I hesitated and pressed the answer button. A voice as if moaning came from inside the phone, breathless and urgent. You come quickly, save, save me. I immediately froze, this is a very good girl voice, sounds a little painful, cannot stop issuing ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, sound, let a person think of. This is, who ah, uh, in the middle of the night, what do you want to do? Before I opened my mouth to inquire, the opposite side spoke again. Sir, it's me, job number 3389. I instantly remembered, it was the bank lady ah, uh, but it's the middle of the night, she's humming and hawing, what is she looking for me for? Although I'm still a pure and innocent teenager, but at this moment, I can't help but think wildly. Sir, my mother is sick, I. I am not convenient to send her to the hospital now, and I cannot find acquaintances to help, I have to beg you to help, my home is living in XX Road XX No. XX, later I will send the address to the past, please, now only you can save her, please be sure to come to the. The phone said here and hung up, about less than a minute, the other side sent an address over. Looking at this address, I frowned tightly. In this middle of the night, a beautiful young lady is begging hard, am I going, or not? I hesitated for a few seconds and ultimately decided not to care about this idle matter. It's not that I don't have love and am not willing to help others, but mainly because her mom is sick, what's the use of me going? You have to call 120 emergency. Even if I now immediately go out to rush over, the delay not to mention, I am not a rescue instrument, to go is just two shoulders to carry a head, if she is inviting ghosts and so on, I may also be able to give her to solve the problem of illness. The phone suddenly rang again, I picked up a look, or she. Sir, please, must not tell this matter to others and do not call the police, do not call the emergency number. Her voice got more and more urgent, and as she spoke, I could vaguely hear, next to her, what seemed to be a very faint voice, like a small child crying and talking. That tone is very strange, and a little vague, I do not really hear, but the body immediately brushed up a layer of goosebumps, the first feeling is, her house is haunted. Before I could open my mouth to inquire, the phone was disconnected again. If I mention other things I may not feel anything, but now this sense of up, then why call 120 ah, I immediately go. I grabbed the clothes beside my bed and ran outside. Master told me to do good deeds and accumulate merit, since this matter has now found its way to my head, it means that the woman and I are destined to be together, and if I don't go and cause her to have an accident, then this is also my karma. Of course, I may also be tainted with karma if I go, but as a reserve out disciple, how can I be afraid of this? Hurriedly ran to the street, stopped a car, according to the address inside the text message, came to Chan Ruwashi's home, came to the door and knocked hard for half a day, there is no response, I was anxious, backward a few steps to be hard, but I was rushing forward, the door suddenly opened, I stumbled, and jumped in, almost fell, and then look at the door standing in front of the very Chen Ruwashi. The room was filled with the pungent smell of blood, no lights were turned on, it was pitch black, Chen Ruwashi was wearing a nightgown, but the clothes were open, the upper half of her body was almost all exposed, that body was full of blood at the moment. She was staring in horror, her face was gray and sweaty, standing there shaking, not knowing what to do and looking at me. When I saw the scene, I first saw a blur before my eyes, and then my heart sank. Sure enough something happened. My mom. My mom she. Chen Ruwashi did not even bother to cover up her clothes, pointing to the inside of the bedroom trembling said, I did not dare to look at her more, hurriedly greeted her and took a step toward the bedroom. The ground is dripping blood, shocking, I quickly stepped to the bedroom, I saw the bed lying a woman in her forties, is struggling to crawl to the ground, half of the body has been dragged to the ground, face and mouth corners are all blood, strange eyes, look hideous, let a person look from the back of the spine began to bubble cold air. This is obviously already possessed by a severe ghost ah. No wonder Daryl didn't let me call the police, nor did she let me call the emergency services, in this case, not to mention 110, 120, 119 doesn't work either. But it's strange, how did she see that I can manage this? I did not say anything, stretching out my fingers in the palm of my left hand drew five circles, right, the simple version of the five thunder spell, and then walked up to the woman to gesture a bit. Five thunder curse this thing is still quite overbearing, because most of the creatures in nature, most of them are round eyes, and every creature will subconsciously pay attention when it sees something round. 
I didn't want to immediately bombard people with the five thunder curse, after all, I hadn't figured out what was going on yet, so I was just making a gesture to scare her. Just when my palm was still more than half a meter away from her, she suddenly opened her mouth and let out a blurry voice, but it didn't sound like hers at all, rather it sounded like a baby that had just become able to talk and was teething. She said it two or three times, and the tone was just as weird as what I heard on the phone. Chen Ruwashi also came over, her face was green with fear, standing in the doorway and not daring to approach, shivering, she said to me, what is she, saying, that voice is very vague, I signaled her to silence, and then listened carefully for half a day to understand, the voice said is actually a word, hungry, I looked up at Chen Ruwashi and said, it said it was hungry, Chen Ruwashi said, but just now, we just had a snack, I shook my head and said, it's not that she's hungry, it's it, she froze and her face changed, Taking advantage of the middle-aged woman's honesty, I got up and asked Chen Ruwashi, what the hell is going on, why did you want to get up and find me? She stammered, I, don't know, just suddenly have a feeling that this matter can only look for you, sir, what in the world is this thing on my mom? It is a baby spirit. Infant spirit? How can it be? Tell me, did you have an abortion, or did your mom have an abortion? I don't have a boyfriend yet. Chen Ruwashi shook her head vigorously. At this time her clothes were already on but her chest still revealed a large area of snow white stained with blood. I took a look and said to my head, you haven't had an abortion, so what were you doing just now? Her face swept a trace of redness, explained, I don't know, my mom suddenly had an attack, so she had to have milk, so I had to muddle through. This is really interesting, I almost happy out loud, said this mother and daughter in the end what is the situation, her mom wants to eat her daughter's milk? I held back my laughter and said with a stern face, that's no wonder, since you don't have any milk, of course she's going to bite you. I already understood where all the blood on this floor came from. Seeing that she still looked confused, I explained, the thing is obvious, there is a baby spirit in her body and it has been with her for a long time, today maybe you guys did something that stimulated it, so it seized up. She suddenly remembered something like that and said indistinctly, I know, my mom said before that she had an abortion before giving birth to me, could it be it? I nodded, that's right, it is about two years old now, it's very hungry and has no food. I looked at Chen Ruwashi's mother, and on her body, just as I had depicted, a thing was lying on its back, its head bobbing around, looking for food. What's to be done then? Daryl's gaze was filled with horror, and with one hand covering her robe, she moved closer to me, like she was afraid that the infant spirit I described would pounce on her and bite her again. It's hungry, of course you have to give it food, if there's no milk, it has to drink blood, so it's okay for you to let it suck your blood, but once you let it drink enough blood, it will most likely turn into a blood baby, and in the future it will have to drink your blood to live, and it will be hard to drive it away. Chen Ruwashi shook her head in fear and asked, neither milk nor blood will do, sir, please, can you drive it away now? I also shook my head and smiled bitterly, I don't have that kind of ability, if you don't feed it, then, it will have to take your mom's life. Chen Ruwashi said grimly, in fact, my mom already has a tumor, it's almost at an advanced stage, she's been doing treatments, but it doesn't help much. There's an infant spirit here, if you guys don't settle it down, no medication your mom can use will help, so it's necessary to drive away the infant spirit, you must know that the infant spirit is more difficult than anything else, if you don't settle it now, it's something that will be looking for it from generation to generation, and its ferocity is getting stronger and stronger. I will definitely do the overcoming, no one has ever said this before, and we really don't know, but what about tonight? Chen Ruwashi's tone was a bit on the verge of crying in a hurry, her mom was lying there, unable to stop murmuring, crying one moment and laughing the next, it looked almost like a mental illness. I pondered for a while and said to her, there's no good way now, I can only try to persuade it and coax it. Then how to persuade and coax it? This is simple, you find a pair of scissors, cut a strand of hair on your mother's head, then cut a piece of the corner of her coat, then find a piece of white paper and give it to me together. This method of mine is completely self-invented and was just thought up in my mind. I don't know if it works or not, but I can only take a chance on it. Chen Ruwashi quickly brought what I wanted, I picked up the white paper and cut a paper man out in three tries. This is still a skill that I knew when I was a child, now although I haven't cut a paper man for a long time, I'm a bit rusty, but it's still alive and well. After I finished cutting, I glued the strands of hair in the corner of my shirt on top of the paper figure, drew a nose and eyes on it, and finally told Chen Ruwashi to find a needle, take a drop of blood from her mom's finger, and drop it on the paper figure. She did as I said, and when we were all done, I told her to take an iron basin and put it on the ground, and then threw the paper man into it, and the paper man floated back and forth when it met the water, and the blood and water spread out, making the paper man look very three-dimensional. At the same time, I gently fluctuated the surface of the water, and I watched as the baby spirit became a little softer, and also left Chen Ruwashi's mom's body, wailing and crying as it burrowed into the water basin. It really worked, I couldn't help but be a little surprised. The principle wasn't really difficult, this paper man and blood, simulated a fetus with weak blood, 
and since that creature liked to drink blood, it naturally had no resistance to this weak fetus, so it burrowed into the water basin. I was greatly relieved and said to Chen Ruwashi, it's gone for now, I didn't expect a dummy to be so effective, I guess I can coax it to stop for two days. At this time, the middle-aged woman on the side grunted twice and seemed to wake up, Chen Ruwashi rushed over to comfort her for a few moments, and helped her cover the quilt, she looked at us with lifeless eyes, and fell into a deep sleep. Seeing that it was alright, Chen Ruwashi also settled down and gratefully said to me, thank you so much, I didn't think you really saved us, I, how do I have to thank you for this? I would like to joke that you to the body to be, but look at her poor look, did not have the heart to say, the words to the mouth became, no need to thank, this is also between the two of us destiny, otherwise, today I would not have run to the bank to sit there for a while, but also to the cell phone number to you. Everything in the underworld has its own providence. I acted like an old clergyman, she suddenly remembered something, got up and took out a stack of money from her purse, handed it to me and said, this is a little bit of my heart, there is not too much cash at home, so don't mind if it's too little. I swept a glance, the stack of money is estimated to be more than 2,000, should be all the money in her wallet to me. But I didn't take it, and said to her, the money or not is secondary, the main thing is the thing I just said, you must think about it, find a reliable temple, and get the overpassing spells done, only by sending away that baby spirit, your family can stop. Also, I still want to ask you, why did you think of getting up and looking for me just now? Was it really just a sixth sense? I've always wondered about this matter, and Daryl Chen said, I guess so, I'm not sure, it's just that just now my mom suddenly became out of sorts, first she had the same intense liver pain as she did before, and was sweating profusely from the pain, and then she started to let out a strange laugh, and it didn't sound like her at all. I was terrified, and was at a loss as to what to do, when I felt as if a person in my ear said to me to look for you. Who? Who talked to you and told you to find me? I don't know, I've never heard that voice before, it was very soft, as if it was a hallucination, but after saying it several times in a row, I had to take a chance and call you. I thought about it and asked her again, was the voice male or female? It was female, I can tell for sure. This time she sounded sure. I frowned, a female, suddenly talking to her and asking her to find me, who could it be? But I asked a few more questions, and still didn't get anything out, so I had to give up, and pretend that there were gods in the underworld helping them. I said goodbye to leave, Shin Ruwashi a little afraid, begged me to stay a little longer, said she was really scared, if I just left, the baby spirit then came again, she must be scared to death. I had to promise to stay with her for a while, perhaps to find a topic of conversation, or perhaps to see that I really have some ability, Daryl chased after me to ask me to tell her, her mother's disease can still be cured. Seeing her earnest attitude, I took the idea of giving it a try and reached out to take her pulse, while sweeping her face at the same time. The pulse was very weak, she had just been possessed by an infant spirit, which was normal. But before I could tell anything from the pulse, I suddenly realized that a layer of black chi had somehow enveloped her face, and was slowly gathering towards the center of her eyebrows. At the same time, an image of the internal organs of the human body surfaced in front of my eyes. This image was several times clearer than a three-dimensional ultrasound, and although it was still far from seeing it with my own eyes, I could clearly see that in the location of her liver, there was a tumor the size of a duck egg. The image lasted for a few seconds before disappearing. But to be sure, I could see that that tumor was continuously devouring her intact organs, and it was still slowly getting bigger. Good guy, this heavenly eye of mine is also too powerful, right? Even the inside of the human body can be seen, then won't I be a humanoid color ultrasound, super perspective eye in the future? Why don't you say that people who are not gifted can't do this business? This is the ability to have eyesight and hearing developed to a certain degree. Once watched a variety show, there are blind people, even with the sound of the sound waves to determine the obstacles, just like the bats, the world is big and strange, strange people still have. Thinking about it, I am still a bit happy. I slowly let my thoughts return to reality, then looked at her face again, a few words then came to my mind. As fast as January, as slow as March. It seemed that Chen Ruwashi's mom didn't have many days left. I shook my head and said to her, I suggest that you should do the transcendence as soon as possible and then be hospitalized right away, otherwise, I'm afraid that the situation is not too good. She froze a bit and said, that's serious? But the doctor said the other day that it's currently under control, and the tumor is starting to shrink. Shrinking? You might want to get it checked out again. Anyway, I've already told you, as for what to do, that's up to you. After I finished speaking, I got up with the intention of leaving, and she stayed where she was, then suddenly picked up the wad of money and said to me, this money, please be sure to take it, if something happens next time, I might have to trouble you again. I smiled at her, reached out and drew a piece of money from the stack of money, and said, then I'll take a hundred, for the sake of our fate, it's enough for my round trip fare. But if something happens next time, it won't be this price. Left Chen Ruashi home, my heart is quite happy, there is a kind of help people happy kind of joy, and she is just a bank employee, but not Zhou Mingyang Shangwan rich kind of tycoon, a symbolic collection of a little money on the line. 
I called a cab to go home, thinking about tonight's events along the way, think fate is really wonderful, during the day, Chen Ruashi may just want to leave a big customer's phone number, did not expect, the night to save their lives, but I am still puzzled, that in Chen Ruashi's ear to speak, in the end who is it? Thinking about it, unknowingly arrived at the place, I took out from my pocket the hundred dollars that Chen Ruashi gave just now, and was about to give the driver to settle the bill, when my eyes inadvertently swept over the money, but suddenly froze. This is a new money, due to the light is a bit dark, can't see the pattern on it, but I can see that the left side of this money has a shoe print, there seems to be something else vaguely on it. A scene from last night before I went to bed came to mind. I was about to go to bed when a mosquito was flying around the room, I chased it for more than 10 minutes and finally gave it a shoe swat on the bed. Since the bed was full of money, the corpse of this mosquito, together with the shoe print of the slipper, was left on top of a sheet of money. And now I took out this money, there is a residual mosquito body, and shoe prints of traces on it. This is clearly the money I lost last night. How did it get to her? Seeing this money, I almost had to shout at the driver to turn around and go back to ask Chen Ruashi what was going on. If someone used the five ghosts to get rid of all my money, and then deposited it in the bank, and it happened to be withdrawn by Chen Ruashi, and then the money came back to me in this way. This is also too much of a coincidence, right? Before I could open my mouth, my body suddenly bristled with heat, as if something had returned. Immediately afterward, I saw a small head exposed in the collar, and it was actually Yellow Fast Runner. Yellow Racer's voice instantly appeared in my head. I found that person, turn around and I'll take you to meet him. Huang Quick Run was not only a fast runner, but also had a sharp tongue and eloquent speech, he was an acute person and told me all the information as soon as he came back. I couldn't help but be stunned, thinking that since Huang Quick Run had found that person, should I still ask Chen Ruoshi? At this time, the driver master waited impatiently and asked, Young man, where else do you want to go ah? Uh, or do you have no change in your pocket ah? Uh? He said it very politely, in fact, he wanted to ask me if I didn't have money to pay the bill, I thought about it, and decided not to go look for Chen Ruoshi, and wait until tomorrow to see that person, then say. I changed a banknote to settle the bill, and then got off the car, back to the apartment, I cannot wait to ask Huang Fast Running, that person in the end who was it, why do you want to move my money? Yellow Fast Runner, however, shook his head and then gesticulated, and a voice rang in my head, I didn't see anyone, but I heard someone say a place. This surprised me, it turned out that Huang Quick Run hadn't even seen anyone. A whole bunch of question marks hovered in my mind, lingering. Disturbed in my heart, I opened the ancient painting, sat on my knees, settled down, meditated, and visualized. This time, my heart for a long time difficult to quiet down, almost after more than half an hour, before finally entered the realm of the ancient painting. In front of my eyes, the picture flowed, but it was a beautiful peach blossom forest, the forest is colorful, petals spread on the ground, there is a soft light shining in front of my eyes, so I can see in front of me in the peach blossom forest, a woman in white with a stunning figure, standing alone, enjoying the flowers alone. It was Python Skyflower. I happily walked over and said to her, your seclusion is over? That's great, I'll be able to see you again in the future. She slowly turned around, looked at me in waves, and suddenly said coldly, I was away for a few days and you recognized a sister back, very good. I was jolted for a moment, busy explaining, no no no, I that is also no way, in order to save people, besides, she is just an instrumental spirit, completely different from you, there is no comparison. Seeing my desire for survival, she still has the same cold face, and said to me, I didn't blame you, in the future, you will have other women sooner or later. She said this, I was more panicked, with a smile on her face, said, look at what you say, you are my daughter-in-law, how can I have another woman, do not forget, we can worship. Oh, it's good that you know it yourself. She suddenly changed to a cloudy look, then said to me, now, do you know your mission? Her gaze was gentle, like she was expecting something different, but I shook my head with a confused look and said, sorry, I don't really know. She looked at my face with a slight hint of disappointment, but didn't say anything, just told me faintly. Tomorrow, you'll know. Tomorrow? You mean, to the hospital? She didn't answer and turned around alone, walking deeper into the peach forest. Her voice seemed to come from a very distant place. That is your mission, but not your ultimate. I was even more confused and shouted, Hey, daughter-in-law, you put the words clearly ah, do not understand ah. Only this time, no matter how much I shouted she didn't say anything, her figure slowly disappeared in the peach forest. Exit the ancient painting realm, I feel dizzy, remembered in the painting python smallpox said to me, more and more confused. She said that I would know my mission tomorrow, and that my mission wasn't even my ultimate. What the hell is the meaning of this? I tried asking Huang Quick Run again, but he didn't even reply this time, not knowing where he ran off to again. With these questions, I tossed and turned and pondered until the latter part of the night, but did not understand what was going on, and finally fell into a deep sleep. The next morning, I was sleeping, dazed, and confused, I felt someone pickpocket my feet, dream seems to be yellow fast running, he said to me, the sun is shining on the buttocks, you still do not get up, a moment people are gone. 
I woke up with a jolt and opened my eyes to see that it was already 9 o'clock in the morning. Get up get up, I'm getting up. I said to the empty room, then hurriedly got up and dressed, quickly washed my face, and ran out. Riding in the car, I quickly arrived at the city hospital, I bought a pork burger at the breakfast kiosk at the entrance, nibbling on it as I walked into the hospital lobby. Huang quickly ran to give me the message, is to come to the city hospital, but did not say exactly where, also did not say the time, I asked him a few times in my mind, but he only told me a word, find. Well, that's probably something he doesn't know, so I'll start looking. I walked aimlessly, first I circled the lobby twice, nothing special to sense, the registration desk and the pharmacy slipped by, and nothing special appeared. Then, I walked up the stairs, all the way to the top floor, and after almost half an hour of wandering around, I still didn't find anything either. I was so puzzled that I went back down the stairs and retraced my steps back to the lobby, but it was still the same. Just then, I suddenly saw a sign that said, leading to hospitalization. I slapped my head and said that I'm so stupid, I actually forgot that the hospital doesn't only have an outpatient clinic, but also an inpatient division. Since I didn't find anything in the outpatient clinic, I'll go to the inpatient department. As a result, I followed the signs to the inpatient department, and just as I got to the second floor, I heard a loud noise coming from inside. I followed the sound and went over to take a look, it was a high-level ward, the door was hidden, there were people inside shouting hysterically, and there were several doctors and nurses inside. Suddenly, a somewhat familiar figure flashed by, I fixed my eyes on it and immediately recognized it. This was actually Chan Ruashi. I immediately understood that she should have brought her mother to be hospitalized for treatment, but looking at the situation, her mother should have had another seizure. I didn't hesitate to push the door in and saw that a nurse was holding a needle and was about to stick it into Chen Ruwashi's mom's body. Chen Ruwashi's mom was dancing around, shouting and struggling. It looked like the nurse was trying to sedate her. Slow down, she can't be sedated right now, if you guys don't let her vent it out, she'll get worse instead. As soon as I said that, one of those white coats, who was obviously the leader, yelled back at me. You're a doctor and I'm a doctor? Get out. The moment the four eyes met, this person, however, froze at once, and I was also quite surprised. Because this person, is actually that nephew of Yang Shoucheng, Yan Lin. This is really a meeting of destiny, is he Chan Ruwashi's mom's attending doctor? I couldn't help but smile in my heart, thinking, this time it's interesting. How come it's you? Yang Lin's face became ugly all of a sudden, and the way he looked at me became strange. So it's our returnee DR. Yang Lin, what a coincidence, you work here? I looked at Yang Lin and smiled, exchanging pleasantries with him. Yang Lin, however, was a bit embarrassed, his face sunk slightly, and said, Sorry, I'm checking on a patient, unrelated people please go out first. It's not easy to get a word please out of his mouth, but I didn't go out, instead I said to him, I know this patient, and I'm still a little bit related to her, so I shouldn't be considered an irrelevant person, right? What relationship do you have with her? Yang Lin asked with a frown. I'm the one who made her come to the hospital today. I gave him a slight smile. Chen Ruwashi also walked over and said to him in a pleading tone, Director Yang, this is my friend, he's the one who told me that my mother's tumor has gotten bigger, so that's why I came to ask you to give it a checkup, and for the date of the surgery, I'd also like to trouble you to arrange for it as soon as possible. Yang Lin looked at her, but changed his face to an amiable one and said, Miss Chen, don't be in a hurry, your mother's test results have not come out yet, wait a bit to look at it before you can determine whether the tumor has worsened or not, and whether there is a necessity to do the surgery. Director Yang, the patient can't control her emotions, to fight or not to fight. The nurse at the site said urgently, Yang Lin was about to give the order, I had already written the word Asian on my palm, and walked over to put my palm on Chen Ruashi's mom's forehead. This method is also my own research out, the nurse in the side with sedatives are almost anxious sweat, but I put this palm up, see Chen Ruashi mom quiet down, after a long sigh of relief, the curtains slowly close, less than a minute time to sleep. Everyone in the ward looked dumbfounded, Yan Lin knew what I was doing, but he couldn't say it explicitly, so he only had to colorfully shout at me, please don't interfere with our normal work, if you have something to do, wait outside first, okay? I couldn't help but laugh a little and shrugged at him, saying indifferently, whatever, anyway, I told you, she can't just be sedated or this condition of hers will get worse, and I do suggest that the next time she's like this, you guys could try singing her a lullaby. Several of the doctors in the ward looked at me with psychotic stares, and I bared my teeth at them as I turned and headed out the door. I came here to find the thief who stole the money, not to fight with him. However, Chen Ruashi chased after me, pulled me, and said, By the way, yesterday you told me, how big is my mom's tumor now? Does it have to be operated on right away? I thought about it and gave her a hand to gesture and said, It's about this big, almost the size of an egg, I feel that it's necessary to have an operation right away, but, you'd better listen to this director Yang. Yang Lin coldly said, Egg size? Oh, I read her previous diagnosis, three months ago it was still only the size of a fingernail, 
and looking at the patient's current condition, apart from being a bit emotionally unstable, all other conditions are fine, according to my judgment, it's simply impossible for it to have deteriorated that badly. I didn't argue with him, I just looked at Chen Ruwashi and said to her, sorry, although I can tell you the truth, I'm not a doctor, so you'll still have to listen to him as to whether or not to operate. Otherwise, it's fine for you to change hospitals, don't delay your mom's condition. Xu Yifan, don't think that because you have some relationship with my uncle, you can run in front of me and tell me what to do, this is a hospital, it's not a place for you to be reckless, get out. Yang Lin's face became more and more ugly, he almost started to growl. I thought to myself that this is also because your uncle is not here, otherwise, it would be another big slap on your face, how dare you disrespect the master. But I ignored him and was about to leave when another doctor came in outside the door and handed Yang Lin a diagnostic report in his hand. Director Yang, the patient's report is out, from the comprehensive indicators, it's pretty much maintained its previous form, and it's shrunk a bit. No way, shrunken? I couldn't help but be stunned, Yang Lin held that report, as if he finally found the evidence to attack me, his eyes were filled with excitement, sneering, he said to me, sorry, your judgment seems to be wrong, now I'll ask you to go out, you don't have a problem with that, do you? I would have been fine with that, and in fact I'm not here to see you. However, I suspect you have a problem with this report. I was absolutely convinced of the results I saw with my celestial eyes last night, that tumor had truly started to deteriorate, it couldn't have been just that little, much less shrunken from before. Ignoring Yang Lin's cynicism, I came in front of Chen Ruwashi's mom, reached out and placed my hand on the location of her liver, gazing at it, a picture immediately appeared in front of me. It was still a tumor the size of an egg, not at all. What's going on here? When I thought about it carefully, I understood. If that infant spirit wasn't resolved, Chen Ruwashi's mom's true condition would be hidden, so when she was examining it just now, it was definitely inaccurate. In order to verify my thoughts, my hand slightly exerted its power and pressed inward before retracting. The diagnosis just now was definitely faulty and inaccurate, now, if you trust me, get the people from the imaging department over here right away, and do a 3D ultrasound on your mother on the spot, to see just how big that tumor is. After I finished speaking to Chin Ruwashi, I looked at Yang Lin again and said word for word, Director Yang, I have no intention of provoking your authority, but human life is at stake, so you can't be careless, and it would be beneficial for you to check again. After saying these words, I turned around and left the hospital room without stopping for half a moment. After closing the door, how they go about it, that's their business, anyway, I've already done my part, it's not exactly seeing death. I came to the corridor, at this time it was already more than 3 o'clock in the afternoon, there were very few visiting patients, and the environment of the advanced ward area was still good, quiet, and there were not many people coming and going in the corridor. Toss so half a day, I am also a little tired, see the corridor there is a seat, sitting above a middle-aged man wearing sunglasses, wearing a casual dress, sitting there silently, as if thinking about something. I didn't think much about it, I walked over, and then sat next to the man, raised his head and looked at the people walking in front of him, pondering in his heart, in the end, who is the one who stole my money? This thought just floated up, for some reason, I suddenly felt a hint of danger, with a chill, slowly approaching from the surroundings. At the same time, my body began to visibly heat up, only this heat was from the inside out, while that chill was from the outside in. Could it be that there is someone coming? I felt more and more twisted in my heart, and was about to get up and leave the place, when the middle-aged man, who had been sitting silently next to me, suddenly opened his mouth. Young man, are you willing to do me a favor? I froze and turned back to him, favor, what kind of favor? A wry smile slowly appeared on his stereotypical face, and he raised his head, the pair of eyes hidden behind his sunglasses, staring intently at my face. As long as you do this favor for me, that $400,000, I promise to return it to you in one cent, moreover, it will be doubled. I was jolted for a moment, and thought, good, so it was you. I sat back in the chair, looked at this person, asked, can God unknowingly do this, you are not ordinary people, what else can I help? This person smiled faintly at me and said, I heard that little Mr. Choryifun is a skilled healer and a strong Taoist, so I just want to ask little Mr. to help me save someone, nothing else. Save someone? I sized him up twice, thinking that not only does this person know what my name is, he also knows my background and he was able to trick me while I was asleep, right under my nose, I'll have to be more careful when dealing with this person. Saving people is fine, but you have to tell me who you are and how you know about me, moreover, since you know the five ghosts carrying technique, I think you must not be an idle person, you still need my help. The man laughed again, pointed to the ward not far away, and said, I'm Chen Ruoshi's friend, put it this way, you should understand, right? I also laughed, I know you are related to her even if you don't say so, but it looks like, she doesn't know about you at all, to say that you are a friend, I think, Adoption is more or less the same, right? The man didn't deny it and said lightly, I give her $20,000 a month, to each his own. I nodded, probably understanding. 
He was Chen Ruashi's lover, used the five ghosts carrying to get rid of all my belongings, the matter of a poisonous substance going into my eyes was more than likely his doing as well, and the most infuriating thing was that he actually took my money to support his lover. Taking the liberty of asking, someone from the ghost sect? I asked bluntly, while my gaze was on his sunglasses, but his eyes were hidden behind them and I couldn't see them clearly. He didn't deny it either, and slowly nodded, adding, that day at the bank, I went to see Daryl, and just happened to run into you, so I took a shot to test it out, no offense, and what's more, that kind of small thing, it doesn't hinder you. Good guy, this is really not hidden at all, don't even need me to ask, directly admitted that he did it. Seeing him so honest, I am a little embarrassed to be angry, but since he is a person in the ghost sect and an expert in practicing poison dragon eyes, what can't be solved, actually have to ask for help. May I trouble you to ask, what is your last name? I opened my mouth and asked him. Surname Gua. He replied briefly. I said to him, okay, now that we've gotten to know each other, I'll say what I have to say. Since you have something to ask for, then you should go directly to me, and as a result, you secretly took away all of my belongings, which is a little bit not good enough, right? Even if it was a test, was it necessary to do so? I asked while observing his reaction. His face, however, didn't change much, and he just reached out his hand and lightly clapped twice, after which, two black clothed men suddenly appeared out of nowhere, each carrying a suitcase in their hands, standing respectfully in front of him. He slightly signaled again, one of them then walked to my front, opened the suitcase. What met my eyes was a suitcase full of banknotes. Bundles and bundles of brand new banknotes were neatly stacked inside, and at a guess, there were at least several hundred thousand. Little sir, sorry, there are two boxes here, each containing 400,000, if you don't want to do me a favor, then now you take one box and go. I won't be bothering you in the future, if you agree to help me, then when it's over, both of these boxes will be yours. I'm a man who always keeps his word and never goes back on it. After saying that, he sat there quietly, his two eyes hidden behind his sunglasses, looking at me without a word, waiting for my answer. I have to say, this person does have a way of doing things, not only did he directly admit that this matter was done by him, but also prepared to double the payment. I think, but any other person, seeing this box full of money, I'm afraid that not many can resist. But his attitude, obviously with money to hit me, and still condescending kind, I am now at least considered a millionaire, I suffer you this? As the saying goes, young and vigorous, not to mention my master especially explained, this all of a sudden from the sky down hundreds of thousands of dollars, absolutely is a disaster not a blessing. I only glanced at these two boxes of money, I carried one of them in my hand, nonchalantly said to him, Sorry, this is called the return of things to their rightful owners, I write two days, you write a box, we too clear, if you want to ask me to help in the future, trouble to change the way, good to talk about it, maybe I can still agree. After saying that, I picked up the box, bared my teeth at him and smiled, then turned around and left. Using that kind of underhanded means to steal my money, and now also so high profile returned to me, a look of arrogance, from beginning to end have sat there did not move, with whom the two? But I have been walking out a long way, he did not stop me, even did not make a sound. I almost walked to the end of the corridor, a little puzzled, turned back to look, only to see he is still sitting there, seemingly smiling and not smiling at me. What a weirdo. I went out of the corridor, and coincidentally, at that moment, Chen Ruashi's urgent shout came from behind me. Where's that gentleman just now? He was so right, the doctor from the ultrasound department came to the ward just now to do an examination, and that tumor of my mother's is really as big as an egg. I stopped walking slightly, a smile floating at the corner of my mouth. Behind me was soon in chaos, at the same time, the cell phone rang, I picked it up and saw that it was Chen Ruashi calling. But I didn't answer it, at this time, I didn't want to get myself into trouble. So I hung up the phone, accelerated my pace, and left the hospital. 400,000 lost and found, this is the biggest gain for me, and then I did not go home, carrying the money to the bank, as the number of all deposited, this heart is finally put down. Just I have a hunch in my heart, that surnamed Gua, will soon come to me. After returning home, I gave Hiyu Chen made a phone call, Today's events roughly told her once, she was also a little surprised, after a moment of silence, told me, after encountering this person, remember to call her on. I know she has been thinking about her master's murder, and today that person mysterious, and the whole wearing a pair of sunglasses, intuition tells me that he is likely to be related to the murder of Hiyu Chen's master. It's just that I can't guess at all, next time, what way will he come to me? At around 1pm, Chen Ruashi's phone call came in for the 36th time. I had just taken a nap, with my phone set to mute, and was startled to see Chen Ruashi's call when I woke up. At the same time there were several text messages, the general content was to ask me for help, because the hospital checked out that her mother's liver tumor had seriously deteriorated and had begun to spread and spread, and there was little point in treating it anymore. At the same time, she said that she had already asked someone to find a place that could drive away the baby spirit, and that she would do the transcendence ceremony tomorrow, so she wanted to ask me to make sure to save her mom. 
Looking at her text message, I could feel her nervousness and urgency, but I still didn't message her back, because I knew that her mother was actually still saved, just now when I was in the hospital, I had secretly made a move to contain the spread of the tumor. I used a very rare and precious powder, something I got by chance, plus some special techniques to make the area near the tumor, temporarily in a dormant state. After another while, Yang Shouqing suddenly called, I couldn't help but smile when I saw it was his number. Anaconda said that I would find out what my mission was today, and I think that I know now. Mr. Chor. Hello, this is Yang Lin. On the phone, came Yang Lin's voice, he spoke carefully, next to Yang Shoucheng's reprimand. How do you talk to your master? Don't beg your master for help yet, otherwise, I'll see how you can pass this hurdle. Half an hour later, Yang Shoucheng brought Yang Lin to the apartment where I live. As soon as I entered, Yang Shoucheng scolded Yang Lin and told him to explain to me himself. Although this Yang Lin didn't despise me, he was afraid of his uncle Yang Shoucheng, so he had no choice but to tell me the truth. It turned out that that incident with Chen Ruwashi's mom today had already spread in their hospital, and since he had been the other party's attending doctor, the matter had become very delicate. Yang Lin was a returnee doctor, but with his age and qualifications, it was basically unlikely for him to be the head of a department in a public hospital. Therefore, the people inside the hospital were quite critical of this, and they all thought that he had relied on his uncle to get to the top. Because Yang Shoucheng was the special consultant of their hospital, the dean had to be respectful in front of him. And Yang Lin, as the attending doctor, failed to notice the patient's condition deteriorating sharply in time, which was a dereliction of duty in itself, plus the fact that some people added fuel to the fire, he was even more passive. Therefore, this time, he had to save Chen Ruwashi's mom, otherwise, not only Yang Lin could not do his job anymore, Yang Shoucheng's reputation would also be damaged. But they have already been diagnosed, Chen Ruwashi's mother's liver tumor is basically irreversible, likely to start spreading at any time, if you cannot undergo effective treatment, it is estimated that the life cycle is within 1 to 3 months. This statement, on the contrary, is the same as what I read, remember what I told Chen Ruwashi yesterday, it is also 1 to 3 months. However, at this level of cancer, there is no longer much value in treatment, and all the patient needs to do is to go home and wait for death. But if this patient died, it would be too humiliating for Yang Lin. So, what he meant by looking for me was that he wanted me to help him save the patient. Treating a terminal cancer patient, this really sounds a bit unreliable. I asked Yang Shoucheng, he is a famous doctor and a saint, and he has shaken the city of Luoyang, but he still can't cure this level of illness? He said with some embarrassment, a person's medical skills, even if high, there are ultimately their own cannot cure the disease, and then cancer is a terminal disease, although he also has a treatment program, but the effect is too slow, and if in case it does not work. The latter words he did not say, but I already understand. To his position in this jungle, the most afraid of is to miss. The most important thing is that he is afraid of losing his hand. Losing his hand means losing face, and losing face means losing his position in the Jianghu. But then again, I don't think Yang Shoucheng can cure cancer either, he's a person who brags a lot. I told the two of them that I couldn't guarantee that he could cure cancer, so I'd better hire someone else. Yang Lin anxious, see me to give the order to expel, only hardened his head, flopping to me on his knees. He said to me, today he saw me in the patient's affected area pressed, the results of the ultrasound examination, we all saw, the patient's tumor area, there are two clear fingerprints. Now this matter, has spread in the hospital, many people are looking for me through Chen Ruwashi, so he concluded that only I can save that patient, and only I can help him. Seeing that he was finally willing to be soft, I pondered over it, and then told him that I could help him in this matter, but not today, it had to wait for three days later. It was hard to get rid of the two of them, looking at the sunset, I casually ordered a takeaway to fill my stomach, then I took out the ancient painting, sat on my knees and entered the realm of the ancient painting once again. Now I have found out that this is the easiest way to communicate, every time I come in I will find something new, and Python who usually doesn't talk to me much, inside the ancient painting, she will talk to me a little more. Sure enough, as soon as I entered the ancient painting, I came back to the peach blossom forest, the python skyflower was still staying inside, but this time, there was one more person in front of her, a six or seven year old little girl. This little girl wearing a white dress, born very handsome, how to see how to feel familiar, when she turned around, I cannot help but cover my head. This is not the little girl in the life-killing blade. But she is a spirit. Why also into the ancient painting? And this time, the little girl was no longer the appearance of a snake, but had really become a girl. At this moment, I was completely sure that I had already treated the knife as a family member. I could enter my dreams anytime, anywhere, and enter into my own crocheted world of consciousness, but in the world of the ancient painting, I had never seen anyone else besides Python Skyflower, which meant that subconsciously in my mind, only Python Skyflower was qualified to enter the ancient painting. Now there was another girl. Looking at the two of them kinda making out, I was a bit confused and scratched my head, not waiting to open my mouth, the little girl had already run and jumped over, hugging my thighs. 
Brother, I like this sister, she even combed my hair. I looked down, her original hair that was spread out had been combed into two scrunchies, making it look even cleaner, and although her little face had little color and still looked a bit fierce, her gaze was soft and her face was full of happiness. Ah, good, good, that's good. I didn't know what to say for a moment, Anaconda Skyflower stood up, looked at me and said, now, know your mission? I thought for a moment and asked back, is it to heal the sick? She smiled and nodded, you're right, but this is only your first mission, and the disease you'll be curing is not an unusual one. So, I specialize in difficult diseases? I said listening to this meaning, a bit of ancestral old Chinese medicine feeling, but my two tricks, take out to bluffing is okay, really wanna cure the disease, I'm afraid it's a little bit bad enough right? She seemed to know what I was thinking, said to me, not you specialize in difficult cases, but I. I suddenly realized, said, I understand, you are exercising my ability to cure diseases, later when I really go out, we are to cure diseases, right? She said, right, but not exactly right. Do you know why you are so inspired, yet you are slow to set out and no immortal has come to you? In fact, this is something I've never understood, when I talked to Yu Chen before, she said that she had many immortals come to her since she was in her teens, and that she only stepped out later when she really had no other choice. But now that I'm able to pass through the Yin, I only have her as a protector by my side, and a Huang quick run to help me out, and there are no more other immortals. People say that an immortal hall should have at least dozens or even hundreds of immortals in order to meet the conditions of the horse, I have a total of two, not to mention the horse, not enough to protect the immortal. When Python smallpox saw my confused face, her eyes gazed at my face and suddenly laughed softly. She said, you are originally a person of heavenly destiny, there are many immortals who want to bond with you, however, ordinary immortals can't be your master, including me. Therefore, it is up to you to awaken your first immortal master. Even she actually couldn't be my immortal master? I couldn't help but be surprised and asked, then who is my first immortal master, and where is he? Python Skyflower tilted her head back and looked at the sky, a pair of eyes cast to the mountains in the extreme distance, and faintly spoke to me. He is in this ancient painting, you must go through all the trials and tribulations of the earth before you can be recognized by him and become a true heaven's mandate exodus immortal. Further on, no matter how much I asked, she refused to go on, only telling me that I could only know so much right now, and that I needed to experience and discover more on my own. Then, the python smallpox also told me, immortal healing, in fact, is to rely on the animal instincts, they have in human beings in very different sense of smell, vision, as well as the sense of hearing and touch, and even many creatures, rumored to be able to see a higher dimension of the picture, so let them help to cure the disease, often able to have an unexpected effect. This action and effect is far quicker than injections and medication. However, the illnesses under the universal sky are further divided into real and imaginary illnesses in the eyes of the immortals. In the immortal sect, the real disease refers to the malfunctioning of a part of the human body that is damaged or diseased in daily life, giving the feeling that the physical condition is a real presentation through the nervous system. It is a disease that can be explained by normal logical thinking. This kind of real disease is either congenital or acquired, and in modern medicine, basically all real diseases have been divided into subjects. Most of the immortals are also able to treat some of the actual diseases, but the immortals have different levels of Taoism and specialize in different types, so immortals are not able to cure all diseases. And now the world on the contrary, there are a lot of liars under the banner of the immortal family, claiming to cure all diseases, but in fact, are irresponsible, this kind of person earns black money, but the karma should be carried by his own karma. Immortal door in the talk about immortal with people, people with immortal, some of the world of untouched small immortal, it is likely to be such a person to bring bad, such out of the horse disciple, and finally often retribution on the body, the end of the miserable. Either the immortal family is far away, the fate is broken, the same is no good end. And Python smallpox said the immortal master, is also a kind of immortal to bring people, in fact, there are many places where people can learn from animals, the simplest example, mantis boxing, monkey boxing, etc. That is how it came about. In addition, if I want to later dominate more Xinjia, that is, Hu Huang Chang Python and other creatures, there must be a top-notch hard role to support me, that is, the king of these communities, so that I can be like a fish in water. There is also a category of diseases false disease, people in the void realm of the law, often due to karma and karmic obstacles karma and so on, thus leading to life is not good, step by step, the body appeared in all kinds of conditions, but in fact there is no specific lesions, do not understand the pathology, cannot find out the disease. Most of the causes of the disease are due to some ordinary people cannot see the interference of the spirit, these spirits may be wandering in the world of the ghosts, may have some Taoism of the scattered immortals, may also be with their own karma of beings, when they are close to or even possessed by a certain part of the human body, it will be through the nerves to bring a kind of disease and pain in the discomfort of the person. Therefore, people with deficiency diseases cannot be examined in the hospital, and most of the medicines and injections do not work, and even the more medicines they take, the more serious they become. 
The cause of false illness is accidental, some from the cause and effect, if the cause and effect is heavy, human thought and behavior consciousness may even be occupied by the spirit. Regardless of whether it is a real disease or a false disease, it cannot be delayed and needs to be treated as soon as possible. If the false disease is prolonged, it will also turn into a real disease, and when the real disease is combined with the false disease, even if the greatest immortal comes, he is afraid that it will be difficult to treat it. In addition, the real disease and the imaginary disease are converted to each other and restrain each other, at the same time, if a person has the imaginary disease but not the real disease, but it also shows that he is sick with the hidden symptoms of the part of the disease. Let's say, if a person has a deficiency disease often upset stomach, go to the hospital and check out, this time it proves that this person is mostly spleen and stomach disorder, gastrointestinal and digestive system itself has a problem, so the disease will be revealed from this part. Of course there is also a case of those who have got a deficiency disease, not maliciously, and that is the ordeal given by the immortals and the catching of the Dima Xiang Tong, through which the Dima is strung with orifices so as to reach the realm of immortal unity. Python Skyflower said that most immortals are only able to treat imaginary illnesses and solve the problems brought about by scattered immortal in souls, but for real illnesses, especially some serious ones such as cancer, basically there is no one who dares to say that they can cure them, and they won't even touch them. However, I was an exception. She also told me that as long as I practiced well, when I could successfully awaken my first immortal master, I could be saved, not to mention terminal cancer, even to the extent of having to breathe my last breath right away. And until then, she would take the place of that immortal master and help me heal people. Anaconda Smallpox said to me this time is considered the most, I listened to it very intently, but at the same time, I was also secretly alarmed. Although she didn't say it explicitly, I was already in awe of this immortal master of mine that I hadn't met yet, as well as infinitely yearning for him. According to what she said, those who could reach this level could be described as living death, and the great Luo immortals were nothing more than that. This immortal master, who exactly was he? This time, I was in meditation for almost an hour, when I exited from the realm of ancient paintings, I only felt that my body was cold and hot, and my head was dizzy, but every word of Anaconda's flower just now was clearly imprinted in my mind. Closing my eyes again, I tried to quiet my mind, only just as soon as I closed my eyes, I felt an inexplicable energy seem to converge around my body. This energy kept circling, seemingly wanting to enter my body, but for a moment it was not allowed to enter, it just continued to coalesce, slowly getting stronger and stronger. At the same time, there was another pain in my brow, and my eyes began to swell, I realized that it was a bit bad, and hurriedly stopped, opened my eyes and walked to the window, looking out of the window, letting my heart calm down. It took a while for the feeling to slowly fade and the pain to ease up a lot. This time can be considered to be very rewarding, especially after getting the certainty from Python smallpox, knowing that she will help me cure people, my heart is a lot more solid. What I promised Yang Lin was that the treatment would not begin until three days later, which meant that during these three days, Python Tianhua would give me more senses, more about the method of healing. In fact, I had been studying the composition of the ancient painting since I got it, and so far, all I knew was that it could let me enter a deep level of illusion. That illusionary realm would change with the days of viewing, and I guess that it should be related to the paint and color combination of the painting, which belonged to an extremely strong to illusionary artifact. In addition, every time I viewed the ancient painting, it seemed that I was able to learn a lot of things, for example, the words that the python smallpox said to me were definitely not something that I had brainstormed, but rather, they were given to me by this painting, which meant that in this scroll, there might be another mystery. Just to my realm, I still can't guess. Soon another two days passed, these two days I do not leave home, every day at home to the ancient painting practice, python smallpox also taught me a lot of things, the little girl is every day at this time, ran to my side turn on turn nonstop. Python Tianhua told me that although this little girl is just a spirit, but she was attracted by the aura in my body, for her own benefit, as long as I treat her well, it is likely that she will be able to help me in the future. I really don't know how I should treat her well, Python Smallpox thought about it and said, why don't you give her a name first? Looking at this little girl with an innocent appearance, an idea suddenly surfaced. Just call her little dagger, it's simple and straightforward. I said. I had just given her a name when I was pulled out of the ancient painting realm by the sound of an urgent phone call picking up my cell phone to see that it was Yu Chen calling. I pressed the answer button, and then Yu Chen's grave and slightly anxious voice came through the microphone. She said to me, Li Yuan ran away. Li Yuan ran away? I froze for a moment before remembering who Li Yuan was. The guy who almost got us killed, loaded into a freezer, and ground up for a cure. He had obviously been arrested, several charges tied together, considered a felon, how did he run out? Yu Chen said, this news she heard from the school, absolutely accurate. He Yu Chen is now most worried about, Li Yuan can be said to have committed crimes entirely because of the two of us, so, we must always be on guard against Li Yuan to find us revenge. Thinking of that weird and unpredictable Li Yuan, 
and his use of human organs to grind powder into medicine things, I have a shudder. After hanging up the phone, I resumed my meditation, and in order not to be disturbed, I simply turned off my cell phone. Only this time, how could I not be able to enter the realm of ancient paintings, my mind constantly began to ramble. One moment, I thought about the way Li Yuan would take revenge, and the next moment, I thought about Chen Ruashi, since her mother was seriously ill, and the man who had adopted her knew the secret arts of the ghost sect, he would definitely help Chen Ruashi. Now that I think about it, the infant spirit from earlier was probably manipulated by the ghost sect's secret arts, which is why Chen Ruashi's mom's illness was hidden. It was also because of this that her tumor was clearly the size of an egg, but even the hospital couldn't detect it. Now that Chen Ruashi had listened to me, she had decided to transcend the baby spirit, so the effect of the baby spirit disappeared and the real disease naturally revealed itself. But there is another problem, that day Chen Ruashi asked for my cell phone number, including late at night to find me for help, absolutely not her alone, there must be that man behind the instruction. Only looking at Chen Ruashi's appearance, she should know nothing about that man, and she also didn't know that she was being used at all. I kept thinking about the many clues of this matter in my mind, the more I thought about it, the more suspicious I felt, but I couldn't figure out where the problem was. That man, in the end, wanted me to do him what favor. When I thought of this, there was suddenly a knock on the door outside the room, the voice was slightly urgent and somewhat cautious. I instantly thought of Li Yuan, it couldn't be him looking for me, could it? Tiptoeing to the door, I looked through the cat's eye, before I could see clearly who was outside, the door was knocked again, followed by a voice that was close to pleading coming from outside the door. Master Shifu, it's bad, something's happened. It was Yang Lin's voice. I was busy to the cat's eye to look, to make sure that he was the only one outside, and only then opened the door, Yang Lin as soon as he entered the door, pulled my hand, cried and said, Master, discharged from the hospital, she actually discharged from the hospital. Who, who was discharged from the hospital, you say the words clearly. This Yang Lin has always looked at my eyes, I did not expect through this incident, also began to mouth the master of the call, but it is to make my heart strange, a little twisted. That Chen Ruashi, just now picked up her mom out of the hospital, it is estimated to be transferred to the hospital for treatment, but this time, what do I do ah? Yang Lin's look is very anxious, I cannot help but happy, said to him, discharged is not good, she transferred to the hospital with you have nothing to do, and no one laughs at you, what are you afraid of? Yang Lin said, if that simple would be good, the key is that this matter is a little big, the whole hospital are concerned about it, she turned away, I will be the majesty of the ground. To be honest, I couldn't see this point in him, and said to him contemptuously, in your eyes, a life is not as important as your department head, not as important as your face, right? Since you don't want her to be transferred to the hospital, you should have cured her instead. Why are you looking for me? Yang Lin's face was green for a while, gritted his teeth and said, We've already given her the conclusion that she can only live for another month at most, if we can still cure him under this premise, then. Then you can prove yourself? Don't forget, even if you cure her, it's still me who cured her, it has nothing to do with you, do you think everyone else is a fool? This is a simple question, as long as, as long as you, master, give me a way, or a prescription, so that I can cure her. No matter what, we're here to cure the sick and save people. I looked at him speechlessly, thinking to myself that this person is really selfish and despicable, originally, for the sake of Yang Shocheng, I had already agreed to help him, but as a result, the person is now transferred to the hospital, and he still won't even give up. I'm sorry, since she's already been discharged from the hospital, there's nothing I can do to help, if you really want to save someone, you'll find a way to find her and we'll talk about it then. I politely refused Yang Lin, he saw that I was adamant and had no choice but to tell me that he would find a way to go find Chen Ruashi and persuade the other party to continue to go back for treatment. For a person like him who even treats people only for his own reputation, I really didn't want to bother with him anymore. And I knew that since Chen Ruashi had suddenly been discharged from the hospital, there must be another way. But in my heart, for some reason, I always had an ominous premonition. I vaguely felt that this matter would come back to me sooner or later, I'm afraid. Soon, two days passed again. Yang Lin has been no news, that he did not find Chen Ruashi, which is also in my expectations, in order to confirm my guess, I also deliberately ran to the bank last time, the results asked, as expected, Chen Ruashi has resigned. Not only did she quit, she also moved. At the address where I saw her last time, it was already empty, with a rental phone number posted on it. I was very puzzled, in the end, what happened, so that she even ignored her mother's illness. This matter, even so quietly passed. Yang Lin didn't find Chen Ruashi, and neither did I. The phone number that Chen Ruashi left me last time was deactivated after she quit her job. It was as if she and her mother, and her secret, had disappeared from the world. The man who had adopted her did not come back to me. Li Yuan, who had escaped from the public security authorities, also did not come to seek revenge on me. So after almost a week, one night, I was bored, I came to the window for air, the result just pushed open the window, I found an extremely erotic scene. 
Opposite the apartment where I live, about a dozen meters away, is another apartment. At this time, a room in the opposite apartment, facing me, is a large floor-to-ceiling window, inside the bed with lavender sheets, in the bedside has a unique shape of the vanity mirror. A girl with a marvelous figure was turning her back to me, slowly undoing the clothes on her body, and then with bare feet, she walked to the bathroom on the side in such a white and wobbly manner. Subsequently, there was a clear sound of clattering water coming from the bathroom, but there was a piece of frosted glass there, so I could only see a blurred outline of a human body, and couldn't see the specific details. My eyes barely glazed over. If I remember correctly, this room was still in an unoccupied state a few days ago, and the house had the lights off and curtains drawn for a long time, so I couldn't see what was going on inside. But today, how did this suddenly come to a beautiful woman taking a bath and not pulling the curtains? The sound of running water, let me a little heartbeat, want to look at it, and feel too shameless, do not look at it, and feel blind. I was torn for about 10 minutes. I decided it was better not to look, because she had already finished washing. This girl is wearing a bathrobe, out of the bathroom, constantly wiping her hair, standing in front of the opposite window eye, the end of my nose just as if I smelled a strange hair fragrance, the girl's body is as white as milk, slowly walked to that dresser mirror, sat down. I cannot help but withdraw my gaze, said pull back, look down, my daughter-in-law should be angry again. When I was about to shift my gaze, behind the low-hanging curtains on the opposite side of the window, a figure suddenly appeared, taking advantage of the girl was smearing something on her face, covering her mouth from behind. The other hand was strangling her neck to death. I was shocked in my heart, the man had a mask on his face, and could only be recognized as a middle-aged man, he dragged the girl's body and walked towards the bedroom, the girl kept struggling, but she couldn't make any sound as he covered her mouth. Crap crap crap, this is going to be a live broadcast ah? I reacted with a jolt. Save people to go. At this moment I was bursting with a sense of justice, no matter what I immediately rushed out the door and ran towards the opposite side. A few minutes later, I passed through the platform between the two buildings and came to that room on the opposite side. To my slight surprise, the door of this room was hidden, so I entered without any difficulty, in order to deal with the criminals inside, I also took a fire extinguisher from the door, as a weapon. Inside the bedroom vaguely came a low cry for help, I took an arrow step rushed in, a ready to fight with the enemy's ideological preparations, the result is just at this time, behind me, the door of the room suddenly slammed, closed. At the same time, I also saw the scene in front of me. The girl who was dragged into the bedroom just now was still wearing that bathrobe, but was sitting there with a good head on her shoulders, not being molested or raped at all. Next to her, stood that middle-aged man, facing me, a hint of smugness flowed inside his eyes, then slowly took off his mask, revealing a familiar face. He was. Li Yuan. I immediately knew that I was trapped, and then turned back to retreat, but behind me came another voice that sounded a bit familiar. Mr. Chu, we meet again. I turned around with a huff, and saw that the man I had a chance to meet in the hospital last time, the same guy who stole my money, was sitting in the living room with a bland look on his face. The two-headed monster that I had met at school was standing behind him, staring at me with a fierce, wolf-like gaze. My head was a little short-circuited, but in just a moment, I understood. The incident at the school was all orchestrated by this person. Mr. Gua, if you want to see me, just go straight to me, why go through all this trouble and lure me here? I looked at him and glanced at Li Yuan behind me, and continued, I didn't expect it, you guys turned out to be a gang, say it, what do you want? He smiled slightly and said, as I said earlier, I just wanted to ask Mr. Cho to do me a favor, but that day Mr. Cho was unwilling, so I had to, in this way. I pretended to be indifferent and said to him, but I don't understand, since you already have such an excellent helper, what else, is there that you can't do? This Li Yuan, as well as that two-headed monster, had escaped from under the police's noses, and being able to do that was proof of their strength. Especially Li Yuan, he is full of Ma Shan secret arts, I feel that if he wanted to break out of prison, he actually wouldn't even need to use so many days at all, and probably would have run out a long time ago. Of course it's your unique piece of spirit bone. This time, Li Yuan opened his mouth to answer my question, and as he looked at the calm and collected me, he suddenly reached out and pointed at the ceiling of the room. Perhaps you still don't understand why you were led here, but if you look up, you'll understand. I raised my head slightly and glanced at the roof of the room. Surprisingly, it was pretty much the same setup as the inside of the school's cold storage room, and without a doubt, it was used to confine the protector immortal in my body. I am naturally weak, and only by smelling the python immortal statue can I be energetic, otherwise I will be finished after a long time. Li Yuan laughed and said, I'm sorry, the protector on you is a bit powerful, in order to prevent you from tying up the dead tricks and coming against us, I had to use the Ma Shan secret method of the dragon trapping formation, to hold her back, last time at school, I used Taoist magic to hold her back, this time, if you dare to mess around, I'm afraid there will only be no coming back. Li Yuan's words finally uncovered the unanswered questions in my mind, at the same time I tried to sense it, only to feel that my body was empty, 
somewhat unable to lift my strength. It seemed that it was just as he said, under the power of this kind of formation, even the python smallpox couldn't enter. Well, it seems that I have fallen into your hands again today, but can you let me do an understanding ghost even before I die, can you tell me what in the world is the use of this spirit bone of mine? How is it that even I don't know what I don't know, but you guys seem to know it better than I do? I helplessly threw down the fire extinguisher in my hand and gestured to them with my empty hands, indicating that I had already given up resistance. Li Yuan laughed, I noticed you when you entered the school, you were originally an innate to young body, but you were born with a different physique, you couldn't carry this fire, it was that spiritual bone behind your head that blocked your yang lai blood, allowing you to live until now, it's just a pity that you carry your own jade without knowing it, so that spiritual bone on you was really too much of a waste. As the saying goes, a piker is not guilty of harboring a jade, there's nothing you can do about it, so you'll just have to resign yourself to your fate. As he spoke, he slowly walked towards me, and his face gradually became gloomy. That middle-aged man was still sitting where he was, gently picking up a cup of coffee and sipping it with his head down, as if I was already a dead man in his eyes. What if I don't recognize my fate? What will happen to you guys? I asked, holding my head high and looking at them. He he, being in the trap dragon formation, not to mention you, even if your immortal protector is here, you will be finished just the same, if you cooperate, let me give you a shot, and then you will obediently go to sleep, as to whether or not you will still be able to wake up, it depends on your destiny, as well as my mood. Of course, if you don't cooperate, I'll have to trouble this friend first and cut off your head, and then you'll naturally be honest. I was shocked in my heart, secretly saying that could it be that this formation has other powers? Even a weasel would have to die if it came in? Li Yuan took out a syringe, couldn't stop smiling on his face, and made a gesture to that two-headed monster, who seemed to be jetting angry flames in his gaze, staring straight at me, and then slowly lit up a sharp axe. Good guy, these two people before and after one with a syringe, one with a sharp axe, back and forth, it looks like, today I can't fly. Right at this moment, the woman who had been sitting quietly behind her without saying anything, suddenly walked over. You guys can't kill him. Because you guys promised me that after getting what you need, he will also help cure my mom. Hearing this voice, I was shocked, and turned my head to look at her face, but I realized that it was a completely unfamiliar face, someone I had never met before. But her voice, and the words she said, why did it even seem like Chen Ruashi who had been missing for days? The room fell into a dead silence, and it was as if a special kind of energy was fluctuating in the trapped dragon formation above my head. I raised my head and glanced at the overhead. There were a lot of strange symbols painted on the ceiling in a demonic blood-red color, and in the center were the seven stars of the Big Dipper. For some reason, being in the trapped dragon formation inexplicably made me feel a little panicky, and the kind of sensation I had earlier with the immortals seemed to have been cut off at this moment. I fixed my mind and looked at the woman in front of me who had just taken a bath and smelled good. She looked at me as well, her eyes a little averted, but not backing away. Her face was a complete stranger, but there was something familiar about her voice, and her eyes. The way she undid her clothes just now, and the blood that spilled on the ground that night, as well as, the bloodstained chest came to my mind. Are you? Chen Ruashi? I asked offhandedly in disbelief, and she still remained calmly looking at me, not admitting or denying it. However, she slowly smiled. There was a very odd, very special meaning in that smile that I couldn't understand. Finally, after staring at me for a moment, she calmly said to me, I am not Chen Ruashi, my current name is Lu Xiaoyi. Lu Xiaoyi? I repeated the name, although the face in front of me was still completely devoid of any semblance of Chen Ruashi's shadow, the aura on her body, and the words she said, clearly already told me that she was the missing Chen Ruashi. It's just that, at this time, facing each other face to face, let me see this face of hers more clearly, although it's very delicate and beautiful, but I still see some clues in strange places. The skin on her face was very white, so white that there was almost no blood color, and her expression looked a little unnatural, a little stiff, giving the impression that it was as if she had just had a facelift. Then, a movement of lifting up her hair, as if she was not thinking, made me even more certain of one thing. Because I clearly saw that in the position of her hairline, there was a trace that was hard to detect, making me not help but have some doubts that this face of hers seemed like it was pasted on. A terrifying thought surfaced in my mind, I couldn't help but feel a chill down my back, and subconsciously backed up two steps, pointing at her and saying, your face. If I hadn't seen Li Yuan today, perhaps I wouldn't have thought of this, but I had remembered at this point that Li Yuan had once said that he had captured Shang Wan AI in the first place because someone had paid a large sum of money to buy a pretty girl's face. At that time, I still didn't understand what the use of paying money for someone's face was, but now, I had finally seen it. In just a few days, Chen Ruashi had changed her face and her identity, if it wasn't for this particular situation today, I'm afraid that if I just met her face to face, I wouldn't be able to recognize that it was her at all. She didn't speak again, because the man across the street waved his hand at her, she then slightly lowered her head and returned to the room, silently sitting in front of the vanity mirror, combing her hair. It was as if everything around her had nothing to do with her anymore. 
In fact, I gave you $400,000 that day, I wanted to spend the money to buy that piece of spirit bone of yours, for you, that piece of bone would have been redundant, using a piece of redundant bone and selling it for hundreds of thousands of dollars, it's worth it. But unfortunately, you refused. So, if you want me not to kill you, it depends on whether you can pass my three levels of test. He suddenly waved his hand again, and then I don't know what Li Yuan did, I suddenly only felt a burst of heavenly rotation, my head was dizzy, and the seven stars of the Big Dipper above my head, and those red strange symbols, seemed to start spinning continuously. I was in a daze for a while, and just wanted to sleep, but I knew I couldn't sleep, never. I sat down in place, closed my eyes, and began to visualize the realm in the ancient painting. Strange to say, as soon as I did this visualization, the chaos in my mind, the symbols of the ever-rotating patterns, slowly disappeared before my eyes. In its place, there was a landscape of mountains and rivers, green grass and trees, blue sky and blue water. There were pavilions and ancient caves in the mountains, and white clouds layered around the mountains, as wonderful and peaceful as a fairyland. I know in my heart, Li Yuan this is the use of Ma Shan's secret art test me, of course, this is just their words, if I did not pass, then can only let them slaughter, if I resisted, then they will have the next step of action. But this is also counted on them to speak a little bit of rules, first of all, let Li Yuan and I pan Dao, otherwise if that dude with an axe directly come up, I am afraid that the two of me tied together also cannot beat him. Sure enough, I just withstood the first wave, the scene in front of me suddenly changed. Just now is still a fairyland general scene, suddenly disappeared, the surrounding silence, but there is a ticking sound came. This sound is like the faucet is not turned off, constantly dripping water, but for some reason, I clearly sensed a trace of bloody breath. Could it be that it wasn't water, it was blood? I thought it was an illusion, or something Li Yuan had created, but just as I opened my eyes, I saw a grayish white baby slowly crawling out from under Lu Xiaoyi's bed. This baby's two eyes are all white, the location of the nose is only two black holes, the corner of the mouth is still dripping blood. I was shocked when I got a good look at the baby, it was clearly the same infant spirit that I had seen at Chen Ruashi's house that day. The last time I saw it, it was still very small, I didn't expect that in just a few days, it had grown so big. The growth speed of this creature was simply beyond my expectations. However, although this fellow looks like a baby, the details are still very different, and when you look closely, it looks more like a little piglet. Suddenly, I saw that horrible looking baby spirit suddenly open his black hole mouth, a black gas actually sprayed out from his mouth, and then violently pounced towards me. One of the immortal protectors was gone, I was more or less at a loss, thinking that I could only use my last move now. When it was too late, I pulled out the life-killing blade from my waist, and directly ran towards the infant spirit. The baby spirit wrapped in black gas, can be just about to pounce over, kill the blade and the knife suddenly appeared, also then pounced on the past. These two black gas collision, high and low immediately divided, the baby spirit although vicious, but far less than the knife, only from the physical point of view, although in a strong, but very bad, pounced together, soon after the knife pressed to the ground, a burst of beatings. One looks only less than two years old, one is seven or eight years old, the baby spirit was beaten by the ghost howling, no power to fight back. I couldn't help but be happy in my heart, thinking that anaconda smallpox really wasn't wrong, this weapon spirit is really useful, when it matters, it's really charging upwards ah. Li Yuan's expression was also odd as hell, seemingly not expecting at all that I actually had a killer move. After fighting for a while, that baby spirit probably couldn't carry on anymore, crying and crawling towards Lu Xiaoyi's side. The next moment, let me even more surprised scene appeared. Lu Xiaoyi even leaned down and hugged the baby spirit, as if protecting him, with tears in her eyes. Then, she suddenly bit her finger and stuffed it into the baby spirit's mouth. It turns out, that this infant spirit has always been fed by herself. Then that means, in reality, this infant spirit is her child? What was all this, exactly? Very good, I didn't expect you to actually rely on your own skills and pass the first two levels. The man suddenly applauded slowly, but there was not the slightest expression on his face, then he said to Li Yuan, now, let's start the third test, if he still passes, then, he must die. Li Yuan nodded and stared at me with a gloomy gaze before suddenly waving his hand again. In the next moment, three or four figures appeared and surrounded me. I already knew that they were bound to have a backstroke, but what I didn't expect was that these figures were actually several foxes with different fur colors and tall bodies. The foxes that appeared in front of me were like paper figures and shadows, but they were so vivid that people couldn't tell them apart. Their gazes were gloomy, their teeth bared, and they stared at me viciously, as if they might pounce on me at any time. Obviously, this was all made by Li Yuan. In our common perception over in the Northeast, foxes that can be great immortals, the common saying is that they have spirituality. To know, in the out of the horse fairy, the fox is a very important position, but even the out of the horse disciple did not just can make the fox fairy for him to do battle, this Li Yuan is considered speculative. Then, there seems to be only one answer. These foxes were all just tools made by Li Yuan and driven by him. 
I couldn't help but think of the last time, when Python smallpox was also held back by Li Yuan, and I couldn't help but break out in a cold sweat. Mr. Shu, now it's you and I Pan Dao, what skills you have though you can use them, to divide the high and low by Dao, this is also the rule of Jianghu, a fair duel, you can't say that I bullied you, right? Li Yuan said conspiratorially. I thought to myself, fair my ass ah, you set up some kind of dragon trap formation in the room, isn't it the equivalent of imposing a forbidden devil spell on me? Now my protection immortal cannot go up, and you come to say this kind of words, purely crotch pull arrow bullshit. I was surrounded by a group of people, the knife quickly stopped in front of me, the whole body exudes a strong aura of sinister, facing those foxes alone, not the slightest bit of fear. Strictly speaking, although the knife is also a ferocious beast category, but she is now already belongs to as the spirit of the instrument, and is not a wandering loose immortal, the heart belongs to, have a home and rely on, so the trap dragon array this kind of thing, on the contrary, has little use to her. I also gripped the life-killing blade in my hand tightly, and coldly said to Li Yuan, if I'm not wrong, these few foxes are also all the immortals that you have withheld from other people, and made from their bones and skins, right? Li Yuan did not deny it, laughed dryly a few times and said, count on your eyesight, these few fox immortals have no physical body anyway, instead of being turned into dust, it is better to be used for me, it is still a bit valuable, I was also interested in that protector python immortal statue of yours, but unfortunately, it was just one step away from letting you spoil it. But you can also rest assured, if you die today, I will definitely take good care of her for you. He was confident in his tone, as if I had already become a fish on their chopping board, at most I could still jump a few times, and I couldn't escape the fate of ending up in the frying pan. In this process, the middle-aged man always calmly, leisurely drinking tea. I suddenly felt that something was wrong. If they wanted to take my spirit bone, then just do it, anyway, I'm not in the presence of the protector immortal now, even though I have a killing blade to protect my body, I'm also sure that I can't beat a few of them. Moreover, before they looked for me, they must have calculated long ago, from just now when the knife appeared, Li Yuan's face rippling expression can be seen, they have long known that I received a weapon spirit in Zhou Mingyang's home. If that's the case, why do they still need to test me one after another? Why did they continue to stimulate me with their words? However, although I had doubts in my heart, the situation in front of me did not allow me to think too much, only to see Li Yuan's words fall, his mouth suddenly issued a strange sound, like some kind of language, but the syllables were strange and awkward, and the tone of his voice sounded like he was giving orders. Along with the orders issued by his mouth, the several foxes at the same time raised their heads and whistled, revealing the sharp teeth, actually a brain pounced over. See this situation, my heart a little bottomless, to the knife whispered, you cannot, cannot top do not try to be strong. Small knife at this time has inspired the ferocity, like an angry beast, heard only looked back at me, showing a strange smile, then shot out two horrible red light in the eyes, will meet the several foxes rushed up. Seeing that the knife is fighting with them with his bare hands, my heart began to hang. Even though I had just witnessed the fierceness of Little Dagger, this child, although he was very naive when he was with me, now it seemed that he was still comfortable fighting several foxes alone, constantly emitting creepy low growls and clawing and biting, he was practically more of a beast than a wild animal. For a while, I was a bit worried, thinking to myself, was it right or wrong to accept such a ferocious spirit? If one day she goes out and causes trouble for me, then I really can't even explain it. But on second thought, the other knife is now fighting for me. I actually still think about what to do if she causes me trouble, really heartless. I just thought of here, before and after is also a few minutes of time, only to see the knife has opened its mouth to bite the neck of a fox, the fox constantly wailing, but the knife is not let go, a few other foxes continue to bite the knife, but don't look at the knife as small, the skin is very hard, to this level of attack, completely ignored. Suddenly, an extremely powerful sense of oppression, from behind the top. I was originally looking tense, worrying for the knife while pondering what to do next, but the sudden appearance of this sense of oppression made my mind immediately retract. What is behind me? According to reason, in addition to Lu Xiaoyi and that baby spirit, there should be no other. But this feeling. I gripped the life-killing blade with one hand, slowly turned around a little, and looked behind me. Only this glance, almost scared my soul away. Behind me, there was a large spotted python with its head on the ceiling, almost as thick as my thighs, with a huge head the size of a basin, covered with lin armor and black gas, and its two dark red eyes were staring at me as if it was comparing the width of my body to see if it would be wide enough for it to swallow in one bite. I realized that Li Yuan's previous activities were only to confuse me, and his real killer weapon was actually this python. I am really puzzled, so a big python, how to come to my side without a sound. Li Yuan's mouth suddenly made a strange sound again, and then, this large spotted python violently opened its scarlet mouth, and pounced straight towards me. A disgusting fishy stench smoked my head, and when I wanted to resist again, it was already too late. I only felt that my whole person seemed to be dead entangled by the python, but in reality, this python was actually just a spirit body, and did not really have a physical body, but it favored me to produce a sense of suffocation. 
Breathing is more and more difficult, I feel as if there is a breath in the chest is being held, cannot come up and down, a burst of dizziness, stars in front of my eyes, in spite of holding a life-saving blade in my hand, but the python is entangled, cannot move at all. Damn, I know in fact this is poisoned, in the jargon called the spirit of the body bundled orifices, if my seven orifices are occupied by it, then it is also known as the bundle of dead orifices, I will completely lose consciousness, at the mercy of others. My body can't move at all, the knife is entangled and can't come back to save me, the python smallpox and yellow fast running can't help me either. At this moment, I was almost in a dead end. Consciousness is getting more and more blurred, the body also began to become light, the eyes also a burst of black. In this haze, a nail-sized hole suddenly appeared in front of my eyes, inside was pure sky blue, like a turquoise sky, nothing. This hole but constantly began to expand, only a twinkling of an eye, that piece of turquoise sky, began to appear mountains and rivers, white clouds surrounded by a cave gradually clear up. This feeling was very marvelous, my eyes were obviously dark, but this hole that opened up in the darkness clearly allowed me to see another world. It was the realm in the ancient painting. At the same time, it was as if I was following the camera as it kept moving forward and the huge cave was right in front of me, dark and unfathomable. At the same time an inexplicably powerful pressure was getting closer and closer. I thought about it, the last time I entered the ancient painting realm, I had seen this huge cave before, and that time, I saw a huge, gigantic thing sleeping soundly inside. This time in the midst of a crisis, why had I come here again? That powerful and incomparable pressure seemed to be right in front of me, and when I was only a few meters away from the ancient cave, a pair of daunting eyes, like two fiery red lanterns, appeared at the entrance of the dark cave. Subsequently, I was struck by lightning in my head, and with a loud bang, I completely lost consciousness. It was as if I was once again bound in a death knob, but completely different from before, this time I slowly woke up after briefly losing consciousness. I could see the scenery in front of me again, and I could feel everything that was happening around me again. But, to my surprise, I was able to see myself, standing right in the middle of the room, with the spotted python that was wrapped around me, for some reason, panicking and losing. What's going on here? Am I having an out-of-body experience? No, this kind of thing is simply metaphysics, to put it bluntly, it's fake, so everything in front of me is what I saw with my own eyes. I stood dumbfounded, looking at the mess in the room, and then my eyes glared. I saw a python that was not even remotely close to the one from before, but yet it was black all around, its scale seemed to be reflecting, and it looked very dominant. It moved forward, its tail moved, and with only a gentle curl, that fox let out a wail, then turned into a patch of debris and lost its movement. So in just three or two strokes, the flower-spotted python that Li Yuan had summoned, as well as a few foxes, had all disappeared or retreated in defeat. Li Yuan's eyes widened, staring incredulously at me, and the black python, almost unable to believe his eyes. How did this, this, happen? Li Yuan kept retreating, and his voice carried a hint of trembling, as he looked incredulously at the trapped dragon formation set up in the room, his gaze full of doubts, as if he was wondering, why did this trapped dragon formation even malfunction? The middle-aged man who had been so well organized also stood up, his face clouded with uncertainty as he gently waved his hand behind him. The two-headed monster quietly circled around to the back of me, waiting for an opportunity to move. But I only glanced at him out of the corner of my eye, completely ignored him, at this time I heart morale, staring up at Li Yuan, suddenly from the nose-cold snort. Only this moment, Li Yuan was like being struck by lightning, the whole person's figure shook and staggered back. That middle-aged man saw the situation is not good, his gaze steeply cold, two-headed monster will understand, swung up the sharp axe, actually want a sneak attack from the back, the sharp axe flashing cold light, straight to my head to cut. I was scared almost soul flew, really despicable, actually sneak attack. However, the python did not even see it, and did not even bother to turn back, but slowly moved towards Li Yuan. I thought it was finished, but to my surprise, the two-headed monster's arm, but it seems to be broken all of a sudden, just swung up on the soft hanging down, standing in place uncontrollably shivering, seems to have been unable to control their own bodies. Dang bell sound, sharp axe is also followed to the ground. That middle-aged man finally revealed a surprised expression, complexly sizing up the python, but his feet began to quietly move towards the door. The big python did not seem to have the intention to take care of him, and came straight to Li Yuan's body, stopped and turned his head towards me. I suddenly felt something in my heart and said aloud, anyone who violates our land of immortal cultivation can be retributed. Anyone who injures my body can be retributed. Anyone who harms my life can retaliate. Anyone who innocently damages our temples can retaliate. Whoever disrespects us and has evil words and deeds, may retaliate. Anyone who maliciously harms my life and does not know how to repent can have his life taken. Anyone who maliciously destroys my cave and ruins my temple and kills my descendants may have his life taken away. This is the immortal heavenly rules that I had previously read in the Exodus notes left behind by my master also known as the 12 chapters outside the law and the immortal rules. 
In these twelve chapters, the behavior of the immortal family is strictly defined, under what circumstances one can retaliate against a person, under what circumstances one can take a person's life, and under what circumstances one has to repay a benefactor generously. I read out these immortal articles one by one, Li Yuan's whole body was like a fool, listening without moving, suddenly, as if he was stimulated by something, he actually tore his hair and bawled his eyes out. While crying, he slapped himself hard, and then to the eye constantly thumping Kato, hit the head full of blood, but still refused to stop. But the whole time I is a calm expression, as if the superior general, probably looked at this kneeling at the feet of the poor. Finally, I looked at Li Yuan and said word by word, anyone who relies on Taoism to use the immortals to do wrong can be retributed. As soon as these words were spoken, a sad sound rang out in the room, like an animal wailing, or like an aggrieved soul crying. The next moment, I saw the room from all sides actually converge over many figures, but all are all kinds of small beasts, a brain surrounded, each as a hostile, half to Li Yuan pounced over. Only a moment's effort, Li Yuan's seven orifices slowly flowed out of blood, his body could not stop trembling, his mouth issued a burst of strange laughter like crying, kneeling on the ground, caught out to his surroundings and begged for forgiveness, could not stop saying I was wrong three words. I was completely attracted by this scene, thinking that this black python is really powerful, not only the dragon trapping formation does not work on him, even Li Yuan, who can trap the python smallpox, is also easily controlled by him in the palm of his hand. I know, this Li Yuan is poisoned, and then those small beasts are all bred by him, to protect the master, the result is also poisoned, kill each other. At this time, the knife also retreated to the side, staring blankly at all this, there seems to be fear in the eyes, there is also worship, just now also ferocious and incomparable she, at this time but well behaved, it seems that even the atmosphere do not dare to come out. At this time, the python suddenly turned its head again, looked at me. Only this glance, I once again shivered, immediately dazed, unconscious, everything in front of me began to blur. But this feeling only lasted for a moment, and after about a few seconds, I regained consciousness and reopened my eyes. Then I realized that the python had actually gone silently, and on the ground in front of me, Li Yuan was kneeling there kowtowing around in a sorry state. But those things, some lying on his body cannot stop gnawing, some desperately tearing, some are hard to drill into his body, seem to be all in their own way, venting the hatred in their hearts. Suddenly, there was a banging of the door in my ears, and when I looked up, I realized that the middle-aged man, who was still standing there just now, had already disappeared. This guy ran quite fast, one did not pay attention to let him slip away. I want to chase, but think or forget, now that the mysterious man has gone, I chase out may not be that person's opponent, might as well deal with the two goods in front of me first. I took out my cell phone and dialed the police. Hey, call the police, I just caught two wanted criminals. Yes, two, I caught them myself. After hanging up the phone, I looked around the room, now Li Yuan has been in a state of loss of control, kneeling on the ground while kowtowing and fanning his own mouth as if he has been scared out of his wits, mentally deranged, his mouth chattering, cannot stop saying that he is wrong. On the other hand, the two-headed monster is shivering, arms and legs do not listen to the call of duty, at first glance with the next door Wu Lao Air similar, is also delirious. There was also a Lu Xiaoyi, the previous Chen Ruashi, who was huddled in the corner, wrapped in a bathrobe, with the baby spirit in her arms, the two of them huddled together, looking at me and shivering. I looked at her and took a few steps forward, she shrank back towards the corner, her eyes even more frightened. Obviously, my mighty and domineering appearance just now had scared her, and I could tell from her gaze that she seemed to be begging me, not to hurt her, and the infant spirit in her arms. A little speechless, I stopped and asked, this infant spirit is actually yours, right? She didn't deny it, nor did she say anything, she just nodded dolefully and hugged the infant spirit in her arms tighter. Well, since you won't talk, I'll analyze it, and if I'm right, just nod your head. I paced back and forth in the room like a great detective as I began to narrate. First of all, that man surnamed Gua just now, is your lover, he has adopted you, and this baby spirit, is yours with him, right? She nodded slightly, a hint of sadness swept through her eyes. I continued my analysis. But you should not realize that he is actually a member of the ghost sect, practicing evil arts, and the infant spirit is just a tool to use for him. But he didn't cultivate this infant spirit inside his poisonous dragon's eye controllable species, there are three possibilities, one is that he hasn't cultivated to that extent, two is that he doesn't need the infant spirit anymore. 3 is that you begged and begged him to let go of your child, can you tell me now, which one of the answers is it? It is, that I begged him. She said in a voice that was almost too thin to be heard, and while she said it, she bit her lips tightly. Very well, since it is you who begged him, then I guess that you will more than likely also beg him to allow this child to be able to stay with you, because you have already found out that he is not the same as ordinary people, not only is he able to drive away poisonous insects and poisonous substances, but he is even able to change your face. 
So, you are completely already controlled by him, perhaps the first time you were the first time you had your face changed by him, you had already lost yourself, you could only become his appendage, a part of him, mechanically and numbly accepting one identity after another that he gave you, if I'm not wrong, that Chen Ruashi, in fact, is also an assumed name, including that Chen Ruashi's face, it's also not really yours, is it? My series of questioning caused her gaze to grow more and more fearful, although her face couldn't be seen to change much, her eyes wouldn't change, it's exactly the same as it was that day when I first met her. Yes, she said weakly and incomparably, as if only uttering those two words had taken all her strength. I looked at her sympathetically, sighed darkly, and continued my analysis. And you're doing this because of your mother's illness, you have no one to turn to in this world, even your identity has been switched around, only your mother, no matter what you become, she remains the same to you. But her tumor is getting worse and you have to rely on that man to save her. But what you didn't realize was that the man was using an infant spirit to suppress her true condition. As a result, that night, when the infant spirit backfired, it should have also been him who asked you to find me, whose purpose was to test me, but you didn't expect that I could actually cure your mother's illness. Later when you learned of the true condition, you should have been furious, however, there was still nothing you could do but continue to accept your fate and have your mother transferred to the hospital. After saying that, I continued to gaze into her eyes, yet she was no longer willing to face it and closed her eyes in pain. Until now, you still believed that he could cure your mother's illness, you were on the wrong path and never returned, even going so far as to attract me by taking a bath in order to help him deal with me, so that I would notice you, and then finally acting out a scene with Li Yuan to lure me here. But what you don't know is that he couldn't save your mother at all, everything he did, from start to finish, was to lie to you and use you, not only are you his plaything, but you're also his tool. I hit the nail on the head and said everything, she shook her head in agony and couldn't stop murmuring under her breath, don't you say it, please. I didn't intend to stop because she was in too deep, if I let her go today, in the future she would continue to willingly be that person's slave and be at his mercy. I walked closer and grabbed her wrist, forcing her to let go of the infant spirit. The infant spirit was terrified and tried to escape, but it was also grabbed by me, it kept struggling, its expression agonized, as if it also expected its end. You have to send it away now, it was originally a parasite, it has grown to such a large size now, if it spawns it will harm a lot of people, in fact, you should be clear, your child died a long time ago, it's not your child. She finally couldn't control her emotions anymore. Two lines of tears slowly flowed down her face, sobbing lowly. I know it's wrong for me to do this, but I have nothing left in this world, and my mom may leave me at any time. I just want to keep something that really belongs to me. I treat it as my child, my only child. I really have nothing left except it. She cried very sadly. Those words were completely a mother who could not help herself, confessing and apologizing to her own flesh and blood. That infant spirit seemed to understand her words, slowly stopped struggling, and looked at her with resigned eyes, like a child about to lose its mother. There was sadness, unwillingness, pain, unwillingness, and deep longing in that gaze. Don't be fooled by its illusion. It doesn't have any real feelings for you, it's just using you. What's more, is it worth it for you to do it for this bug? Let me ask you, do you still remember what your initial name was? Hearing my words, a trace of confusion flowed out of her eyes, and she muttered, I have used several names, I can't remember. Which one is the real me? Then do you still know your original appearance? Don't remember, the original look, the original look. Then your mother, she should always remember ah? She has actually been insane for a few years now, not to mention me, she doesn't even remember who she is. She couldn't stop murmuring, her hand gently caressing her face, there is confusion in her gaze, there is also helplessness, but I can't see a trace of hate. And you don't hate him? I asked. She shook her head and smiled bitterly, I brought this on myself, at first it was him who gave me everything I wanted, he once asked me if I would regret it if one day I was no longer me, and I told him that it didn't matter who I was as long as I could live the life I wanted. I gave myself to him, and he kept his promise and gave me the life I wanted, but I never thought that I would be completely lost in that life, until one day he said he wanted to try it out and asked me to be someone else, and I thought it was just a role-playing thing, and I said yes without even thinking about it. But I woke up that day and realized that I had really become another person, I had a new name, a new face, a new identity. I was scared, but I knew that there was no turning back. I couldn't help but be creeped out as I listened to her tell her story. But a new question came to mind. Since that person had given her many identities and changed her face many times, whose faces did those actually belong to? I had just thought of this when there was a sudden sound of footsteps outside the door. I slowly got up and opened the door to my room. Not to my surprise, just like the ending of all TV dramas, the police uncle arrived. After the police arrived, I had already prepared a speech, and immediately told them that I was a resident of the apartment across the street, and just now I inadvertently discovered that a home invasion molestation and robbery was taking place across the street, so I was bursting with a sense of justice and rushed over to save the people. 
But what I didn't expect was that there were actually two wanted criminals hiding across the street, so I single-handedly fought with the two of them and finally defeated them both, saving an innocent girl. Listening to my almost bragging ex-words, the police are also half-believing, but the facts are here, Li Yuan ignored the police throughout, kneeling on the ground kowtowing and fanning their mouths, unable to say that he was wrong, that two-headed monster body like sifting chaff, shivering uncontrollably on the ground, have lost the ability to fight back, and even autonomy of the consciousness are almost gone. The last police officer patted my shoulder and said to me, well done, these two are indeed the most recent wanted criminals, but the next time out or pay a little attention to the scale, now these two people are likely to let you hit a heavy concussion, for fear that the brain will leave after effects in the future. I pretended to be timid look asked him, I will not constitute any crime, he let me rest assured, and told me that I belong to the righteousness of self-defense, and the other side there is a sharp axe, which is the proper murder weapon. Therefore, I not only will not constitute a crime, they will also give me to declare a commendation. Next, several of us went to the public security organs, recorded a statement, made a statement, fingerprints, tossed a good deal after, when I and Lu Xiaoyi together out, it is already 5 o'clock in the morning, the sky has been bright. I can no longer call her Chen Ruashi, but since she has forgotten her real name, so from now on, I have to call her by her current name, Lu Xiaoyi. Walking on the street, she had a confused look on her face, looking at the clear turquoise blue sky, the wide street, and the world of people coming and going, but she seemed to have a feeling of not knowing where to go. That infant spirit I handed over to Little Dagger, and I made a surprising discovery. Not only is the knife strong in battle, but it can even put some difficult things under control, then the knife transformed into the boss, that infant spirit obediently followed her, obviously subdued. Looking at her helpless and pitiful appearance, I sighed darkly and asked her what she wanted to do next, she shook her head, biting her lip and not speaking. I also asked where her mother is now, she said that she has changed to hospital, a specialized cancer hospital, the man said, will do everything possible to save her mother. I couldn't bear to tell her the truth, so I didn't say anything, but just comforted her and told her to stay in the hospital and spend more time with her mom, because her mom didn't have much longer. Originally, when Yang Lin begged me for help, I had also thought of borrowing the power of the immortals to try, but I suddenly thought of a problem just now, in fact, I couldn't save her mom at all. Although I knew some methods, I suffered from a lack of materials and had never tested them, so a clever woman could not cook without rice. Therefore, if I force myself to cure her, the consequences would be unpredictable, and if I were to die from the cure, I myself would feel guilty and bear the karmic obstacles left behind by this incident. Fate cannot be changed lightly, people cannot be saved lightly, especially this kind of terminal disease, as the saying goes that saved that is against the will of heaven. But looking at her lonely and helpless appearance, I am a bit intolerant. What's more, although she is now out of trouble, but that man will let her go? What will her future be? I don't dare to imagine on. Thank you, I'm going back. She bit her lip and softly said to me, her eyes seemed to be swirling with tears again. Go back? You're going back to where? That apartment? You're not afraid he'll come looking for you? I asked rhetorically. I'm hoping instead that he'll go after me now, because there's no way back for me at all, and I have nowhere else to go, and I want to make things clear to him, and if mom really can't be saved, then I don't have anything else to hold on to. An uneasy feeling swept over me and I said to her, what if he won't let you go, what will you do? This time, she said firmly, I told him a long time ago that I would cooperate with all his demands, provided that I save my mom, and if she is gone, he can't threaten me with anything. I won't be his slave anymore and let him tease and manipulate me. I was quite relieved when she said that, at least she's kind of woke up now. Next, I told her that that infant spirit absolutely cannot be kept, tomorrow I will find a place and kill the infant spirit. She was still a little sad, but she was no longer persistent, she just pulled my hand and begged me to help her one more time, to go to the hospital to save her mom. I actually sympathized with her, but no matter what, she was the one who led me into danger last night, and now she's begging me to save her mom, so I'm really a bit speechless. However, without her behavior last night, this matter wouldn't have come to light so quickly, so I can only say that everything is God's will. I was a bit hesitant, and tried to ask Anaconda Flower if I could go and help her, and there was a quick response, a voice told me, a disciple of the horse must not act against the will of heaven, but must not act against his conscience either. I realized that what Anaconda Flower meant was, decide for yourself and grasp the scale. After thinking about it, I finally decided to go and have a look, after all, to meet up with them, that in itself is fate between us. Next, I stopped a cab and went to the hospital with her. It was already almost 6 o'clock when we arrived at the hospital, her mom was still staying in a high-class single-room ward, the environment was very good, and there were also professional caregivers in. From this point of view, I understand her a little bit, a beautiful girl sometimes want to get what they want, then necessarily have to pay something. What's more, she was trying to save her mom. Because it was still early, her mom didn't wake up, the two of us entered the hospital room, and then I gently took her mom's wrist pulse and frowned slightly. 
The pulse was weak, and I tried to look again with my celestial eyes, and through the bioelectricity released from her skin, I realized that the cancer cells in her body had begun to spread widely. She told me apprehensively that the original plan was to have the surgery this morning, but the doctor had also said that even if she had the surgery, nothing could be guaranteed. Moreover, she had already communicated with the doctor privately, and the news she got was that the patient had at most one month to live. Instead of responding to her question, I left the hospital and went outside to get some air. Finding a corner, I slowly closed my eyes and then, once again, entered the marvelous realm of the ancient painting. To save a cancer patient with only 30 days left to live, I obviously couldn't do it with my ability. So, I'm now going to try to awaken someone. That is, the same green snake python that made a great display of power last night and resolved my crisis in three strokes. Now that I've made a rough guess, I think that he should be, as the python skyflower said, my first immortal master. This time, my meditation ability was obviously improved, and just after closing my eyes, I directly entered the world in the ancient painting. In front of me was still that ancient cave, the surrounding mountains and forests were lush, the sky was turquoise blue, and when I raised my eyes to look, the white clouds were surprisingly drifting by on my side, just like a fairyland. Although I have been here several times, but still the first time so clear, I was also surprised to find that this was a very high mountain peak, look at the white clouds drifting past the side of the body know that, at least, is also more than a thousand meters of high mountains. The ancient cave is deep and secluded, the bottom is not visible, a gust of warm wind blows out from it, the wind seems to contain some kind of powerful and unparalleled force, giving people an urge to worship. Anyone? I tried shouting twice at the entrance of the cave, but no one responded, while there were echoes coming out of the cave, distant and incomparable. This time, when I entered the ancient painting, I didn't see Python Tianhua, but came directly to the ancient cave, it seems that Python Tianhua wasn't prepared to intervene in this matter. The matter of searching for the immortal master, after all, I have to accomplish it myself. I remembered that the first time I came here, I vaguely saw a huge thing sleeping soundly in the cave, but for some reason, this time, there seemed to be a black barrier in front of the cave, so I couldn't see what was going on inside at all. After I stabilized my mind, I began to take steps towards the cave. The inside of this mysterious cave seemed to be a state of absolute darkness, although the outside world I was in was a daytime state and there was light, this cave was more like a black hole, not only could I not see what was inside, even the light shone in, it could not leave a single shadow. There was a clear distinction between black and white. When I walked to the demarcation point between the cave and the outside, I hesitated before taking a step out into the darkness in front of me. At this instant, a huge force suddenly enveloped my body, I only felt a boom in my head, my feet immediately stepped into the air, it was as if I had fallen into an abyss of 10,000 feet at this moment. In the underworld, the body continues to fall, surrounded by darkness, I want to reach out to grab something, but only in endless emptiness, extreme weightlessness makes me feel terrified, feel as if I have become a cloud, a leaf, floating, tiny and unsupported. But this feeling only lasted about a few seconds, or maybe a dozen seconds, the consciousness suddenly came back, I found myself unexpectedly came to a black hole in the middle of the cave, the surrounding stones are dark red, in this darkness emit a blinding dark red light, I reached out my hand to touch it, and found that the stone wall is warm. I thought that the warm wind should be blowing out from here. I tried to concentrate hard and slowly saw the scene around me. This was a cave that was dozens of meters in size, the ground was rugged, but the top of my head seemed to be a huge black hole that couldn't be seen at a glance, and the darkness was so oppressive that it was boundless and chilling. Suddenly, not far in front of me, about a dozen meters away, vaguely came a low strange sound, the cave then there is an inexplicably powerful force quietly spread. Is this, that immortal master of mine? Although my heart has long been prepared, knowing that my immortal master is definitely a mighty and domineering master, and I am not in the ancient painting now, I have already been brought to its own lair by it. However, I still felt uneasy in front of this powerful force, after all, this is not a little guy. Just then, the top of the stone wall suddenly puffed and drilled out a little fist-sized spark. I was surprised to retreat, I saw this spark shook twice, in the blink of an eye turned into a large ball of fire, followed by the sound of puffing sound, in this stone wall above the successive emergence of more than a dozen groups of sparks, emitting crackling burning sound, the firelight is great, soon lit up half of the cave. This scene made me open my mouth wide, this stone wall is like suddenly lit up more than ten piles of fire, and just at this time, the stone wall above also have firelight through, look up, as if the night sky lit up many stars. However, despite the swaying and dazzling firelight, the stone wall above was still a black hole, and only a distance in front of him was brightly illuminated by the firelight. Under the firelight, the surrounding temperature began to gradually rise. I said, no good, if the whole cave is on fire, will I become a roast duck in a hanging oven? At this time, the surrounding powerful force was still spreading, I could even clearly feel that it was an incomparably powerful destructive force. The surrounding stone wall has begun to constantly tremble, peeling off large and small pieces of stone, as if, this cave will collapse at any time. 
Suddenly, a roar erupted from the deep darkness. The entire cave began to violently shake and tremble, and in the huge cave, a flame actually spread from far and near, instantly spreading out and connecting with the flames on this side of the mountain wall. The surroundings were immediately plunged into a sea of fire, the intense firelight enveloped the cave, the darkness was completely expelled, the firelight in front of them simply exceeded any light in the world, and the terrifying heat wave followed wave after wave. In the midst of the flames, a huge circle of fire suddenly appeared, and gradually began to rotate, the countless flames, in this instant, was sucked in by the rotating force of the circle of fire. That circle of fire was getting bigger and bigger, the rotation was also getting faster and faster, more and more urgent, and the center part began to expand and expand, as if some kind of terrible thing was about to emerge from that circle of fire and descend into this world. Time, however, seemed to have suddenly frozen at this moment, the flames in the sky, the blazing light, and the huge circle of fire that rotated endlessly. Suddenly, a snake's head slowly appeared from the depths of the furiest flames, and all the flames rolled back, as if flowing into that vortex, and disappeared forever. I stood in place, the whole person has been frozen, the surroundings fell back into darkness. In the next moment, a pair of fiery red eyes appeared in that black hole, coldly gazing at the world outside. A berserk aura of looking out of the world instantly enveloped the entire cave. This feeling is exactly the same as what I felt last night. Then, a huge head, slowly poking out, appeared in front of me, followed by a huge body that was several meters high. The suffocating might was like a Tarzan pressing down on me, making me feel a huge pressure. I raised my head and finally got a good look at him. It was actually a giant python that seemed to be like a pillar through the sky, its body was ink black, and its body was thicker than a bucket of water. It was only then that I realized that those sparks were created by the friction of its scaled armor coming into contact with the walls, and the flames, too, were created by the burning of the dry plants piled up inside the cave. I was then curled around its body, unable to move a muscle. Its huge head was right in front of me, and all inspiring might shot out from within those eyes, like a towering king looking down on the world. After being shocked, I knew that I had been chosen by it, and it was my first immortal master, so domineering that I was vaguely excited in my heart. With a burst of excitement in my heart, I couldn't help but want to bow down, but before I could do so, a force took control of my legs and stiffly lifted me up. His gaze was on my body, and in the midst of his majesty, it seemed to carry something soft. I couldn't help but be a little nervous, I didn't expect that this first immortal master of mine would have to test me just after showing up. I just wonder, what is he going to do to me? He seemed to be scrutinizing me, the letter in his mouth kept swinging on the side of my face, and his body was slowly rubbing against me, until after a long time, it slowly let go. I didn't know what it was going to do next, but I kept staring into its eyes. If you want to communicate with the immortals with or without them, you have to master a hand at penetrating each other's hearts, I have some talent in this area, in fact, to put it bluntly, I can't do the work of the Exodus immortal without talent, just for a moment, I could see the meaning in its eyes. The voice of the brain resounded in my head, it's okay to save people, I will protect you, but I can't control everything, and I won't control everything. I didn't know how many years the python had lived, but apparently the intelligence was already extremely high. The look was very humanized, and the meaning in its eyes was unusually rich. Just as I was contemplating, perhaps because of the distraction, my body suddenly floated, then the scenery around me changed rapidly, and the sound of the wind whimpered in my ears. My mind was in a trance, when I opened my eyes to look, I was no longer in the ancient cave, in front of me or the hospital I was sitting on the grass, the python had disappeared. Chen Ruashi, oh no, it should be Lu Shoei, is standing not far from me, anxiously looking around. Good guy, worthy of being my immortal master, this hand back and forth means, fast catch up with Chen Kuan Denui. Lu Shoei saw me and ran over. How is it? My mom's condition, can the surgery save her life? She asked carefully. I wanted to just shake my head and tell her that the surgery would only be able to temporarily slow down the progression of the condition, but it was basically unlikely to be able to control it anymore. However, I really couldn't open my mouth to say this, so I told her, surgery is possible, and I can also find a way to control her condition, but the result is still hard to say, it also depends on whether there are any other foci in her body, and whether there are any other poisons stained on her body and only if all of these are resolved, then the treatment will have a significant effect, but whether she can ultimately get through this, it will depend on her own destiny. When I said these words, my eyelids suddenly jumped violently a few times, and a big word degree slowly appeared in my mind. Degree, suddenly appeared this word, what does it mean? In fact, the word degree has several meanings. In the Buddhist interpretation, it is synonymous with ferrying, like a boat ferrying people across the sea, out of the world, out of life and death, which is the meaning of salvation. At the same time, it is also a morphological expression of the balanced guidelines of this universe. Everything in the universe has degrees. Taoism and nature all have degrees. In other words, everything is subject to degree. Degree is salvation, redemption, and a code of conduct for all things. 
So, what does this word degree mean when it appears at this time? Suddenly, there was a flash of light in my mind, and I suddenly understood. Looking at Lu Xiaoyi, who had a tense and expectant face, I slowly said, I can save her, but not by saving her, rather I am redeeming you, and myself. She didn't know what I was talking about, and her face remained puzzled and doubtful, but in reality, my words were meant for her to hear, yet they were not meant for her to hear. The so-called degradation is actually a way for us to get out of the sea of suffering within us, to leave suffering and become happy. For example, as TV dramas often show, saving people is a way to fulfillment, killing people is a way to fulfillment, and sometimes doing nothing is also a way to fulfillment, which is actually also talking about this matter. In this world, strictly speaking, any person is a collection of various karmic consequences, career, family, and luck are all entangled together, and it's simply impossible to separate them. That's why you have to follow your heart in everything you do, and have a clear conscience, or else the repercussions will be wide and great. I'm saving your mother now, not only am I degreeing her, but I'm also degreeing you, and even more so, I'm degreeing myself, this is a tie between the three of us, no matter whether it's successful or not, as long as I give this matter a result, it's a great good. It must be known that everything exists, there is both reason, follow the heart, do not break the rules, this is the operating law of this world. After I said this, Lu Xiaoyi became even more confused, she seemed to not understand what I was saying at all, but right at this moment, out of the corner of my eye, I suddenly saw that not far away, behind a wigwam, a pair of eyes seemed to be smiling at me. In the next moment, my eyes lit up and my heart was wildly happy. It seemed like that immortal master had already acknowledged me, and it was actually protecting me from such a close distance. And I watched as it spat something at me, and my feet were hot, it was a gooey mess. I didn't move to pick it up, and the aroma of the thing was simply hard to suppress. Dragon Blast. This is the name of the folk, as for what is its scientific name, I am not sure, I only know that this thing is a treasure that is rare in a thousand years, similar to what ox treasure, horse treasure, only more advanced, it is said to be the best medicine to get rid of poison. What is that? Lu Xiaoyi asked. I smiled slightly, it's a treasure, with this, it might be able to save your mom. Really? Lu Xiaoyi said in surprise. Just try it and you'll see. After saying that, we walked towards the ward, and when we arrived at the ward, I got rid of a piece of that dragon crystal and fed it to Lu Xiaoyi's mother. Soon, I saw Lu Xiaoyi's mother's face begin to redden and her body begin to burn. The body is hot, this is the body cells against the toxin show, the general performance is fever, as long as the study of medicine are clear. However, through my gifted eyes, I quickly saw that Lu Xiaoyi's mother's bioelectricity was very active, and the weak arcs, which were originally not normal, had become organized and strong. I was delighted in my heart and looked towards Lu Xiaoyi. It's done, your mother's life is basically saved, however, I can only guarantee that she will be fine within a year, in the future, you take your mother far away and leave this place forever, do more good deeds and accumulate blessings, perhaps she can still meet a high person and live for a few more years. I smiled faintly at Lu Xiaoyi, then turned around and walked out of the hospital room. She looked at me with surprise and emotion, her eyes full of hot tears, unable to stop thanking me. Walking to the door of the ward, I suddenly remembered something and turned back, by the way, you still have to do the surgery as usual, don't think it's okay just because I treated your mother, there is no elixir in the world, even the best medicinal herbs can't give instant results, I only made the tumor's deterioration weakened, and the spreading range and time narrowed down. So, the surgery still has to be done, remember, no matter what, you still have to believe in science. I paused and extended my hand to her again, smiling, also, the law should not be lightly transmitted, and the disease should not be lightly cured, it's all a matter of carrying karma, please pay the consultation fee of $100. She was busy taking out a wad of money to give to me, but I only drew out $100 from it, and then told her not to leave the hospital from now on, and to be safe at all times. During the statement taking, she didn't say anything about being face swapped, which was a good thing for her, otherwise, I'm afraid she would have been silenced in minutes. But that person will definitely not let me go, because I ruined all his plans, he is now afraid that he has long hated me to the bone. After walking out of the hospital, I stood on the street, only felt refreshed, even the sky seems to be much clearer and bluer than usual, the sky and the earth are vast, everything in the world seems to be in my heart, and there is an incomparable sense of comfort and enjoyment all over my body. This feeling, as if just did a physical exercise, sweating, limbs and bones of each pore are open, and... I mused for a moment and suddenly remembered a very appropriate sentence to describe it. Every pore in my body seemed to be breathing. Yes, that was the feeling. I felt that my five senses had been significantly upgraded, and I was walking lightly, especially when I walked out of the hospital's front door just now, several girls had been staring at me. Could it be that after this immortal master of mine possessed me for the first time and gave me some energy, even my personal charisma has been boosted? Or is it that I'd become handsome again? I walked to a roadside window and stopped, looking in the mirror wanting to admire my stunning looks. Then I was embarrassed to find that people are not actually looking at me at all, 
it turns out that I forgot to zipper up my pants, all the way to the open state. Shame on you. But to be honest, these are all small matters for me. The main thing is, the guy who ran away last night, what other means will be used to deal with me below? I think, after yesterday's incident, he should not be able to directly against, after all, I so awesome immortal master he was witnessed, and he is also a practitioner, surely can see, at that time, my immortal possession, even the Mashan mystic art of trap dragon array are ineffective. You know, this formation at that time, even the python smallpox was trapped, but it was ineffective against that immortal master of mine, from this we can see, how deep his old man must be in Taoism. After returning to my apartment, the first thing I did was to burn a stick of incense, look into the air and kneel down, respectfully kowtowing to my immortal master and performing a great salute. The world often misunderstands and thinks that human beings, as all living things, are not supposed to worship those animal spirits. However, in the shamanic culture, all things in the world are equal, from the point of view of life, people and animals are not high and low. Whether it is people, or animal spirits, should be a state of mutual respect and harmony, to put it bluntly, you do not fear life in this life, do not respect the animals, wantonly kill, not afraid of the next life, if you also reincarnated into an animal, may also be the same treatment. Although the afterlife is just a beautiful imagination of human beings fear of death, and there is no science that can prove that there is an afterlife, it is always right to do more good deeds and treat life with kindness. What's more, because of the development of human beings, animals are already miserable enough, many of them are in a precarious situation, it's already considered very difficult to be able to live for some years, so why should they be oppressed? In fact, in this world, it is not human beings who are smart, we have only developed technology and writing to make us look very high-end, in fact, many animals who follow their instincts are the real strongest in this world. If there is a global catastrophe, human beings may not be as tough as animals, and it is very likely that they will be the ones to survive. Besides, it is said that a thousand years of the kings ate ten thousand years of the turtle, people can live so many years, human beings still have what to fool around? We humans, whose average lifespan is only a few decades, in front of these old people who can't move for hundreds or thousands of years, what reason do we have to disrespect them? After I respectfully paid my respects, my consciousness instantly entered the spiritual world. The figure of a white-haired old man appeared in front of me, with a majestic and powerful aura. He was wearing a black robe, and a bump was visible on his head, roughly a bit above his forehead. It looked just like the birthday old man, the difference was that while the birthday old man had kind brows, this old man was full of majesty, with a tall body and a pair of narrow and godly eyes, but it seemed to have an intimidating aura. Subsequently, a white python skyflower also suddenly appeared, she is still the same, cold goddess paradigm, white clothes on the body snow, face exquisite, fair skin, beautiful eyes such as the autumn moon bright, look almost as if not eat earthly fire fairies in general. Just python smallpox is inging worship in front of this old man, the demeanor is quite respectful and close, that old man let her worship a few times, this is a smile, nodded at us, but did not say anything, the figure will slowly fade, slowly disappear. He is. I asked in surprise, the python smallpox at this time has risen, gazed softly looking at me, rare to me also smiled. This attitude of hers towards me is a bit rare, since arriving in Luoyang, she said that she was my daughter-in-law, but I felt that she was like my master, godly not to mention, she also became more and more strict towards me, and has always been shy of words, basically not much care for me. I bared my teeth at her as well and moved forward, continuing to ask, his old man this is considered officially accepting me? Python Skyflower, however, shook her head and said, it's still early, if you don't set up a hall, you won't be considered formally worshipping the master, but his old man is now considered to be your first immortal master, so in the future you have to perform well, cultivate well, and don't be lazy, or else he can be much harsher than I would be. I smiled and said, that's for sure, his old man is imposing at first glance, I reckon if he releases his aura, I wouldn't even dare to breathe. But you are different, no matter what, you are also my daughter-in-law. I thought it was not easy to communicate with her once, said close should still have the benefit, after all, also worshipped the pro-daughter-in-law, even if there is no husband and wife of the real, that also has the name of husband and wife ah. She heard me say so, first face swept through a trace of imperceptible dissimilarity, and then but boarded up the face, said to me, the matter of marriage, is only you and I but a period of former destiny, and you and I have only one year of the husband and wife of the name, I am only for others to guard you just, you'd better not move what crooked mind, when I am your protector on the line. I'm curious, I'm curious. My curiosity immediately came up, so I asked her, we two in the end, what is the former destiny, but she refused to say, just shaking her head, asked the urgent, she said let me own feelings, and so later there will always be a time to understand. Since she refused to say, I cannot help, thought about it and asked her, what should I do next on the road of cultivation? She smiled at me again and said, you have already embarked on the path of cultivation, just move forward, as for how to move forward, there is no need to ask me, life is yours, the experience is yours, and the cultivation is also yours. I secretly skimmed my mouth, 
thinking to myself that what you said is the same as not saying anything, it's all nonsense. Then I remembered another question, so I asked her, just now that old master, that is, my first immortal master, what was his surname, there must be a name, right? Python Skyflower's expression gradually became solemn, she looked at me and slowly uttered a name. His old man is the Python family's great master, his name, is Python Tianba. Python family's great master, Python Tianba. I had the feeling of my pores exploding outward again, a chill started to spread from my limbs, brushing up a layer of goosebumps, only to feel that even my muscles were throbbing slightly, and soon even the cool air was bubbling in my hair strands. I couldn't help but shiver, and thought, no wonder this old immortal is so powerful, but it's actually a great master? I pondered, this old master grew so big, must have lived for thousands of years? The recorded history of mankind is only up and down 5,000 years, perhaps in the barbaric era, his old man has been born, so that the Maoshan dragon trap formation, in front of him with children's tricks almost. I carefully asked, then his old man is so powerful, still need to accumulate merits on earth? I thought to myself that this Python Skyblossom's old immortal family was even older than human history, and I was afraid that he would have been a know-it-all long ago, and that he would be able to look at this sesame seed skill of mine? As a result, Python Skyblossom really replied, of course not, his old man came out of the mountain entirely for your sake. For me? For what? I was a bit ambiguous. Later you will slowly know, I've told you enough, heaven's secrets cannot be revealed, you'd better slowly feel it yourself. Python Smallpox said to leave, the figure gradually faded, suddenly said to me again, Python Family Master Body Cold, ordinary people cannot get close to, you were chilled by the cold she rushed, the body cold, let the yellow family that little brother to give you a string of tricks, a moment will be good. After the Python Smallpox left, my consciousness returned to reality. This dream entry method I use more and more familiar, this dream entry is to check for gaps and fill in the gaps, recall all the things, check if I have omissions, so look, I really still forgot something. I was busy shouting run, not a moment later, a weasel appeared, came to me, small claws in my body a scratch, then a warm current quickly spread throughout the body, gradually only not cold. This is also a basic common sense, usually speaking, Hu Huang upper body to beat the body will be hot, the brain will also be a little dizzy, why? Because Hu Huang is a hot-blooded animal, and its own relatively heavy flavor. And often python snake on the body to hit the reaction is cold, but this cold and the wind is different, is the kind of cold from the inside out, it is also very good to understand because often Python frankly is drilling around, the body is stained with more things, their own poisonous, belonging to the phenomenon of mild poisoning. Of course, this is said to be only roughly some reaction, according to each person's situation are different, the reaction will also be different. Yellow fast running on the body string body, I gradually body warm up, but also feel a little sleepy. Yesterday, this night did not sleep, all rely on a spirit to support, now things are resolved, master also worship, my head is dizzy, just want to hurry into the nest to sleep on a big sleep. So, I didn't even care about breakfast, didn't take off my clothes, lay down on the bed and fell asleep. This time, I had many, many strange and weird dreams, sometimes it was like flying in the sky, sometimes it was like fighting with people, there were many people surrounding me, and I was like watching a movie, watching those images pass by in front of my eyes one by one. Sometimes it was like being there, I was this person and that person, my identity and age and even my gender were changing, and the things that happened around me were also strange. I told myself in my dream that I must memorize these dreams and ponder over them in retrospect, because I felt that they all seemed to have some meaning inside them, and although I couldn't figure it out now, I would be right one day. This sleep lasted for more than three hours before I woke up in a daze, my consciousness hadn't been fully revived yet, but I didn't open my eyes right away, instead, I first recalled the contents of the dream, wanting to memorize as much as I could in my mind. Then I realized that I had dreamed a whole bunch of dreams, and as a result, now I didn't remember any of them. All that could be remembered was a whole bunch of dream fragments, scattered about in my mind, but just no longer able to be put together. I was a bit annoyed, thinking that these dreams were all for nothing, and I didn't remember anything. At this moment, the consciousness slowly recovered, I feel as if there are people standing next to me, and not just one, at least there must be four or five of them, and there are also people stabbing me with their hands, shouting my name in a low voice. I subconsciously assumed that it was Huang Quick Run, because the character of the Huang family is to love to move and make a fuss, perhaps to see that I fell asleep and shouted his friends over. There was also a possibility that he was helping me recruit and expand my staff in order to set up a hall in the future. However, I also feel that the person who stabbed me looks like a woman, her voice is also a woman, and she stabbed me quite vigorously. Then it might be Python smallpox? But I was still a bit sleepy at this time, my brain was dizzy, and my consciousness had not fully awakened, and I still wanted to continue to sleep for a while. So, I didn't open my eyes, so I rolled over, and muttered something in my mouth daughter-in-law don't make trouble. I this sentence exit, that person immediately did not stab me, after a few seconds of silence, suddenly kicked over. Unbiased, just above my buttocks kicked. 
I just woke up with a jolt, opened my eyes and looked, there were really four or five people standing in the room, which means that my inspiration is quite accurate, but these people are looking at me with a strange face, and they are not yellow fast runner, much less python smallpox, the one standing next to me, who just kicked me in the face, is clearly he Yu Chen, just see her eyes wide open, look strange staring at me, look at that posture, seems to be ready to come up at any time to give me another kick, next to her was Gua Ziming, also speechless, at the same time also a little wanna laugh not dare to laugh, hold back the joy, played a ghost face to me, Next to them were two apartment housekeepers, the staff of this apartment, one carrying a large bunch of keys in his hand, and the other carrying a first aid kit. Seeing that I woke up, He Yu Chen's face suddenly turned red, and she cursed in a low voice, Shameless, who is your daughter-in-law? Ah, it seems that she was the one who stabbed me just now. I was busy explaining, misunderstanding misunderstanding, sorry ha, I'm sleeping Harry flabbergasted, I didn't say you, I was dreaming, dreaming. Was zimming he 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 smile, to those two apartment housekeepers said, alright alright, give you trouble, I say you kid is also, sleep sleep so dead, the phone also do not answer, we thought you have an accident it. The two apartment housekeepers turned around and walked away, I'm a little confused, asked them what happened, was zimming mouth fast, said to me, it's not that we are looking for you something, the results cannot find you, he you chen said that you are afraid of accidents, came to knock on the door and you do not open, we went to look for the apartment housekeepers to come over to see you in the end is not at home. And the result is that you are sleeping with a pig like, people still think you, made some kind of emergency, and you have to go to the apartment. Thought you had committed some kind of emergency, even the first aid kit was brought, just about to call the police on 120. I just suddenly realized, thinking that I also slept too much, calling and knocking on the door simply didn't hear, no wonder they just looked at me with a strange expression. Sorry sorry sorry, I was not sleeping all night last night, so I made up a sleep and slept in the dark. Right, what are you guys looking for me? He Yuchin pointed at Gua Ziming and said, it's him who's looking for you. I shifted my gaze to Gua Ziming, who smiled and said to me, actually, it's nothing much, it's just an invitation for you to attend a birthday banquet. Birthday party? Who's having a birthday? Of course it's me, tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, in my family's villa, don't see you there. Gua Ziming smiled happily, seemingly looking forward to this birthday banquet. I also smiled, without much thought I agreed to his invitation, although I didn't stay at the school for long, but my relationship with him is not bad and he can come all the way here for me, which means he also treats me as a friend. But for some reason, looking at Gua Ziming's smiling appearance, I inexplicably had an ominous premonition in my heart. This is probably a psychological effect, perhaps because I have experienced too many things recently, every time I encounter something, the first thing that comes to mind is that something is going to go wrong. If Gua Ziming really have a problem, like I opened the eyes of heaven, through the bioelectromagnetic field, a glance will be able to see one or two, there will be no inexplicable feeling. However, Gua Ziming does not seem to have such a gas phase, I stared at him for half a day, he saw me staring at him, but also flirted with me and said, in front of the face of Yu Chen this big beauty, you are always looking at me what is the meaning of, just now also shouted people daughter-in-law, so a little while on the change of heart ah, uh, he said this with a sour taste, I said to him speechlessly, you'd better not let the schools mister, Zheng hear this, otherwise, it should be rumored again, Yu Chen doesn't know about the school's terrain, but she didn't ask much, looking at my messy house, she pinched her nose and said, Shuyufen, can you clean up your house, look at your socks thrown all over the place. I looked around and said in disbelief, there are only three pairs of socks on the floor. I do not slow on the ground to pick up the three pairs of socks, from inside to find a pair of the cleanest, slowly put on, and then said to them, what do you want to eat, it is rare for you to come all the way to look for me, today I treat, but I'm a poor man, compared to you rich second generation, abalone and lobster or something I can't afford to invite, there is a small restaurant downstairs. The fish fried noodles are particularly authentic, $6 full of a large at $6, for a big plate full of fish and two cloves of garlic, and it's very fragrant. Garlic, raw? My god. He Yu Chen covered her mouth, a face of horror, unable to shake her head, obviously on the garlic with fish scented fried noodles this thing, or very resistant. Gua Ziming is quite happy, rejoiced, then quickly go to taste, I tell you, I eat at home every day or tired of, my mom all kinds of give me supplemental nutrition, want to eat a garlic or not, too miserable. No way. Your family is so rich, you can't even eat garlic? My mom says you can't eat that stuff raw, and says if I eat it, she'll break my legs. Why, your mom hates garlic so much, how if my mom is very similar, my mom is also, never eat garlic, not to mention eat, our family never bought that thing, once went to a relative's house as a guest, I stole to eat a clove of garlic, my mom suddenly came in, scared me hurriedly swallowed it down, almost did not choke to death. I don't know, our family never eat that stuff, my dad and my mom don't eat, but the more they don't let me eat, I just can't help it, you say fish fried noodles with garlic, my mouth is almost watering, hurry up. Gua Ziming and I were talking about garlic and unison, while the Yu Chen looked disgusted, but after the three of us left the door, she didn't refuse and still went with us to that small restaurant. 
After sitting down, Waziming came with a fish-flavored fried noodles by himself, peeled two more cloves of garlic, rolled up his sleeves and started spitting. Look at his posture, not the slightest bit of self-consciousness as a second-generation rich man, completely disregarding the image, while eating and shouting addiction. Yu Chen said she wasn't hungry and didn't intend to eat, but when my portion also came up, she finally couldn't hold back the pungent aroma, so she picked up her chopsticks and said that she would only taste it. This fish-scented fried noodles is a very large portion, almost more than a foot of plate, super, I usually can't finish it alone, now Yu Chen originally held the chopsticks and tasted a small mouthful, but the more she tasted the more she couldn't help it, and finally she simply ate it together with me. In order to take care of her mood, I had to give up the garlic, but during the meal, most of my attention was actually on Guizimming. I actually wasn't hungry at all, I just wanted to observe a bit more to see what was going on with Guizimming and why I was a bit distracted. I ate the noodles while talking to him one way or another, but after half a plate of noodles had been eaten, I still didn't see anything wrong with Guizimming. In the end, until the noodles were finished, was Ziming answered a phone call, it was his mom who called, he talked on the phone while saying goodbye to us, saying he had something to go home. After he left, I was suspicious in my heart and looked up at Yu Chen, but to my surprise, she actually happened to look over as well. The two of us looked at each other, and although we didn't say anything, from each other's eyes, we both understood what the other was going to say. Thus, we both said the same thing in unison. You see something wrong? It turned out that she also realized something was wrong, and after I said it, I looked at her speechlessly and laughed bitterly, big sister, you're a proper exodus disciple, and I'm just a half-wit, so you're asking me? Hiyuchin put down her chopsticks, looked at me and said, there is indeed a bit of a problem with him, but it's hidden a bit deeply, and those who are generally shallow in Taoism can't really see it, but for you, a reserve out of the gate disciple, to actually be able to see it, is also very impressive. When you come out of the hall, your skills will definitely be above mine. That's not important. The key is what's going on with him, I feel as if he's going to be in some kind of life-threatening situation, what do you think? After I asked, Hiyuchin raised his head and looked at Gua Ziming's back, slowly saying, not only is his life in danger, you also have a disaster. Me too? I looked at her in surprise and asked again, but we both have immortal protectors, so it stands to reason that even if there is a calamity, it should all be safe and sound, right? Hiyuchin said, yes, this thing, sometimes you have to go through it by yourself, immortals can't erase it for you, nor can they block it for you, at most. They can only give you a big thing to make it small, so most of the tribulations are all without danger, and can't take your life. However, there are exceptions. Exceptions? What exceptions? He Yu Chen didn't answer directly, but instead asked in return, when do you think, immortals will usually strike? I thought for a moment and said, it should be at the most critical time, since the calamity is something we have to go through, the immortals won't be able to step in too early, unless we can't withstand it and are about to hiccup, then the immortals will step in to help. He Yu Chen's voice gradually turned cold as she said, yes, you're absolutely right. But do you know how my master died back then? I shook my head and didn't make a sound. She looked at me and said word by word, my master's protector immortal, at the most critical time, drank too much wine and came one step too late. This. I was a bit speechless, thinking that this protector immortal also ran out to drink, isn't this delaying things? He Yu Chen's brows gradually furrowed together, she looked at me and said, so, what I mean to tell you is that you have to rely on yourself to get through your own calamity, don't rely too much on the immortal family, and believe in the immortal family too much, because in this world, your destiny, belongs to you only. If you don't make an effort, the immortals can't save you even if they want to. Her tone was grave, I nodded and asked again, so after you said so much, can you tell me when exactly my calamity is, and how long before Gua Ziming's life is in danger? I can only tell you that it's not far away but I can't tell exactly what it is and when it will happen. Not far as how long, probably there is always time, right? I pursued. She looked at me and slowly spoke her last words. Within three days. Perhaps it was because of the experience of eating the same serving of fish-flavored fried noodles, He Yu Chen and I seemed to have gotten a little closer without realizing it. She told me that when I attended Gua Ziming's birthday party tomorrow, I should remember to stay away from a person who was a dog. When I asked her who that person was, she shook her head and said that she had looked very hard but could only tell so much. Looking at my puzzled expression, she said to me, Shor Yifun, don't think that just because you become a disciple of the Exodus and have the immortals to protect you that you'll be able to rest in peace, I'll still say the same thing, your life is your own, and your cultivation is your own as well, the immortals don't really intervene too much, and moreover, there are some things that they can't do anything about. She said this I do understand, not to mention that these immortals are not human, most of them are only in the state of beginning spiritual wisdom, even if they are in full spiritual wisdom, after all, they are not immortals, as well as there are things they can't do. In the eyes of the immortals, karma is the greatest. Even the most powerful immortals have to follow the laws and power of karma. Hiyuchen left after he finished speaking, but I was hooked up with a full heart, silently thinking in my heart, this person who belongs to the dog, who on earth could it be? 
By the way, Hiyuchin can't be able to calculate the past and future, because that is simply a mythological story, at most, with the clues, analyze it. Therefore, what she said about the person who belongs to the dog, should be my state at this time, not be able to contact people of such age, there may be some effects. Because of the difference in age, a person's body structure and cellular activity, as well as the content of flora are worlds apart, and the viruses that can be easily carried are also different. With this doubt, I spent the whole day in thought, but no matter how much I meditated and meditated, in front of me was a gray fog, and I couldn't see anything. It was only at the last moment that the figure of a person appeared in my mind, but it was also shrouded in mist, too hazy to see clearly. This figure only flashed for a split second before disappearing. Vaguely, the person seemed to be a man, supposedly middle-aged. This was my deeper consciousness analyzing the direction once again, the one who could affect me should be an adult, not a child, nor should it be an old man. Because an old man shouldn't be there on an occasion like that, and a child is too young to have much influence on me, that leaves only middle-aged people and people of my own age. Peers shouldn't be either, even though I was born and almost died, it's not like just anyone can affect me, He Yu Chen follows so many creatures every day and doesn't even affect me, that only leaves middle-aged people. I opened my eyes and looked at the ancient painting in front of me for a while, unconsciously, for the first time, I was a bit confused about my future. Sitting in silence for another 10 minutes, completely without any thoughts, I stood up helplessly, only to feel that both legs are sore and numb, a little disobedient, slowed down half a day before slowly returning to normal. Just at this time, the phone suddenly rang. This cell phone number I know not many people, when the phone rang, I basically guessed who it was. Intuition told me that this person was Yang Shoucheng. Picking up my cell phone and scanning the name on it, I couldn't help but smile. Hey, senior uncle, it's me, Yang Shoucheng. It's really him, I know he belongs to the kind of person who doesn't come to the temple for nothing, suddenly calling me today, there must be a reason. As expected, I asked him what's the matter, he sounded slightly excited and asked me if I went to the tumor hospital this morning. I said to myself that he was really the medical profession's little genius, even this matter could not be hidden from him, so I didn't deny it. Once he heard that I really went there, he got even more excited and then asked me if I was treating a liver cancer patient named Chen Li Juan. I didn't really know what that person's name was, and I didn't ask, but liver cancer was right. When he learned my exact answer, he laughed out loud on the phone, confusing me, thinking what the hell is going on, even if my treatment is very effective, it's not so happy, right? Besides, what does this have to do with him? Yang Shoqing couldn't hold back his laughter for a while, before excitedly telling me, Uncle, this time you were famous, you know, the patient you treated this morning, the surgery has been done, but with the doctor's examination before the surgery is completely the opposite of the judgment, at that time, she was already metastasis of liver cancer, but the operation found that the scope of metastasis has been reduced a lot, and the tumor has been turned into benign, had turned benign, ah, uh, hearing him say this, I was also taken aback, originally thought that in the morning python Tianbao the immortal just delayed her life for a year, and temporarily controlled the condition, as a result, is to use a tiny bit of dragon crystal, all that begun to spread the malignant tumors, and suddenly turned into benign? Have to say, this is also too magical. The hospital side is very puzzled, after investigation, only to know, this morning there is a young man has been to the ward, and then, this young man is likely to be in the city hospital once showed his hand. So they circled around and found me again, as soon as I heard, I knew it was the master uncle shot, in addition to you, look at this Luoyang city. No, look at the whole world, there is not a so powerful character ah. Uh. I am now immune to his ass kissing this set, but listen to also quite comfortable to use, thinking that their uncle and nephews are also considered strange, in the future there is Yang Shoucheng, I am afraid that he will not let me stop, there will certainly be a lot of things to find me. Yang Shoucheng said a whole bunch of words that sound numb, I'm always left ear into the right ear out, and then asked him, call me today, in the end, what do you want to say? He only then stopped talking, told me that the hospital wants to invite me over, first recognize, and then do an academic discussion, because they think, I must be part of the traditional Chinese medicine category of treatment methods, is not familiar with them do not master, maybe what lost skills, if you can dig out, certainly a hotspot enough to cause an explosion. It turned out that he had made such a big detour for this matter. However, I did not hesitate to decline his invitation, I told him, I am only responsible for healing the sick and saving people, but I firstly do not want to be in the limelight, and secondly, I do not want to have anything to do with those hospital people. Besides, this is not a divine skill, but only the right medicine, but the means is really not common people can have, people who understand naturally understand, if the people who do not understand know, turn around and then report that I am a liar, engage in feudal superstitious activities, that would be no fun. Therefore, my identity is better to be mysterious, do not easily exposed. Yang Shoqing suddenly realized the look, said to me, Good master uncle, I understand, you this is what a high person does ah, I will go to tell them, in addition, master uncle, this time you fire, but you rest assured, general small things I certainly do not trouble you. 
Only then did I have the chance to hang up Yang Shouqing's phone. To be honest, I really can't stand this kind of person, but on second thought, he has a very high reputation in Luoyang, so if he introduces me to some difficult cases in the future, it will just save me a lot of trouble. When I picked up Guo Ziming's phone again, his voice was also a bit excited, he told me that tomorrow night's birthday party has been temporarily changed to a costume party, so I need to change my outfit as well. Makeup party? I was first stunned, and then all kinds of fancy dresses immediately came to my mind. After hanging up the phone, I contacted Yu Chen, she also received the news of the makeup party, but she told me that in fact, she does not like this kind of occasion, but Guo Ziming kindly invited her to go to a meal, but now it has become a makeup party. The two of us discussed a bit, decided that it is better to keep it simple, and then Yu Chen said, she really has two sets of costumes at home, just one set with me, dress up a bit, fooling around on the line. I didn't ask her what they were, so it was agreed that tomorrow afternoon she would bring the costumes to my place, and then change into them and have her family's driver send them to us. She had planned it so well, so perfectly, and saved me so much trouble that I agreed almost without thinking. At the same time, he Yu Chen also told me that there are quite a lot of students attending tomorrow, and a few acquaintances from our class will also be there, including Shang Wan AI, along and the two of them. Since the school's accident, I haven't really paid attention to their situation, He Yu Chen said that most of the students have transferred to other schools now, and she hasn't seen Shang Wan AI for a long time. However, in these students, the only one who did not transfer is Gui Ziming, because his father is the school's school manager, or the kind of heavyweight, now Gui Ziming and the home self-study it, his father to the teacher are looking for home, alone just to give him a lesson. I cannot help but sweat a, said this is really no place to reason to go, their own family opened the school as cattle, several teachers to as one person class, is also enough can be. However, with Gui Ziming that achievement, and hangdog character, I guess he can't get into any good university. But this does not need me to worry about, people are rich second generation, born with a golden key, even if nothing to do in the future, lying on the pile of money every day to sleep, the days are still very cozy. The night was silent. The next day, I waited for the afternoon with trepidation, He Yu Chen really came as promised, and brought two sets of costumes for the makeup party. I saw her wearing a big coat, asked her how to change clothes later, you know I'm here as an apartment, inside and outside of a room, which if you change clothes together, more or less a little inconvenient, right? The result is that I think too much, she took off the jacket, directly revealing a set of short skirts inside the girl dress, like a sailor suit, the following two long legs, and white and bright, on the spot to me to see the silly eyes. But this outfit is a bit familiar, I look more carefully, this is not Sailor Moon? I look less than three seconds. She put the clothes on, glared at me and said, where are you looking? I hemmed and hawed and smiled, look at the legs ah. So what, long so good looking still do not let people look at it. She said, look at the look, do not be like a pervert, quickly change clothes, what Ziming said is 7 o'clock in the evening, now this is more than 5 o'clock, we have to hurry. Said, she threw a set of clothes to me over, and then sat on the sofa herself, from the side to find a ghost story magazine read up. Looks like she also did not want to avoid the meaning of a little, I had to open the set of clothes, only looked at a glance I stayed. This dress, is actually a white shirt, a black dress, and a black hat, a mask. Isn't this a magician's costume? Is it going to make me perform a great transformation? He Yu Chen saw me dazed and asked, what, you don't like it? Or is it inappropriate? I returned, no, no, I like it very much, not only do I like it very much, but it's also very suitable. The main thing is that, this looks as if it's Sailor Moon's boyfriend, that masquerades clothes ah. He Yu Chen said, that's right, it's that nightgown masquerades clothes, and it's new, no one has worn it. I took a closer look, and it really is a new suit, inside and out. You're a girl, what are you doing buying two sets of clothes, this nightdress masquerade outfit, who are you preparing it for? I asked in wonder, before unbuttoning my shirt and starting to put that shirt on slowly. She again lowered her head to read the book, and then said as if talking to herself, did not prepare for anyone, is that when I was a child, I like Sailor Moon, and then let my mom buy me two sets of clothes, originally thought that when later, found my prince, will give him to wear this nightdress. I listened to a little heartbeat accelerated, secretly thought, she said so mean, this is not. A confession to me? Find her prince, and then give him to wear this dress, listen, what a naked hint ah. I this a little fluttering feeling, face also a little red, just do not know how to respond to her, but she gave me another direct splash of cold water. Oh yes, you mustn't misunderstand, because I have never met my prince, so this dress has been idle, originally the clothes are a bit old, a few days ago I wanted to throw them away, today it just happens to be useful, so I'll give it to you to wear for a night, or else I bought it and didn't wear it, and it's quite a waste. The way this was said made me fall from the sky to the ground in an instant breathlessly rolling my eyes and continuing to change my clothes. A few moments later, when I put on this nightgown, put on my mask and bowler hat, and stood in front of the mirror, I was suddenly brightened up. I really don't say, with my primping and long body, and putting on the masquerade and revealing my two eyes, I really do have a bit of a prince's flavor. 
Hey, look at me, how handsome, do I look like a prince? I fooled around in front of Hiyu Chen, she looked up at me, snorted and said, you can pull it off, the reason you think you're handsome is mostly because you're wearing a mask that covers your face, right? I said resentfully, don't take you like this, the moment you open your mouth, you hit me, face or not face not to mention, you just say that we have this temperament, there is no point of the prince's temperament? She looked at me carefully and laughed, well, don't say, it seems to be a little bit of that meaning, but there is a premise. What premise? I asked, with a vague feeling that she was going to say something else that would blow me away. Provided you don't show your face. She covered her mouth and laughed, and I breathlessly reached out and gestured, pretending to punch her, but she put down the magazine in her hand and greeted me. Come, my prince. She was all smiles and a rare hint of winks as she reached out and graciously took my arm before heading for the door. My heart started to beat faster again, her body smelled good, and her hair smelled good, smoked my nose and eyes and tickled my heart. It seemed that she had prepared carefully for tonight's party. When we walked out the door, there was already someone waiting outside, apparently the driver who picked her up. When we left the apartment and got into the car, Hiyuchin suddenly came to my ear and said something to me in a low voice. Tonight, you have to perform well. Hiyuchin's words made my heartbeat accelerate again, but we can't fall off the chain in front of the little girl, so I turned my head, and also smiled badly at her for a few moments, and said, don't worry, I'll make sure you're satisfied. Unexpectedly, Hiyuchin glared at me and said, satisfy me? You're crazy. I meant to say, let yourself be careful, don't lose your little life if you don't pay attention. Ah, so it's this meaning, then. It's embarrassing. I bared my teeth at her and smiled, then stopped making a sound and silently looked around, wanting to see if my protective immortal family was following or not. Suddenly, this face of mine began to heat up a little, and my ears were a little itchy, and I knew that it was yellow fast running, so I turned my head to look at it, and made eye contact with it, and some low sound waves came out of my mouth, fast running, later you don't go anywhere, you just look at me next to me, and I have a feeling that something is going to happen tonight, and you will suffer, and I'll give you a barbecued chicken to eat later. I'll buy you a roast chicken later. In fact, I don't know when I learned such a skill. Communicate with the immortal, generally speaking is to use body language and eyes, animals, unless that kind of living a long time, such as the python family master kind, otherwise simply do not understand the human language. But the horse fairy has a special means, send out a kind of can let all the creatures in the animal world, can understand the voice, so as to communicate with them. This is something that requires talent, for example, a ventriloquist, who learns to call birds as if they were real, is not something that everyone is able to do. Another thing is to see, to use one's own eyes to see how an animal reacts, to get the first insight into the other person's thoughts. I am much more gifted in this regard, and I can even brainstorm the words of the other party in my head. My master once said that I am gifted in this regard. Hu Wang Xian's nature is to love to eat chickens, as soon as I said this, I felt a voice in my head hemmed and hawed, and said to me, chickens are not necessary, you give me two chicken legs on the line, but tonight you really have to pay attention to point, seems to be a little bad over there, but there is nothing, later you should eat and drink, something I will tell you. Alas, today this yellow fast running is quite powerful, not only did not run out to play, and have questions and answers, and respond to all requests, it seems that tonight I most likely will not die. I guess, this guy must have just slipped over to see, even if it is not him, there must be other weasels have been there. Animals do communicate with each other, the most impressive thing is that when I read the newspaper, a mouse was captured by humans and hung on a tree branch, then a family of mice came out to save it, so that animals are not too far from humans, there is a certain social structure. However, I was still a little apprehensive, asked Huang quick run what would happen in the end, but this time he did not say, just told me that this time the matter is a little complicated, even he has not yet figured out. I cannot help but sink in my heart, secretly think so that he did not figure out, in the end, what will be the matter. Our car on the road almost spent half an hour of time, only to come to Gua Ziming's home is located in the suburbs of a detached villa. These days maybe to see the villa to see more, would have been a little immune, but Gua Ziming home this villa, obviously to be larger, and the villa area is newly built, the occupancy rate is still very low, the surrounding area cannot see what the lights, the environment in the community is good, deep courtyard, rockery, an artificial lake dotted around the shape of chic lights, visible everywhere in the moon gate. Chinese style pavilion, are highlighting the here noble and elegant. But there is only a little bad place, that is, this is too remote, near the development, about a few kilometers or not much of a crowd, down the car after I looked at the surrounding environment, said to Hiyu Chen, this place is simply a home trip to kill a necessary site, in this place to get dead people, to which corner of the stuffed, it is estimated that not half a month cannot be found. No, not to mention half a month, half a year cannot be found. That side of the rockery below, I think let's say can bury three or four people, as long as the rockery does not move, no one will ever find. Hiyu Chen pointed to a fake mountain not far away, I looked up and saw that the fake mountain was really big, jagged with strange rocks, in the darkness from afar, it looked as if it was a strange looking beast, coiled up there, 
always ready to choose someone to devour. Hurry up and go, the dinner party is about to start, I'm curious as to what they'll all be dressed up as today, don't think about those scary things, maybe it's just that we're overthinking it. He Yuchen smiled sweetly, then took the initiative to cross my arm and walk towards the brightly lit villa not far away. When I walked to the door, I saw two European medieval warriors standing there, in full body armor, even their heads and faces were covered kind of, holding large swords in their hands, standing motionless at the door. At first I thought it was a statue placed in front of their house, but when I got closer, the two medieval warriors suddenly struck their swords together and blocked the doorway. Who is this visitor? One of the samurai asked eerily, coldly startling me. Hiyu-chan, however, as if she had prepared for this, posed as a beauty warrior and said, Sailor Moon. I had no choice but to hold up the mask on my face and coolly said, Mask. Passable. The other samurai ordered, and then both of them simultaneously retracted their swords and took a step back in an invitation gesture. This is quite fun to make, Hiyu Chen and I glanced at each other, thinking to ourselves what kind of fancy stuff Guo Ziming has gotten up to, there's still a ceremony to enter a door, isn't there? Always cool Hiyu Chen, today a rare performance is very generous, has been holding my arm, and then came a person dressed as Beauty and the Beast inside the candlestick butler, looks very festive, smiling smile bowed to us, and then took out two exquisite envelopes, handed us. He said, this is the props to be used in the game during today's dinner. With the two samurai at the door, I also guessed that today's activity should be very unique, so under the guidance of this candlestick butler, we went inside the villa. Once I came in I was surprised, this villa is simply like a palace, brilliant, I cannot help but murmur, good guy, this house is bigger than our county chicken farm. Hiyuchen gave me a glance and whispered, was Ziming his father is engaged in real estate, this villa area is actually their family, and this belongs to as a private clubhouse, normally there will be no one to live here, it's all about engaging in some activities before using it. I nodded, thinking that people are really angry than people, reincarnation is also a technical work, if my family if the county's richest, high, and low I also have to let my father buy a villa, no one lives does not matter, I raise chickens in it, to be this fan. I am thinking nonsense, in front of me appeared a spacious living room, more than a dozen differently dressed people are inside the cheeky playful, I and Yu Chen appeared, opposite a spider-man ran over, excitedly greeted us. It was completely unrecognizable, but the voice was clearly Guo Ziming, and we greeted him, Guo Ziming praised Yu Chan repeatedly and pulled us inside. I looked at the dozen or so people in front of me, what demons and ghosts are there, Chinese foreign, flower fairy sleeping beauty snow white, superman monkey king king kong hulu wa, the most conspicuous is a cloak wearing a pointed hat which, there is a helmet wearing tin man, to the near front to see before recognizing, this is not Shang Wan AI and Aaron Well. Shang Wan AI and Yu Chen is also not seen for many days, these two people chatted up, I and Aaron is also flirting with each other, chatting for a while after the buffet dinner began. This group of people, in fact, are still children, we eat while chatting, although I talked half a day later, several people did not recognize who, but also think it's quite interesting, especially this body of my night dress mask, simply handsome, several girls one by one with me to talk to me, and even Shang Wan AI look at me in the eyes are more than before. The dinner party was about half an hour or so, suddenly, the candlestick butler came in and clapped his hands. The scene gradually quieted down, and we all turned to look at the smiling candlestick butler, waiting for him to speak. Everyone who has come to the costume party, here is our game session, please open the envelopes in your hands, our game is about to begin. Finally came the exciting game session, we opened the envelopes in our hands one by one, and found that inside was a card with numbers written on it, the one in Yu Chen's hand was number 8, while I was number 15. Guo Ziming was number 1, Shang Wan AI was number 14, Ah Long was number 7, as for the others, I don't know. In addition, the card in everyone's hand had a pattern on the back in addition to the number, my card pattern was a six-winged angel, He Yu Chen was a unicorn, Shang Wan AI was a peacock, and Ah Long was a rhinoceros, as for Guo Ziming's, he was dead set on not showing it to me. At this time, the candlestick butler host began to announce the rules of the game. I believe everyone has already seen the numbered cards in their hands, there are a total of 15 people attending the costume party today, so please follow the numbers on your respective cards, and those whose two numbers add up to 15 are automatically divided into a group, so please stand together. This rule was a bit cruel, so I had to watch as Yu Chen and Ah Long were divided into a group, Guo Ziming and Shang Wan AI were divided into a group, and everyone else, according to their cards, with the two numbers adding up to 15, were soon all standing together. Because the card I got was 15, no one was in a group with me, I was a bit dumbfounded with my card, and was about to ask what to do about this, when the host shifted his gaze to me, and said with a smile, congratulations to this student, you got the angel card, which is unique among the 15 cards, but because no one can match you, therefore, you activated the hidden character of this game, below. Please welcome demon number 0 to the stage. The surroundings were silent, only to see that as soon as his words fell, a tall man slowly stepped out from a nearby door, dressed in a gentleman's tuxedo, with a demonic mask on his face, and also holding a card in his hand, 
which sure enough had the number zero written on it, and a demonic design on the back. Now, will angels and demons please stand together and split into groups? Looking at this somewhat bizarre demon, I had a bad feeling in my heart, but with a group of people watching, I couldn't say anything, so I could only walk over. The devil had been watching me, and when I walked to his side, there seemed to be a smile in his eyes, and he nodded his head to me in a gentlemanly manner. Now that the groupings were all done, the host, still smiling, began to continue reading the next rules. In this house, there are a total of eight rooms, now according to the grouping, each group of two people will enter the room, and both sides need to tell one of their biggest secrets each within 15 minutes. But please note that this game comes from an ancient legend, in the legend, if someone doesn't follow the rules of the game and doesn't tell his secret, then he will be cursed by the god of fate and disappear from this world forever. The host's expression grew solemn as he said this, as he slowly scanned the surroundings, and in a very grave tone, he said, the name of this game is called Curse of Fate. A boy dressed as Zoro, cheered excitedly at the words and said, wow, that sounds exciting, host, there won't really be anyone disappearing, right? The host said, as long as everyone follows the rules, of course no one will disappear, however, according to the legend, whenever this game of Curse of Fate starts to take place, there will always be one person who breaks the rules and therefore disappears. Therefore, students must get serious, or else we won't be responsible if a certain person is missing when we return here later. When he said this, everyone started to feel the mystery of this game, and looking at everyone's gazes and looks, they all vaguely guessed that the odds were that someone would definitely disappear today. Otherwise, setting up the game plot like this would amount to nothing. But who would disappear? The suspense came out all of a sudden, and everyone's emotions were mobilized, when the host continued, in order to ensure the fairness of the game, now please ask everyone to take out what they have on them, and put it all here. Another person dressed as a servant walked out with a large tray, so everyone followed the rules of the game and took out what they had on them, such as cell phones, wallets, keys, and other small items, and placed them on the tray. This was the game that Guizimming had prepared, so of course everyone wouldn't find anything wrong with it, and when it was my turn, I slowly took out all the things on my body as well placing them on the tray one by one, but at that moment, the host spoke up once again. This student who got the angel deck, please put the dagger you brought on the tray as well, and let us keep it in a unified manner, you know, this kind of thing is very dangerous, yo, it is absolutely not allowed to be brought into the game session. I subconsciously touched the killing blade at my waist and hesitated. When I left the house, I had brought the life killing blade with me, it was supposed to be for self-defense, but as a result, now I have to hand it over? Everyone's gazes were on my body, and in this situation, I had no choice but to take out the life-slaying blade and put it on. Next, we formed groups of two people each and began to enter the various rooms in the villa separately. Of course, these rooms were not on the same floor, and under the host's guidance and allocation, this Mr. Demon and I were assigned to a room on the third floor in the middle. Because the allocation of rooms started from the first floor, and since we were the last group, when it was our turn, the unused rooms on the first and second floors were almost all allocated, and there were only two groups on the entire third floor, and apart from my group, there were also Zoro and an Ultraman, who entered the room next to ours. I didn't recognize either of them, but before entering the room, that Ultraman suddenly turned his head as if smiling at me. I couldn't see much because of the mask, but I could still feel that smile in his eyes, with an inexplicable mystery. This room was somewhat dimly lit, inside seemed to be a workroom, the furnishings were very simple, there was a computer, a chair, a bookshelf, a table, an oil painting hung on the wall, in the painting was an elegant and noble portrait of a woman, there was also an ancient style wooden bed, beside the bed was placed a carved dresser of the same style. Before stepping into the room, my heart that kind of unsettling foreboding is getting stronger and stronger, so I stopped my footsteps, and with a special voice shouted twice Huang quickly run. There was no answer. This makes my heart even more bottomless, just now on the road he also said well, he and python smallpox will protect me, how now? That mister. Demon had already gone in first, the host was right behind me, he saw me hesitating, smiled, and made a gesture of inviting me in, and said to me, don't hesitate, although the curse of destiny has already begun, as long as you follow your destiny, you won't be in any danger. It had come to this, so it seemed there was no choice but to go in. I took a deep breath and stepped into the room. The host then slowly closed the door behind him. In the room, only me and this mysterious mister. Demon remained. At this time, the light in the room became even more dim, and that mister. Demon stood in front of the oil painting, gazing at it for a long time, seemingly without the intention of immediately playing the game with me. I was more and more uneasy in my heart, so I didn't walk over, but stood in the doorway, and said to him, Mr. Demon, the game time is only 15 minutes, now, are you going to speak first, or am I going to speak first? Only then did he slowly turn around, and suddenly pointed to a chair aside, and said to me in a strange and hoarse voice, the story I'm going to tell is rather long, so in order to seize the time, I'll tell it first, Mr. Angel, please sit down. His voice seemed to be a deliberate fake, but even though I couldn't see this person's face, I somehow felt a sense of familiarity. 
Things have come to this point, it's useless to think about it more, since the game has started, let's follow the rules. I simply sat down and signaled that he could begin. He paced the room a few times, brewing his emotions for a moment, before letting out a long sigh and beginning his narration. My biggest secret is that I killed my wife with my own hands. The moment he opened his mouth, it was an explosive secret, but I knew that it was nothing more than a game, and that this Mr. Demon was arranged by Gua Ziming's side, so let alone killing his wife, if he said that he had destroyed his own entire family, I would just take it as nonsense. I smiled and continued to listen, not really reacting. He glanced at me and slowly said, before I formally begin my narration, allow me to introduce myself, I am a very successful businessman, possessing great wealth, and honorable status, on earth, I can enjoy things that many people can only dream of, and even things that they can't get for several lifetimes, but I, on the other hand, can easily obtain, but my wife did not think so, she often advised me to be a person who accumulates good deeds, she said that human wealth and fame are actually a kind of poisonous miasma, capable of slowly eroding one's mind and blinding one's eyes, she said that the evil I have done will eventually return to me, and the good I have accumulated will eventually return to me. Because everything in this world is false, only cause and effect is not false. I couldn't help but look up at this Mr. Demon in my heart, thinking that just with these few words of his, he was a man of understanding. I love my wife very much, but I don't even listen to what she says, because I have many friends who give me great power and make many people submit to my feet, and I enjoy this power and love this feeling. She said that human wealth and fame is actually a poisonous miasma, and I knew she was right, but I had fallen so deeply into this miasma that I couldn't extricate myself. Until one day, retribution finally came. His voice began to become low, and the speed of his speech gradually slowed down as he lifted his head, his gaze becoming lost, again as if he was remembering the past. I sat there, quietly listening, and strangely enough, at this time, that inexplicable tension and foreboding seemed to have disappeared, and this Mr. Demon in front of me was like an excellent actor, hardening me into the realm he had acted out. But this retribution, however, fell not on me, but on my favorite wife. Three years ago, she came down with a strange disease, and the skin all over her body began to fester, and after using many medicines that didn't work, I just watched as her skin continued to fester, scab, fester again, and scab again. In just a few short months, she became inhuman, her hair fell out, and her once beautiful face was completely disfigured. During that time, she refused to meet with me, not wanting me to see her frightening appearance, she spent her days in tears, whenever I saw her like this, my heart hurt like a knife twisting. I hated myself, having so much wealth, but I couldn't save her, at that time I often thought, if someone could save her, I would rather dissipate my family's wealth, I would rather be an ordinary person who has nothing. For this reason, I did a lot of good deeds, I desperately try to do everything I can do, I donate money, build bridges, build temples, build schools, take money to save some patients with terminal illnesses. But no matter what I do, my wife still did not get better, she is getting thinner and thinner, and soon left with a handful of bones, and once standing tall, she ended up weighing less than 70 pounds. Finally, one stormy night, she took my hand and begged me to send her away from this world, she could not bear the pain any longer. She said that if there was an afterlife, she hoped to still be with me, because I had committed too many sins in this life, my next life must be very bitter and miserable, and she was willing to stay with me, and little by little, she would pay back all the debts she owed in this life. I said to her with tears in my eyes, what if I can't be a human being in the next life and am reincarnated as a cat or a dog? She said that if that happened, she would try to find me in the vastness of the earthly world, and that she would find me no matter what I became, and that if I became a cat, she would hold me in her lap every day and tell me stories from the past. If I become a dog, she will cook me lots of delicious food every day and take me out to travel together and see the world. Because I promised her that I would take her all over the world, but I didn't do it. She said that she wanted to be with me and fulfill that dream. Mr. Demon mumbled his story, and in the process, he didn't even look at me the entire time, instead gazing at the painting on the wall, his voice filled with sadness. I cannot help but be infected by this sadness, thinking that his storytelling is really good, if it is true, then I have been touched by this kind of love, if it is not true, then he can go out to become an actor. Suddenly, his voice came to an abrupt end, and the room was plunged into a deathly silence. After about 10 seconds of silence, I finally couldn't help but ask, then what happened, you actually killed her? Yes, I killed her with my own hands because it was her last request. She said that only by dying at my hands would she remember me forever, not forgetting who I was due to reincarnation, and that when she and I met in the next life, she would be able to recognize me at once. After he finished the sentence, he suddenly turned around, stared at me with a twinkling gaze, and said word by word, I finished my secret, Mr. Angel, now it's your turn. If your secret isn't shocking enough or doesn't surprise me much, then, according to the rules of the game, you will disappear forever. I'm sorry, Mr. Demon, it seems that the host didn't talk about this rule you mentioned just now, right? Hee <laughs> hee, there are some rules that don't need to be spoken, you can take a look at your card, that rule is right on it. 
Not only you, everyone who participates in the game has to abide by it. I took the card in my hand and took a closer look at it, only to realize that underneath the angelic motif, there were two small, less conspicuous lines. The only way to get the right to live on is to tell the deepest secret you have hidden in your heart and be shocking enough. Find out the opponent's cracks and give him a fatal blow. I didn't expect that this game was designed with quite a bit of care, but both of these rules were a bit confusing. I pondered for a while, then said to him, what if I don't have any shocking secrets? He said coldly, in that case, you will be cursed by fate and disappear from this world. I was speechless, come on, how can I shock you when you've told a secret like killing your wife? Since that's the case, if I tell you your brokenness, does that count as me winning? His icy gaze fixed on me and he slowly nodded. I smiled faintly, then raised a finger and said to him, your story is perfect, almost without any breakage, there is only one place, you said that your wife started to get sick three years ago, but this is definitely a lie, according to my guess, this wife of yours who suffers from a strange disease must have gotten sick at least ten years ago, or even longer. He shuddered slightly, stunned for a long time, and asked, how did you see that? I smiled, stood up from the chair, walked over to the painting on the wall, and looked up at it before I said to him word for word, because, I guessed your identity. As soon as the words left his mouth, abruptly, a cold light flashed in his eyes. Oh, my identity, ha ha ha, that's interesting, in that case, then if you tell who I am, it will be considered a win for you. I don't really know what your name is, but I have seen your name before, your name is Guo Xinyin. your identity is the school manager of the Eagle Plus School, and you have a son named Guo Ziming the very same little spider-man who had a birthday today, how about it, am I guessing correctly? This time, his pupils suddenly contracted, staring straight at me, no longer speaking. Licking my lips, I knew I had basically guessed correctly, then continued, it's your son's birthday today, so it makes sense for you to make a cameo appearance as Mr. Devil. But your choice of this room as the game scene is a bit too deliberate, so much so, that it made me guess your other identity. Instead, he relaxed at this point and laughed, my other identity? Ha ha ha. You really are an interesting little friend, tell me, my other identity, what exactly is it? Before we talk about your identity, why don't we talk about this room of yours and the oil paintings on the wall? I pointed at the furnishings in the room, as well as the oil paintings on the wall, and said to him, before I came here, I had already learned that this is a newly built villa area, and not many people have moved in yet, and your villa is filled with palace-like luxury, the only thing that is unique is this room, which is specially furnished, and is vintage and old from the inside out. This bed of yours, and the dresser, are at least from the 1980s. It shouldn't be here at all. There's also this oil painting, in it is a portrait of a woman, although I don't recognize her, but her looks are very beautiful and young, judging from the way you looked at her just now, this should be the wife that you said was killed by your helpless hands. He stared straight at me and slowly said, very well, continue. I smiled slightly, it seems I wasn't wrong. This portrait also looks a bit old, and the woman in it is so young, and judging from how obsessed you are with her, she could never have been a half-aged woman when she died, and I would estimate that, at most, she passed away in her thirties. Also, Waziming told me that his mom never allowed him to eat garlic since he was a kid, and even said that if he ate garlic at home, she would break his legs. I think that the one who could say such things to Guaziming most likely wouldn't be his stepmother, otherwise his demeanor would have shown it. Therefore, Guaziming would not have been born to your deceased wife, but to your present wife. Guaziming is 20 years old this year so if you died of your wife and renewed your marriage, how could it have been 20 years ago? But what puzzles me is, if you loved your wife so much, why would you renew your marriage so quickly? And what your wife said before she passed away should have touched you deeply, so by all rights, you must have changed and done more good deeds according to her words. But why did you collude with that Lee Yuan again and do so many bad things in school? My last sentence was the key to these words and what I wanted to express, because I had already guessed that he should be the one behind colluding with Lee Yuan, giving Chen Ruashi a new face, and secretly collecting human organs in school. After I uttered these words, I was eye to eye with him, and his eyes were showing a complicated look, and after a while, he let out a long breath. How in the world, did you guess it? Just now, I had deliberately controlled my voice, you couldn't see my face, couldn't hear my voice, so by all accounts, it was impossible to guess. This statement of his was tantamount to directly admitting that my guess was completely correct. Seeing him admit it, I was also secretly relieved, but at the same time, I raised my guard even more. No wonder the earlier unsettling premonition was so strong, and Hee Yuchun also said that I had a calamity, so it turns out that Guo Ziming's invitation for us to come to the birthday party was actually a conspiracy by this Guo Xinyin. It must have been Hee Yuchun's immortal who discovered Guo Xinyin and gave her a hint. That's right, you're hiding it very deeply, but when you were narrating it, perhaps because of your true feelings, you still revealed your original voice in a few sentences. Moreover, when I was in school I used to wonder why Li Yuan was able to go after everyone but spared Guo Ziming. Also, you once said that your surname was Kua, and you mentioned building a school in your story just now, connecting these clues together, I'm almost certain of your identity. So, it's only right that I should win this game today, 
because you only said that you killed your wife, but you didn't say what happened after you killed her, and I think that this part of your experience from the time your wife died is your biggest secret. I finished all the analysis in one breath, he was silent for a long time, and suddenly applauded slowly. Very good, very wonderful, you analyzed it completely correctly. I really didn't expect that you were actually such a powerful opponent. Before, I just thought that you were more lucky and had a very powerful immortal protector with you, but honestly, those animals are nothing to me. That's why I thought that by luring you here alone, I would be able to complete my plan. Unexpectedly, I was still seen through by you. He sighed heartily, then his tone became icy again, first looking at the time, then saying to me, now there are less than 5 minutes left until the end of the game, even though you analyzed correctly and guessed my identity, in this room, there are only the two of us, you and I. Your protector is completely isolated by me, and that artifact spirit of yours is also sealed by me. His eyes gradually began to become evil, and he said with a sly smile. That is to say, from now on, no one can save you anymore. My heart suddenly sank. I knew very well that he was absolutely right. Just a moment ago, I tried to communicate with the protector while talking to him, but it didn't have the slightest effect at all, not to mention the two Python Tianhua and Huang quick run, I couldn't even contact the old immortal Python Tianba inside the ancient painting. For the first time, I was a little panicked, when I came here, I first thought that Python Tianhua had already come to explore the road first, so it should be more secure, and Huang Xufeng had been following me, so my heart was even more solid. Until the time of handing over the life-killing blade, I haven't panicked too much, because I feel that, although I can't communicate with the two of them for the time being, but at the critical moment, the old immortal python sky blossom is sure to be able to come and help. But now, I can't contact any of them. He let out a strangely smug laugh and said, it's surprising isn't it? Although you can guess my identity, you must not be able to think of how exactly I made your immortal protectors collectively malfunction without a sound, right? Saying that, he didn't seem to want me to guess, but took the initiative to speak. I'll let you die in understanding or not, first of all, when you guys were entering the door, you thought that those were just two medieval guards designed by the makeup party, in fact, they had the heavenly master rune seal concealed on their bodies, which was equivalent to the two door gods being here, your two immortal family members, to put it plainly, were just two grass immortals and wild immortals, even if they had some skills, they would definitely not dare to enter this door. Moreover, this room has also gone through my special arrangement to isolate Yin and Yang, not to mention that you can't summon those immortal protectors at all right now, even if you can, they won't be able to find where you are for a while. I nodded helplessly and said, alright, it seems that you have really gone through a lot of trouble to deal with me, but I still don't understand, what is the reason for you to go through so much effort to deal with me? Is this spirit bone of mine really that important to you? Yes, your spirit bone is a treasure that I found after searching for a long time, and over the years, I have made countless preparations just so that one day I can complete my plan. And you, are the final step of my plan. Wouldn't you say that you are very important? Plan? What plan? Can you make me an understanding ghost before I die? Ha ha ha, this question well, I've said enough, don't worry, after you die, you'll know the answer to the question just the same. Because, I will also stay behind with your soul, so it's not too late to tell you when you die. As soon as his words fell, he suddenly clapped his hands, and a secret door suddenly opened on the wall to the side, followed by two people walking through the secret door. Surprisingly, they were the two people who had just disguised themselves as Zoro and Ultraman. Do it, remember, I only want the dead. Guo Zhenyan said coldly, then he sat down on a chair at the side, slowly removing the demon mask from his face, revealing a gloomy face. Sure enough, it was him. However, he never looked at me again, he just silently glanced at the time and then said, there are still three minutes left. My heart fluttered, there were still three minutes to go before the game time was up, and then, all the participants in the game would come out of the room and return to the hall. So, if I could survive these three minutes, would I wait until Guo Ziming or Yi Yuchen came up to find me? If that happened, there would still be a silver lining. However, as if he had guessed what was in my mind, he smiled ghastly and said, don't think about escaping, because you don't have a chance, do it. When he said do it, the two men walked over quickly, and then Zoro suddenly took out a black pistol from his pocket and pointed it at my head. I was immediately dumbfounded, would have liked to struggle a bit, this directly take the gun off. The next moment, I was betting on whether he would shoot or not, Ultraman also came over, drew out a flashlight shaped thing, directly stabbed in my waist. A powerful electric current instantly rushed into the body, the whole process did not even 5 seconds, I was shivering, fell to the ground, unconscious, the body does not listen to the call. His grandmother, actually used electric batons against me, where is the justice of heaven? Guo Xinyan was like a cunning and vicious hunter, coldly looking at his prey, that is, me, coldly laughing, wait a moment, you two go out one will be fine, in this way, because the game failed and disappeared will be two people, even if someone suspects, there is absolutely no need to be concerned. Those two people also couldn't stop laughing strangely, came forward, and pressed me to death, one person pressed my head, one person held a hammer and chisel in his hand, 
groping above the back of my head. My soul is almost scared flying, said this is to pluck my skull off. After feeling for a while, they should have found the position, and then put the chisel on my head, although I can't see, and my consciousness is blurred by the electricity, but I can still imagine that they will start to hammer my bones next. In the nick of time, I put together all the strength in my body, and squeezed out a sentence brokenly from between my teeth. Kill me. Your son will also die. Wu Jinyan obviously heard my ambiguous words and hurriedly waved his hand, drinking, slow down. I felt that the hammer of the man behind me was about to fall, hard to be stopped by the drink, then Guo Jinyan walked over quickly, picked up my neck collar, drank, how do you say this, as long as you say it clearly, I will spare your life. He is very concerned about his son, I have no strength at all, and I barely smiled, I saw him, covered with blood, died on the ground, if you kill me, he will also, retribution. In fact, I have no idea at all what the picture I saw before is all about, but now it is important to save myself, I tried my best to say these words, and I felt that the power in my body was getting weaker and weaker, and I could no longer speak. His face suddenly changed, and after pondering for a few seconds, he suddenly said, prepare anesthesia at once, and take the spirit bone first, as for whether he will die or live, it depends on his destiny. After all, he was still afraid of the immortal's retaliation, after an order, Zoro beside me got up to get the anesthetic, but at this time, my body suddenly turned cold, a familiar power instantly spread all over my body. I slightly smiled, a heart finally put down half. I knew that I shouldn't be able to die this time. Just now when I was stalling for time, I had already contacted Python smallpox in them in my mind. Because just now those two people came in through the dark door next to them, but that dark door had never been closed, so the role of this room in isolating the yin and yang, naturally disappeared. And once Python smallpox knew about my current situation, with her character, what would she care about the celestial master rune seal? Next, it was my turn. The Zoro had just taken two steps, when out of the corner of my eye, I saw that the Ultraman also shivered a little, and his eyes immediately changed. He did not hesitate to raise the electric baton in his hand, and ruthlessly pestle on the back of Zoro. This time was obviously more sufficient electricity, Zoro a burst of violent trembling, hair strands are standing up, body straight sparks, and then fell to the ground without saying a word, the hand of the gun is also thrown away, foaming at the mouth, eyes rolled white, emotionless. You. Guo Jinyan was obviously caught off guard by this sudden change, waiting until Zoro fainted to death, he only reacted, exclaimed in shock, snatched his steps forward, and was about to grab the gun that fell to the ground. But at this time, I have already climbed up from the ground, and almost at the same time as he grabbed the gun, but he grabbed the handle, I grabbed the gun body. The next moment, I don't even know where I got the strength from, but I smeared while breaking the barrel of the gun hard, he had a cold gaze and grabbed it with force, but he could only watch as the gun turned into a piece of scrap metal. With a bang, this piece of scrap metal was thrown out by me, and then coldly stood across from him, squeezed my fists, and shook my neck, my bones crunching. A feeling of refreshing and drenching, from head to toe, as if the whole person was revitalized, the state of being weak and unconscious just now was instantly swept away. A familiar voice rang in his head. Beat him. Ha, even my daughter-in-law has spoken, today you can still be good? I knew that I was currently this was the state of the python immortal's body but there was no binding death trick because I was fully conscious of myself and had a portion of my body at my disposal. Taking advantage of Guo Jinyan's moment of concentration, I had already rushed up with an arrow step and punched him hard, hitting him squarely in the jaw. This hit was solid, and I clearly saw that the shadow of a white python had rushed out from inside my fist. It seemed that the python was really angry, and it began to manifest itself to attack. Guo Jinyan was hit by my fist with blood at the corner of his mouth, stomped back several steps, and only stopped when his back hit the wall. A moment of carelessness, you actually drilled a hole, very good, very good. He slowly stood up straight, straightened his clothes, then reached out and wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth, spitting out a mouthful of bloodied saliva. He he, I was also careless for a moment, my head was almost let open, but when I was a child, the fortune teller said, I this person's life is too hard, anyone who wants to get me killed, basically do not have a good end. I am also angry, at this time although I bear hands, but feel every inch of my body is filled with power, this guy in front of me if he dares to fight against me, I'm very confident that in a minute I will beat him to the point that his son cannot recognize. Guo Jinyan, however, didn't come over, but smiled insidiously and said, did you think that, having summoned the immortal's upper body, I can't do anything about you? As soon as the words fell, his left eye suddenly flashed with a red aura, and then, that eye unexpectedly expanded rapidly at a speed visible to the naked eye. In about only a few seconds time, his left eye doubled in size, blood red, blood red, protruding out of its socket, flashing with a demonic light, his face couldn't stop smiling grimly, and the whole person's aura changed at once. Good guy, I finally saw the advanced version of the poisonous dragon eye. Compared to the one of the janitor old Wang, this poisonous dragon eyes is simply a pervert, if I take a picture of this eye of his, it can definitely be on the walk into science. 
Quickly run, keep your eyes peeled, this poison dragon eye is a bit powerful. I whispered to remind, in my side of the Ultraman, now of course is already yellow fast running body, he disdainfully sneer, do not worry, poison dragon eye is only a small trick, not to mention he is not practiced to the time, look at me. Huang quick run rubbed his fists and held an electric stick in his hand, he he smiled and walked over, directly running towards Guo Xinyan and stabbed him. In fact, most of the time, the immortal is not convenient to directly with people hands, so usually will use the body of the way, at this time Huang fast running on the Ultraman body, this sentence sounds a little strange, but Huang fast running is obviously also angry, down without mercy, look at that situation, cannot wait for an electric baton on the electric death him. Guo Xinyan did not even move, that poisonous dragon eyes red flash, a body of blood and flesh blur shadow, from his eyes rushed out, straight to Huang fast running. This is a ferocious evil demon, yellow fast running to see the situation hastily dodge, but still could not completely avoid over, was that shadow pounced on the body. See Ultraman shivering, as if he was stabbed by an electric stick, wobbling uncontrollably in place, and then saw the yellow fast running brush from his body ran out, standing next to me. I shucks, really fucking bad luck, he actually raised such a thing, almost dirtying my body. Huang quick run cursed in anger and couldn't stop spitting on the ground while he did so, by this time, I had also gotten a good look at the thing that came out of Guo Xinyan's eyes. That thing looked like a person, but it was very strange, his limbs and body seemed to be extremely incongruous, the ratio of his body to his head was also a bit strange, his body was very thin and weak, but his head was very large, and his two legs and two arms were more like they were grafted on later in life, presenting a very awkward posture. This strange looking evil demon was lying on the ground in front of Guo Xinyan, like a wild beast, and letting out a ghastly low roar at us. What is this thing? I asked silently in my heart, and this time, Python Skyflower quickly responded. This is a monster pieced together with countless remnants of souls, be careful, this thing is far more powerful than a normal evil demon, it can even injure my immortal body. I couldn't help but feel a sense of awe, thinking that no wonder Huang Quick Run fled straight away just now, this thing is actually so powerful that even immortals are afraid of it for a few moments. Guo Xinyan sneered, the game time is almost up now, but our game has just begun. Since you two little immortals aren't afraid of death and dared to come to my place to oppose me, then I will fulfill you. It just so happens that coincidentally, this baby of mine has eaten many souls, but it just hasn't eaten you animal elves yet. He suddenly waved his hand, pointing at me, and that monster immediately let out a strange cry, with a greedy glint in its eyes, directly jumping up more than two meters high, running and pouncing at me. I can be considered unarmed now, I am at a loss as to how to cope with it, the python smallpox said in a sharp voice, you go deal with that ghost door person, this is left to me, remember, all of us are dependent on the symbiosis, as long as you win, I will win. With a flash of white light, a big python with a snow white body rushed out from my body, and tangled with the two monsters. The python smallpox wasn't very confident in her words anymore, and I could hear what she meant, she might not win the fight with that monster, but as long as I defeated Guo Xinyan, she would definitely win. Looking around, I copied the electric stick on the ground and flicked the switch, the electricity crackling and sparking on it. School manager Gua, come on, today I would like to try what I wanted to do back then but didn't dare to do, to see if beating up a school leader is really cool or not. Saying that, I pinched the electric stick and rushed up, no matter what, ran at his face and pestled over. I've long been looking at this old face of his, if this hit can hit, as long as he's finished, that monster is dominated by his spiritual power, naturally, he won't be able to make waves. I have to say that God is taking care of me, know that I have no weapons in my hands, just gave me an electric baton, looks like power is also very strong, it is a good helper for home trips and fights ah. Guo Jinin face green, coldly staring at me, actually do not flash not to avoid, just from the nose hummed heavily. At once, this cold grunt was like a giant bell ringing in my head, I had no reason to have a black eye, I only felt dizzy, my heart was troubled, and I almost fell directly to the ground and fainted. Fortunately, in the crisis a warm current from the outside and inside, it feels as if there is a massive gas running in the body, which stopped the feeling of boredom and nausea, the brain also gradually clears some. At this time I realized that I have been half kneeling on the ground, I do not know when the nose, but also float out some blood. Guo Xinyan's eyes flashed with a strange red light, as if with some kind of magical demonic power, looking at his eyes, for some reason, I was a little trance, shaking to stand up, and went to his side. In the nick of time, Huang Quick Run's voice then came. I didn't expect that this guy would still have this hand, directly injuring the soul, you hurry to cover your ears, luck to seal the spirit platform, also don't go to look at his eyes, otherwise it will be easy to fall into his way. This voice rang directly from the bottom of my heart, I was shaken and instantly woke up, looking up, I was already less than 3 meters away from Guo Xinyan. I have at least practiced for a few years, and instantly understood the meaning of Huang's quick run, so I hurriedly took a few steps back, held my breath, intentionally guarded my spiritual platform, and then tore off two strips of cloth and quickly plugged my ears. The whole time Bo Jinyan did not stop me, as if he had already won, coldly laughed, 
Do you think that covering your ears will be useful? Just now is only a small art. Now, let you taste the power of the ghost sex strange art. As soon as his words fell, he suddenly bit his finger and drew a symbol in the air. The blood then flowed out from his fingertip, condensed in midair. Surprisingly, it did not fall, and with the movement of his finger, it flew to form a strange symbol. Subsequently, he violently stomped his foot, see that symbol below the ground, but slowly lit up a red light, followed by a consumptive ghost-like evil spirit, it rose from the ground, appeared in the red light. This thing is even more strange, almost two meters high, big head and sharp mouth, like being skinned, presenting a horrible and disgusting blood red, two arms unusually thick, that big claw is simply bigger than our family wash basin circle, look at the basketball with the same. Wa Jinyan's finger technique changed again, only to see him quickly bite his tongue and spray out a mouthful of blood. Stimulated by the blood, the monster's eyes exploded in red and automatically began to search for a target, and soon stared at me, a low roar emanating from its throat, like a person who had been starving for a long time and suddenly saw a fat and flavorful roasted goose. At the sight of this thing, my heart lifted once again, and while gazing on guard, I glanced to the side. On the other side of the room, the original body of the python Tianhua and that evil spirit is fighting fiercely, but it seems that the python Tianhua still has the upper hand, that python is not vegetarian after all, so a moment's effort, has already entangled the evil spirit, beating the other party almost no power to fight back. In that case, my heart slightly stabilized, and then rushed to the side of the yellow fast-running nuzzle. Little brother, this one belongs to you. Just kidding, I am after all a person with two protectors, can I personally fight with this ghost thing hard? Yellow fast-running sip sip teeth, a little reluctant, but still did not hesitate, did not show the original body, directly with the illusion of this appearance, also rushed up with this basketball fight. I watched for a while, eyes are almost falling out, this buddy is really fighting, there is no set of rules and regulations, is even scratching and scratching, really can't on the mouth to bite, although the body size is slightly small, the ferocity of the degree of not low, and Guo Jinin summoned out of this monster to fight a 50-50. Now, there's me and Guo Ziming's dad left. Mr. Guo, are there any more things that aren't human? If you don't have any, isn't it my turn? I said with a smile, Guo Jinin smiled coldly, suddenly, his left eye swelled up again, then a red light shot out from it, chasing the soul and shooting over at me. Oh my god, this also has a laser attack? Seeing this red light coming, in the midst of urgency, I quickly drew a thunder spell in the palm of my hand, and then met the red light and hit it. With a boom, the lightning and the red light collided together, and there was a clap of thunder on the ground, just like setting off a firecracker in the room, shaking my ears. But at this time I have understood, this Guo Jinyan is purely a mage plus summoner. Fighting with him I'm too tender, can't take much advantage, simply, direct action. I continue to copy the electric stick, rushed up to play with him. Guo Jinyan's face sank, his nose once again hummed heavily, but by this time I had already plugged my ears and was on guard, hearing this hum from him was nothing more than a bit of dizziness and tightness in his chest, but his consciousness and sanity were completely unaffected. After he grunted twice in a row, I have rushed to his body, electric baton directly to his face to stab, he reached out to block, I took the opportunity to fly up a foot, kicked him hard in the stomach. This buddy probably years of pampering, have not fought with people, was my kickback a few steps, I have the power not to let people, and an arrow step up, an electric baton stabbed in his chest. This finally took revenge, I thought to myself, don't say you practice ghost magic, you are cultivating immortals, today you can't stand me this electric stick. Guo Jinyan's body shook and convulsed violently, in a few seconds he was on the ground, but his endurance was obviously much tougher, he didn't lose consciousness and struggled to get up. I raised the electric baton, was about to continue stabbing, suddenly, an inexplicable force came from nowhere, but also held the electric baton, as if someone grabbed my wrist, so that I could not do it. What is this situation? My heart violently swept up an unsettling feeling, just then, a black gas suddenly surged out wildly from Guo Jinyan's body, changing shape in the room. Within that pervasive black gas, a heart-stoppingly powerful force was constantly awakening, as if there was something extremely terrifying that was about to appear. This is what you guys forced me to do. Amidst the black gas, Guo Jinyan slowly stood up from the corner of the wall. Seeing this, I hurriedly flew back a few steps and stared on guard. Although I didn't know what it was yet, I was already able to feel that the terrifying power contained within this black gas was something I was far from being able to fight against. This kind of feeling, at the moment, I have only ever felt it on Python Tianba's body. At the same time, a miserable cry suddenly came from the side, I turned my head to look, it turned out to be Python Tianhua who had just defeated his opponent, strangling that monster with his body, turning into a piece of smoke that slowly dissipated. Afterwards, Python Skyflower transformed into human form again and protected my body. What is this? I subconsciously opened my mouth to ask, but Python Tianhua didn't answer right away, her face was grave as she stared at the black gas in front of her, and said to me, you quickly go and help Huang Clan's youngest brother to finish off that monster, and this time, we'll have to fight our way out of it. 
Only then did I remember that Huang was running fast, turning my head to take another look, the battle on his side was in a stalemate, but with Guo Xinyan receiving an electric baton, his opponent was gradually weakening, a bit of a state of exhaustion. I am not polite, the past is an electric baton, originally did not think much use, but I did not expect, the basketball and the electric baton sparks, actually smoke, howling into a cloud of smoke, back to the ground. I cannot help but a little surprised, looked at the hand of the electric baton, said this thing against evil spirits and so on, there is this miraculous effect, in the future to get a, carry with you. At this time, Vojinian in front of the mass of black gas has gradually molded, the black gas suddenly appeared two points of red light, as if the eyes of some monster. Then, a figure almost one person tall slowly walked out from it. When I saw what was in the black gas, I couldn't help but open my mouth wide in surprise. Because this is not a monster at all, but a huge firefox, that burns with black flames all over its body. The light in this room, already dim like a murder scene, at this time by the sky of black gas, but also let me cannot help but produce an illusion, as if back to the last time in the underworld hell. Guo Xinyan's eyes also flickered with a red aura, slowly came to my front, behind him, the huge firefox burning with black flames, its body hidden in the black gas. Vaguely, one could see that it actually had several tails behind it, flicking slightly. After carefully counting, there were as many as six tails. Its death-like gaze stared at us, those eyes read very demonic, without the slightest bit of emotion, as if a mangy beast from the floodplains, proudly looking down on the small multitude of beings. In a flash, behind me suddenly came a low roar, I looked back, but I saw the python smallpox did not know when actually also appeared in the original body, an ong body is more than 2 meters high white python, eyeing the opposite side of the giant fox against the eye. I am a person and a python, Wu Xinyan is a person and a fox, each other is only 4 or 5 meters away from each other, started a confrontation. Yellow fast running at the side watching, but did not show the original body, but this is normal, after all, he is a yellow immortal, body size is not big, even if the original body, at best, it is the kind of look quite cute, take out to pose a mighty wind is not quite appropriate. The python fairy is different, in the various races of immortals, often python fairy is a great general of the fight, but where there is a plate road, the dispute, to fight, are less of their figure. However, although the yellow immortal is to run errands for a long time, fighting is not their strong point, but the yellow immortal nature of the fight, and not afraid of things, so really if the fight, rushed in the forefront of the instead of them. Don't look small, but meet who is not afraid. Suddenly, Huang Quick Run sneered and said, How dare you, how dare you use evil magic to enslave the fox tribe for you to drive and use, are you not afraid to cause a disaster of collapsing heaven for yourself? The corners of Guo Xinyan's mouth curled up slightly, not taking Huang Quick Run's words seriously, only staring at me in a deadly manner, he said in a cold voice, as I said, this is something you guys have forced me to do, originally, I only wanted to leave behind your spirit bones and let you guys go, but now, since you guys have already known about the existence of the six-tailed heavenly fox, I can't leave you guys behind. Today, all of you will die here. As soon as his words fell, his eyes suddenly exploded with red aura, and the fire fox behind him, as if it had received his order, violently raised its head to the sky and opened its mouth to spit out a ball of black flames, which attacked straight towards my chest. This group of flames came with great force, almost covering half of the room, seeing that I was already unavoidable, the python behind me suddenly also let out a hiss, and at the same time opened its bloody mouth, a black gas was also sprayed out with it. This room is not very large, this black gas and flame and the blink of an eye collided together, but only held for more than 10 seconds, the python smallpox is clearly at a disadvantage, the black gas was quickly suppressed, rolled back. I also completely did not expect, Wu Xinyan actually have such a backhand, Python smallpox estimated also did not expect their own will be defeated in one move, and then want a block in front of my body, for me to take this time, but also has been too late. Just see that a large group of flames, foot wash basins so big, who, instantly in front of my body. My life is over. Facing such a powerful force suppression, I barely had the power to fight back, and I even forgot to call out to Python Tianba, his old man, to save my life, and was about to be plunged into the sea of fire. Eyes full of fire, so that my brain briefly fell into a blank, but also for the first time really feel the breath of death. Almost at the same time, I also heard Python smallpox and Huang Quick run simultaneous cries of alarm. But everything was too late. I subconsciously closed my eyes, and said master a master, this time we two masters in the underground reunion. The flame carried a blazing heat and instantly drowned me in it. I was already prepared to be scorched by this flame, of course I was also aware that this flame attack was not dealing with my body, but an attack on the soul level. But I waited silently for a few seconds, and the imaginary roasting did not appear. Instead, a special kind of energy came from nowhere, gradually spreading all over my body, all my limbs and all my bones, this kind of energy was extremely soft, making people feel very comfortable, just like the spring sunshine, warm and genial. Strange, what's going on? 
I slowly open my eyes, I saw just now that a flame has disappeared, in front of the head of the six-tailed fire fox, it is lowering its head and I stare at, a pair of eyes in the distance of two feet away from the place in front of me, standing still. It does not move, I do not dare to move. The others didn't move either. Time seemed to pass for a few seconds, and then it seemed to pass for a long time, and I could see a complex look in its gaze, a look of doubt, confusion, remembrance, and it seemed to be, shocked? What was it? Doing looking at me like that? I licked my lips and was about to speak, when suddenly, a thumping sound of knocking came from behind me. Only Goy Zinning's voice shouted outside, Dad, time's up, you guys come out ah. Then, the door of the room was opened from outside. Just the moment the door opened, that head of six-tailed firefox suddenly moved, it was swift and incomparable rushing toward the door, wait until I turned back, it had already transformed into a residual shadow, directly from Guaziming's body rushed past, disappeared in the void outside the door. But perhaps due to the force of its rush, I only saw Guaziming shivering, staggering back a few steps, and with one hand, he unexpectedly lost his balance and fell backwards from the third floor railing. The cries of alarm that resounded around me made me wake up from a trance, everything around me had returned to normal the python smallpox and the yellow fast running disappeared, and the black chi that filled the room began to rapidly escape. Wo Jinyan also rushed out regardless, a group of people are showing panic, some lying on the railing there to look down, some began to run downstairs, the scene was a mess. This turn of events was a bit too fast, I froze for a moment, and then followed closely to chase out. Just as I arrived at the door, He Yuchen suddenly appeared from the side and reached out to pull me down. How are you? Her tone carried a hint of trepidation, and she couldn't help but look me up and down. I reluctantly smiled at her, then said to her, I'm fine, it's better to quickly go and check on Guaziming, this crow's mouth of mine said before that something was going to happen to him, and now it's really coming true. No, it's not your crow's mouth, it's his father's sin. She looked at Guazhenian's back and said faintly, could it be that you knew it all long ago? I was a bit puzzled, since she knew it long ago, why did she never tell me this? She shook her head and said, let's go down and take a look first, if Guaziming is really dead, I'm afraid this matter won't be easy to solve. I thought deeply, so I didn't say anything else, and together with the two of us, He Yuchen, we also ran downstairs into the middle of the hall. At this time, more than 20 people had already surrounded the living room and were in chaos, Wu Jinyan was shouting like crazy, asking people to call an ambulance immediately, Wu Ziming was lying on the floor, his face was covered in blood, he looked in pain, his body was convulsing violently, his mouth was wide open as if he wanted to shout, but he couldn't make any sound. Looking at Guo Jinyan's appearance, I was completely unable to connect him with the shadowy ghost door person just now, he was like a panicked father, looking at the imminent death of his own son, he had completely gone haywire. In theory, falling from the third floor shouldn't be fatal, which is why I wasn't in too much of a hurry just now, after all, I had gotten a hint yesterday that this would happen, and my heart had already been prepared for it. But looking at Guo Ziming's current appearance, it's like he could die at any time. Not to mention that this place is in the middle of nowhere, Waiting for an ambulance to come over is obviously too late. I parted the crowd, and He Yuchen quickly walked in. Guo Jinyan is trying to go to hold his son, looks like he also knows that waiting for an ambulance is not reliable, is going to personally send Guo Ziming to the hospital. Seeing this, I shouted at him, don't move, do you want him to die early? He really didn't dare to move, I swept a glance around and said in a deep voice, everyone back off, don't gather around here, he's now injured his brainstem, he can't breathe on his own, he'll die in minutes. You, immediately have someone find silver needles over here, the more the better, I want to use them. Hearing my words, Wu Jinyan immediately raised his head and shouted for people to get silver needles, although his square was in turmoil, he also knew that I was a good hand at healing above. At this time, his men were also in a mess, running out in a swarm to look for the silver needles, while some people began to evacuate, driving all these unrelated people out of the hall. However, at this tense moment, no one left, all gathered at the door of the hall to this side of the body look, there are a few girls even cried on the spot. However, this villa simply can't find any silver needles. Three or two minutes later, looking at a group of people at a loss for words, He Yuchen suddenly ran to the place where he had just eaten and took a tube of toothpicks over. Will this do? I hesitated and nodded, make do, it's better than nothing, you help me here, two more people, hold Guo Ziming down, don't let him move around. As soon as my words fell, Wu Jinyan immediately came over personally to press Guo Ziming, but he was so nervous that he couldn't stop his hands from trembling slightly. The situation was urgent, I didn't say much, and after ordering, I picked up a toothpick, and slightly concentrated, and immediately felt that a spiritual energy was transmitted to the top of the toothpick. This is also no way out, just now Gua Ziming fell down on his back, look at his appearance as bound to be brainstem injury, this is a minute can kill, from such a remote place to rush to the hospital, he absolutely cannot wait for that time. Holding my breath, I twisted the toothpick in my hand and stabbed into one of the acupoints on the side of Gua Ziming's neck. According to reason, it would take a bit of effort for this toothpick to pierce through a person's skin, 
but with this spiritual energy in my hand infused into it, it was actually effortless and easily pierced in about half an inch. In my mind, the names of various acupoints, and images of their exact locations popped up constantly, I knew that this was the immortal teaching me ways to save people, so I followed the images in my head, and kept stabbing a toothpick in. He Yu Chen was next to me, and when I used up a toothpick, she handed one over, and she was also very nervous, squatting next to me and holding her breath, her slight breathing right next to her ears, and a burst of her body sent wafting into her nose. However, I am now fully concentrated, and did not notice these, with a toothpick pierced, was Ziming gradually regained some breath, the wide open mouth also slowly closed, the horror of the eyes also eased some. However, his eyes were still dull, and his consciousness should be in a semi-blurred state. About 20 toothpicks were used in total, and when I stabbed the last toothpick in, was Ziming finally stopped twitching and his body relaxed, but his head tilted, his eyes closed, and he directly fainted. Due to the excessive mental concentration, the consumption of spiritual energy was also quite large, I was also exhausted, wiped the sweat on my forehead and let out a long sigh of relief. Guo Ziming's life was finally saved for the time being. Guo Xinyan was unknown, only to see his body shook, his face went white, rushed over and grabbed my neck collar and yelled, What did you do to him? Didn't you say save him? I laughed bitterly, Mr. Guo, you'd better take it easy, can't you see that your son's life has been saved, he's only in a coma right now but his bodily functions have recovered. Sorry, I can only help you up to this point, the hospital will have to take care of the rest. Guo Xinyan froze, slowly loosened his hand, and went to check on Guo Ziming's condition again, then revealed a surprised expression and shouted to the surrounding, quickly, send him to the hospital right away, if anything happens to my son, none of you will want to live. Watching a few people carry Guo Ziming out, put him in a car, and then drive to the hospital, my heart that had been hanging in the air also fell. A birthday party, finally was messed up, to the chicken fly egg end. The people who participated in the party also left one by one, leaving only He Yu Chen and me, and Guo Xinyan. He didn't go to the hospital to personally see Guo Ziming off, and after everyone left, he slowly walked over to the sofa in the living room and sat down powerlessly. At this moment, he no longer had the domineering aura that he had just had, and he no longer seemed to be thinking about how to get me killed, he was like a father who had just suffered a great deal of shock, and his entire person appeared to be instantly haggard and old. He sat on the sofa, covering his face, and remained silent for a long time. After a long period of silence, I sighed slightly and said to him, It's over, Mr. Kuo, if you're still not willing, we can continue to fight, and if you want to stop right there, that's something I'd be more than happy to do. In fact, in the fight just now, other than the last one where he had the upper hand, the others were all lost by him, and now, that six-tailed heavenly fox had already run away and didn't know where it was going, what other tactics did he still have that he hadn't used? I didn't really know. Thank you, for saving my son. He finally spoke, then slowly sat up straight, raised his head, and gazed at He Yu Chen and me. You guys, would you like to hear a story? He murmured. I didn't mind if I listened to a story, and looking at Guo Xinyan's appearance, he shouldn't be any more threatening for the time being. Thus, He Yu Chen and I also sat down on the sofa and looked at Guo Xinyan across from us as he slowly told us the story. He said, actually, what I told you just now is true, 16 years ago, I personally killed my wife, Ziming's mother. I was a bit surprised and couldn't help but ask, you killed Guo Ziming's mother? Then what happened to his current mom? That was just something I used to compensate Ziming, and it's also the biggest secret between Ziming and I. He doesn't realize that his real mother is actually long gone, and moreover, it was me who killed her with my own hands. Guo Xinyan's words finally opened, no, to be exact, the story he told next was more like opening a Pandora's magic box for me. Inside the magic box, it was filled with all the evil and terrible things in the world. He told us that 16 years ago, because of the strange disease that his wife had acquired, he had tried everything he could think of, but still could not keep her, and finally had to end her suffering with his own hands, according to her last wish. Since then, he thought about his wife all the time, and even went so far as to worship a ghost sect member and practice ghost arts in order to be able to communicate with his deceased wife, with the aim of allowing himself to meet her. However, after a few years of painstakingly practicing, he realized that he still could not communicate with his wife successfully, and the so-called ghost Tao art that could communicate between the yin and yang realms, for some unknown reason, was never able to summon his wife. However, from his master's mouth, he learned of another method that would allow him to fulfill his wish. That was the art of skinning and changing faces in the ghost Tao. This very evil-sounding ghost art, as the name suggests, naturally meant peeling off someone's face and replacing it on another person's body. At that time, Guo Xinyan had already married his second wife, with the sole purpose of giving his son a complete home and a plausible mom. In order to fulfill his wish to see his dead wife again, he began to secretly look for people who looked close to his wife all over the world, and at the same time, for this evil purpose, he repeated this experiment no less than a dozen times over a period of several years, but without exception, all of them ended in failure. 
First of all, no one was willing to accept the fact that they were transformed into another person, and those girls whose faces he had changed either went crazy, committed suicide, or died in shock and horror when they woke up. There was also the biggest problem, after face swapping there was a rejection reaction, among his living subjects, the one that lasted the longest was only a week, then the whole face started to fester in necros, and couldn't be fused at all. Later, he met Li Yuan, using Li Yuan's Mashan secret art, and after several years of experimentation, this evil art was finally a preliminary success. However, Li Yuan's promise to help him was not without reason, because Li Yuan was actually also a madman, he was passionate about all kinds of human experiments, especially the piecing together of human organs, grafting, all of which he was obsessed with. To give a simple example, if a person's leg was broken, Li Yuan could get a leg from someone else and attach it to him. If there was something wrong with the heart, Li Yuan could also perform a heart transplant. Of course it was not only limited to organ transplants, because Li Yuan felt that would be too much trouble, so in the last few years, he had been researching the matter of refining bones into medicine. To give another example, if a person's liver was sick, and Li Yuan got the liver from someone else, added his special potion, ground it into a powder, and gave it to the patient to drink, his liver disease would be magically cured. If it is someone who is not doing well in school, then he gets the brain of a schoolmaster, the same is also ground into powder, brewed and drunk, that person will be enlightened all of a sudden, learning by leaps and bounds. Therefore, Li Yuan became Guo Jinyan's good companion, the two of them had the same temperament and the same goal, so Guo Jinyan's purpose of letting Li Yuan enter the school to be the school nurse was to choose the right test subjects in there. However, their actions were very stealthy, and they didn't go after the students, but rather specialized in those at the bottom of the hierarchy, such as the security guards, janitors, and some of the new teachers. During the past 10 years, they had done countless such bad things, and had almost flipped over and been found out, but thanks to their money, every time Guo Jinyan was able to easily set things right, and was able to do so without any problems. Usually, a test subject was enough for them to toss around for a few months. After a few years of this, Guo Jinyan felt that the technology had basically matured, so he began to look for a candidate who matched his wife's appearance, as well as someone willing to become a substitute. So, the figure and appearance are very good, but also greedy and vain, the family conditions are not good, but also has a seriously ill mother Chen Ruashi, became the object of his hunt. After a lot of coercion, all kinds of means, Chen Ruashi agreed to him, so Guo Jinyan immediately arranged for her first surgery. Of course, Guo Jinyan deceived her and didn't say it was a face transplant, but rather plastic surgery. At that time, Chen Ruashi was not yet Chen Ruashi, her real name was Zhang Xiaoyi. The surgery was a success, and Zhang Xiaoyi became Chen Ruashi. She never thought that Guo Jinyan's so-called plastic surgery would completely change her face and turn her into a different person. Even, Guo Jinyan gave her a new name, made her ID card, fabricated an identity story, and even arranged a decent bank job for her. From then on, Zheng Xiaoyi no longer existed in the world, and in her place, was Chen Ruashi. With her new identity, she lived for more than half a year, and to Guo Jinyan's surprise, she didn't experience any rejection at all, and blended perfectly with the face. Thus, Guo Jinyan began to target another person. Shang Wan AI. He said that Shang Wan AI's face looks extremely similar to his dead wife, so the last time Li Yuan captured Shang Wan AI, his aim was to get her face. But he didn't expect that because of my appearance, his plan failed and Li Yuan was captured. Of course, I was actually in his plan, because when I appeared in the school, the people he arranged in the school, found out that I was a heavily born spirit bone. This kind of spirit bone could help him increase the chances of success of the face swap, and at the same time, it could also make Li Yuan's plan of refining bones into medicine even better. It was just that what he didn't expect was that his plans had failed time and again, and even the plan to use Chen Ruashi to deal with me went bankrupt, which was why he threw his weight around and used Guo Ziming's birthday party to lure me here, wanting to set up a dragnet and personally strike out to finish me off. However, he failed once again. What he didn't expect even more was that a six-tailed skyfox soul that he had gone through a great deal of effort to obtain back then, and it was hard to cultivate it into a general soul that could be driven by him. But he didn't expect that, after fighting with me, he actually ran away. Guo Jinyan narrated up to here, finally paused, tilted his head and looked at the void in front of him, tears silently flowing from his eyes. Perhaps, I was wrong from the beginning, wrong to the core. He Yu Chen and I glanced at each other, and our moods both became a bit heavy as well. It was unimaginable that he had gone to great lengths to harm so many people for the sole purpose of reuniting with his late wife. But at the same time, a large number of question marks, also began to slowly emerge in my mind. Since Guo Jinyan had done countless experiments over the course of 10 years, how many people had he actually killed? Moreover, in these 10 years never heard of a similar murder case of being stripped of his face occurring, could it be that every time he was able to do it seamlessly without leaving any traces? Also, why did that six-tailed sky fox that brought me a great sense of oppression just now suddenly run away after seeing me? 
After lowering my head and pondering for a moment, I said to Guozhinian, although what you have committed are all great sins that are unforgivable, however, I am still willing to do you a favor and help you meet with your wife. He immediately froze and looked at me incredulously, muttering, what did you? You say? You can help me meet with her? I nodded, I can't guarantee it, but I can try. However, before I can help you, I need you to answer a question for me, and also, promise me two conditions. Okay, I promise, I'll agree to anything you ask. He got a little agitated, and I said to him, don't get agitated first, the question I'm going to ask you is whether all those innocent girls whose faces you stripped were also killed by you? Guo Jinyan, however, shook his head back and forth as he said, no, I didn't kill anyone, as a matter of fact, I didn't kill any of the test subjects, as for those girls who had their faces stripped, they, originally, were dead people. Dead people? Do you mean to say that you found your test subjects among the dead and stripped their faces? Yes. I also didn't want to create too many sins, so those test subjects who had their faces stripped were actually dead people. If I do it this way, it will be a bit more secretive, otherwise if every test subject was killed by me, then wouldn't my hands be full of blood and my body be full of grievous souls during these 10 years or so? He did retain some humanity in these words. I thought for a moment and continued, alright, count this question as one you've answered. There are two more requirements, first, after I help you fulfill your heart's desire, you have to stop immediately, you can't do this kind of cruel experiment anymore, and, you have to spare Chen Ruashi. He didn't say anything, nodding his head vigorously, and when I mentioned Chen Ruashi, he didn't even change his eyes for a second. From this, it could be seen that Chen Ruashi was nothing more than a tool to him. Also, there is a second condition. I said here but hesitated, before I could think of something to say for the second condition, He Yu Chen had already spoken first. The second condition, tell us, who helped you get so many dead people as test subjects, or rather, those dead people with their faces peeled off, who got them for you? This should technically be another question, Guo Jinyan hesitated this time before saying, he's one of my senior brothers, but I can't say who he is. He Yuchen said coldly, if you don't say it, we can't help you, not to mention that what you did today is already tantamount to deviating from the rules in the ghost sect, and your secret has been discovered by us, if you don't cooperate with us, then the people in the ghost sect will come looking for you one day, and when that happens, the consequences will be very clear to you. Guo Jinyan was slightly shaken, after hesitating for a long time, he sighed and said, yes, the rules in the ghost sect, the first rule is that you can't disclose your secrets, not to mention exposing the ghost sect's secret techniques, anyone who has seen the ghost sect's secret techniques should either be used for me, or else, they should be dead. So, now that you've become the person the ghost sect wants to get rid of, what to do is more clear to you. He Yu Chen was aggressive, every word she said was completely unheard of by me, but looking at her demeanor, it was clear that she was eager to dig out more secrets of the ghost sect from Guo Jinyan. Guo Jinyan was silent for a few more moments before he finally said slowly, Alright, I promise you that as long as you can help me meet my wife, I will tell you everything you want to know. It seemed that this one person, no matter how ferocious and extinct he was, always had a soft spot, and Guo Jinyan's soft spot was undoubtedly his deceased wife. But to summon his deceased wife, in fact, is still a little difficult, I thought about it, opened his mouth and asked him, what methods have been used in the past, he did not hide, told us, he used all the ghost door secret art, in addition, also used the Taoist method of Ma Shan, but for some reason, are unable to communicate with his deceased wife. Otherwise, he wouldn't have had to go through so much effort and do so many harmful things. I frowned at this and exchanged a glance with Yu Chen, thinking that this matter seemed a bit fishy, because normally, the way to communicate with a dead undead spirit, whichever it is, as long as that undead spirit still exists, no matter whether he's living in hell or wandering around on earth, he'll be able to sense it. Even if this undead spirit is suffering in hell, as long as the person summoning him is powerful enough in his magic power, then it is still possible for him to briefly leave hell and travel to earth. Only, this kind of undead must be escorted by a ghost messenger and is not allowed to move around freely. However, Guo Jinyan had exhausted all means but could not communicate with his deceased wife, which was indeed a bit odd. Looking at Guo Jinyan's face of nervous anticipation, it's hard to believe, this guy not long ago was fighting with me to the death, but now he hates to beg me bitterly, my heart is also a little complicated. Perhaps, to help the wicked, is also a kind of degree of human it. After thinking about it, I said to him, I can help you, but you must first understand, everything in this world cannot escape the word cause and effect, I only help you to see the deceased wife, but you do evil, you must take on your own, those who died because of you, you must also give them an explanation. I am willing to give them an explanation, as long as you can help me see her again, how can I? Guo Jinyan's tone was already close to pleading, and I said to him again, to do this, there is still some preparation work needed. If you agree, tomorrow afternoon, I will give you a designated place, at that time you can only come alone, if you still want to mess up, the consequences are clear to you. He nodded repeatedly, full of promises, under the light, I could clearly see that his eyes were already a little moist. This person acts viciously, cruel means, but a love child. 
After the agreement, I retrieved my things, and He Yuchen left the place together, returning to the city. Along the way, He Yuchen and I didn't talk much, each thinking about our own thoughts. Soon after entering the city, we didn't go home directly, but after turning a corner, we first went to the hospital to visit Gui Ziming. Coincidentally, when we arrived, Gui Ziming had just come out of the emergency room and was pushed into the intensive care unit, and according to the doctor, he was out of danger and would soon wake up. We were relieved, so we went to the ICU, wanting to take a look at him. But outside the ICU, there was someone who came even faster than us. It was Gui Zhenyan. He was sitting alone on a bench in the corridor, his hands covering his face and his head hanging down. Above his head was a lonely and dim light. It was late at night, and there was no one in the corridor, so his figure looked more and more lonely and desolate under the light. I looked at him with some sympathy, but did not go over. This moment, let him reflect on his own reflection is good. There is no absolute good in the world, there is no absolute evil, the so-called good and evil, in fact, often only in a thought. Just in the shadow of the lamp, but I vaguely see, in Guo Xinyan's head, seems to hang a huge knife, that knife is full of dark red blood, I do not know how many people have been killed. This knife, like a blade of heavenly punishment, from the top of Guo Xinyan's head, already less than a foot, as if at any time may fall. After leaving the hospital, it was already midnight, He Yu Chen and I strolled down the midnight street, and for a while it seemed that no one wanted to go home. She looked preoccupied, I couldn't help but break the silence and asked, do you think that what I did to help Guo Xinyan, was it the right thing to do? He's harmed so many people, and has dealt with us several times, and just now, he almost got me killed, shouldn't I just let him live and die on his own? He Yuchen glanced at me and faintly said, then you think, does he have a grudge against you? I said, originally there wasn't, but he took me on over and over again, this should be considered as having a grudge, at the very least, just now when I was at his house, I really wanted to take an electric baton to kill him, but then looking at him, I felt that he wasn't unforgivable. He Yuchen laughed softly and said, yes, you're right. That's why in the shaman's philosophy, everything in heaven and earth has a cause and effect, there is no such thing as hatred without a cause, and there is no such thing as enmity without a cause. Maybe, you had hurt him in your previous life, that's why he came to deal with you several times in this life, and now that the hatred between you is dissolved, the karma of your previous life is understood. This is actually a good thing for you. I pondered over her words for a while and couldn't help but ask, I know you have a point, but if everything is thought of this way, then wouldn't those who are in our line of work all become good old boys, and when someone else harms me, I still feel that it's because I owed him in my past life, and that I still have to give in to him? Then am I not sick? She didn't answer me directly this time, sticking her hands in her pockets and taking a deep breath while walking forward. Then, she asked back, so what do you think? Without thinking, I said, I think that there are some past life grudges that can be resolved, but there are some that are not necessary. If he is a good person in this life, then I can let him be and I can also pay my debts for my past life. But if he is a villain in this life, harming me at every turn and trying to kill me, then there is no need for me to resolve it. Anyway, I had a grudge in my past life, so it's not so bad in this life, so it's a big deal to fight to the death in this life. Besides, why should I use my life in this life to repay the debt of my previous life? I don't even know what I did in my last life. What happened in my last life? Does it have anything to do with me? Hiyuchin stopped and turned her head to look at me, and at this moment, I realized that her eyes were shining. That's right, what you think, is exactly the same as what I think. Therefore, I must avenge my master. Whether or not he pays back the debt from his past life, that's none of my business, I only know that he was killed. His debt, he pays. His revenge, I'll avenge. This girl who looked cool and soft, but at this moment, it was as if she was radiating a magical power all over her body, and her eyes were shining with a determined light. That's why you must find out who's behind Guo Xinyan, isn't it? I asked. Yes. Guo Xinyan's ghost sex secret art has reached a certain level, but he couldn't even take you down, so it's even more impossible for him to kill my master. So, intuition tells me that the one he said provided him with dead people is probably the one I'm looking for. In that case, we'll have to help Guo Xinyan, and only by summoning his dead wife to come up and meet him will he give an honest account and reveal the whereabouts of that person. That's right, and that's why I didn't stop you. With a hint of excitement in his voice, He Yu Chen continued, we'll go find that mister. Guo early tomorrow morning, He's indispensable in order to summon the ghost to possess us. Don't worry, I'll still be the one to do it this time. As for the location of the god jumping, it's still at Zhou Mingyang's house. This location is not bad, since I collected the killing blade a few days ago, Zhou Mingyang's family moved to another residence, that house has been empty, and it's also quite secluded, and won't disturb anyone else, so jumping to the gods is most suitable. So the two of us agreed on a division of labor plan, tomorrow morning I will go to find Gua Cripple, she will go to contact Zhou Mingyang's house, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, on time to meet. At this time, the time has come to almost midnight 12, the street basically has no one, a lot of stores are closed. The two of us chat to chat really nothing to talk about, in fact, at this time I have been very tired, want to go home to sleep, 
but she did not go, I am embarrassed to go first, and after a while, I really can't help it, looking at her or quite spiritual, east and west chat, I suddenly came up with an idea, this girl, will not want to talk to me a little bit of the story, right? In the spirit of cheap not to take advantage of the attitude of the son of a bitch, I suddenly stopped in my tracks, covered the stomach, bit her face to her said, I seem to be suddenly a little hungry, this night also did not eat anything. She looked around and said, then why don't you say it earlier, just now there is a wonton hall open over there, and now you can't eat what you want to eat. Why don't? We buy some food, go to where I live, and talk while eating? I asked tentatively. Go to where you live? That seems like a good idea. He Yuchin suddenly laughed, but she laughed mysteriously, and a little unsuspectingly, her eyes glancing at me obliquely, and there seemed to be a hint of teasing in her eyes. There is a door ah. Then, what do you want to eat? I'll go buy it now. Although with Hiyu Chen is also considered very familiar, but I this is the first time to ask a girl, and still in the middle of the night to the home about, I this heart fluttering, small heart began to accelerate. Hiyu Chen looked at me with a smile, suddenly gave me a crooked head kill, do not say, quite cute. Although one of her eyes is blind, but now is the middle of the night, she once said, her eyes cannot see anything during the day, but at night can see everything. At this moment, that eye of hers was especially soulful, and when she was looking at me, it was so deep that it seemed as if she could penetrate my heart at once. Then a voice rang in my ears and mind. Guess what I want to eat? When I heard this sentence, I was frozen at once, because, although it was just a sentence, it was two voices that appeared in my ears and mind at the same time. These two voices, one was He Yu Chen, while the other, Anaconda Flower's cold and frosty appearance instantly appeared in my mind. Crap crap crap, how did I forget about this big sister? But, are the two of them working together to test me? Don't play like this. I was in tears. Hiyu Chan, however, seems to have known all of this, stealing a purse of her lips and giving me a squeeze of her eyes, saying, sorry, this wasn't my idea, I'm withdrawing first, take care of yourself ha. Huh? Hiyu Chan said the words, turned around and waved to stop a cab and ran away. Only I am alone, alone in the wind. Daughter-in-law. Don't misunderstand, I really don't mean anything else, we are just a simple male and female relationship. With a bitter face, I tried to explain to Python smallpox. Her icy voice said directly to me in my head, I'm not interested in your relationship, but if you dare to break your body behind my back, I'll be the first to eat you first. I couldn't help but shiver, remembering that white python, eating me was probably no problem at all. Daughter-in-law, Dota, we have something good to discuss, one day husband and wife hundred days grace, a hundred days husband and wife like the depth of the sea, we at least have been married for so long, I want to have what is not right, you should be criticized on the criticism, cannot be beat a meal, eat even if it. However, she seems to press the root does not want to listen to my explanation, continue to say to me, do not bullshit, seize the time to go home, Tianba old master has something to say to you. I was slightly stunned, thinking that it was this time of the day, what would Python Tianba have to say to me? I hurriedly rushed back home, and then waited apprehensively for Python Tianba to come and talk to me. In fact, what I thought at first was that because of the matter of inviting Hiyu Chen to the house just now, Python Tianba was also angry, after all, it was all the immortals of the Python family, so his old man wanted to find me to talk, to take out the anger for Python Tianhua. That is, equivalent to son-in-law outside with others ambiguous a little, and then the old father-in-law for the daughter to stand up, presumably to scold me a meal, probably this is the meaning of it. I'm ready to be scolded, the results back home and wait for half the night and no movement, I took off my clothes and lie down, anyway, did not say that have to stand to be scolded. Waiting and waiting, did not wait for someone to scold me, I fell asleep first. Just fall asleep, in a daze, I feel someone called me, I look, it is the python tin by his old man, white hair, black robe, tall, dignified appearance, eyes like electricity, intimidating. His old man did not scold me, nor did he mention what happened just now, but greeted me and he went out. I got up in a daze, and then python tin by asked me if there was any place I wanted to go that he could take me there now. I thought about it and said that I had been out for so long and was a bit homesick, it would be nice if I could go back and visit, but it's just that my master made me go out for three years and wouldn't let me go back. His old man gave me a slight smile and said he could take me back for a visit, but only this time. Of course I agreed, but I was a little confused, the old home is thousands of miles away from here, how can he take me back? When he saw that I had agreed, he waved his hand, and I immediately felt that my body was light and airy, and actually flew up in place. I screamed in fear, busy looking back, but saw myself still lying on the bed, sleeping soundly. I realized that I should be in a dream, not in reality. Since it was in a dream, there was nothing to be afraid of. Anaconda Tianba took me, flew out of the window, immediately around the clouds, the two of us just like this clouds and fog, flying in the air. This feeling is really too exciting, looking at the foot of the Luoyang city is getting smaller and smaller, the strong sense of reality makes me a little trance, I do not know whether I am now in a dream, or out of body. The two of us flew over the mountains and the earth, flew over many cities and villages, in midair, I have no idea where I am. I don't know how long, 
his old man suddenly said arrived, and then the clouds fell, I only felt a brush, not even reacted, has come to his house, I looked up and looked around, my eyes were all familiar surroundings, looking at the sofa in the corner, the wall clock on the wall, and the toys on the cupboard, my tears almost came out, this time, mom and dad should have long gone to bed, the door to their room is hidden, the light inside is turned off, I gently walked in, but fixed my eyes to see that the two of them are not in the house at all, hmm, are they not at home, this is unlikely ah, if they are not at home, Python Tian by his old man brought me here for what? Listening more carefully, some strange sounds came from my room. Three strips. Six cakes. Touch. Don't you touch it. I'll cut it off. With a thought, the door in front of me was a virtual void to me, and I stepped in with a single step. After many days, my room is still the same, the difference is that there is more than one mahjong table, and at this time, my father and my mother, there are two other people, a total of four, actually playing mahjong. Just cut off obviously my mom, I glanced to her side, who was quite big, she was happy, while collecting money while the code tiles, the corner of the eye with a happy eyebrow. And then look at my father, is also blowing, mouth holding a cigarette, ashes have been old long, in his mouth holding steady, a little ash does not fall. Once again, I almost shed a tear. Just now is back home excited, now is to see the two of them look, angry. Hey, it seems that I left home this period of time, they do not seem to miss me much, these two people's small life is obviously good ah. Especially my mom hand also wore a big gold bracelet, hair also perm, clothes also than the past upscale. Look at my dad, he used to smoke five dollars of peonies, but now he smokes wazi. To be honest, I was quite relieved in my heart, they have raised me for so many years, now they can finally borrow some of my light, the money I transferred to my family last time is enough for both of them to enjoy a few years of happiness. I looked up and surveyed my own room, suddenly found that the wall has changed a little, before the past is pasted with a few star portraits, as well as I went to school when I won the certificate. But now, those celebrity portraits were gone, instead, all of them were my photos, spread all over the wall. I stood in front of the photos and looked at them one by one, without realizing it, I was a little touched again. It seems that they still think of me, otherwise, why would they put my photos all over the wall? At this moment, the person who had just lit the cannon suddenly spoke up. I say Lao Chu, how come you two have such a good hand tonight, either cradling treasure or self-drawing, of who is a big one, I've given you a dozen times a night, does this still allow people to play? My mom said in a proud tone while playing cards, you see, when I said I would go to your house to play, you still didn't agree, you don't see, I have my son plastered all over the wall, can my luck be bad? Tell you, my son is now capable of great, he is the mascot of our family. I almost cried out with a grin on my face, thinking that I thought the reason for plastering my picture all over the wall was because I was missed, but it turned out to be because I was the mascot. However, my mom's words, full of pride and pride, my dad although did not say anything but that arrogant little eyes are clearly saying, that you see, my son well. I cannot help but laugh again, alas, this is really a pro father and mother ah. I took one last look at my mom and planned to leave, but at this time she was hesitating with an 80,000, I sighed and whispered in her ear. Mom, don't play 80,000, your next house just happened to clip 80,000, you play it out and light the gun. My mom stirred for a moment, hurriedly looked up at my picture, and looked around suspiciously, as if wondering where the voice came from. Then, she put the 80,000 back, and replaced another card and played it. Missy. Returning to the living room, I gratefully said to Python Tianba, thank you so much, I'm relieved to see that they're all fine this time. We can go back. However, he gave me a slight smile and said, there's no rush to go back, just now, I was just taking you to get acclimatized, now, I'm going to take you to another place. Ah, uh, what place is it? I asked in a puzzled manner, at the same time, my heart vaguely felt that it was a little bit not too good, looking at his expression, this place must be non-trivial. Sure enough, Python Tianba's gaze gradually became distant, faintly said, that is a place within the three worlds, the only place where you can see the truth. The words fell, his old man is another wave of the hand, I suddenly black in front of my eyes, will once again fall into a black and heavy fog in the, in the midst of the mist, it was as if I had followed Python Tianba to another place that was completely unearthly. When the mist in front of me gradually dispersed, I was stunned by the scene in front of me. Below us, there was a long, bloody river, and the wide river was flowing with blood, countless figures were struggling inside, and there were many vicious ghosts standing on the side of the river, holding lances and pitchforks, driving those who were struggling to climb up into the river one by one. There was also a black bridge over the river, and many unclothed people were walking on it, under which copper snakes and iron dogs scurried out, biting those on the bridge and falling into the river with screams. Those who managed to walk across the bridge with great difficulty had a high mountain waiting for them in the distance ahead. I was in midair, looking out, that high mountain is filled with sharp steel knives, under the high mountain there is a sea of blood, a long way away can smell the bloody stench of corpses and bones, smoked people want to vomit. Look forward, is a huge incomparable mill, countless people standing naked next to the mill, there are tall big ghosts, holding a steel fork, those people one by one fork up, thrown into the mill. 
Those people were crushed to pieces, blood and flesh, turned into a puddle of blood and mud, and then flowed out from the other side, and then turned into a human form, and then continued to go on the grinding wheel, and so on and so forth, without end. This turned out to be an extremely horrifying sight of hell. I couldn't help but look scared, thinking my goodness, this is clearly the underworld ah, and if I'm not wrong, the following is the 18 layers of hell, how did his old man directly bring me here? Python Tianba did not say anything, he looked calm and relaxed, the scene below seems to have long been accustomed to, and took me to fly through the sea of blood below the mountain of blades, to the front to continue to fly. Further ahead, the scenery was very different again. There was the frying pan hell, the iceberg hell, the tongue pulling hell, the scissors hell, the steamer hell, and the knife and saw hell. I was so shocked by what I saw along the way. Suddenly, Python Skybuster pressed down on the clouds and brought me to a place where there were small grid-like cages everywhere. Each cage here is only the size of a room, there is only one person inside, according to the different crimes committed in life, here to receive separate punishment. Python Tianba led me all the way forward, and I saw a cage where dirty food was thrown all over the floor, dry, and many of them already had green hairs growing on them. There was a person who kept picking up that food from the ground and ate it with a sad face. It was just that the food on the ground was piled up like a mountain, and it was unknown how long it would take for him to finish eating it. There was no doubt that this should be the one who had wantonly spoiled the food in his life, and that's why he received such a punishment after death. I have to say that this is also quite strange, further on, I saw another cage inside, there is a person with a withered description, lying on the ground dying, but with his mouth wide open, looking up at a place above. After a long, long time, that above only dripped a drop of water, this person is a treasure, open his mouth and then that poor drop of water, bark bark crack lips, and continue to open his mouth, looking forward to the next drop of water. Do not ask, this is a waste of water. Further on is a pool, there is no one around, I am wondering, Python Tianba said, that water is a murderer and robber, in his previous life in the name of the boatman, in reality, robbing and killing people, and harmed hundreds of lives, all of which he tied his hands and feet and threw them into the water and drowned. I came to a realization and asked, so what punishment is he suffering now? Anyone who does evil on earth, to the hell or a hundred times a thousand times, even ten thousand times the punishment to offset the crime, this man killed hundreds of people, so he suffered the punishment is to be drowned in this pool for a hundred years, every time he drowned will immediately resurrect after drowning, and then continue to drown, and so on, 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 and so on. I winced at the sound of this and couldn't help but spit out my tongue, filled with horror. This is a bit too horrible, think about it, constantly being drowned, constantly resurrected, for a hundred years, how much pain must this suffer? But thinking about the people who were killed by him, it was only normal for him to suffer such a punishment. Only the tortures in hell could make people tremble with fear, and when they were reincarnated as human beings again, they would absolutely not dare to do bad things. It's just a pity that even if the tortures in hell are so cruel, the evil on earth still can't be gotten rid of ah. We passed by a few more places, and all we could see were strange and miserable punishments, and all kinds of tricks were also endless. The strange thing is, although there are ghost guards here, but every ghost pawn see Python Tianba, they all politely salute, Python Tianba also just nodded with them, just like the superior leadership inspection, no one dares to nag half a word. Soon, Python Tianba led me and stopped in front of a cage. The inside of this cage was very special, not quite the same as the previous ones. Inside was a large millstone with an execution frame attached to one end, and a woman was pulling the millstone with difficulty, barefoot, moving forward step by step. Her feet had long been soaked in blood and worn beyond recognition, but she was still insisting on pulling the millstone, refusing to stop for half a step. However, her strength was too small after all, and every time she took a few steps forward and became exhausted, the mill will turn back a few steps. Whenever she took 10 steps, the millstone would turn back 9 steps, sometimes even more. I am not sure why, suddenly found that the execution frame above, turned out to be a huge gate knife, in the gate knife under the lying a person, the gate knife from the person's neck is only 2 feet or so, whenever the woman backward, the gate knife will immediately fall. At the closest point, it was not even half a foot from the man's neck. Only that person was lying with his head hanging down under the gate knife, his hands and feet were tied, I couldn't see his face, however by this time my mind had already recalled when I was in the hospital, seeing the gate knife on top of Guo Jinyan's head, and then taking a look at that woman who had already been tortured beyond human shape, I instantly understood everything. This woman should be Guo Jinyan's deceased wife, and her suffering here to pull the mill was entirely to save Guo Jinyan. Otherwise, as soon as she let go and the gate knife fell, Guo Jinyan would immediately be lifeless. The impact that this scene gave me was tremendous, and I realized why tonight, Python Tianba, his old man, would bring me here. As he said, this, is the only place in the three realms where one can see the truth. And I had also come to understand why Guo Jinyan had tried everything he could think of, 
but was unable to communicate and contact his wife. It was because his wife had been rescuing him in hell and didn't dare to let go even for a fraction of a second. My tears instantly welled up, this was too damn touching. Reaching out and grabbing the cage, I wanted to say a few words to her, tell her about the things on earth, and at the very least, I should let her know that her son Gua Ziming is now grown up, and although he's a bit unreliable and his studies aren't great yet, he is at least healthy and safe and alive. Python Tianba, however, stopped me, and he shook his head slightly at me, signaling that I couldn't open my mouth to speak, much less communicate with her. Then he took me away from this place, away from this horrible purgatory. We quickly returned and made our way back to earth. When I finally woke up, I found myself sleeping in my room in the apartment, and everything I had just experienced was like a dream, real and unreal. I recalled everything in the dream, and without any desire to sleep, I got up and pushed open the window, and took a deep breath of the slightly cool fresh air. At this time the east has gradually white, the dream at the end of the python tin by his old man said to me a sentence, but has always lingered in the heart. Your mission on earth is not as simple as healing the sick and saving people, but rather to fulfill all beings that can be fulfilled, including yourself. Recalling his old man's words, it was as if a shimmering light had finally appeared on my originally confused path ahead. I was no longer sleepy, staring at my eyes until dawn, before I finally came up with an idea, and then found out Gua Cripple's phone number and dialed it for him. Now the time is 7.30 in the morning, I thought the old people are up early, but also afraid that he went out to do things, the result of the phone rang half a day, he finally answered. On the phone, he yawned while sleepily talking, obviously woken up by my phone. I was a bit speechless, so I asked him what he did last night, how all this time is still not up. Gua crippled again yawned greatly, said to me, hey, don't mention it, last night to play mahjong went, has been playing to more than 5 o'clock in the morning, I just lay down to sleep for a while, you came to the phone. Dare I say that he also played mahjong all night? I was kind enough to say to him, Master Gua, your old man is more than 50 years old, pay attention to the body, don't because of the 3050 stay up all night, turn back to make some problems, it is not cost effective. He was not happy, interrupted me and said, who play 3050, you not too? I said you an old man, you play mahjong can play how big, at most 1 or 2 dollars, play a night to last 100 dollars win or lose. Do not wait for me to speak, he has been quite proud to take the initiative to tell me that, I tell you, you really do not look down on your grandfather, tell you, yesterday played an all night, you guess how much I won, you make a strong guess. Listen to his tone, as if it is not less win, I thought about it, said, I make a hard guess, $500 is enough for you to disaster, right? He a disdainful tone, said, $500, your grandfather really do not bother that effort, tell you, 5000 Aya, my lord Gua, win 5000 in one night, can ah. Then you see, I'll tell you what, your grandpa will always be your grandpa. Okay, your grandpa will always be your grandpa. Your grandpa, I'm your grandpa. The two of us around to go around a little confused, I cried, and laughed and said, well well well, you are my monkler. But monkler, I am a little serious, and you read and read, you look to give ideas, should be how to do. I did not talk to him more nonsense, so Guo Xinyin things, pick the important part, briefly with Guo Cripple said once. As soon as he heard me say this, on the spot on the spirit, open the first sentences, the other side can give how much money? This is purely an old financial fan, I thought about it and said, have not mentioned the money, but, Guo well, Master, I remember to do your line of work, the normal charge is also a thousand dollars tops, this time, I do not want to make money, so, to give a hard fee on the line. Do not want to make money? You crazy? Listen to what you just said, this is also a rich man, the family opened the school, not black and white not black ah. Guo Cripple painfully said, I did not take care of him, only lightly said, if I tell you, this person not only killed a lot of people, and earned money or not clean, maybe that money inside stained with blood and wrong souls, in this case, you still dare to accept his money? This. Then forget it, this kind of money is good to collect and not good to spend, once it is stained with karma, it is not good to shake it off. He is also kind of know the rules, usually, do our line of work to help others, the first is non-karmic people do not help, the second is not good people do not help. Because to help the wicked, in fact, is the same as to encourage him to do evil, if an evil person has reached the number of days, life has been exhausted, karma is approaching, but we are forced to help him to change the luck, life extension, is tantamount to staining his karma. If his karma is very heavy, involving life and death kind of thing, then the more money we take from him, the more karma we will be tainted with. Therefore, in the case of Guizhenyan, we must not charge him more money, because his karma is too great for us to resolve. Zhou Mingyang's incident, although also very strange, but the dissolution is much simpler. But once he heard that he couldn't charge a lot of money, Gua Cripple's interest was very low at once, and he pushed back, in fact, in his case, I advise you to try to manage as little as possible, and it's best to leave it alone. I'm not the same as you, I'm mainly to promote folk art and traditional culture, so, you no longer find someone to try? Listening to him say this, I also did not polite, said to him, Lagua, you do not with me here in the understanding pretend to be confused, a word, if you go, 
the two of us still cooperate in the future, if you do not go, then I'll change people. Look at you say this, as if I am for the money as if. Nonsense, you are not for money. AI, you this sentence, I have to go, not just from the head of the hell to call a person up at, pediatrics like, you say it, what time we converge? A look at Qua Crippled hooked, I was delighted, in fact, from the last thing I can see, this Qua Crippled experience is very rich, what folk art and traditional culture, that are fooling people's bullshit. This guy is a professional two gods help soldiers, but still an old bastard, do not see the rabbit does not spread the eagle kind, if there is no money, he is engaged in folk art, if the money is more, he immediately transformed into a shaman sorcerer. Don't promise so quickly, let me ask you, can you pass the Een? Aren't you talking nonsense, have you ever seen any two gods cross the Een to do their work? Ah, so you don't know how to cross Een ah, I thought your old man was very powerful. I intentionally used the method of provocation, what crippled hurt and unhappy, said to me, look at your words, but not the Een office, is not equal to will not pass the Een. With your grandfather I this Taoist, when I went to hell, that is also free to come and go. I was waiting for him to say this, so I immediately said, with your words on the line, Master Gua, where do you live now, I'll go over to pick you up at noon. Gua Cripple told me an address, so I hung up the phone, and after another moment, He Yu Chen's phone call came through. Unsurprisingly, Zhou Ming Yang's side was very quick to agree to our request, and even said that his villa was idle anyway, so he simply gave us the key, in which case, we could go to his place at any time in the future if we wanted to do anything. The problem of the venue was solved, I have a stone in my heart, and then contacted Guo Xinyan, notified him that at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, punctually to Zhou Mingyang's home to meet. But there is a prerequisite, he can only come alone, and I have seen the situation of his wife in hell, if he has any more evil thoughts, not to mention that he cannot see his wife, even his life is afraid to protect. I said very seriously, Guo Xinyan full of promise, from the tone of voice can be heard, he is now very anxious, and his voice is a little shaky, obviously is nervous and overly excited. I secretly put down my heart, because this person is no longer a threat to me. Because, he already has a fear in his heart, there is a tie. At noon, I went out to go to the place where Gua crippled, the results found that this old boy since the rich, this living standard straight line up, eat where are different, and actually live in a star hotel, a night has to be several hundred kind.